We're Hi. all just really excited to talk about our favorite show, WandaVision. <laughs> Oh, cannot wait. <laughs> it's such a sad timeline. Like, just give me like five minutes and we will uh, we will get the preamble going just to make sure everything's running. But uh, I don't think anyone is here to be like, oh, WandaVision. It was such an awesome show, right, guys? I'm so mm. excited. I haven't hated women in weeks. Yeah. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Finally, can't wait I can to just be myself. <laughs> we can radicalize some more youth. I'm I can yeah. drop the charade. Oh yeah, that was fun. <laughs> the article is like uh, alt right. Oh, do we get those reviewers? Oh, yeah, you gotta you gotta comment on that. I, I, well, I mean, I put out a tweet saying "fuck you," so I feel like that covers it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's it's so pathetic. Like the the portion on me is like, what do they say? I'm an alt right associate or something. It's like what the <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Oh, poor right. Mahler, exact word adjacent, right adjacent yes. I, like the, the poor, you got too close to the alt right. Yeah, you're kind of looking across the street at them and going, <laughs> right, lads. <laughs> oh, they look like <laughs> dead looks in their tight. Tight. But the, sun the just alt right doesn't right invite me to their birthday parties, but I wish they would. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> looking at the alt right from your treehouse, just uh, from uh, across the street. I wish I could smoke <laughs> like they do. I want to hang out in the treehouse. They won't let me. <laughs> Cool enough. <laughs> like, maybe no if I have that bad woman no figurine, allowed. they'll let me in. Um, you're the, the uh, you're the person that they just send down to the shop to get the snacks. Yeah, they never quite let yeah. me in. No maulers, that's what they say. No maulers, yeah, no homers. <laughs> <laughs> but they have the one in there. Yeah, that's right. We yeah. have one mauler. <laughs> We're allowed to have one. <laughs> What is it, a Homer Glub Kit or something? It's like a really dumb name. <laughs> yep. And he just goes, Ah, Simpsons references. Um, uh, yeah, there is absolutely no reason why we shouldn't just get started, because this this could take a little time, and we want to make sure everybody gets their uh, their thoughts and feelings out, you know? Um, first, I guess I should say is, welcome to EFAP 129, uh, all ye who, who be here now or in the future upload. We're joined by, I'll go from left to right, uh, Mr. Az from Heal vs. Babyface. How you doing, sir? I'm doing good. Thank you for having me on, sir. Oh, absolutely. It's going to be fun. We've got so much to talk about. We, uh, by that I mean myself, Rags, Nerdrotic, and, and yourself, we all, we all discussed uh, previously a few, I want to say a month ago or something, how we were enjoying WandaVision. Wasn't that a... Uh... I was the same. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was like, the first episodes, five episodes, I think, were great. And then the final four, I was like, God, this is dog shit. Yeah, well, <laughs> things change, I guess. Uh, yeah, Mr. CJ, Cynical Reviews, how do you do? Hello, good thank you. Thanks for having me on again. Ah, good thank you to you too. <laughs> I just thought it was a funny way to say it. But like, <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> uh, you uh, did you did you watch this show with like a sort of just passing interest, or were you like, oh, you might might do a video, or? Well, I I mostly watched it because everybody was talking about it, and I didn't want to seem ignorant. Mm -hmm. Um, but no, I I I I think I'm kind of the same. Like I enjoyed it at first and thought it was really interesting, and then I think it was for me it was the fourth episode where it started to go downhill. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think that's fair. Now I'm just kind of like, eh. uh, Evan <laughs> is next up. So, how do you do, Mr. Blue and Rainy Depressed Person? Is that reflective <laughs> of your attitude toward this show? That's probably a good way to put it. Yeah, blue and rainy and depressed. Yeah, mm -hmm. not not very happy with how it turned out. Uh, Fringy returning to talk about superhero stuff. Shocking. How do you do, sir? I'm tired. I like <laughs> Three hours. Just... I prefer uh, to think of you saying I'm tired about just media. <laughs> yeah. Well, speaking just of life which, in I general, saw, I just saw this on Twitter. The Simpsons has been going for so long that Homer did not grow up in the '70s. He grew up in the '90s. Oh, I saw that. Ooh, this is like hell for me. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> It's, it's just kill it. You must have Come so on, many timeline out. issues, but for how long they've gone, yeah. Wait, that no would, wait, hang on. Abe would have to be like, they'd have to age him up, I guess, right? Because he fought in World War Two. Yeah, because yeah, if they started in, I don't. Nineteen ninety nine. Oh, so, so was Homer a kid in the first Homer episode? Was a no, no, no. In the no, 
the flashbacks had him in the 70s as a kid, but now the flashbacks have to push him up because it wouldn't to make the sense. Because he's still in his 30s. He's yeah. still meant to be in his 30s. But, <laughs> well, like, oh my he's not. Gracious. Eventually, his come... childhood will be in the 2010s. It'll be so interesting. Oh, Bart right. was it, born oh in 2011 God. now. Yeah. Yeah. Home was a millennial? <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> what? He's one of us. Is that uh, real? One of us. One of what? us. Um, well, do you remember that? Do you remember that meta episode they made where they had Lisa say that they, like, the producers of the show, made them all take growth inhibiting hormones or something? Anti growth hormones. The same age. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. <laughs> Would that's explain a lot. That's when your investment in uh, maintaining getting rid of them plot holes starts to get scary. I don't think I've watched The Simpsons in twenty years. It while. hasn't been good in 20 years, so... Oh, okay. Moore, uh, I remember Muller got me to watch like a new, a new episode from this year. It was surreal. It was absolutely it is, yeah. surreal watching like modern Simpsons. Um, it wasn't like terrible, though, which is kind of the crazy part. Like, it wasn't awful. Yeah, like, there was some jokes of weird. Um, yeah. But it, it is odd to watch it when your idea of Simpsons comes from, like, the 90s. You're like... The 90s, yeah. You watch the new one and you're like, it's so uncanny. It's like a, uh, but you know, voice actors sound tired. Yes. Like the person who plays Marge is like sixty. He's dying. Tell. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa. <laughs> um, that show's been renewed for two more seasons. It ain't wow. Away. It will never die. It won't let's die. be honest. No, but the cats will. Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, but then they'll clone their voices using like uh, <laughs> machine learning or something. No, they already have they'll, they'll, they'll take voice lines from all the episodes over all the seasons and just put them together. Oh. Yeah, get an algorithm. Oh. Yeah, they <laughs> have enough. Have it. Yeah, that'd be horrible. Um, but make sure we don't miss you last three. Uh, Gary, welcome to EFAP once again to talk about WandaVision. How you doing, buddy? I'm good. I have a, I was taking a bite of toast there. Um, I'm really <laughs> wow, happy. <that's> exciting, <laughs> isn't it? Though An I'm uh, adventurous I'm feeling, snacker. I am. Uh, I'm feeling radical today. Thank Ooh. you very much. Totally radical. Very nineties. Wow. Uh, it's radical. Chowabunga, dude. Chowabunga is very very radical. Hey, Rag, Chumba, welcome Chumba, to your first EFAP. How you doing? Oh, um, hi. I'm, I'm glad to finally be on. Yeah. I'm glad that my inaugural episode is uh, going to be some MCU property full of incredible quality with a lovable cast of characters <laughs> and intuitive events that follow. It'd be interesting. Uh, one after the other in an interesting cause and effect way that's logical. So excited. Because we, we're in the middle of our DC arc, and we're getting a lot of, like, MCU shills. Like, I'm curious if they'll keep that up after this episode, but, you know, it's fine. <laughs> I'm MCU's curious fun. if after this, as, after we constantly say that half the MCU is really bad, yeah. that they'll continue to say it. And then the um, MCU is probably going to be really bad, like, going forward. That we oh, yeah. Past yeah. Week, probably. We can, we can talk <laughs> about that. Um, last but not least, Mr. The Meme Repository. Not an awkward title for a Mr. <laughs> at all. Um, how are you doing, Mr. Man? Uh, it's, it's really fucking early, but besides that, um, I'm going okay. Um, you know, I'm here to talk about, you know, my favorite show of all time, WandaVision. Yay! Uh, involving, you know, these two, uh, wonderful characters who used to be, uh, my, uh, favorite characters in the MCU. Oh. Uh, important emphasis on the used to be <laughs> oh. after oh. this shit. That's unfortunate. <laughs> was that was that of all of them, or was that of living ones at the time? Oh wait, yeah, I don't know. What was? I would have. You don't prefer like Iron Man or Cap or uh, Thor or anything? Well, it's kind of like um, they weren't. I it, it, it's, I split up like who I consider the best characters and who I like find the most interesting, and I always found that you know the idea of this uh, robot that was brought to life but was like very um like sincere and uh, mm -hmm. was just trying to figure things out very compelling and i also found Captain you know Marvel. the idea of their their love story <laughs> to be quite interesting um uh, so I wanted to see, you know, where does this go? I, I kind of wanted to see a well, a Wanda and Vision movie um after Ultron and especially after Civil War and uh, yes. it it looked like I was finally getting what I wanted with this no, I was not. No, I really was not. We got no. something else. Um, which I guess <laughs> should lead us into like, because this, this could be a free-for-all, but I guess uh, general blurbs. Um, I wanna, I wouldn't mind opening 
about about just thoughts on the show as a whole. I'm going to open with the probably not a hot take, but still a spicy take. Um, and this is agreed upon by some people here already. I already know that. But One Division as a show, not great. Episode nine is the single worst piece of content in the MCU. Um, yeah. How does everyone yeah, feel about I, that? Interesting. I, yeah. I don't know what else could give it like competition. Like, I mean, I, I mentioned this uh, yesterday on the South podcast, but I'm like, what other piece like has less quality? Like, there's 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 no scenes to grab onto in that finale. They're like, this is good. There's something broken it's, in every single uh, scene. Yeah, it devolves into um, generally. I, I think I said this before on an EFAP or someplace. I don't know. It's all a blur. <laughs> um, but you have um, what sort of referred to as this Marvel sludge of just things sort of happening and characters doing stuff and superheroes, you know, performing actions. And it's all just like a mix, like it's been thrown into a blender. But instead of creating a, a, a yummy, delicious smoothie mm. that everyone can enjoy, it's just like this mix of concrete and radioactive fuel and it's horrific and it's terrible. And it's worse it's than like Captain it's an, Marvel. Don't forget guys. feces. Yeah, Ooh. this is. Oh, yeah. Captain what? Marvel is Captain comprehensible. Marvel, like this film has I this film, this episode like breaks <laughs> reality. It's over. Uh -huh. like, many times it's, it's over. over. There is so many things to talk about. I, I did a rewatch. It was painful. Um there's there's so much uh, that we can do, but I, I want to make sure everyone gets a gets a word in there. Uh, I don't know, Gary, as what do you guys reckon on this sh show as a whole? Um, I thought it was great uh, up until the um, the reveal of Evan Peters as as the fox's Quicksilver. I thought you were going to uh, say up until the first episode. As <laughs> 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 our first episode started. It was great uh, until the first yeah, episode. The uh, intro uh, was great. Um, and then after, uh, and I thought, right, this is great because now we're going to go to the next level. We've had this, you know, wonderful um, journey through, through uh, you know, sitcoms throughout the years. Um, giving their takes on them with this little sinister undertone, and I thought it was fantastic. And I loved the relationship between Wanda and, and Vision. I thought it was so tight. It was so uh, the chemistry was phenomenal between the two actors, and I thought the acting was uh, top notch. And then, as soon as Evan Peters was was announced, uh, revealed, uh, it just got really generic. Because then it started to concentrate more on the sword stuff, and that was yeah. terrible. Yeah, the that sword, was definitely and then they split Wonder and Vision weak. away from each other, and they yes. were the best part of the show. At and the, so at the peak, off doing something, Wonder's off doing something, and then it, you realize that the show was those two characters together, uh, but, and you take them apart, and, and there was there was not a lot there at all. They get separated at the peak of their drama. Like mm. we're finally getting something in terms of vision, dis like becoming self-aware of this situation, and then he fucks off, <laughs> like for the half yeah, of the like, season. And it's like it's like he forgets after that. It's like yeah. th there's never any addressing like what Wanda did after that, where it's like, hey, you were lying to me. It's just like, no, let's fight, let's save our kids. It doesn't. It feels like there's scenes missing. Like what they have their big argument, then he goes off and nearly dies, and then he flies back and is like, oh, hey, let's fight a clone of me and this weird witch lady. It's like he doesn't have any questions at all, like, about what's happening. No, I, didn't, I didn't... I had too many questions. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. The oh, show I, has devolved, unfortunately, yeah. into that kind of... It, it's gotten down to the, to the... kind of the worst of the DCEU, where it's just, like, actual nonsense. It's impossible to know what the stakes are anymore. Like at one point in one division, you're just waiting for them to tell you what happened because you, there's no way. You I just know. need something. I need confirmation. Is my eyes need verification as to what they've actually witnessed? Because we have gone off the rails. Nothing matters anymore. What I see doesn't mean anything anymore. And that's the death sentence for a plot. Is are the things that I'm seeing? Is it even matter what I'm looking at? Or are you just gonna tell me something <laughs> later, and that's well, just gonna be that? One of them mm -hmm. was. It wasn't until the last episode that I was like, "Oh, the children are like, we care about them." I thought they were fake. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. Know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I thought the whole point was that they're fake. 
I thought that the realization but, uh, was going to be that she invented them because of her psyche falling apart, not that they're actually a thing that we should care about. Not that we have to use them as a tool to show how evil our, prota our antagonist is in the way that we forced him to be evil is. Yeah, was... yeah, that goodbye was really weird when she's like saying goodbye to her kids and tucking them into bed. I'm like, am I supposed to feel happy they're for this? They're not real. It's, yeah. yeah. It, it's and she eerie. knows they're she not can, real. She can disassemble and reassemble them at will. Like, I... I don't. Yeah, <laughs> and they've been alive. And they've been alive for like a week. So it's like, how could you call them real kids? They haven't really yeah. lived a life. Oh, they're not real if they're a week old, huh? Wow. 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 Okay. All right. That's how it starts. Yeah. Um, <laughs> The fever, the rage, the pain, the men, cool. I am at my list of psychopaths. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I figure the format should probably be that we we go through um, chronologically as best we can. And you're welcome to jump ahead at any point. I wouldn't want to restrict anybody on that. But you know, I would also like to try and compliment the show where where possible. There were there were things. I'm sure everyone here agrees. There were things that you were like, oh, there were like when they played the Batwoman. At the thing. end, were the, there were a lot of things. <laughs> there Wait. were a lot of things. When there, there, if you I, go back, Smith Olsen was phenomenal. I thought. Yeah, Paul Bettany oh, was right. great. Yeah, Paul yeah. Bethany, yeah the, the oh was yeah. Good. But rewatching it again, I tried to rewatch it again too, knowing well, having seen the ending, and it just makes the entire show suck now. I mean, there's good parts of it, but. Yeah. Um, when you feel, when you feel like something's it's built, you, well, I thought it was building up to something. I was an idiot, obviously, for buying into it. And I was then, building up to something. Yeah, well, and uh, disappointment. Uh, disappointment. It was. Disappointment. It was building up to everything. Everything happens. All the things. All the new things. powers. <laughs> new characters. New heroes. New villains. New villains. New yes. stuff. <laughs> yep. New lessons learned. New <laughs> lessons forgotten. Oh. Vision shows up. <laughs> Vision shows up to, yeah, well, white vision, toxic white vision shows up to, so the men can fight the men and the women can fight the women and then they can watch as each other fight be. Yeah, as it should be. Yeah, segregation is things should be. <laughs> yep. Did you it, like how just... white vision like realized that he was now vision and then just fucked off and <laughs> fucked off? <laughs> that that was like, my favorite uh, part. Oh, wait, yeah. wait, don't I have a wife and kids? No, yeah. not only did he fuck off, but <laughs> Wanda Vision, Wanda, Wanda also fucked. Each individual of that relationship that cared very much about each other, each fucked off in separate ways. <laughs> well, Rags, this is one of the things that baffles me. Uh, Vision never tells Wanda that he gave all of Vision's memory to Vision Bot. No, <laughs> like and Vision you... Bot, yeah, in Vision Bot, now with those memories, never said. Yeah, I wonder By what happened way, to that woman I love. It's really yeah, because... I'm, I'm alive. I've actually put my consciousness or downloaded my consciousness into that white yeah. vision. So I am out there, darling. Come find me. And that, that, might have been comforting. <laughs> that might have been comforting for her to know as he was literally disintegrating before her eyes. Well, I Wanda, think, I think my contract has been renewed. I'm back in the <laughs> MCU. I think White Love Vision me. fucked my off planet though, needs because me. He, he needed to try and work out what the fuck that story was about the ship. You know, if you're <laughs> in a highly you, advanced you, go read just, about was, AI needed time to process the, the story. Uh, there was the part in there was a Doctor Who episode um, where uh, Doctor Who gave a similar analogy, and the answer was completely different. He's like, if you have a broom and you have a handle and you replace the handle and then you replace the broom part and you do that over and over, is yeah, it the same broom? Yeah. No, it's not. No, it's not. Whereas in, in this one, it was like, yes, it is the same ship. And no, it's not the same ship at the same time. No, it's not the same ship. You replace everything. Well, they, they did it's because the writer heard of that thing that one time and they tried to find a way to fit that into the show so they would seem super clever and cool. <laughs> well, he's he like, his entire show. They give you loads of answers. It's like baby's first philosophy. It's like what you learn even before you start doing a philosophy degree. Like it's one of the oldest and most simple philosophical problems. And yes, there's no discrete, you know, like there's no distinct answer to it because it depends on your interpretation, but it's still the most entry level shit that they're trying to make themselves sound smart with. Yeah, it's like, yes, um, okay, I read that book too, you know. That, that makes sense considering how much extensive experience this writer had, which was none. Oh. Well, they wrote, um, what did they write? <laughs> um, a, a short film that they probably self-produced uh, before this. And well, then they wrote, uh, she helped with Captain Marvel. Oh, there and, you go. And oh, she's writing God. Black Widow. Yep. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. We're yeah. fucked. We're fucked. We're fucked. Oh, fuck. Rip, rip MCU. <laughs> Free. And in her recent interview, she intimated that it was actually Feige who yes. did all this, all this sitcom stuff, which is the stuff that most people I... seem to have liked. Man. And it was her that did the sword stuff, which most people oh. tend to hate. Oh, yep. shock of all shocks. Yeah. I, um, I've I... lived to say I've ruined Kevin Feige's story. Yeah, I feel like it's very yes. concerning how like, overpowered a lot of the heroes are becoming as well. Like it's uh, Runs like what, are, like... what are our stakes? What are our stakes going to be when we've got like Monica Rambo is indestructible and like Scarlet Witch is like bends reality to her will? Like what? Yeah, like can you imagine what? Avengers Four right now? Like the the power dynamics of the individual characters. It's going to be insane <laughs> to balance. Yep, they're going to have Bring to create. Me, an I don't enemy. know if. Uh, I don't know yeah. what your mic levels are at, but I think you're going to get drowned out. I have you at 200. I, I have you at the max, and you're still pretty quiet compared to everyone else. Oh, boy. Let me get let me get it closer to the mic. Mm. There we go. Is that better? Yeah. Oh, yeah. ASMR for you. It's a little better. <laughs> yeah, it should be right. Yeah, it's a little better. Kevin Feige uh, recently came out and said uh, that oh, Scarlet Witch is going to be the Iron Man of the next phase. Uh, are oh, you serious? Yeah. So Captain oh, Marvel's been fuck. demoted. That's Ooh. the good news. But... Well, well, I think. I well, I mean, that's. Uh... What does that I don't know if that's mean? good news anymore. It's well, not well, really. It's yeah. not. They did I make sure to say that um, Wanda was more powerful than a sorcerer supreme. So yes. Fuck mm. you, Doctor Strange. You can. Yeah, yes. They threw that yep. in there just to be like, she's real powerful, by the way. Like, yeah. Okay. Fuck that yeah. guy. But we don't even know Doctor and, Strange's limits. How? What are we meant to quantify from that? Well, when you have someone like a Doctor Strange or a Sorceress Supreme, when you see what they can do and you're like, oh, well, this one's more powerful than that one, you're like, can they be? It looks like they're both yes. pretty high up there. Like, I don't even... One can literally well, it's bend the superhero time it, to his will. Uh huh. It's the it's the well, he doesn't have the time equivalent of saying that the uh, like uh, the infinite amount of numbers between one and two is smaller than the infinite amount of numbers between one and ten. But and it comes like, across as okay, like sure, almost childish because uh -huh. of the way she's. It's like more powerful. You're like, do you, are you saying it like my character's lasers are bigger than yours? My dad can beat a PvP. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay. laughs> yes. My yeah, dad it's basically can beat like uh, yeah, it's Calvin Ball, like, but with superheroes. I feel quite concerned about. Because I think it's pretty clear when you look at, like, the MCU that there are some distinct, like, almost bubbles of stories that they're working on at the moment. So, like, clearly there's some multiverse stuff that's going to be happening, which is probably going to be a disaster. But it's, like, that's almost, like, where the only characters I'm interested in anymore are, like, Spider-Man and Doctor Strange. It's just them. At the why moment, why I would think... you want to shit over one of your, your characters who's still got a movie up and coming? Why would yeah, you want to diminish them? Well, I mean, yeah, I guess what I was, I was, yeah, so like we've got that, and then there's clearly going to be like the Captain Marvel cosmic bubble that they're setting up, and like that to me is quite concerning as well because like it, it, I, all of that, <laughs> it's going to be all shit. Of that are going to be incredibly powerful. Like they're all so powerful that I'm like, I'm not even sure what the stakes are going to be in, in this. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I think, um, I think I read an article, um, and it was written like a year ago. That correctly, correctly suggested that there was going to be a secret invasion show, and the idea was that it was all going to be leading to like some kind of a force. What's what's the name of Captain Marvel's like flight group or whatever in the comics? Alpha Flight. Is it Twitter. Yeah, that it was going to be that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that was good. <laughs> and that it was going to have like all of these brand new characters that are getting set up on this like, and that and that the plot was going to be that some evil alien force can possess only men, so they have to assemble oh, a team. <laughs> oh, please oh, make this, please, oh, yeah. please, 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 please. <laughs> I'll be good all year. Yeah. I promise. Well, I won't well, radicalize anyone. Well, Imagine well, all the articles uh, they can write about us. I won't radicalize anyone. I promise. Anything, anything <laughs> okay. could be good, but I'm, if that's true, like or. <laughs> Yes. I don't think Captain Marvel know, or uh, I. I don't think Marvel, their writers. I don't think they know what good is. No, no, certainly not anymore. Not anymore. Like, they don't know what well, the morals are gone. Not some version. Oh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm glad they they borrowed Patty Jenkins' uh, yeah. moral barometer. For why are we Wonder in the Woman age 84? of superheroes doing incredibly villainous things? Like, why is this a thing? What's happening? It's everywhere. Man of Steel was uh, prophetic. <laughs> 
was, wasn't it? Well, it's just that it's not addressed. That's my issue. I'm like, you can have them do bad things. They're like morally like reprehensible, yeah. but you got to address that. You can't just like the give them a pass. I like like they just, never know what you sacrificed for. This I hate that line. Yeah. Everyone should hate that line. It's the worst. Well, yeah, and anyone that's had anyone close to them that's died knows exactly what she's going through. Yep. So it's bullshit. And um, so I get to go kidnap an entire town. Well, yeah. so next time the problem is dies, cool. usually accountability, right? She says, I'm sorry, like explicitly to Monica. And it's like, okay, but that's just the but, beginning, Wanda. And then the police yep. arrive and she goes, well, I'm out. And it's like, no, 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 come back. You, you got to apologize to Monica, apologize to the town. Oh, it's so I mean, terrible. Look at this in the context. I mean, we just had Civil War, and like this is a whole reason again to do a superhero registration act. Yeah, mm. like now the most dangerous superhero running, you know, fucking no, off they, into the mountains to become more they, dangerous. They have totally forgotten about Civil War. In yes. This. yes, like it, it never happened. It never existed. Yeah, yeah. The Sokovia Accords aren't a thing. They totally just said fuck that. They mention like, them, the Sokovia Accords, once in the show, but they also don't care about the Sokovia Accords at all. It's so weird. Like, wasn't she meant to be on the run in Civil yes. War and Infinity War, yes. and then she just walks into the S.W.O.R.D. headquarters and they're like, oh, hey. She's already a vigilante, right? And she was put away into the, the raft or whatever. Then the fight with Thanos happens, she gets blipped out, blipped back, and they've forgotten about everything. And then she also takes an entire town hostage. Um, thousands oh, they... of people, 3,800 people or something like that. They did hey, say, Muller, are uh, we gonna? Are, does that mean in universe we're gonna get a smug Ross face? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they did. They did say though that um, when Cap broke them out, uh, you know, like Clint handed himself in and uh, Ant Man handed himself yeah, yeah. in, so they got themselves uh, a deal. So it looks like they were like, okay, we know you're out. We'll, we'll kind of cut you a deal. Well, I'd be willing, Maybe. but we didn't get any of that, unfortunately. I think it would have been a great scene to have, like, the reintegration of Wanda into the world while also trying to deal with Vision being dead at the same time, and, like, all this corporate stuff while also just, like, stressing out about the fact that she's alone, or, like, her biggest rock is gone sort of thing. We don't get any of it. We just have it barging in. No. And Haywood... Mm. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how to talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> Toxic male. Haywood yeah. is uh, one of the uh, most hilarious awful. villains in anything. He's awful. I'm a bad guy. And there's no real reference. I mean, their relationship was good in the show because the act, the act, the the performances were better than the writing by far. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, to yeah. varying degrees. And uh, at least for me, I mean, uh, my context for their relationship is completely from the comics. I didn't see enough in the films. What what context do we have of a Wanda and Vision relationship in the movies? Actually, like how much actual screen time was there? Was it and, and like honestly, yeah, it's, it's been long. a couple of years since I've seen Civil War, but is it like three minutes? Well, um, I I was talking to Frank about this. I actually think the best scene I and I don't know if this is going to be a hot take now, but the best scene for their relationship that I've seen is probably in this show. It's that one scene from Episode Eight where Vision explains to her what grief, at least what he understands yep. grief to be. It was yeah. a really good foundation for, for mm. arguing why yeah. she might have fallen for him. And uh, yeah. well, We needed to waste more time showing the Mind Stone yeah. flash in this cool costume and everybody on Twitter to say, like, oh, wow, look, the costume. Yep. It's... That, <laughs> that's, what it, like, that's what everything is made for now. That's, that's I mean, it, it feels like. Yeah. yeah. Um... Uh, also, uh, Blame said, Haywood did nothing wrong, not a single thing he did was a crime. We'll get into... <laughs> just... well, we'll he shot he in did try and shoot children. Yeah, there are things. Yeah. He shot in between two fake, fake children. children. Fake there are things. Children. Okay, like, fake children, though. I fake would, children. I would argue the show condemns every action children. he takes. I condemn a handful of actions he takes. Most of them I'm, I'm on board with, though. Um, and he's he vilified throughout, world. and it's really annoying. Um, Tyler was, was just, right. It was just he, terrible. He's an excellent example of a super like he was an antagonist, but his his ascension into villainhood felt he's extremely rushed. I feel like it's it's very much the same um sort of thing that happened with Obadiah in Iron Man One. Um he was nowhere near as good as Obadiah, but Obadiah in the third act sort of becomes villain. Like it's just it's just like I'm gonna get into the suit and cause havoc. It's like what are you doing, Obadiah? Like what yeah. to what end? What what are you, you just yeah. have evil? a good time. You had a pretty good life before, you know. Yeah. 
And of course, he's trying to create big old weapons to sell on the black market, whatever. And you're like, okay, money, money, money. But then it's just like, I've been found out. Time to time to go Godzilla style. And you're like, what? what? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> um, and yeah, Haywood Haywood is similar. We, we can we can get to it. I, uh, again, I'm not even sure exactly what subjects we should jump to because um, it feels much more flowy to just just jump from bigger topic to bigger topic um, and try and catch up as we go. But I want to say the sitcom stuff was cool in in the just as an idea doing like specific intros um having like particular sound effects and visual effects per era um although it was the color grading like uh aspect ratio even the film quality and the sound quality were, were different um the dialogue was different sets and costumes and uh even the pacing i would say like for the stories they seem to put a lot of effort into trying to capture those eras and that's like you know what that's mm. cool and the jokes are pretty good too. Like the the comedy inside of those, it feels kind of like those um, classic sitcoms. And they change the comedy style to a degree as well. It was hit and miss for me. I found some jokes pretty funny. I found found some of them. I was just like, all right, yeah. that was a joke, I guess. It was, but the jokes right. the jokes felt authentic to the era. Yeah. Like yeah. I think yeah. they, yeah. they pretty much nailed yeah. the feel of all those sitcoms that they were trying to emulate. Um, and it was. I think that it probably became less less focused as it went on, though. Like the first three were really emblematic of like the eras but then as it went on it started to become a little bit more like loose almost yep. well, yeah well yeah, the sitcom I that. thing just ended like it, i i can't even remember exactly where it ended but i think it was well, when she walked into the like, rune place right that's where we stopped having sitcom stuff yeah well, remember there's I mean, just that like, there's just that throwaway line where i think hayward says like that she canceled the show it's like when did that happen it's yeah like, oh, okay well I think when they were getting into the 90s, they were kind of just sort of wrapping it up. I think it, it, they, I got the sense yeah. that they just wanted to get out of it and move along. It, and, it, yeah, it wasn't it was working like anymore. A, um, having, story. you know, like the documentary style where you have them talk about the scenes that they're in candidly, like on a set mm. sort of thing. They, they weren't working. Like, like Vision is like, what am I even doing here? Why am I talking to it's you? It's just like, for the that's, show. That's funny, but like that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Like, like, vision, like that's his recognition, though. Like you? that's his. That should have been his deep recognition. That wait a second. As soon, as soon as he got pulled out and pulled back in, the sitcom shit should have just been dead. Like it should have been her scrambling to try and fix it. But like they just start this episode where he's trying to drive with annoying screechy voice lady, and he's like, Ugh. "Oh, it's so annoying that things keep getting in the way of our car." It's like you can fly, dude. You can fly. Yeah. And he, yeah. You yeah. remember that at the end car. of the episode? He's like, yeah. "Oh yeah, I can fly." It's the Mando shit all over again. Like, oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Mass literally can't stop me. I just remembered I can do that. What a useful feature. Oh, uh, terrible. Um, so, so I've got a question about the sitcom. Thing. Oh. Sorry, go on. Uh, so this is something, I've, uh, so there might be a throwaway line that I missed that explained this, but did they ever, like, explain why Wanda was broadcasting, uh, like, her life you know, sitcom style in the first place, like not just her perception of everything, like why there was an actual feed that they could hook up to a CRT. No idea. No, actually I, view. I thought they implied it was like because subconscious, but it. it was uh, implied, yeah. just implied yeah. with that flashback in the seventh episode, eighth, well, I can't remember what episode, but eighth episode. Uh, well, yeah, well, her, her family it, watching those, those sitcoms, that was pretty much it. Well, isn't it because <laughs> it's part of her trying to recreate these sitcoms? But so why would her it transmit? Broadcasting it is just, uh, it just does. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but, but I the, guess it's, I the, guess it's part of the experience of it being a show is that but, it would be broadcast. But but like the, the the mechanics of all of that, and then who does like she wants people to be watching this rather than simply creating it for herself. I don't yeah, know that's if she my wants question. People to be watching it as just she's doing it. Yeah, I mean, but why? It's just it's for herself. That just but why would she be broadcasting quick? it for herself? Well, it's like when you when you upload a video to YouTube, you know, some people just do it for themselves, regardless of whether or not people are going to watch it. However, but that's a conscious decision that I choose to make. And that's a lot of effort compared to um, me hit and upload. Like she has to maintain a frequency specific. Remember, this doesn't work on normal TVs either. It only it only works on the era specific TV. Hmm. Which again, I don't even know how that works. I don't know like, how that works. How can, why do you need the specific well, TV? Well, luckily. Our, our our chick that we just brought in figured it out basically immediately when no one else did, so oh, good, that's yes. good. The astrophysicist oh. knows how television works. Completely. That was a bit weird, yeah. 
She knows more than most. She remember she hacks into the security of of Sword. It's like, wait, you're an astrophysicist. She's a science right? lady. She does the science things. We need women in STEM, Mahler. Well, okay. She's so good. Uh, remember those other people they brought in? We never see them again. <laughs> they're they're all just. I guess they were useless. Yep. I don't know. Oh yeah. It's, it, yeah, Kat Dannings is like the the perfect Swiss Army knife for our good guy team to do everything she needs yep. them to. Do. Of uh, holy, he's <laughs> stuck. Compressed air into his mic. He's right. He's right. <laughs> is he trying to get himself into the system? Oh into my the God. He was hacking into soul. I can't hear anymore. There's blood coming out. Oh, of my I love ears. this. Yeah, it's actually. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> uh, where's Pat Dennings when you need her? Um. I, uh, I removed him. Uh, the the line was it was background was radiation mixed with a TV signal or some shit like that. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna add him back Even in. Even though there's a huge dome preventing Wait. anything from getting in and out. Okay. Prepare yeah. to to lower his volume to as as low as like one percent. Because I'm gonna add him back in. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh good. Okay. Uh, I'm scared. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus oh, Christ! Oh. What? Wanda got to him. All right, I've got him down to twenty percent. <laughs> Rags, blink twice if you're being held hostage. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Rags, everything is really division arc. If you oh, can Jesus. hear us, your microphone is making horrifying noises. <laughs> <laughs> Have we just entered a horror film, by the way? He, he shot on Cat Dennings. This is what you get. Where's Sam Neil? Is Cat this how I get it. greeted for my first episode of EFAP with horrendous <laughs> Slender Man fucking... <laughs> yeah. Well, look, I, I just want to defend Cat Dennings is a beautiful pair of tits. It really yes. is. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, but th this is a family-friendly show, so what would it matter, As What does it matter? <laughs> with a cracking personality, how about that? For the kids? Mm. Is, is that... Um. Yeah. Oh, I'm just oh, 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 what's that? <laughs> now I gotta turn you back up, man. Hello, Rags. You there? Oh, hold up. Give me a second. We're we're gonna we're gonna try something here. Uh, oh, Rags. good God, no! All right, is that better? Is that any better? Yeah, that's better. Sounds like yeah. okay. Yeah. Good. All right. Well, I don't know what happened, but I'm just <laughs> glad we all made it out okay. Disney came what? for you. I think so. I was yeah. I was talking about Darcy, right? Yes. Yeah. And how she's just the best. She's amazing. She's sassy. <sighs> She's always correct. She's just so, she's just, man, with the quips. Boom, pew, 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 like a machine gun with all that sass. And she's so smart, and she knows the answer to everything, and she figures it all out so quickly. And that voice of an angel that she <laughs> has, that's an so angel, pleasant to listen to. Scraping yeah. nails down a chalkboard. Oh my, yep. God. oh my God. She's got a mean right hook, too. Ah, hey. <laughs> Oh, hey, Vision, what's up? I'm gonna drive this ice cream truck. So, um, yeah, did, did um, any, and I like. Did anybody go ahead? Oh, no, go on. I was gonna say, did anybody actually like any of the characters outside the dome? No, no, no. not really. I no, was but, like, well, funny okay, you say that no. because I think Monica was so much more like engaging and, um, Fun to watch when she was under mind control, which the optics yes. on that. Um... <laughs> yeah. I wish she'd stayed in the dome. That's that could have been interesting. Yeah, she was a great character under the dome, and then she I... gets knocked out the dome, and she turns into a right bit. I like the idea that there were people in the she dome. Into Captain Marvel. There were, there were people in the dome that were breaking the conditioning, but were aware that if they allowed that to be known, that their minds would be put back in, and so they do their best to conform while also trying to figure out how to escape. I thought that, that could have been a really what cool an idea line. they could have explored. And because it comes, remember when right. um, Agnes is like, oh, do you want me to do that again? It's like, mm. ooh, like, I want more of that. I want, well, I wanted more of the universe falling apart um, yeah. slowly instead of. That was, the, that was the interesting aspect of it was the fact that Monica, uh, sorry, um, Wanda was trying so hard to keep this world that she'd created together. And yet everything was just happening that, that things were falling off. There were just bits of the car that just kept falling off and yeah. she was losing control. Monica Rambo was starting to get some of her memories. Um, Agnes, of course, who's in on everything, uh, was realized that some lines were fluffed and says, hey, should we do that again? Uh, Vision, not understanding why he's at certain places. 
um, the people at work not understanding the jobs. There were so many interesting aspects to explore within the dome. And Never then when you took it out, uh, such yeah, a when shame. you took it out, it just mm. you got the most generic of generic bollocks outside the dome with sword. It was so mundane for all the the interesting uh, aspects which they'd set up and not paid off under the dome. It really did just turn into a, a the show which started out with such an incredibly interesting premise just evolved into meh. It's a weird gray yeah. sludge of a show where you just have all of these characters who are just doing things and nothing that you see matters really. Stuff just happens. And there's no real pl plan. It feels like they were making the show up as they were going along. Um, they should have gone harder on the like horror elements. And they, they did kind of hint at that a little bit, but I think they kind of... They pussied out of doing it properly, uh, maybe because they realized, oh, wait, kids might be watching this. Yeah, the, the horror elements were only really in those first couple of episodes. Like, I really like the boss, like, choking, and then, like, the yeah. wife is just saying, like, yeah. stop it. That's, like, that's really weird, and you're like, okay, well, what's going yeah. on? Very creepy. But then there isn't much like that outside of, like, those first two or three episodes, basically. Then you got the dead vision. The dead vision was great. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That, that actually really, scared. really creeped me out. Yeah, that, and, that, I didn't expect that. that gave, I was like, ooh. And what was that, that from? What was that? Um, episode episode Wanda's three, projection? Right? Yeah, it was it just Wanda's projection? Because I, I thought oh, yeah. like that's oh. what his body would what really yeah, looked like. I thought that's you know? what it was. And, I thought she was animating him. That would have been so yeah. much better. And then we had the dead Evan mm. Peters. He, he also, when she looked at him, he was dead and riddled with bullets and... And it was yeah. just like, you know, we need this to be explained. This we need this to be explained. Is it Agnes? Is Agnes like just being a, you know, a bit of a twat? Well, uh, um, I imagine most of you guys here enjoyed that moment in episode one because episode one is very, uh, it's probably the most sectioned off from anything we know from the MCU. It's almost like um, a goof. Like it's just like, look at this weird thing we made. But then. When he starts choking, you know, like the, the 50s um, voice of like, well, hello there. How are you doing today? Oh, I need to do that. Like that sort of thing. It drops mm. and she's like, vision, mm. help him. And it's yeah, like, yep. whoa. And it, it, in that brief moment, you're like, oh, my God, I can't wait to find out like how everything is functioning right now. Especially with um, she says, um, oh, stop it. But over and over again, she looks like she's tearing up while looking at Wanda saying it. Like yeah. asking Wanda to stop it, and then when Wanda looks at it, she starts laughing again. Like, <laughs> don't, don't hit me, please. Like, just, just please stop it. Yes. And it's like, oh my god, the potential, the potential, it's through the roof. And then you're like, mm -hmm. wait. Uh, so uh, according to the show, Wanda simultaneously is aware of and is controlling all of this, but also has no idea it's happening. I have no yeah, idea what her want. her. I don't know anything for a show that's about getting into her head. I know nothing about what's going on in her head, really. Yeah, they keep playing yeah. with her awareness of it, and it's really annoying. Because um, when you do the was the seventies episode where she's like, uh, "You're not welcome here. Get out." I was like, "Okay, so Wanda's fully aware of everything that's happening here, and she's maintaining it, and she doesn't want anybody to encroach on it. She's uh, mm. she's going down a path right now." And I, was, I was about to say with this... the guy coming out the sewers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you just what try to kill said, him? <laughs> yeah. Said, yeah. I mean, it looks, I don't know, because she just goes, no. And she, then he's gone. Well, she yep. rewound the universe, which, by the way, that's uh, an interesting ability that she never uses again. Yeah, that's quite cool. And Very you get her power from that stone, just pointing that out. I can, I can kind of imagine many situations in this season that that would have been a useful thing to use. Um, for my, example, my, my, my children are missing. <laughs> I had them just hours ago. I guess I'm screwed. It's like rewind time. I don't know. Yeah. It's like rewind time till Vision's alive. That's a good one. Well, mm. this is the thing. Um, if it's only within the dome, like all events within the dome or whatever, then uh, I guess she can't do that. But at the same time, like she can help like, herself against all kinds dome. of things. When she got mad, she extended the dome. It felt as if the dome was only that big because that's just as big as she wanted it to be. Yeah. But when yep. she when she got mad at um, Sword. Which was another weird thing. She extends the dome. It clearly goes through the forward base of Sword. So when we see Sword the next episode, I'm thinking, oh, 
this is Sword, but in a TV show now. But it, it wasn't. Somehow they'd managed to outrun the... Yeah, the for some reason, Haywood was like the only one who got out with a couple of people in his van. Um, everyone else got swallowed up, I guess. And they got turned into clowns. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> that Cat Denning could beat up. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you, you go with the whole, like, you, the meta view. You Like, all of the police force sanctioned by the government were turned into clowns punched by uh, Cat Dennings. So you're like, okay. All right. Subtle. <laughs> yes. <laughs> They're all, they could have been turned into anything, just Look. saying. Um, so, so here's a question, fellas. Um, so Wanda controls the size of the dome, yeah? And within the dome, that is her reality. That is everything that she wants. So... Could she theoretically just create like a few little domes just around her kids and around Vision and not have to horribly enslave 3,000 people? That's just, what just... I was assuming. Yeah. Mm. yeah but she was mm. sad. Interesting. Well, because yeah, they never do the yeah. whole like, you've got to face reality, he's died. They don't do that arc. They just do, you've got to stop because it's hurting people. It's like, but well... at the end, she has a doppelganger. She's mm. at the lodge at the end by the lake. Oh, yeah. yeah. And well, she's drinking a yeah. cup of coffee. Then yeah. she goes inside to make to pour more coffee. Well, she's in the next room doing a Dr. Manhattan. And, Is that and, astral projection? And, yeah, so, so, I yeah. don't know. Well, it's, it's just that's how powerful she is. She can do more than one thing at a time, operate on more than one consciousness, sort of. So <laughs> couldn't that extend to the kids? I yeah. don't do yeah. I, I, this is this ties into I have no idea what her powers are. I don't I yeah. don't know. It's, I have no idea what she'll do next. Oh, I have yeah. no idea what she can and can't do. I have no clue what to expect. Nothing I see matters anymore. Um Yeah, yeah her only <laughs> limits will be herself. I mean, before this happened, and they they've since amped her powers way up, she could already beat Thanos. Remember what yeah. Jimmy Woo said, you know. Mm. So they diminished Thanos too. So that whole Endgame thing was a waste of time. They well, you know, Captain Marvel could have beaten him. You know, she could have. Yeah, could have too. Like, all right then. <laughs> no, but her powers are like limitless now. Yeah, well, and yeah. it is a bit ridiculous. And uh, just a bit. I don't know if they're gonna try and push her forward to the more antagonist side of the MCU or not. Um, but like, I kind I of. I don't think so. I want. I highly it. doubt it. I, I thought think if they were going to, to be do the that, villain. this would have been where they would have done it. This whole show was explaining how she has become an antagonist. And if they're not going to do it here in WandaVision, the show, I just don't think they're ever going to do it. They basically let her off scot-free. Yep. Monica no gave her a slavery her pass. Anything. Yeah. <laughs> well, I thought they were setting her up to be the villain of Doctor Strange 2. Uh, Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. I really want... Him to defeat her, <laughs> like that would be nice. Please, that would make that movie really sad. Why do? You, why, Mola? Do you just hate women? Yes. Well, but also the best you're gonna, <laughs> the best you're gonna get, I think, would be Doctor Strange loses to Wanda, and then Wanda is like, "Oh, now that I've beaten you and shown that I am the more powerful person, I guess maybe I could learn a lesson or something. Maybe I'll have my why did you say that name moment or something." <laughs> <laughs> yep. I, the, you well, could be very right like she'll be like you know what i might have gone too far it's time i use my powers for good like dis definitive good You're like okay thanks wanda well what's the underlying the theme of the wandavision uh a woman takes control of village and everything falls apart in the end and you have ptsd <laughs> <laughs> slavery is cool when women do it that's the message. Whoa. Well, as long as they say yes, sorry, pass, the slavery it's pass. Like slavery. You know, I would have At resurrected least if you're my slave, mother. You can fucking kill yourself. I would. I was gonna say, I <laughs> actually true. would prefer slavery to what happens. They they describe it as agony. They were thralls. Um, yeah. you're hmm. forced to live a life with absolutely <laughs> like you're just aware of how much you can't do anything. And I think the more disturbing one for me is um, I, I I've spoken about this before. I thought when Vision said there are no children in Westview, why? I thought it meant. That she didn't allow children to be in the um the the town because she felt that was too far to do it to children. Mm. What it actually means is that she's got them trapped in their bedrooms, frozen. Yes, that's yeah, the yeah. That's infinitely the yeah, worse. That's, yeah, the, yep. the mother pleading just to at least change it so where that they're in the same room together. I mean, if you have a family, if you have loved ones, if you have a kid, and you're in Wanda's world, essentially, 
then you know that your kid is undergoing the same torments every moment than yep. that you are, but they're alone. You can't get to them. They they don't even know where they are. They must be insanely confused. Oh, the troll moves from suffering. all of this. Which yeah, then that mom runs riffing. away. Anya runs away after she uh, explains her eight year old daughter is trapped in that room, and then she opens the crack and she just books and bails <laughs> and leaves her kid locked in that room. Do we know she didn't run to the kid, or are we just assuming she immediately? I, well, maybe she ran to get she help. Took off. But yeah, she wouldn't maybe. have had enough time. Well, yeah. Uh, Absolutely. There's, there's more that does. That's the last episode, Gary. Nothing in a lot. It's like a one out of ten. <laughs> it's, it's so much that yeah. just falls apart. Um, one Are we officially at crisis levels? I think so. Yeah. Um. This. There's, there's a lot to go over for why that is. I. I'm going to try and justify it. All right. I'm gonna try when we get there. But. Uh. Yeah. The. The horrors that she's done to people. I think part of a huge missed opportunity is that we establish in episode. I think eight. Right. That. Like with, with Agatha, it's like, oh, you went through a huge trauma when you were a kid that's, like, led you on this path. It's like, do you know how many children you've done this to? <laughs> like, do you have any idea? Uh, do, do, do you acknowledge this at all? The amount of people's lives you find? It's just like, yeah, I'm sorry. Oh. Thanks. It's, um... I, I guess, like, not just a missed opportunity, it just fucks with her character. <laughs> oh. oh. I'll kidnap a thousand children before I let Vision die. And I'll <laughs> silence anyone yeah. who gets in my way. At least Monster Sync was like, yeah, he's the villain. <laughs> he's evil. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> well, what I love is that fake Pietro or Fietro, as some people are calling Fiedic. him. Uh, <laughs> oh. uh, as, uh, he, he goes up to Wanda and he's like, oh, well, you really consider the morality of this. You know, all the couples are still together. And then they drop the yeah. bomb on us of, oh, yeah, but all the children are like in solitary confinement. And like, how long was that? It was like months of just uh, pure isolation. And for a child, that is like one of the Horrifying. most traumatic, like for an yeah, adult. You're is, stuck but, in a uh, room just in pain. I think the show doesn't quite understand how horrific this circumstance is. Like, imagine being just a normal person living your life and suddenly having your autonomy stripped away from you without any warning. The mm. autonomy of you, all the people you know, your kids, and then, and like, you're in constant pain and like the, the horrific memories of your captor are bleeding into your own memory. And then, yeah. like, she walks through the town and you're all sort of staring at her and it's like, oh man, you know, they'll never they'll never know what you sacrificed for them. It's like, oh, dude. Oh, oh, I wouldn't oh, that that line. Line. Like if I could speak it, to it. It ruins two way. characters simultaneously. It's it's actually well, insanely admirable like, how incredibly yeah. efficiently that destroys so much and so few words. <laughs> yeah, it's like it Monica's makes Monica Rumba look problem. stupid. It, oh yeah. yeah. Makes oh, look yeah. It, it kind of like morally bankrupt. Yeah. I just, I, I, you know, the realistic, the reality of this situation is if this happened in the real world, there'd be some suicides, like, because of this. It's, she, um, had, it's she had more of a problem with what, oh, fuck, what's his name again? Haywood? The villain, Haywood, um, Haywood yeah. She had Haywood? more of a problem with what Haywood did than what Wanda did. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You're, yeah. you're trying to kill and, the fake children that aren't real, that I recognize aren't real. You're trying to kill them. Remember, she could have taken more people, though. Yeah. Uh, oh, it could God, have been that more. Line, that line. Oh. Mother could have killed all the Jews. Yeah. She, <laughs> was... <laughs> it, it, she said it was evidence that she's, like, clearly not a bad person. It's like, are you insane? I The idea that's like, you sacrificed them. It's like, do you want to know all these people sacrificed for her to indulge in a pantomime? Like, you yeah. absolutely lost it. Like, it's... You can't even call it a sacrifice. They didn't have a choice. Well, that's kind of what what, 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 what they though? had taken away from them. It's fucking the, her fake she children and her fake husband. Anything. Uh, no. Her fantasy. That's what she sacrificed. No. Uh, and her and boyfriend. Fantasy is exactly that. Fantasy is not reality. Also, her what do you even mean? Like, it's not like it's going to be any trouble. Just make fake a simile. small hexagon, whatever, on your house. Have your kids and vision in there. Pop in and out whenever you want to see them, you crazy bitch. You don't have to do this to the whole town. Why did you do it to the whole town? Well, I thought that the show was implying that it was done by accident, that she didn't, like, intend it. Like, she, like, freaks yeah. out inside of the house, but That's then... That's what I would have guessed. There's, yeah. like, yeah. Well, that it wasn't that um, way. Yeah, episode, with the drone. <laughs> yeah, episode is it five or six just destroys that when she's like, leave us... Do you remember the line where... He, Haywood says, you've trapped thousands of people in there? And she says, I'm not the one with the guns. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she, she knows what she's doing. You are I'm fucking bad. forcing people to feel all of your agony. Fuck off. You're the one yeah. with the Shoot uh, me. unbelievable magical powers that make our guns look like pea shooters. It's yeah, even address his statement, though. It's you amazing. You take the town hostage, you have guns. It's like, what the... Yes, like, we do. Nice, yeah, we're <laughs> going to use them to try and rescue all the people that you've captured. Yep. Um, and yeah, the writer avoids having her acknowledge it by doing that because the conversation no, this, ends. The the morals we're discussing here. I mean, it's just like Wonder Woman eighty four. How many people did this get past? Like, there's yeah. writing staff, there's editors, there's producers. Well, been, I'm starting to think it might have been like two or three. <laughs> you just have the person. Yeah, maybe who, I, maybe that's their process. <laughs> it literally is just a person doing the writing. Someone else who just does things like check for grammar. And then the third person to just give it the okay and the thumbs up, and everyone else just, they just have to do it now. You know, I've been yeah. saying this for a while, but like the studios need like a department of asshole critics yes. um, <laughs> to just look at their scripts and their pre vises just beforehand to make sure that it actually makes sense. Because clearly there is no standard within the actual writer's room. They need a department of Ned Flanders, studios. someone to just go, yeah. that's immoral. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Ned? Thank you for letting them know. It was a good bullet dodged at that point. I don't know. That, that kind of sounds like horrific pseudo quasi slavery <laughs> mind control. <laughs> Okie dickily dokums. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because, yeah, I'm tired of letting Im crazy immoral shit be justified so blithely. Like, hello. <laughs> Hi, diddly insane. D, Wanda's villainy. If, like, if she had if, captured... If Monica had returned as as an, as an antagonist for Wanda, but would have technically been a protagonist because of what Wanda's been doing, then that would have made sense. Then we, then we could have actually got a little bit deeper into this because we could have then started to explore what she'd done wrong. We could have then started to explore uh, why her fantasy land um was in fact exceedingly corrupt and poisonous and disgusting and villainous but no monica just comes monica gets kicked out and then immediately turns to the white guy and just like i hate you you white and then that's that's the start of their relationship she started it on an antagonist and on an uh, on an antagonistic level she never and he did he wasn't doing anything technically wrong to start it's with. weird that Monica isn't actually sort of dislike Wanda after what happened. Because she I, got everyone should be Remember, everyone should hate her. She, she says, should be villainous. She should mm. be the reason the Sokovia Accords happened. Doubly she, so. She makes well, it clear are, that she felt her, Sokovia Accords too. She felt her grief and she feels sorry for her. That's what her lo her logic is in the in the show. And it's not just Monica too, like Darcy and the FBI agent, like all of the, they're on her side as well. There's a lot of characters who are on her side. It's like, why are you trying because to help her? What do you want? Yeah, they've yeah got like vagina. Darcy and they've Monica, all got what vagina. do people want? Well, no, the reason why is because Wanda is the main character of the television show WandaVision. That's why they're on her side. She's the show. That's why. Well, they, they, the probably, world. Vision... Yeah calls her out a couple of times and then he just gets squirreled away. And it's like, no. Yeah, we're not going to explore no, come that. Back. The episode's going to be over now. Uh, we're not going to go back to this. We're going to forget it happened. Like, uh, I was so ready I to be like Vision is the, the hero of this story when um, he's like, you can't con you may real. be able to control them, but you can't control me. And she says, can't I? I was like, oh, mm. fuck. Alright, let's do this. Uh, let's do this. Yeah, yeah, if you yeah. You want to go yeah, I thought it was. I remember my a life. Of the part of her conscience that's still like good, and that has sort of manifested itself as vision inside of Westview, and yeah. she kind of has to fight that. She has. They have to. You know, she has to tangle with her own conscience, and the framing device of that is a superhero fight. <sighs> but that would be an idea. <laughs> mm. One of those. Sure, you know, if they want, say, we could just make the white guy bad instead. And you know it was yeah. Agatha all along, you know. Well, praise the show. Agatha. Not really. Agatha all along. You just talk about that. What did she do? I what even killed Agatha... Sparky. Why was she too? there? That's my question. Well, she was trying I, 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 to I learn why Wanda was so powerful despite having no training. Uh, I, uh and so, how'd she get there? So did yeah, was she just that, there right? from the first place? She says, yeah, like, which is just I a coincidence so. that there was another 
Matt powerful magic. witch there. She it's says that magic. she detected a shit ton of spells being the dome, and so she came to inspect because she was like, what? First problem is, how isn't she never inspected Wanda before? She would have seen her on TV at least. So, like, oh yeah, there's this person who's literally, like, she understands what she does as casting spells, so why didn't she inspect this already? But Well, whatever. Infinity War um, and Endgame, like, the Infinity Stones are, I mean, they're, I, they're magic, I guess. Uh, Whatever that word means now in I don't this know universe. Um, I guess my point is like she she says that her thing is taking powers from people who like don't deserve to use them or whatever. She's like Baron Mordo, I guess. Um, and it's it's really unclear exactly, but that's what she says. So um, if you're following the news, Scarlet Witch is already somebody you should be trying to take the powers from. She's like in trouble for having killed people with her powers. You know, without knowing the nuance of the situation, she should be interested. But she says it's the massive amount of spells in the dome that gets her in. So, first of all, how do you get into the dome without getting transferred into, uh, you know, a spooky drone? Or without sword finding out. Like, when Monica gets out, like, an entire team is on it and they know yep. immediately. So yep. she should be assimilated for one and sword should know, like, hey, someone made it into the dome. It's like, oh, okay. And I'm like I, I can't think of anything. Like, did she yeah, get a car? Yeah, because if they could see her when she herself in the show, 50s would they particles. know who she is? <laughs> yeah, maybe she wore fifties clothes, and it meant she could go through without getting turned into like bullshit. <laughs> like, I can't. Well, I, I was, <laughs> and Sword just... would know that she's not like a person because they have like dossiers on everyone who's been kidnapped, right? Mm. Well, like they, they look into all the people and they like have the identities. So you'd imagine that if, if she was not from the town, they'd be like, wait a minute, this person's not from There's here. It's like no yeah, record of this human being. It's like that's interesting. She's the only I one who were, has this too. I thought they were gonna do something with that uh witness who was supposed to be under FBI protection in the town. The reason Jimmy Woo was there and they never did. Did you guys catch that part? It was in the third episode or fourth because it goes mystery box after the third episode. They start telling you the same story from two different perspectives. Yeah, at that point, and uh, yeah, the reason Jimmy Woo is there, he's all, yeah, we've got a witness under protection in here. I thought, and they just never did anything it's, with it. It's even worse than that as well because he says that um, the witness seemed to have fl flew the coop, and so he's ah, looking yeah. for him, and he's like, uh, he's supposed to be in this town. He's not there. I called everyone who knew him. Like family and associates, and nobody remembers him. And uh, they establish, I don't know how many of you guys even know this, because it's a line that's really quick. They establish yeah. that everyone in Westview's minds have been altered, and everyone who knows everyone in Westview in the world has had their minds erased of them. Yeah. Wow. Man, they're not even in the yep. dome, so do they go back to normal afterwards? I have no, no. idea how what any of that rules? works. Yeah. That would yeah. have mm. such an insane ripple effect. Like, I, I don't know how far the memory of that town would go to, like, if you just went on vacation or passed through it on a drive, well, like, memory be erased as well? It would, it would be reported, because, for example, let's just say, you know, Rags hangs out with, with his brother Rugs all the time and tells me about their, uh, their, their adventures wherever they go. We have, we have a One good time, day, we have fun. Because Rugs was in Westview, Rags just has no memory of Rugs anymore. Um, but won't I have like pictures of him around my house? And yeah, my well, and stuff? so I was going to get into this. First of all, there's all of the physical things that exist that relate to these people. But then uh -huh. there's just the fact that you would tell me about this person, or maybe even not their name, just the stuff you do with them. And I'm like, well, haven't, if I, ever I'm like, oh, you're not going, you're not going to your weekly D&D &D with, uh, with Rugs? Like, who's Rugs? <laughs> Who? Who's Rogues? Well, would yeah. you be affected too? You wouldn't even I guess know I would be about too. Rogues about the D&D game? <laughs> Which just creates more problems if, it's, well, if it webs yeah. out to have a, a single reference of Rogues. <laughs> it's just like, it just oh, trickles God. down. That like could potentially affect the entire world. I think my brother's name is Haseem, but... Uh, do you do you think after the five year blip and after this people would really hate superheroes? I mean, oh, they absolutely. got mad when I they just blew be, up a building. Oh, if I wasn't very, if I wasn't on the accord had, side, I'd be on the accord side now. I'd be like, this is getting yep. ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. by mm. accident, by complete and total accident, Marvel has created what the DCEU was trying to create. Yes, a horrific nightmare world. <laughs> It's, it's turning into yeah. Watchmen. I mean, they're making Watchmen again. Yeah, and, and they don't even know. They have no idea. No, the show writers no have no idea. idea what they've done. Um, because, yeah, if, if my memory of, a, of friends, family members, or my own family members is getting erased, uh, towns are getting, like, destroyed, people are getting enslaved en masse, I'd just be like, so these superhero dudes, we need to do something about so this. So they're, like, bad. It's like, no, you don't it's understand. Like, there's a couple good ones, like Captain America, you know, 
like he's you know there, there's some ones that you'd be like okay this one's good this one's good but a lot of them seem to be really really bad uh, I, slavery I, is not cool not cool no and if someone said oh, i uh, i know all about this case actually i'm i'm you know i'm i'm uh, cat dannings or whatever you're like oh, oh yeah what happened it's like well she was really sad oh oh could you imagine a court case I'm sad where now. how many witnesses would be going against her? Like, she would be destroyed by the well, people of the town. <laughs> it's funny, right? Because if you were like, why, did that hold up against the jury? Wanda make, if, if she makes everyone forget about the people in the village, why wouldn't she make people forget about her? Did, did, then, then she could have her question. little... Her little yeah. Well, you know, um, yeah. Did, yeah, because did she all... actually make everybody outside the dome forget about people inside the dome, or That's... did the writers just not acknowledge it? <laughs> no, they they, they oh, explicitly the say, the "Why question. is it that we remember like Westview and stuff when we're in the vicinity of it, but people don't remember anybody in Westview?" And uh, Monica says, "It must be a personal connection or something." Yeah, you have Why to be that, personally well, invested, and so oh, I think okay. Haywood shouldn't so have any memory. Uh, Haywood, Haywood shouldn't know who Vision or Scarlet Witch is. He's p clearly personally invested. And then so this, someone him. pointed this out. Um, Wu in Ant Man uh, was really like um, he he was really trying to keep him under house arrest. I mean, he was really dedicated to that. Meanwhile, Wanda goes crazy and like uh, strips everyone of their free will, and he doesn't even consider arresting. Yeah, he's her on her there. team. Uh, yeah, uh, he's pretty by the book. Ant Man and the Wasp, and in this, it's like he's yeah. that's a um, free rider. That's oh, the character he is, right? He's um, he's an obstruction for Ant Man, but only because he's doing his job, which is fine with me. But in this one, he's like yeah. on Wanda's team. She's she's doing the worst <laughs> shit that anyone has ever done in the MCU as a hero. I just don't get it. Like, if they wanted Monica, for example, to have, like, a sympathetic bend to Wanda, I think it shouldn't have been like, oh, yeah, you know, I would resurrect my mum, therefore enslaving 3,000 people is fine. It should have been like, oh, you know, I understand your grief, but you need, like, serious psychiatric help. You need to be put in a facility with, like, the best people to handle people with your abilities and round-the-clock monitoring, because you are not stable uh, you are you are out of control and you are dangerous. So there, there needed to that could have been how they explored that sympathetic angle. But instead, it's like, yeah, I'm going to let you go off into the woods with your psychosis and your reality altering powers and yeah. fuck well, up everything. I was actually going to mention. So the whole like idea of her going to court, you're like, did the jury actually you know act in favor of her just because she was stricken by grief? You're like, well, we don't know. She ran away from the cops. Yeah, the jury oh. comes back with a verdict. We rescind our wishes. <laughs> like, could you even have her in court? Wouldn't you be like, she might mind control all of us to make her innocent, you know? Yeah, how do you tell mm -hmm. you're even... Ugh. She's also in is, she's getting too powerful to not be like we need you to stop. <laughs> like, just, just also just... with her abilities, how did the collar in Civil War that took away her powers work? Because when she was in prison, she had a collar on that was like suppressing her abilities. So no I'm idea. just I'm, I'm curious how that works now. No, I, I doubt anything like that's gonna work anymore. <laughs> it's just she'll convert it into a chicken. Just be like, well, there you go. Uh, a scarf. Imagine the ripple that this is going to have on the future movies. How do you think the event? No, and neither did the writers. Well, um, <laughs> you know, this is the Wanda. Are they going to be on her side, or like, are they going to condemn her? I this think is... a lot of them probably will be. It'll be like a line. It'll be like uh, Tony and um, Cap in Endgame, where they just have like a short conversation that just wraps everything up in a neat little bow and move along. So hey, Wanda, what things. you did wasn't good, and she's like, "Yeah, I'm sorry about that," and they're like, "Well, good." You won't do well, it again. She did say she was sorry, yeah. so if that's not oh, just you feel bad I'm about always. what you've done, young lady. <laughs> yeah. I feel like this <laughs> is um Superman wouldn't like that. that. Superman likes justice. This is like good old fashioned, <laughs> really justice. shitty writing in terms of um hey, Monica and Thingy turn up to Westview as the first people to discover the weirdness. It's like, well that doesn't make sense because anybody who has friends or family in Westview would have found out by now, right? And then the writer's like, ah, oh, I'll make it so everybody who have a personal connection to the town forgot about it. Easy, done. No one in the right room went, wait. <laughs> wait, 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 calm down. Wait, wait, wait. Right. I don't think you realize what you First off, done. who are you? How did you get in here? <laughs> yeah. In a second, that would work. <laughs> that coffee was terrible. No, well, I, I mean, <clears throat> Jack Schaefer, the showrunner, 
the showrunner uh, did come out recently and said she, she didn't know how to read a comic book. She didn't know what, what order oh. to read the cells in. This is a what? and, what? and oh, yes, no. she, she goes for serious. Oh, to be fair, oh, some comic God. books are improved if you don't know which order to read them in. They are, but um, I mean, like <laughs> it's heading for a big mess, right? Uh, you know, uh, if you're a DC fan, you know this. Uh, when well, you start messing with multiverses and inter, because like they're gonna have to fix all this stuff after the five year snap and this, it's an absolute mess. Nothing's gonna make any sense. So, in the DC world, the big di difference between DC and Marvel, if you don't read comics, is DC resets their universe every few years. And because of the, uh, and they're doing it every movie now. It's they're doing the same thing in movies, which <laughs> is strange. And Marvel had a continuous uh, canon basically up until ba eh, a little after when Disney bought it, and then they've made it real messy. And now I, you know, I have no idea now. Uh, and they're that's the the direction the movies are going in. They introduced the Nexus in that commercial, which they did nothing with, which is supposed to set up the multiverse. Uh, and which, you know, they, uh, again, there was a lot of promises made by Disney that didn't happen in this show, uh, including Elizabeth Olsen saying there's going to be a Luke Skywalker cameo. And then when they introduced the show with Doctor Strange, they said they insinuate it would lead directly into that movie, which it doesn't. It's like it's a light prequel at best. I guess we'll find out. Yeah. But things are going to get real messy so and, i mean you guys are trying to break things down logically good for you and they probably should hire all of you guys uh but the, like nobody's thinking about it they're, well, they're yeah, like oh say, we just need a, a vagina to write this next movie <laughs> that's that's their biggest concern a sentient vagina that writes <laughs> sentient <scripts. vagina. laughs> i used to think hey, we all like... know a sentient vagina if you know what i mean yeah you all know what i'm talking about <laughs> I, I was <laughs> enticed by multiverse like oh you can do so many things but at this point i'm so cynical it's like you're only introducing multiverse you can't be asked to write anymore you just want to say oh this is multiverse that's how i explain all of this shit happening you're like okay yep the, the only multiverse they could handle is a song so if this is a horrifying thought what if a baby <laughs> okay, was right, born fine, just before good. the hex <laughs> oh yeah oh what man. If I the lack of laughter snap. funny um, what if a baby got snapped right it right after it came out well, it and comes out like a queef. <laughs> <laughs> All of that, that space just goes away. <laughs> it's like Betty White giving, giving birth was just like, dust. It's like farting <laughs> ash. Oh. <laughs> and it makes the noise, just goes... <laughs> like if, the, if a newborn baby is separated from their parents just after they're born in Wanda's hexy world, does that mean that Wanda has actually killed babies from like malnutrition because they're not allowed to be with their parents or, or some shit like Do that? The parents forget about. Well, hmm. does the show even address that? Like, if they eat or are they just like in their beds static? Well, you would have all the people have who dream. live in Westview who were not currently in Westview at that moment who just don't know who they are anymore yeah oh, good them. God. yeah yeah how much mm. information can you remove from someone's brain before they'll like stop being able to function as normal it's like you don't yep. know the buildings the town why you went there what work was there what people are there you be you're missing so much yeah, like imagine you spent your entire life in that town and then it's like the one time in your life that you ever exited the town and that's when the town disappears and suddenly you're just this wandering zombie person outside the border trying to figure out who you are. Hey, she said sorry, okay? That's Jeez. true, that's true. And super, yeah, it was Superman's first day. You have no idea what she sacrificed. Yeah. <laughs> she didn't say sorry to any of them. She yeah. just looked at them as they fucking yeah, you know they hate back at her. The one person she said sorry to was the one who got superpowers from all of this. Uh, it, it wouldn't change the way they look at her. She got superpowers by walking through a wall. Which, by the way, is a wall that all of them have been through or would have been through technically. I guess mm. if only she had expanded it, retracted it, and expanded it, and then passed everyone through it three times, and they'd all have superpowers. Oh well. Oh my god. That she would have been a nice the... consolation, where it's like, okay, I know I trapped you guys in a hellish torment prison and removed your autonomy, but I'm fly. gonna give everyone superpowers. <laughs> um, that's like, uh, okay, you're still By a villain, way, but that's one on. of how it, the whole world's destroyed for the MCU. That you might be like, well, it's hard for her to do those walls thing. It's not like she can just pull it. Out. Like if a Thanos attacks, it's not like she can just generate, subtract, and generate a wall thing to give people powers, right? And it's like, well, I would say that's bad enough. But we actually get confirmed uh, at the end of the show that you can enchant a necklace to give people super speed and super strength. She can oh, create also, a, a someone in, 
Go ahead. Uh, she can create a vision. I mean, yeah, Christ, literally complete with powers, an army of vision. Work. Yep. Um, so this is what we mean about how the MCU is just done. <laughs> you can't have stakes again. It was already difficult, but like you've made it so yeah. that Scarlet Witch and Agatha, and who knows whoever many magic users can um, give people powers on the fly. Incredible powers, by the way. Moving at the speed of light or sound, whatever, um, it's, it's quite useful. You can do a lot with it. Mm -hmm. um, even Apocalypse had so, trouble with uh, with Quicksilver, you know? He was just like, oh, you slow down there, you pesky teenager. Whatever. That's how it works. Someone Hot said take, uh, you probably shouldn't give these metaphysical concepts to amateur writers. Mm. Mm. Uh, someone mentioned there was that one chick who even tries to get Wanda to contact her husband, proving there are people who live there with families here that are trapped outside of the hex. Um, but that goes to say, if that person who said, can you at least tell my husband not to come back? Or your husband wouldn't even know who you are, lady. Yeah, Sorry. So the husband on a business trip, he ends the trip and he has no idea what he's doing now. He's like, yeah, yeah. Um, he's like, I guess, wh who am I? Where am I from? And the, Do I have and, a house? And if I he know contacts, people are supposed to have houses. If he contacts his boss, like, I'm kind of confused, man. I have no idea where I am or where I'm going. They'd be like, well, he's got his wallet he, with his how, ID. How, in how's it? your wife yeah. and kids? What well, that's, that's kind of what I'm getting at. He will be able to develop through, and this is what we would all do. We go, I'm a guy who has a family and a house in Westview. I need to fucking go and see what this now, is going on. That would be a cool framing device where our POV character is someone who's just out of Westview, who lives in Westview, who's just like, the, the show just starts from nothing to a person in a room, and we're just as confused as the guy is, and he's wow. piecing everything together, he looks at his ID, he goes to, he looks at his hotel key, maybe, he goes to the hotel, he's like, I have no fucking clue where I am, what I'm doing, I, I don't know where home is, I don't know anything. And so that's our way of dis and then we discover, uh oh, Wanda's done some shenanigans. We have to discover what's happening here <laughs> along with our interesting POV character. Someone just mentioned mail. Um, obviously, yeah. like deliveries for supermarkets or whatever. These people aren't coming back, so <laughs> the companies yeah, are gonna be like, "What the eat, hell's going right? on?" Like the the real people, they they have to provide sustenance to themselves, right? Well, we never cool, get to address cool. that because it's too difficult to write it. It's like, she's keeping oh. children frozen in their rooms. Like, is she feeding them? What's happening? Just have faith in the throwaway line that says that it's all fine. That Don't, it don't is think about it. it is. Don't, don't think about it. Just, just watch them. And yeah, the yeah, amount of really? companies in, involving, obviously, mail and, and groceries and stuff, they're going to be like, our drivers, our delivery people, they're all disappearing when they go to Westview because they've obviously got trackers and stuff modern day. They'll just be like, they never come back from Westview, what the fuck's going on? And then they go to Westview, and there's this whole government organization surrounding the city. You'd be like, what the fuck is that? It would get national coverage. Just be like, this is insane. Not to say, yeah. would a delivery person who's just like a package driver, would they remember the, the, the village because it's impersonal? Or is that personal if you work in a place? Yeah, how does one decide what is and isn't a personal connection and what isn't? Yeah, or is that I, just I have... part of the magic? Yay! Yay. Again, I wish Wanda would one. erase my memory of this show. Guys, TV <laughs> shows aren't guys. TV shows aren't about the logic, okay? They're about the emotion. Oh, this one, one isn't. I believe you there. Yep. <laughs> Remember, Vision shed a tear at the end of this season. That's why it's meaningful. I thought he's a robot. Well, he's a fake robot. He's got little tear robot. packets in there that, that go whenever he wants to cry. But uh, it was a fake robot. It's a fake <laughs> robot that cried. It's like windshield wiper fluid. He has to have restored. It wasn't actually Whenever vision that cried. It was it was fake robot that well, cried. Well, it was her constructed vision of vision. Yeah. So it's, yeah. It's oh, little... I guess then I can believe it. Fuck it. <laughs> Why it's, not? It's magic. It's all magic. That's how they're gonna get away with most of the criticisms of this. If it Fuck can it, erase magic. memories on a large scale, it can Speaking make a robot of, cry. Fuck it. When the dude is choking, uh, vision puts his hand in his throat. Because he can phase through it. How do you drag that out without unfazing your hand, thus putting your hand in his throat? Well, how does like the object unfazed get through parts the barrier of, your of his throat? That's know. what I'm saying. Oh, right. Because if he unfazed, his hand would come in his throat and it would explode and all this yeah. blood and stuff. Well, so this is right. the the item, but unfaze around the item. Boom. But, well, like, yeah. but Vision can't make things phaseable, well, right? Only himself. 
I'm tr- trying to remember. Did they establish this in the MCU again? It's been a couple of years since I've seen Civil think... War and Age of Ultron, but he becomes he can become as dense too. He can become extremely yeah. dense, like in movie writers can become extremely dense. Yeah. This is, wow. mm. yeah. <laughs> right, is extremely dense. Uh-huh. Yeah, maybe this was an autobiography. <laughs> maybe. Well, no, I think Kurt Metzger, Kurt Metzger said it best that this is a story about a woman who married her vibrator and then it broke. (laughs) (laughs) How many Um, settings does Vision have? As many as you need, baby. Yeah, kind of the story. This is a whatever we need to happen story. Um... Yeah, so I don't know. Is there anything else? Because for for episode one, I, I was I've been playing it while we were watching and trying to pick up anything I remember. Uh, oh, we talk, is, it, is that what we're doing? Yes, it's, I'm it, going to claim that's what we were doing. It was it was <laughs> aesthetically great. I mean, it was like you're right. It was the first like really enclosed episode. It felt like there was something going on. It gave us just enough. The link w- was fine. Uh, that uh, I felt that way about the first three episodes. It just yeah, kind of the first apart. we were interest i was interested if the whole show was out i would have just kept watching i would have been disappointed sooner but you know <laughs> it, felt, um, raw. it felt charming to me as well the the classic storyline the boss is coming to dinner we got to make sure everything goes right and then things start going wrong it's like oh i feel like i've actually watched this episode of tv so many times it's like from, from i like how the shows. stakes went from i hope their dinner goes okay to oh my god you kidnapped and <laughs> mentally enslaved an entire <laughs> town of people <laughs> Oh my god. No, but see, like, that, that, that could have worked by having it, it be she was unaware. This was this she had to be unaware of all of it, but then she's like, no, you guys are happy. It's like, oh god, no, no. Fuck you, you're happy. <laughs> Remember when we initially talked about this, guys? We said, like, this feels like it's really building up to something, but if we go back and rewatch this and it's a, f I mean, it affects the whole show, right? So I, I went back and rewatched. I couldn't even I could barely get through the first two episodes. As nice as they were, knowing what happens, it like yeah. it's meaningless. The only thing that happens in the first episode is Cat Denning is watching the show at the end. That's which, the only like real piece of information. Yeah, which which um, was it just lets your mind go free. You're like, someone's watching this. Is she trapped? Is someone doing this to her? Or is she doing this and people are observing it? Or like what could possibly oh, be back happening? When the show had mystery. Well now it has mystery, but that's just because it's nonsense and so we don't know what the <laughs> fuck is happening. Yeah. But, you know, it's, well, um, you know, uh, in isolation, those first three episodes, they were just my kind of weird, where there was kind of this yep. mystery going on and it was really metatextual and it just, um, it, 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 uh, it, uh, stroked my tisms in just the right way. And then the <laughs> rest of the show happened and I wanted it to commit It made you die. want to know what was happening because you were legitimately interested in what was going on. It was a lot yeah. of interesting yeah. setups, and I'll agree and 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 bolster in that like it was definitely firing my neurons in terms of like when they tell him, oh my god, he's like they've had like three hundred percent additional um uh, efficiency since Vision joined the company, and what do they do with the company? They simply uh, compute inputs and outputs, and so mm. I was like, oh. Mm. Is she using the mechanics in his corpse to like amplify her maintenance of, of like the illusion, like all of the different processes that have to happen? She's using his body, and then in universe he works at the company because that's almost what he's doing in real life. But no, yeah, that's his <laughs> yeah his inner monologue while he's hooked up to the machine is him asking, you know, what's his face? What is it that we actually do here? And I don't even know what that was for. I think it was just to make you go, yeah. Turns out this is an illusion from Wanda. Like, oh, yeah, I know, I know oh. that. I thought you were going to do something more yeah. interesting than that. Just, yeah. oh, yeah. it's, it's just fake. You're like, okay. It is an interesting idea that um, in order to create this illusion, she needed Vision's body as kind of a, a conductor of some kind. So it's not just she can change reality at will. Like, there needs to be other components to create an illusion or a, or a transfiguration of this scale. But no. <laughs> it's. <laughs> I thought she took his body. That's yeah. a lie. Uh, yeah. Oh, she, no. she made it okay. from scratch. Yeah. So, um, we're told that by Haywood, the truth is that uh, he's got the body and he turns it into into cum vision. <laughs> and that's bad. Keep... Well, I suppose we we could get into that. Uh, like, what what would you guys do if there's this? I think he says three billion dollar ty- vibranium cum. weapon that can essentially like blow lasers through all kinds of things. Used to have a personality. Apparently, it's inert or gone. What what should we do with it? Like, um, well, one option: let Wanda bury it. Like, I I don't think 
<laughs> Sell it on well, eBay. Probably my not. First, my first thing would be to, when, when discussing this sensitive issue with Wanda, I wouldn't be an asshole dick. Oh, yeah, no. That, that's, yeah, I wouldn't puppeteer his body parts in front of her and be like, yeah. whoa. <laughs> yeah, like, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't treat, like, so Vision was a person. Um, yeah, that's the I thing. And I don't know why he was so insistent on, oh yeah, he's dead. Lol. Now we got his like body. It, Fuck off. Like, like, I'd imagine if he was a human and they were just dissecting her, him in front of her. All of the veins yeah. and tendons I'd be like, screwed out across like, the table. <laughs> you could have put the pieces sympathy. back together nicely. You'd show an understanding with Wanda. You'd say, Vision was a hero and he saved an insane amount of people. And he has the respect of a, he has the deserved respect of an entire planet. But Vision is gone. Vision has he's he's gone. We like you'd say we had basically we had a funeral for him, like in Superman with everything. Mm -hmm. But this <laughs> is just this is just the body. This is just the shell of what he was. The this isn't Vision anymore. This is a you know, this is Vision. a different thing from well, what Vision is. What presents an issue is that they say not only in... I don't know how much this counts. Vision's will says he doesn't want his body messed with. I, I don't know what that means in that universe. But they also say according to the Accords, you cannot do anything with his body if he was to die. So I'm confused. It's like They don't care about the Accords. Well, or the, or the, yeah, they, yeah, they yeah, tell yeah. us... That, well, no, no, because I think what they're telling us is that Haywood is operating entirely illegally in the show. For his oh, own yeah. his own goals, which seem to be or... he wants to get that weapon under his control, and he thinks that once he does it and stops Wanda, he'll be celebrated as a hero. That is his motivation as a villain. Which he will be. Well, it, I don't get yes. like yes, but all, like I don't know why he's being stopped. Why would this be illegal? Like why why is it that trying yeah. to stop Wanda at any cost to save these thousands of people and securing Vision and seeing if we can get him online? Why would they be bad things when we're getting attacked by aliens semi regularly? Who are really uh, especially? I'm like... oh, sorry, go go in rags. Go ahead. I was saying I don't know. I was like I wonder what Vision would have. I guess the stakes are so high that they would have just done it. You know. I mean, yeah, I, especially since there's no other Avengers around, apparently. I think that apparently, yeah, the, the Avengers are just not around. They they just couldn't be bothered. Well, that's yep. another problem that destroys the show is that um they have to account for every other Avenger, and not only just that, they have to account for why none of the Avengers did anything in the five year gap with Vision's body. Like what happened? Yeah, what was Tony doing? Did they keep the body for five years and then finally give it to Sword? Why? Why did Sword yeah, take this long? Just now starting to disassemble it after five years? Yeah, like, the show forgets. I think the show thinks everybody was on pause, and then they randomly mention, like, uh, Haywood says, you weren't here for the five years, it was hell, or something like that. It's like, you guys pretend like the five years didn't happen. Except for that, like, the one scene everyone was praising, or at least one of many scenes, um, with, with the blip, the re-entering, it's the most, like, harrowing and dramatic we've seen of it, and it's like, finally! Acknowledging yeah, yeah. the horror yeah, of the blip. I like that one. But they I don't like go much did. further than that. They show it and They that's did it. nothing with it. It was just an no. intro to get you hooked into the rest of the episode. They did absolutely nothing with it. It was so incredibly disappointing. Mm. <laughs> and where was, like, really where was Wanda living that. before she enslaved <clears throat> the town? That's, was she just hoboing it up in her car? I guess um, so. How can she afford a car? What is I, I'm I've got questions about her living situation. Was she supported by the Avengers me. compound some in some way? That's was she with not them? around? Well, of them. it got That's destroyed. Yeah. <laughs> so, and and what is the Avengers right now? It's completely broken apart because loads of them. The the leader of it died. Like I don't know what what we don't get any of that. We might get it in a movie at some point. Well, um, the other yeah. leader fucked off too this is the thing you, at this you, point you know, we need like a full movie to go over the state of the universe because like i don't understand where everything is anymore well according to superman a uh, superman spider-man far from <laughs> home uh captain america was classed as uh deceased um though that could when, just be the official story that's yeah, not yeah, necessarily yeah, i mean, that, that, yeah, I, mean story, I think yeah. so, i yeah. think what they probably said is cap captain america went back in time to Replace the Infinity Stones. We have word that he was successful, but unfortunately, Captain America did not uh, survive the, you, the, you know. The, I don't even yeah. this. You'd think he would um, come, like, because at his age, it's likely that Peggy has died. Um, he came she back. Did, well, she did. Well, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like, it was an alternate. I don't even want to get into that. My point is that um, she, <laughs> uh, he, he, wouldn't he, like, because he still clearly has a brain. Like, wouldn't he want to get back into, like, a controlling <laughs> interest? 
as in like I should, you know, Peggy's gone. I'm invested in the world actually like, you know, not getting killed by everybody. He doesn't have to be Cap. He doesn't have to be running around killing things because he's old now. But wouldn't he be on like some kind of board and he would be like, okay, yeah, like he this. could be an advisor or a team sure. leader or a super he could be like something. A, he lived in an alternate world type. He is, he maybe can I don't know. Yeah, tell, talk yeah, to people about maybe the maybe there were certain yeah. events that happened at the same time that he could help out with you know like, like guys I... I know the things that are possible so maybe we should check for those things happening in our world also yeah. i let 9 11 happen <laughs> captain, yep. captain and america less, becomes joe biden i'm less appealing to like <laughs> um well, like like i'm less appealing to his abilities and thus should be there i'm like he should want to do it he he it's captain america he should yeah, be like his character i should get He's involved not gonna just stop like the idea that he's like, I'd like to sit on a bench and have a cup of coffee. He's like, yeah, I know, I know, but you also want to know, know. what's going on I with the Avengers. Yeah, For example, like you could do still. Yeah, you know, I would, you know, I would love to have puff. a scene where Old Cap meets up with Wanda and he fucking chastises her for everything she did and he's like i defended you i looked after you i fought for you and look what you did you piece of shit <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, and plus you'd have the you'd have the camaraderie between those two personally if yeah i've lost people that i loved you know i i, I know mm. what you're going through i you know i could speak to this you know we've all lost people you're the only one who's kidnapped a town though so but that, mm. with the person who was the one person that was there for wonder apart from vision yeah and she doesn't yeah, care it was that when he, he learned <laughs> that Wanda was being held oh, at the house. Hulk that's what yeah. Wanda talked around. Yeah, Hawkeye. Talked the, the scare in uh, Sokovia. Uh, Hawkeye was the one who came for her to rescue her in in Civil War. Mm -hmm. Why wasn't Hawkeye sent to this place? The Why Hulk. wasn't he sent there? Because they don't give a fuck. They don't remember anything. They're all, as as was mentioned, I think Freaky said it, they're all in bubbles right now, I think, all the writers. They're all writing their own shit. Nobody cares about anyone else's shit. No. It's weird. You'd think that, okay, you're a writer for the most, just like, financially vast property in the history of humankind. So your first job, you have to watch the movies. Could y'all do that? And Clint well, lost his family. He lost his family for, for five years or whatever. So, so he knows loss. It, it was the perfect character to to try and reach out to Wanda. Oh, yeah, you're right. There, there should have been. I mean, I guess it's like I thought Kevin Feige was meant to be this. Maybe he's not because he's a producer and there's other things he has to do. But there should be like one person who is just I am like the MCU lore guy. My job is to make sure that all of you are doing make things that make sense in this universe. Well, no, they did that like with a department uh, Star that. Wars, and eh. like, oh, they got rid of them out. all. Hawkeye Kevin. was meant to be retired in Civil War, folks. He he said, you know, to, to uh, Iron Man, he said, I, I play also, golf. I hope nobody's saying he wouldn't do it because he's retired. 18. <laughs> I can't help. I can't help but feel like I can't help but feel like this confusion is deliberate. So I don't know if you guys got this impression. The impression I got from the show is mm -hmm. that it was a a big part of it was that it was made in order to spark discussion which works with the tv format as well like releasing it mm -hmm. one episode a week uh -huh. in order to spark further discussion and all fan theories and speculation and of course they throw in loads of little references and stuff here and there to, to make people go oh i know that oh i know that oh i understand what that means or oh what does that mean what does that mean what does that mean and i can't help but wonder whether or not they are deliberately not answering these questions in order to get people to talk about it so that they're more interested in what follows. I'm not saying that's the right approach, but that's the impression I get. No, that's the exact approach. That's mystery box. J.J. Abrams perfected that. Funny. Well, I wouldn't say perfected because the, the the shows end up sucking. <laughs> it it's, it's about it's about creating the discussion only I guess and only creating the discussion. It, he concocted probably, it. He concocted it. I don't know if that. he like created it. He cursed Hollywood it. with the mystery box. Yeah. He cursed us it's with probably, the mystery box. I guess it's Fuck just yes. weird because. Ever since this show has come out, the writers have been getting really defensive about the fact that people were speculating <laughs> on things that were nothing at all. Like, well, we oh, I didn't realize that was a better idea. Yes. I suppose, well, and yeah, I think thing. now's I think probably a good the time to... example of that was. All right, go ahead. Well, I was going to say you might be bringing it up, but now's a good example for the uh, the Quicksilver stuff, right? The comments yeah, yeah, they've yeah. made. Oh, so, yeah. everybody assumed that that was significant. Obviously, 
obviously well, no. people well, thought that, that was going to be significant. I think when we watched it, the 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 this isn't like us being like, oh, I can't wait for them to come through on our desires for this. I was just like, are they going to justify right. this by having it be that his, his her version of him is dead and she pulled him from the multiverse and it happened to be a version that matches up with close to the MCU, but he was Evan Peters because Evan Peters is, is one of the many, you know, people in timelines who ends up being a Quicksilver. Like, are they going to try and argue yeah. that he's kind of partially pulled from X-Men's multiverse, but also, like, combined up and shat out by a, a series of combinations that gets him into this world? I was like, that's kind of a cool idea. Like, I, I'm on board, let's see how they justify it. Wow. <laughs> like the, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, like yeah. that's it looked like kind of that's the direction they were going. She ta uh, Agatha talked about I couldn't do the doppelganger or whatever magic she was doing because she didn't have the body of the other Quicksilver. She mentions necromancy. Uh, necromancy, yeah, that's it, and what? Uh, that's what I thought. But I, I, yeah, I'm like you. There's a lot of people who were criticizing the criticizers of this show, saying we were all hung up on our theories. No, I think a lot of us were just kind of waiting. You know, they set something up that was interesting and open to see where they took it and where they took it was like the lamest place yeah and they lazy lamest said in place. the chat they also referenced kick-ass because they were both in kick-ass yep. both the quicksilvers yes so they, they, yeah. they knew exactly what they were doing so i don't yeah. think there was uh well, anything wrong with people speculating on it no. i think um it's bullshit. There's that interview where they're just like, "What? Like, I just thought it was a neat little like like thing. I didn't realize you guys were gonna get so like crazy obsessed with it." Yeah, I didn't the think you'd care about the shit we put in our TV show. Oh. The show doesn't treat him <laughs> as just an actor. They're like, "What in the world happened here? Like, how did you get here? We know who you are." The audience like clap because like obviously you could say it's part of the show, but at the same Woo! time, they know what that means to the audience. We're all seeing the guy from the X Men universe who also played Quicksilver. Like, this it's is like, super shit. interesting. Yeah. Like, what yeah, the fuck is it? What's with this crossover? What is Wanda doing? Are they going to use Wanda's magic as an explanation to make the mutants a part of the MCU? Yeah. Oh my goodness, what could possibly be going on here? Nothing. Lol. Yeah, and um, look at how he's dressed when he first shows up. That is not how Quicksilver looked in this universe. That is that jacket is clearly trying to invoke like that Quicksilvery X Men kind of look uh that he had um in in, in yeah. the film in the x-men films like <laughs> they what just wanted you... a sight gag he looks That's like ace ventura on the right <laughs> <laughs> he does um uh... i it's it's weird that for them i guess it's not weird i guess i can believe it totally without question they're inability as writers oddly enough to not at all understand what like investment in things is well react in their audience, narratives and yeah. stories and characters but they're the ones writing the show how did you get this job who did you know <laughs> well i um cuz i'm kind mm. of i like i said i'm calling bullshit on this because we get told that everybody's getting recognized in uh, the world of WandaVision like and the interesting tidbit is that, of course, uh, Agnes doesn't get recognized. And so if you're an eagle-eyed viewer, you'd be like, oh, is that is that like a bit of foreshadowing there? Are you you kind of implying that there's something about her that we're soon to find out? It's like, yes, there is. They don't, like, they don't tell us that he's recognized. He should be. He's Boner. He's Ralph Boner. He lives in this <laughs> town. So they should be like, oh, yeah, because they're like new player, but he got recast. That's all they say. They don't say, oh, yeah, that's Ralph Boner. He lives in the town. He's just being used for a thingy. And they don't tell us that because they want us to think that he's the guy from X-Men. They want us to think he's been plucked from another universe. So stop lying. <laughs> we know what you were doing. It's just really annoying. If you wanted to play it straight and have it be that, no, we just wanted to use the actor, and he's really good. And uh, it happens to be that he's playing the role of, uh, you know, a speedster. Happens to be cool. So it's all a coincidence. It's got nothing to do with us doing anything in narrative. Be like, okay, so play it that way. Don't fucking around with it. Like, that's all you've been doing. Yeah, stop treating it like it's this amazing thing that that that's going to lead to something big, some incredible... Cro like, people were thinking this is a, a massive crossover event between multiple super well-known universes. In the audio description, uh, Ada McGurr is pointing this out, and so is Ryan. In the audio description for the show, they describe him as uh, Quicksilver as he appears in the X-Men movies. 
So that's like officially licensed Disney stuff. So they, that's how they described him. So I, I, every fan had every right to, uh, to speculate and all of your ideas were better than what came through. And that's what the writers are butthurt about. Uh, nice. because, somebody, Deception. Yeah, you, because there was a uh, kick-ass reference in uh, episode six and apparently the writer said that wasn't intentional it's like <laughs> come on uh -huh. no way what uh -huh. way oh the the showrunner said she didn't know who mephisto was until oh. she went on press <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's, here's the thing i don't know who mephisto is i'm also not the writer for a superhero it's okay. tv yeah. show by well, marvel this is the this is where it all comes down to. It's just like if you're going to, because they're adapting shit. Like, you're like, don't you want to read it? it like, fair like, play if you want to deviate, but like, you don't even know who characters in the MCU are, or rather, the comic Marvel universe. Just weird. Yeah, yeah I mean, like, I, I, I you're interested in doing this. The funny thing is, <laughs> I know who Mephisto is because I played enough games to know who he is. Same with, like, Namor and, and other characters that aren't in the MCU yet. I was just like, oh, this'll, you know, I'll just be like, oh, it'd be cool to see their visions and understand them. But it's like, yeah, I don't I don't know anything about that. You're like, why are you writing this? <laughs> what, what's your well, name? It's the a guy good question. Who, really wanted who did you fillet to get this job? All of them. Oh. Everyone. Every it's fellatio, everyone. It's so weird, though, because she only has, what, one partial credit on a previous Marvel property... And then she's the showrunner for this big TV show. Yeah, and also doesn't that happen Black, Black fairly Widow. often though? It yeah. does now. Yeah, and what what? Where you just with have Marvel... this tiny thing that you've done, and now boom, you're in charge of this super massive TV program. And it doesn't Far pass the fire. smell which, test yeah. with fans, which is good yeah. if you have talent. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean it can yep. work out. If. It can definitely work out. Um... Like, it, I, I always see it as a major risk to have given um, this multi-million dollar uh, three-film project to a guy who made some weird, uh, pulpy, like, horror movies, yeah, yeah. and then we ended up getting Lord of the Rings, so, like, Lord it can work. Yep. Like, I just don't know if, um... <laughs> whatever. Peter Jackson like, I actually know. read the think? book or franchise off Big of difference. it. Well, this is the thing. This I think there's going to be a lot of reason to have hired him um, that I'm unaware of, right? Like, behind the scenes. Because back... I, I want to say this with some confidence, but like back then I feel like they cared more about writing. And they were like, we got to actually write a good story to get people to buy stuff. These days, I don't know what the fuck's happening. Um, I think it's the properties. If you have the property, that's it. You know? Yeah, like, you don't need this anything is else. Yep. We're going to watch it. Like, they knew people were going to watch this anyway. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yep. No, it's, it's just content now. And I mean, like, look, I don't want to go down the Star Wars rabbit hole, but look at Star Wars. It still makes them so much money and it's pretty much all garbage or all garbage. Uh, and, and, and that's, <laughs> that's where the MCU is going. It's, it's just to provide content. And now we can hire somebody that can just be, it looks like good press. Yeah. We hired this woman to run the show and they end up setting almost the, she says it, she says, I was just there to provide structure. You know, I, I, like, it's a cookie cutter thing. Um, I think uh, it's the whole idea that, like, we're in a position where, like, the content exists to make money as opposed to the way that it, it should be, probably, which is that somebody had an original idea and then a studio is like, oh, we could make money off of this, not, all right, we have, like, we own Marvel, so let's make some stuff, let's get some people in to write the show. What what are we doing? Oh, Doctor Strange uh, 2? Yep, all right, cool. Um, Figure out a story, get on it. You know, like, it's kind of backwards. Yeah. It is. I mean, if you think about it, could Disney have ever started the MCU? The answer is absolutely not. And you guys asked if there was like some lore master. There were. They they had a team of comic guys and the people who were the original architects, including John Favreau, uh, Edgar Wright, um, yeah. Joss Whedon, and they got Kevin Feige systematically got rid of all of them right after Civil War. That's pretty much when he took full charge of this the MCU. This explains so much. Is that is that true? Wow. Okay. Yes. Yes, huh. they, uh, there, there was a big battle between um, Ike Perlmutter, who was the, he used to own Marvel, and when he sold it to Disney, he had a board seat, and he still ran the TV side. Uh, that's why oh, a lot, a lot I, of yeah, the TV sucked, yeah. Yeah, I remember this. And Kevin Feige won, and they blamed all the ills of the MCU on Ike Perlmutter, like not, not having a Captain Marvel movie, not doing a Black Widow movie earlier, not doing a Black Panther movie earlier, and that might have been true. 
but uh yeah, yeah kevin feige was a producer and he beat a disney board member in a in a battle of egos uh because he was successful you know he took he took a lot of credit for the mcu and he had a lot of help including from john favreau who was not involved anymore so I mean that that provides context, and they also they I mean yeah. you hear the the excuses are coming out for the show. They're they're blaming COVID for a lot of stuff. They're <laughs> saying there was a bunch of uh, toxic uh, uh, you know toxic male director footage that was left on the cutting room floor floor because there was uh, the effects people didn't have enough time to finish the give effects. Give more time, like that's all. Yeah, like, push him back. Like, what do you, wait, Blu-ray what do you mean? The last well, they had more toxic, time. Toxic male footage. They had more time though. <laughs> it's uh, when man's uh, director Hayward. Here. There was a lot more director Hayward footage okay. that supposedly to provide context what? to his assholeness. Oh, okay. <laughs> what was, you know what? what we don't what need motivation rush? for the villain. Sounds like bullshit. I but think the rush, the rush was probably for Disney show? Plus. I, th- I imagine it has to do with probably there are quarterly goals or stuff for like Disney Plus. Yeah. Like for invest. Because isn't the fiscal year in America ends in March? So like yep. there's probably a massive incentive to like get things done before March. That probably explains why a lot of properties and video games and stuff come out like before the end of March, because it's like, see, we got sales, we got like 100 million people on Disney Plus. May, I mean, that that may well because Falcon and Winter Soldier got really massively really. delayed. Like mm-hmm. that show got massively, massively delayed. It was meant to come out in August, but then God forbid halfway... Disney makes a loss. No, well, no, no, it's not no, even no, a loss. No, no, it's no, it's, no, it's just a little it's not, less it's cash. Not, it's not even they make. Yeah, it's not even they make a loss. It's just they make less money. Batwoman is yeah, willing right. to take breaks. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Are we here? Are we actually here? Are we doing positive comparisons Look, with Batwoman? Bat- Batwoman has, uh, knows how to have fun. Okay. The writer the writers of Batwoman, they have to take a break to rest their brains. And, <laughs> yeah, big, big you know, brain. Gotta, you know, they have to carry it around a yeah, wheelbarrow. All that creativity, all those juices, they gotta oh, they gotta apparently uh, apparently Disney has lost a lot of money due to parks being closed. Oh. Yes. Uh, oh, yeah, oh boo hoo! <laughs> well, out a tear. Boo fucking yeah. who? World's smallest I, violin. It, I guess that's the thing is it's hard not to get more cynical about the what's happening with Marvel because it's just like there's just so much content that's coming out and like you look you look forward to this year. It's like man, let's run through the list. Falcon and Winter Soldier. I'm super concerned about that one. I want yeah. it to be good because it's got Zemo and stuff in it, and it's a sequel basically to Civil War, but. I don't, Loki is like, oh, oh I don't uh, know. Dude, Loki will Black do the same Widow, thing like, this show did. Loki will introduce a whole bunch of tisms that are going to fuck with everything we understand. Yeah, about. time oh, travel. And then wait, we got yeah. Black Widow. It's which alternate is like, dimension and Loki, yeah. so it's like, that's that's going to create a lot of problems. <laughs> you guys are going to love Miss Marvel. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, you run through the list like Black Widow. One, too late. Uh, two, you might destroy, you might damage... Uh, Black Widow, because she's like the only character who came out of in, uh, Endgame unscathed, I think. But yeah. there's always potential to ruin. And also, but it's written by the same dying. person who wrote this show, so yep. that's concerning. Um, and then we got like Shang-Chi. It's like, oh, all right. <laughs> Eternals, big concerns from that one. It's like, oh, they were here all along. Really? Really? Mm. <laughs> they were here <laughs> the whole time? Really? Why didn't they show up in like any of the Avengers films? Why weren't they a presence at all? And yeah, you're right. We got like Miss Marvel, which is going to set up Captain Marvel too. It's like, oh, fuck. Like, we got Spider Man at least, but that's got multiverse. So, like, this whole series, I'm so worried about where we're going. Yeah. I'm so I would stupid. be. I mean, like, the Eternals has been done. Like, that film is in the can shot. We yeah, haven't seen a frame for of footage. Mm-hmm. And no, those, no trailer. those posters and stuff that they've shown up. Oh, like, what I don't know what like why they look like they got photoshopped faces onto these paintings. Oh, I've seen that. So I don't, um, I don't know. Something yeah. uh, to to think about as well, especially with the <coughs> the the few Buffy fans in in this call. Seeing Anya was really cool, and it's nice it to see Emma Caulfield yeah. doing work. And you get told Dottie's the key to everything in this town. <laughs> like ooh, that didn't mean anything, yeah. right? Me, it means nothing. <laughs> and uh, even the actress said she hopes she doesn't get any hate from having to be a character that was said to be important. <laughs> like, oh. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I was looking at my little notes here for my season review, and one of the things I put down was I was interested in all these characters they were introducing and how they were going to turn out. I mean, they just ended up being 
a bunch of people being tortured by Wanda, yeah, like, essentially, and that's it. For instance, right. like Dottie could have been someone who is fully aware of everything that's happening. She just tries to tweak it and control it. And you get that impression when um, she's in like that meeting and someone is de delivering the meeting's topics and she forgets one. And she's like, oh, did, did I did, did I forget part of that? And then she like looks at her and you know she, she's like, you won't be leading these meetings anymore. And it's just like, ooh. Like, is that just surface level? Is that just the, the silly drama of this 60s episode? Or is it more so, like, indicative of something that's going on underneath that Dottie does control a lot of what happens here? It's like, it's nothing. It's nothing at all. Stop, a complete nothing. Stop nothing thinking at about all. it. Nothing at all. And he's like, is, oh. and that, I mean, that's kind of funny because it applies to, like, the actual villain of this show, too. Stupid uh, sexy Flanders. We are. You say the actual villain, I assume you mean oh. Wanda. Stupid, sexy uh, Hayward. Yeah. I would say the or more villainous Clark. character in the season is Wanda, yeah. Um, next Clark. up is According Hayward, According to the guess. showrunner, the villain is grief. <laughs> uh, so, so what the I mean to say is... The is, fucking um, writer herself. I'm not yes. sure we talked about this, but it really bugged me when it... So, like, they have the song for Agatha all along, and it's like, it's meant to be this big reveal, but it means nothing, because, like, none of the information that's revealed means anything at all. What do you it's mean? killed a dog, okay? It was, it was, it was actually, it's <laughs> weird, because it comes out from nowhere. Like, we were doing, episodically, we had our, our, our time periods that it was, you know, emulating. And then we get the Agatha song, and I'm like, but we were just, like, in the, the aughts. We're just, like, for shows. I don't know. It's yeah, we're like in the 90s, I think, for that one. Oh, that was Malcolm was in the Agatha. Middle, was it? No, that was aughts. Yeah. It was aughts. But then so, I'm like, okay, so why are we doing the song? Is it because they just... What what's this? The song is tonally very inconsistent in a show that was otherwise quite inconsistent with its time period, you know, progression. Yeah, yeah, they they push you through. Well, because the this is the problem. Um, a lot of content does this, where it's like we're about to recontextualize something <clears throat> for you. Get ready, and you're like, okay, cool. What are we doing? It's like, well, uh, thesis statement. Agatha was behind all of it. And you're like, right? And oh, like, no, she. Well, Aww. first of all, that conflicts with what I understood of this season so far, but okay, maybe you can explain it to me. And it's like, all right, so first and foremost, when she was helping with, like, the plant and the food and stuff, that that was Agatha. <laughs> okay? Yep. Um, Agatha, and, um, with the with the rabbit in the magic contest thing, she, 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 did, she was doing stuff with the rabbit. She was fucking around with everything. It was, and oh, you're like, okay. All right. Okay. She all right. was the one who managed to take um, the neighbor out of his trance and make him start sawing the brick. Okay. Oh, cool. Why would he saw the, the brick? That takes an incredible amount of effort to do. Well, it's, what, a magic mm. rags. Not real brick, oh. it's styrofoam. I don't fucking know. Um, oh. And we never saw him again. <laughs> Um, I don't think we did. I, th I think he uh, pops up like yeah, we did. here and the there. End for just yeah. a, a he was in no meaningful way. No, he yeah. was in. Was it episodes? The Halloween episode. He was the guy who was on Neighborhood Watch. Yeah, yeah. he, he does. He does pop up. Um, but just but to, he doesn't do anything important. No, uh, just to stay on the topic though, like it's then like she was behind Evan Peters, and now and now you're yeah. just like what the. F what 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 are you what are you suggesting? She was behind like random pieces. It's like she faked her whole like brain thing when she was talking to Vision in the Halloween episode. Okay, she's a troll. Yeah, and prankster. Then, basically. She's and she she's asked a question that like, Wanda found uncomfortable. It's like it's saying... so. Agatha was just a minor nuisance all along. Like <laughs> that means uh, this is the thing. I think viewers who are on board with the show will be like, ah, oh, it was Agatha, and you're like. Hello. What, do you what mean does that mean? Like, what, what, what do you it? think that means? What was it? Yeah. Uh, because what it wasn't. It, you're talking about? it wasn't Agatha all along. No, it wasn't at no, all. Wasn't you find out all. that what? Like, and then she's like, "And I killed Sparky." It's like Sparky's not real. <laughs> you <Yeah. laughs> Sparky's not real. <laughs> you. She was the one who brought him in. Or, or like, uh, you when you uh, found out presumably, Sparky wasn't like real. she would have spawned him, uh, like, because because Wanda's surprised by it, so it's just like I'm assuming Agatha cast the dog and then was like, "Lol, dog dead." Okay. Or, or what if it was a dog from the town that she took? I that, uh, got no idea. That, uh, Wanda had chained up in a <laughs> in a dog house. <laughs> well, that's the thing? We don't see many animals at all. Uh, Wanda probably killed them all. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, uh, well, Agatha animals, did, because it just went around exactly killing right. animals. Yep. Well, that's where the whole thing falls apart. The premise was they were supposed to be in this town uh, during sitcoms trying to fit in when they didn't need to fit in. I mean, Wanda was controlling everything. So remember, they were like, don't do magic in front of other people. It's like, why? You, you oh. had control of their minds anyway. 
Yeah. Do you feel like? Yeah, that's another like good it point. Would be almost an immediate, not a fix, but it would it would help if like maybe uh, if if you establish that I don't know for some reason when uh, when Wanda comes back after Endgame, like Agatha's already on it and she's messing with her and stuff and like leads her to almost create the alternate reality. Um, like if she was putting her in a trance or something or like tricking her just to see what would happen. Well. Um, so that we're all clear, Agatha's goal is to have Wanda cast spells and so she can sap her while doing it. Apparently Agatha can only sap magic from people when they're casting their spells. That, so her like motivation, a mentor. And, she wants to Wanda encourage Wanda... Well, this is, there's another line where they say once a spell is cast, it can't be changed or, or it can't be stopped. She, I think she says it can't be changed, but it can be stopped. And she says that all the spells are on autopilot. So and she's, she's constantly casting a spell. Then so well, like that, that, that was the thing. That I was I was like, surely she is. Yeah, like the spells are getting re redone all the time. They're all in real time. So like, why aren't you just sapping her now? But like, that's to and try and justify why they have their magic fight. Is Agatha wants her to use her powers so that she can do big suck? But like, why didn't she just do that straight away? <laughs> like, if wouldn't that technically apply to the entire town? Couldn't she do the suck? From well, the town itself, I, as far yeah. as I can tell, she can make herself invisible. <laughs> uh, Wanda can do that too. So if she can make herself invisible and create fake enemies for her, why not like generate some stuff that Wanda can try and fight with her magic and then sap her power invisibly behind her? Ooh, I don't know, really unclear concept. what exactly Agatha can do. She seems to just forget that she can do certain things or hold back mm. for some reason, and maybe it's because she's kind of sadistic or. Wants to have what? fun, but it's it's weird. I have no clue what why she does the what, things she does. To what end is she doing this? She wants her power. She wants to sing a, she yeah. wants to sing a song. She reckons yeah, the Wanda shouldn't have that power end, because she, she, she yeah, that and she might. She says she's in the, she's in the right. She like, says she, that she will fix her spell, and she's explicit. She says, "I will get rid of all the the fuck ups you've got, which make like making people feel pain." It's not even like when she says that, and it's not even strongly implied that she was going to take away Wanda's dream, her her fake world, that she was just going to repair it. It's weird. But then at the end, she's she said she kind of went back on it. She's like, it'll still be broken, just like you. kind of. Just yeah, like she you, says yeah. a broken spell is always broken. So this is the thing about Agatha. She is she's so incompetently written that for the most part, she's not even a villain. Um, oh, you, yeah, you look at her intro like... sequence, which, by the way, is portrayed very dark. The music is very ominous. A bunch of people try to kill her for reading about magic. So I'm on her yeah, team. And then she rightfully defends yeah, herself. Yeah, they, they try to do the big suck on her. She does the counter suck, and it's just like, fine, <laughs> go ahead. I, I would do the same thing. Fuck them. And they all turn into zombies. Plus, she... And she was like begging to like get trained as as she, well. So, she towards, says, so she's even more sympathetic because of that. Because clearly she was trying not to do the big suck. And and she said she'll be good. She was like, let me let, let me do good or whatever. This is like, nah, boo. No, they they explicitly that, like, say you've been reading magic out of your station and age. That's her crime. Mm, her age is yeah. about thirty eight. Well, yeah. She, <laughs> Well, uh, I think they they do young makeup on her for that scene to make it look like she's a lot younger. I don't I don't yeah, care though. Like, why would you show me that scene to be like you see Agatha? Ooh, spooky villain. It's like no, really. Yeah, That's you'd imagine same... if you had like a flashback with like a coven of witches, you would want to like have her doing something hideous and like betraying them and like going against them or like out of her out of her way. But it's nothing like that in that flashback. That, that bit was just like Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Well, yeah, it's also strangely directed and put together with the tone of the show. I would uh, posit that they've definitely not remembered the MCU because this plotline is in Doctor Strange. They all call Doctor Strange out for getting access to magic that is beyond mm. his position, yeah. but he ends up like using it for good because of course he would, because he's trying to save the world. Uh, the, it's, it's essentially like left as a position of like, remember she's a hypocrite, the uh, Sorceress Supreme or whatever, because she engages in the dark magic that she yeah, told yeah. no one else can touch. So, yes. like, that film, for all of its flaws, like, handled that aspect just fine. This one was, like, fumbled all over the place. I don't understand what you're trying to tell me. It's like, Agatha's evil. Why? Yeah, and, yeah, and, like, for all of the bad things she did, which is kill a maybe not real dog, her punishment is... 
being stripped of her personality and free will and, and being she, held captive basically she releases a, a some person. of the people and she's like having yeah. them explain to wanda what they've done to her and she's like all i did was cut the strings on your meat puppets it's like yeah <laughs> I'm I believe yeah. for this. You did this, Wanda. This wasn't Wanda me. To... I'm just showing you what they are underneath. And then the, the best part is how Wanda tries to kill them, and then one of them says, "If you won't let us live, just kill us." It's like, yeah. Man, why yeah, she tries to stra lying? And this for anybody who's like, help. "Hey, she strangled her kids," like, I don't even know if they're real. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I, I just, I just realized something. Like her punishment to get like transfigurated into that personality that she was under the dome. That is not. <laughs> Under the dome, mean, <laughs> meaning where that where is she so, right now? Yeah, yeah, uh, Westview, yeah. Where did out. she go? Where was she like physically? Where is she? Because the place she was supposed to go doesn't exist anymore. No, Wanda took it all back at the end. So if she'd where locked she? her in the world, then she would have been unlocked when it all closed down. Yeah, but the, yeah the world a was a physical spell. place. This is why it's so like chilling it's like she's cast a spell on her to be trapped inside a person she isn't forever until she forever. needs her for something it's like and oh then my i guess God. she'll lock her back in it's like dude just kill her just kill her like come it's on. essentially <laughs> a fate worse than death like living that, like a death, different yeah. life and dying that way like that's horrifying actually but the writers don't even know what they've done that's the thing they don't even acknowledge oh, it no like, she literally right, says like it's Cruel, like you're cruel, and it's one of those moments where you're supposed to be like, nah, she's manipulating Wanda. It's like it's not though. It's like, no, you really are cruel, Wanda, for doing this. I guess. I was asking if thing. Agnes could go into her basement that has the anti-magic runes. No, um oh. I think active This is the problem with this show. I can't tell you because I've I've watched it again, I was paying good attention. I don't know if the runes prevent active spells, they just prevent you from casting new ones. Well, I surely it will it would cancel active spells because she didn't did she set up the runes in Westview before Wanda had done the big hex she spells cast, that change everything? Upon rewatching, she cast them during their final battle. She keeps missing, quote unquote, her spells. No, I mean, like, I mean Agnes. Agnes, Agnes runes. Well, so this is the thing that doesn't make in any sense. I don't know how Agnes got into the place in the in, in the first place. And then she needed Wanda to walk into that very small space in order to prevent her from doing anything to her while teaching her about runes. And I say teaching, she didn't teach her shit. Um, no, saw the shapes and recreated them. Shapes that she doesn't even recreate, by the way. I, I can showed Frank. I can, how bullshit that was? Yep. I can get <laughs> you guys. Uh, There's uh, immaculate memory during these right. really high stress situations. She doesn't recreate them, though. I'll get you the image I, I showed Frank yeah, yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and right no. before that, she's all, I don't know how to you know, cast spells. I don't know any of this. And then she does oh. inexplicably. Oh, this no. is uh, the red ones are what we see of Wanda's. The rest are all Agatha's. Wasn't she copying the runes in the Bella? In the what? Mm, apparently the runes, not. The runes, because those runes in the cellar took oh, away yeah, so one's power, as, didn't um, they? If you look at this image, right, this is all the runes we yep. see in the show. The top row are all Agatha's, the bottom two are the ones we see of uh, Wanda's. Oh, okay, that's a Neddy no-no, then. Mm. All of them match. She, oh, Did she create her own ones? None of them match. <laughs> Mm. So okay. Wanda, how did how does this make less sense than it already did? Now, holy, <laughs> yeah. fuck. I just gotta believe. W Wanda was told that the runes are a thing. You have to cast them as spells, <laughs> and they prevent other witches from casting spells. From that alone, she managed to do it. She didn't even copy the shapes. Thought of it, and just what are these I fucking like runes then? <laughs> What do they mean? Uh, the spells. The, no, remember, the, the Scarlet Witch can cast spells without incantations. So, yeah. It all and makes seriously, sense. Seriously, the way... The way that this power is presented, it's insanely exploitable too. Like, if you made these runes throughout the entire world, like you, you circumnavigated the globe with them, w would that mean you're the only person in the entire world who can cast magic? Um, I... Put it on the moon. And an asteroid. Well, this, and this, another this asteroid. Thing, uh, that kind of, we've already said it several times, it destroys the MCU again. She can just mm -hmm. do this every time she fights anybody with quote-unquote magic. Which, by the way, I don't know if that includes or doesn't include Captain Marvel. Is what she does magic? No, what if you the put them on well, several stars on the edge of the galaxy? Stuff. Is the galaxy yeah. stripped of magic? Just get them all on all the planets in the solar system, Earth will be covered, right? 
Mm, well, that maybe. yeah, that's this is where things get really messy because Captain Marvel's powers are derived from an Infinity Stone, so were Visions, but now Vision is back, but that's another derivative, kind of from a <laughs> fake Infinity Stone, and supposedly Scarlet Witch now her powers were amplified by it, but she had them before, yet they were gonna fade. Uh, yeah, everything's all fucked up. Nobody knows Not what's happening anymore. You can't do this. Like, oh, big reveal, big trick. She pretended to be a zombie. What? What? She, what does that mean? Like, she she made herself look like that to Agatha to just annoy her briefly? How did she yeah. even do that to herself? How did she know how to, like, pretend to make herself look all wilted after she'd cast the room? I don't know. It's... Because she read the script! It's, a, it's strictly for the audience. It's it's some of the most classic, like, oh, will our hero lose? Oh my god, oh my god. No, they win. Woohoo. Who is our hero? Well. Such a second wind where it's just like, oh, you could do it. It's like, no, I have the power. It's just, oh, it's, I hate Believe it. Believe in yourself. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, so, Agatha, I guess, uh, if there's any more to say about her. She seemed to want to take the powers from the Scarlet Witch because the Scarlet Witch is super powerful and what she's using her powers for is trapping a whole bunch of people that she describes as being in pain and what has an interest wow, in correcting. So she's the good guy um, and she gets fucked over completely. And again, you can contextualize the meanest thing she does in this season um, in a way that's kind of harmless. Uh, she's trying to tempt Wanda to use her powers so that she can sap them. What better way to do that than, well, discounting what I said earlier, uh, threatening her imagined children to make her use her powers yeah. to start absorbing them. Like, when you tell this all to me, I'm like, huh. So, she was trying to save the town. <laughs> yeah, so she was, yeah, so she's the hero of the story. Yeah. And well, honestly, she killed, but she killed a dog, so she's the villain. Well, I don't want to do yeah, the big it, it suck at the end. It not a dog either. Well, uh, so this but, is but interesting. I Hundreds oh, wait, was the dog real? hundreds of years no idea. without doing anything. She, she, to yes, the dog. she never Agatha's never shown up before, so she must have been chill. <laughs> the question yeah, is, I guess she didn't do anything worthy of the Avengers or yeah, nothing showing up or doing in a few years. If she absorbed Wanda's powers, would that mean she'd like to try to take over the world or would she still be chill? Like I I don't she think she'd have a reason to take over the world, would she? No. It, she seems to like not really care about that. She seems to like care more about her magic system, which she keeps mostly to herself. So it's she like seems to simply yeah. exist. Yeah. yeah and what now was um, there? To me, she reminds me of a uh, purple man from from Jessica Jones. That she's she kind of just does her own thing with her powers. Doesn't attract too much attention. Just does stuff to either. Uh, make her life easier or or make her interested but she didn't do anything evil in the whole show because if it was if it was revealed that she tricked her into going to to see vision she tricked her into going to this place it wasn't vision that wrote the letter saying this is our going to be our forever home it was agatha that wrote that and all this kind of stuff to trap her create the world that she's locked into, then try and steal her powers, then she's a villain. But she didn't. Yeah, they, they, they Wanda fucked did up. it all. They fucked up completely. They think that we think that Wanda's Agatha's the villain. Um, by the way, uh, throughout the final episode, um, Wanda's casting spells in front of Agatha and she's not absorbing them at all. She's just watching her. Um, the big one when she casts the super laser spell to lift the borders so that everyone can escape. Agatha just watches her. It's like, why aren't you Instead sucking? Instead of just flying into the sloop and sucking yeah, it up. Yes, just suck it all up. Um, the sloop and suck. And then, the uh, the idea that this fucking moron, Agatha, tells her about runes while also establishing the, that she can cast spells without incantations and spontaneously. Like, maybe don't inform her about the one thing that can, she can beat you with. Because it's ridiculous, because there's really is nothing else other than just the shapes, or even just knowing that you can do it, apparently. There's no, like, special well, words or incantations, it's just shapes and your knowledge, it's, basically. It's it, it almost should be ridiculous. ritual, special kinds of magic, you know, classic witch shit, but no! Yeah. And, and it's almost as ridiculous as, like, let's say Galactus comes in, and he's, he's unstoppable, and he sees Wanda, and he's like, I better not tell her that she could imagine beating me, because 
then. Like, how can this be satisfying? How can Wanda in a fight be satisfying to watch anymore? She should just dominate. She can literally alter yeah. reality to her will. Like, why? Why? What are we supposed well, to I mean, do with imagine, this? Like, because uh, I mean, we Doctor Strange is like already powerful, but like clearly Wanda is more powerful than him, especially if she can like astral project and be like two separate entities that are functioning. Like Doctor yeah. Strange can't do that. It's She's... over two against one. She's so much more powerful than him because, like, you're not supposed to be this powerful. It's so hard for us to be invested if you have any good guy that's got this level of power. Like, what are we supposed yeah, to do with this? The, the threat, like, Galactus, you know, I guess. Like, that's probably all, all that Wanda Well, what Wanda the fuck's Doctor be. Doom gonna do against her? <laughs> and it's like, Doctor Doom is one of the big bads, and mm -hmm. he couldn't do anything to her. What? Don't like, make them this powerful! Like, yeah. <laughs> well, I thought the limitation they were going for is that she didn't have much knowledge about it. I think that that's what Agatha but Now she's got like, super knowledge because yeah, she's, she's, yeah, now she's read the book and she's unlocked all the powers. So it's like, yeah. oh boy, this isn't going to be good. I think she has access to um, the multiverse. <laughs> oh, Remember, no. she hears the kids' voices calling for it. It's like, what? what is what is that? What is happening yeah. there? It's implying that her uh, quote unquote kids are still alive or somewhere out there, but it's like, wh what is that going to lead to? If they're out there, wouldn't she be stealing them from an alternate version of Wanda who's well, probably done nothing wrong? This is like, we're getting into Rick and Morty now. It's like, what if she just steals them yeah. from a universe where she died but had them as kids, you know? Yeah, so basically, we're doing the episode of Rick and Morty but, where they switch dimensions. <laughs> the thing with that is, when Rick is the only one who takes advantage of that power to specifically tailor the universe to his desires, that's one thing. We've got a whole universe yeah. filled with people who need stuff, and Wanda can now get it for them. Yeah, just make infinite food. There's, <laughs> you know? I mean, this, again, she destroys everything. Uh,. <laughs> it sucks. Like... It's 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 really sucks because Wanda was in a good place in terms of her power before, where it's like she's yeah. really powerful, but she's a glass cannon. She's she, you know, you shoot her once in the head and that's it. Now it's like I don't. I imagine that she's unstoppable. Um, she could like give really... herself diamond hard skin if she wanted, because she can just transfigure yeah, her she can flesh. Alter reality. She can do whatever she wants. Um. So is like... the next Avengers movie going to be her and Captain Marvel? Yeah, and well, what, what I could beat them. I mean, like, don't I need said, anyone uh, else. Don't like need I said, anyone else. The, article, the article that I read listed um, that it would be you have Captain Marvel, who's basically indestructible, Monica, who's basically indestructible, Miss Marvel, who can heal, so she's basically indestructible, um, Jane Foster Thor, so that's pretty close to indestructible. I'm um, starting to realize why they killed off Black Widow. Yeah, she wasn't yeah, indestructible. She's, like, she's <laughs> not she indestructible. She can get hurt, and we can't have that. But it's yeah. just, I don't, I don't know why, like, I feel like Spider-Man is probably a good example of, yeah, he's super strong, but, like, if you shot him with a gun, like, he'd be in a lot of trouble. Um, just do that. Just have it be I'm... like that, where a character is really strong. Or, like, Iron Man, where every time you chip away at his armor, it's like he's getting closer and closer. Like, there is a finite amount of hits he can take before he's, he's in a lot of trouble. We have a situation where, unironically, I'm more interested in Venture Bros villains over <laughs> Marvel <laughs> Venture Brothers is one of the greatest things ever created. So it's okay. I agree with that. I, 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 Imagine as well, why? we've had such a drought with... Um, we had Endgame, and it's like, what the fuck happened with everything surrounding it and everything going forward? We get nothing for ages and then this. It's like, thanks. Yeah. This is not inspiring... Competent. It wasn't meant no. to be, obviously. Yeah. Uh, you know, because Black Widow was supposed to come out first, then the Eternals, and then, and then this. It was supposed right? to be supplementary, and, uh, I think. Falcon right? Winter Soldier, too. Falcon Winter Soldier, as well. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And this was supposed to lead into Doctor Strange. Like, directly. It was meant to be like a couple of months later, you'd be watching yep. Doctor Strange. Or at so least, long. yeah, minimum six, right? So now it's, yeah. what, two years? Well, uh, Doctor Strange has been delayed by a whole year, I think. It's coming yep. out like in the middle of next year. Um, and I mean, Thor as well got delayed massively to, um, a bunch of, yeah, it's out of order. Um, and I think they, I really feel like they can't afford to delay anymore. You know what I mean? Like we can't keep delaying the films and have these shows come out. Like, well, if there's, you, if you want consistency. Yeah, there's news on that. Uh, the, I mean, because it, it's in Hollywood's, uh, LA movie theaters open on Monday. Oh, well then oh. we probably are going to get mm. Black Widow then in that case. I suppose huh, so. Looks like it. 
this, this is the thing. Yes. We're all gonna be here. <laughs> we'll we be watching watch this shit. Black Widow, yeah. uh, we get to watch Black Widow jump out of a helicarrier and fight Taskmaster while falling down. She's a regular human, by the way. <laughs> Ooh, you hate women. Taskmaster's yep. dead. Well, like, ah, man, I, uh, it's, it's kind of, because if Black Widow was still alive, I'd still, I'd be like way more invested in her stuff <laughs> than, yep. than anything else. Just because she's like vulnerable. She could be Listen. hurt. Watching a dead character, it's kind of like Solo, you know. It's, it's, it's weird, kind of like yeah. Metal Gear Solid He's dead on the inside, though, Gary. <laughs> yes, <laughs> good point. <laughs> kind of, it's yeah, you're right. It's kind of like, why are we here? Like, what? <laughs> why are we doing this? Why Captain America this? looks positively normal now. He does, doesn't well, he? Remember, he um... got shot like three or four times. And, <laughs> and he's meant to be like him. one of the big hitters in the MCU. Now he's just like a scrub. It's just a scrub. I remember Winter Soldier yeah. where he, um, he's trying to get that last key card in and he gets shot. Yep. And it's like, Jesus yeah. Christ, yeah. he's been shot. He's shot by a pistol like three or four and times and he almost, he almost dies. Trouble. We yeah, can't that get really that anymore. <laughs> like, there's well, no way we, we can, can get we that can anymore. With, we can with certain... I, well, I guess that means that Hayley Steinfeld's like... Uh, oh, Christ. What's Monica her name? literally Bishop? shits bullets. That'll be it. She'll be like the only normal human <laughs> left well, in this crazy universe. And, and Falcon's supposed to be the next Captain America who can throw the shield, apparently just as a regular human, with not <laughs> even a like very I don't, all. I don't know how yeah. they're going to no, do that. No, it doesn't. I don't, I don't know what's going to Makes gonna... no sense. No sense at all. Um, Caps enhanced. That's why yeah. he can do all the fucking crazy shit with the shield, even though it doesn't obey the law of physics. Falcon is Falcon. Whoa. He's got his own character. Why are you trying to take away his character? To give him another one. Meanwhile, sure. Winter yeah. Soldier was a person with a reputation that preceded him and and has basically excluded him from uh, society. If he took the mantle and did it his own way, I just I think there's so much more potential for that. I know people argue over this, like who should have had the the shield? Should it have been Winter Soldier or Cap? Uh, uh, sorry, Falcon. I'm firmly in the camp of Winter Soldier. I don't know how everyone else feels. Yes, yeah, uh, Bucky. Yeah, uh, Bucky should have gone. Yeah. I really I, like Sam as a character, and it's like, I feel like you could do interesting things, but I feel like there's a lot more opportunities with Bucky to explore, like, the ideas behind what makes Captain America and, like, what makes a good soldier. It's just, there's more to explore. I, it's kind of like I, a redemption story for Bucky yeah. as well, yeah. through yeah. the Winter Soldier I, I, element. I, guess, um, I would say that I understand the idea of giving it to Sam as, like, almost like the mantle, but not the shield. Like, give the shield to, <laughs> give the shield to Someone Bucky. Someone who could use it? Yeah, yeah. Could, yeah. Well, that would be great, wouldn't it? I, <laughs> give it to, to, um, I like when my story is Captain Marvel, give it to her. She deserves <laughs> that. I guess uh, she one of those kind of light title to it. <laughs> I, am so, really, I need I'm it. I, I want it. Cool. Like I'm totally cool with Sam having the mantle, but like give Bucky the. But I wouldn't have minded if they gave it to Bucky, but also I just, just give it, Bucky the shit. Bucky doesn't have, like, everyone hates the Winter Soldier, as they should in this universe, because they don't know, you know? But if he was to be like, this is Captain America, the next guy, and you're like, who is he? And it's like, well, his identity is a secret for his own safety and the people he loves. And like, okay. And you can do a storyline where one day it's revealed, and they're like, that's the Winter Soldier? Like, yeah, he's been... He's not a bad person. It's like, everyone mm. thinks he is, because you have a whole storyline explaining all of it. Um... I just think there's so much more potential there than giving it to Falcon, who he's Falcon. He's got his own shit. I don't know. I don't, it feels I mean, weird. Right, I guess you like it. You could just let Falcon be Falcon and then have it be that Bucky is, yeah, becomes a new Captain America. Well, yeah, like becomes a new It's not America. like you can't make it work, but I will be fucking scrutinizing the shit out of this TV show, like we've done with this one. Well, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't, I don't, this one's held up so well, though. I don't see how it could be worse. You know what I mean? Like I, I can't. Oh, see I do. Can... Those trailers are dreadful. Oh, oh Those I'm, not, I'm not. So optimistic. generic. Trust me, I am not optimistic about cool. this show. Like yeah. one division. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Surely, surely it'll be better than one division. Surely. <laughs> well, probably, it'll, it'll, it'll be a two thing, out of ten instead be. of the one. Yeah. I, I can't wait for their staring contest scene. Well, so I think it'll be better God. because it won't be full of magic nonsense yeah, bullshit. It'll like it'll people. be comprehensible. Hopefully, it'll be grounded. No, we're dealing with two characters. Staring contests and but is that worse than magic breaking other, the universe? You know, though? I'm better than you. No, I'm better than you. I'll take oh, it man. over not understanding I will anything. Take that definitely. I Who's want writing. Tell me the plan. 
Don't the, gonna tell you the plan. Tell me the plan. Don't gonna tell no, you the plan. No, tell me the plan. Actually, that might actually be a legit good joke because he jumps out of the thing and is winging it. That's the plan, maybe. That, oh, that's did you say he's winging it because he's Falcon? Uh, well, no, uh, I, mean, I get it. I, I get think it. that's the joke. It's like, so you don't have a plan, and then he jumps out and he flies away with his massive wings. I think the plan is to wing it. That's. I think that's a clever joke, and that's what well, they meant. Ah. I just. But if learned. he's Captain America, then he's not winging it because he's not Falcon anymore. Captain Falcon. Well, no, but he's still wings. Captain Amer I'm Captain america ring it. He's still got wigs. Look, I want to wait until it's out. Defensive? I'm hoping that <laughs> it will be fucking more coherent than WandaVision. All right, give me that. I think it. I think it probably I will be right. Who knows? Who knows what they do? The fact uh, that it's not got magic tied to it gives us a good start. Right? Well, then again, we're assuming it won't have magic tied to it. Yeah. And I they know it did seems have like a clip a recently but... that referenced wizards, so I'm just gonna point that out. The writer of Falcon Winter, Winter Soldier has done Empire, written. It's an Empire, like of Empire. It's like a music. Is that, is, is that a yeah? Uh, music. Not Terrence Howard's in it. Hmm. Who's who's Somebody said I'm punching my keyboard. I haven't typed anything. <laughs> Truth so be told, punching, gosh. That, that's probably me, sorry. And uh, Hip Hop <laughs> Undercover. Hip Hop Undercover, Empire, okay. and uh, and Truth Be Told. Um, so so wait, he's wait, done wait, something. He's sounding a bit sicker. <laughs> well. So Falcon because he's black? They have mm. a woman writing the woman? They ha Yes. Jesus, yes. man, this is... Oh my god, this is it. This is somebody, Segregation somebody is, 101. Somebody is mentioning that Empire was one with Juicy Small. <laughs> oh, yeah. Juicy, yeah. yeah, Juicy Small. He's kind of grown that reputation for being. Did you that say Juicy show. Smollett? Juicy Smollett. Juicy Smollett. Is that his rap name? <laughs> no, his name Juicy, Juicy Smollett. Okay. He's a famous French actor. <laughs> <laughs> Juicy. Best performance Juicy, in on the Juicy street in Chicago. Smollett. Yes. All the no, people who hey, weren't actually like attacked say just we smell it. <laughs> um coming back to that um, <laughs> that scene, the blip scene, when you have the doctor telling you uh your mum she died, honey. It's like oh my god, the potential we can do this for everyone all over the world. We need like a movie that's strictly about civilians dealing with the blip. I would watch it. Yes. It would be great. It would be interesting. Um and you even hear, like, as she's reassembling from Spooky Dust, uh, you hear quotes from Captain Marvel, and I think that was where the show was trying to tell us, like, you're not gonna like this by the end. Sorry. And you're like, oh. Yeah. She was, uh, she was, she was sneaking in, you know, doing a sneak. Um, and I think, uh, it was sad near the beginning of the stream, but episode four is where it, I, I think, starts to crash this show. Um, one of the reasons I found being that um, they start repeating information to you quite a bit because they don't trust that you've even made, been able to like watch what we've seen so far. They're like, how could... Maybe those were for the writers as they were writing it to remind themselves <laughs> as they went. The writer's notes written. became the dialogue. It's like they put yeah. so much effort into explaining how um, any of the things we've seen so far are done. And it's like, man, that's all of the... The, the even like the the anything I had to think about is already gone now. So like those parts of the episodes are already meh. As in like, oh, she found that helicopter. What does it mean? And it's like, well, she sent it in. And it's like, well, wait, why wasn't it black and white when everything gets turned? Oh, oh and, yeah. and a lot of the dialogue, oh, yeah, that's well. Yeah. Yeah. So like, that was a red. That was nothing. <laughs> like they only had it in color to make us go, oh, it's in color. How strange. But um, everything's supposed to be era appropriate and converted when it goes through, so that didn't happen. Except for those things, which yeah, once again another payoff that had us super interested that ultimately was contradicted and meant nothing. And then they're like, "Hooray!" Yeah. Uh, what about the, the, the blood? Oh. What did that mean? I forget. It's not anything. It's, it's, I was about to say, no. the beekeeper. He wasn't in color. He was in black and white. Yeah, the beekeeper though. was black and white. Yeah. Uh, and he wasn't a beekeeper. Well, he was a beekeeper. Well, I feel like we skimmed over it really quickly, but Monica was pretty stupid to like put her hand on this weird force field goop. Oh, I was gonna, yeah, yeah, I was gonna get to that. So <laughs> yep. she sees the no, thing go in and brave. disappear. Alien, alien covenant levels are stupid. Yeah. Yeah, you, well, Wu is like, what are you, what are you doing? And then they do the thing where she just keeps going. She never justifies any of it. She's just like, I, I'm doing this. She we need it to going, happen. She's, well, she's rewarded with super mega powers yeah. for her yeah. incredible bravery. Yeah. And well, he let's... barely reacts at first. He's like, Monica? 
Let's talk about Monica. Um, because we're tangenting everywhere, and I kind of like it, so I'm okay with it. So Monica walks in for no reason because why the fuck? You you see stuff disappearing in there, and everyone's minds getting erased apparently, and everyone in there is being forgotten about. All of that is very concerning, right? But then she 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 comes out because Wanda found out she's not a part of this world, which is to me kind of weird in retrospect. It's like, well, nobody technically is. You change all their minds to be that, so why would? I guess she she she's like your mind shouldn't have this information. It's like so why don't you wipe it like you did everyone else's? Why why are you treating us like she needs to leave? I thought the idea there was was a little bit more interesting or intricate. Like the anybody from outside Westview is something else. Maybe the people there aren't even people. You know all the different ways this story could have gone, but it's it's literally just nah. She just doesn't like her because she mentioned Ultron. It's like oh, but like anyone could potentially do I that. Was conditioning though like is there any well this is the thing throughout the show they all partially break it sometimes here and there and and sometimes they don't. Yeah. there's no reasoning for it other than just well it's, you know it's kind of yeah here and there just sort of happens you're like all right so fast forward to knowing that you have to pass through the barrier three times question mark to get superpowers so nobody in the show passes through it three times other than monica so they're covered with that but everybody travels through it at least once so everyone's so cells get, are fucked on a molecular weak level. Superpower? I, I can't even say weak superpowers. Just They no, just know, get yeah. decently powerful superpowers. I think yeah. the best you could give them is that if you get sucked in once, nothing changes. And if you get forcefully ejected, then things get a little floompy. And then if you go in the third time, you get superpowers. It's a, it's what happens if you go in a fourth time? It's stupid. I, you turn to jelly, like full on. You just become <laughs> yeah. a deity. They become um, the blob. Gosh. It's really lame. It's, it's the exact same shit they did in Captain Marvel, where it's like, they have superpowers because reasons. You're like, this doesn't really have any connective tissue at all. Like, I don't see how any of this works well, in any way. And I know from the central journey, no. someone might be like, well, when has it ever made sense? Getting hit with gamma rays, getting bit by a radioactive spider. I'm just like, I don't know. These things seem to have a lot more connective tissue than force field. That everyone yeah, else is passing through too. alters the structure of your body. Yeah. And spider bites um, do actually do super, shit to you. <laughs> like super serum injections. Like we inject people with things to literally make them stronger. That's real. So that's that's intuitive. It, it sort of follows from a from from logic. I think it's just um think about all of the sort of main characters we've had so far. So Iron Man builds his suit after he realizes that the weapons that he created were being used for evil purposes. So it's like, mm -hmm. oh, that's pretty cool. Captain America earns the right to become a super soldier because he is of good moral fiber. He is just a good man. Uh, Thor has to earn his powers back by learning to have some humility. Um, and of course, Bruce Doctor Banner Strange. gets his powers by doing experiments that he, you know, it was his experiments that he was doing. Doctor Strange, his hands got destroyed, so he had to learn how to create magic. Um, I guess Ant-Man's a little bit less, but even Ant-Man's got like more of a connection. This right? is similar to Cap in terms of he was given the suit because he was, they believe that he's, yeah. he's the right man for the job sort and of then, thing. And then even if you do like the whole Spider-Man thing, it's like, yeah, it was coincidence <laughs> though. Not that he shot an engine and then it splashed him into yeah. space goo. This is the thing, these are all accidents that like have nothing to do with their journeys. Uh, Captain Marvel didn't even and, know why she shot that engine. She was like, I don't know, yeah, to keep it and, from you guys having it. It's like, what, is it, what do you even think and, that means? And I think the big thing is like, how do you... So a radioactive spider bites Spider-Man so he gets spider powers. Okay, I shot a space engine from the Tesseract, therefore I can shoot lasers out of my hands and survive the, at the space. And travel and the speed like, of light. And I'm invulnerable, yeah. and I can travel uh -huh. faster than light now. And there are a few Monica's connected like, dots missing here. Yeah, and yeah, as for Monica, you're lot. like, well, if you guys didn't know that she was going to have superpowers, right, and you, so she went through the barrier three times and she gained powers, what do you think they would be? It's like, I have no idea. I don't know what. I don't know I'd have to real. think about it, honestly. Meanwhile, like, a spider, what could you imagine? Like, maybe some kind of, like, ability to crawl onto surfaces that would be unusual. Maybe, like, webbing is involved in some way. Maybe heightened senses. I don't know. Proportional strength. Yeah, that could be. Yep. And to me, it just comes across as, like, I don't know, they worked a little harder to, to make this light up instead of, so now, because she went through the barrier three times, she can travel at the speed Wait. of... Presumably sound. I don't know how fast she can travel, but it's really like, fucking if fast. She, if if she could create life. force fields, I could buy <clears> it. <throat> like, if she yeah. went through the force field and could create now barriers and force fields to protect people, I can understand that. But she's got these vague 
I can now let bullets shit out my ass powers. And, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yep. You know, and, and my eyes glow, and I can do superhero landing pose now. What? If I was going to give her power, give her the power to like create barriers. Yeah, because yeah, it would make at least more sort sense. Of sense. Yeah, like I pass yeah. through this magical barrier three times, which is the magic number. So I get to like create. Oh, I, can I can do like Violet from The Incredibles. I could like create force field barriers. And I and I could uh, deal with. Um, she has the ability to pass through walls or something as well. Maybe. Yeah. Um, be like, yeah, that sort of lines up. She can yeah. turn to so, jelly. Something involving barriers and walls, you know. She can she can move really fast. She can see energy in the world. I guess. It's not really clear what that is. Really weird. Yeah, yeah. It, she's like seeing energy and electricity it's like oh, okay that, that doesn't really go anywhere and yeah and, and she can um she can turn to jelly she's bulletproof because bullet and she's not even like bulletproof the bullets go into her and then and they, they slow down and they go out of her well, the other side it's a really thick jelly like a just ooh, <laughs> what a what it's like sludge it's like mcu sludge in a person that's an incredibly useful power that isn't very sexy it's a, it's a weird power that she didn't know she had well you know what I should save that conversation. And we could do it now, I guess. Um, I was I was Fuck coming it, up with this not? last night, and uh, I did it with Fringy, so he's not going to be able to to do it this time around. But basically, okay. I guess I'll describe the events of the scene, and then it'll be up to you guys to see if you can spot all of the flaws, uh, at least the ones that I found, and then we can add more to them if you want. But it's a it's like a fun little um, a sort of guessing game. I I would I would suppose. So I, I've got I think ten. So the, the scene goes that um, Wanda's children manage to mind control the, the soldiers in the area to not fire their weapons and also take their weapons from them. And then Haywood, seeing this, gets out of his truck and shoots. And before anyone comments or anything, right, I'm just describing the events as are. He shoots, and Monica says no and gets in the way. The bullets go through her, bludge-wise. And then uh, we, we we're at the point where um, Haywood is like, oh my goodness, and then tries to leave. Um... If you guys remember that scene, I'm going to put on screen all of the uh, the issues as I saw them um, and see <sighs> between you if you can guess them all. We'll do it like a little, I'll just tick them as a go. Everyone who's watching Ooh. the stream can see them. Like you guys aren't feud. allowed to look, all right? You guys got to try and guess them all. We, well, right. we can't look. Yeah, don't Are look we at them. Well, no, I'm going to put okay. all of the issues as I found them on the screen and so chat can see them and I will cross them off as they're guessed oh, okay. by the panel. So we, I won't look. Okay, I won't look. Come on. Alrighty. So, okay. uh, we, can't, we can't look at the scene or the list. Oh, you can look at the scene if you want. Just don't look at the, the stream. Oh, okay. Don't look at the stream. Um, yeah. Okay. I don't okay. have the stream. Um, yeah, I get my chat covering it. Yeah, there's, there's a whole... This this should be fun, alright? So chat, okay. you can sort of... He's shooting, the, he's shooting between the children is like I the first shall. one. But... Not readjusting yeah. his aim. Like he shoots in the middle of them and then he keeps shooting at, at Monica even so though guess, he could readjust and murder the children that the, way. The criticism there would be that he's like missing all of his shots almost deliberately. Yeah, he is. Yeah. There's a couple yeah. things specifically with the gun. Firstly, the slide is CGI, I think. <laughs> um, they didn't just yeah, it, marvel it with their gajillions of dollars. They didn't give him blanks to shoot, which would have been in very, very convincing. The slide is just sort of CGI. Not only that, but he seems to be surprised that he can run out of bullets. And also the slide doesn't lock back when he empties the last shot, when he's clearly using a Glock. Big oversight. Why didn't the um, kid take his gun if they took everyone else's gun? Exactly. Yep, that was my why didn't one. Yeah, that was, why wasn't he frozen if that. everyone else was frozen? Yep, yep, Why did yep. Monica Rambo decide to shit the bullets out of her asshole? Yeah. Why didn't the speedy one, one run away? I would categorize that one as just she had no idea that was a power she had, and it's something that enables everything to happen. It's 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 yeah. kind Why of. Why did her eyes glow blue? I guess Why that's just what happens. Children. Why does she value the lives of like they're not even lives? Why did she understands that these kids are inventions of Wanda's powers in her mind? They're not real. Yeah, not why mm -hmm. would she put her? Why would she essentially risk her life? It's, I guess she believed that she would die to protect yep. these yep. kids. Yeah, which you wouldn't children. know. He's got like a dozen plus shots. He would have just shot you and then them. Um, How does he think he can hit the speedy one if the the speedy <laughs> one can move faster yeah. than the speedy one? Again, also, why didn't the speedy one? one take out Move. his gun before yeah, he was yeah, shooting. Yeah. Yep, which he could have. How come or the just, one who could just see visions... the bullets out the air like we already saw about seven years ago in 
an X Men movie with Evan Peters? We, we... <laughs> did the one who could see visions? Did he not? Um, did he not see them coming? Uh, did he not know that this guy would be coming out to shoot yeah. him? I've summarized them as just uh, neither of the children do anything with all of the power they have for some reason. Uh, where's Wanda? The... Where's Wanda's, Vision? I guess, fighting, uh, I guess, Wanda's, I guess Wanda's fighting Vision's Agatha fighting with Vision's vision. fighting come Vision, yeah. Okay. Which is weird. You think that they would be a lot more protective of the kids vision. in that situation? Why is he shooting children? Excellent. Yeah, I don't know if we got yeah. that. That seems really out of the point. Because he's evil. Out of character, he's I'm just... evil. I'm just going to shoot children now. What Why are these children a threat man? to him? He doesn't know if the real children or fake children. Well, yeah, no, take out his men, admittedly. The, that's like the, the okay, most. This, it doesn't work he, they haven't harmed any of them. They've He's been not. they've been pacified. They haven't been killed. There's no reason to yeah, shoot I, them. It's, it's, it's no much. reason to yeah. shoot them at all. I love I love how he looks so dumbfounded when he runs out of bullets. <laughs> yeah, that's gun no yeah. go boom. Gun no how bullet. Why gun no bullet <laughs> shoot fire? So, so when a He's chat has Monica, Monica cheat, cheat on. from asshole, so the chat's asking, would Monica die to save Sparky? <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. It was Agatha all oh, oh, long. long. Um, I've only got three left, and they might Ooh, not be this. considered. But go ahead, keep keep shooting if you can think of anything. Uh, um, why don't any of them do anything to stop him driving away? That one, um, I'm considering uh, th th him driving away is like moving on to the next. I'm, I'm cutting it off at him looking at his gun, being surprised he's out of bullets, which is one of them. That's where well, I'll say uh, this. What, what was he actually arrested for? Are we too past? Are we getting a bit? Yeah, like I said, that's here? we can talk about it in a bit, but that's outside of this scene. I would say. Let me take a look here. Uh, so the soldiers do I've not have guns one, at this point. Uh, the other soldiers. One time, uh, yeah, like, yeah, I, I, I don't want to look at the screen though because I don't want to see the list. Why didn't um, Cap yeah, Dennings? Uh, uh, why? Just why yeah, where him. did Cat Dennings come from? How did she Again, get through the barrier? Uh, funny why didn't she stop him with her tits? There's like there's six yeah, more issues as soon as we move past this. I was gonna say I don't want to make you guys like desperately try and figure out what I have I've picked up, so I may as well just say this. So the last one of the last ones I've got is um, which we kind of covered. It's just like how the fuck did she travel at the speed of light? Like what? Mm. what did, that's just suddenly a new power she has, which is kind of covered with the jelly stuff. Um, if the children can, like, be torn to pieces and reassembled, like, why would we care that they're gonna get shot? And why would he think that that's gonna do anything? Why would any, well, like, why is it... Fight, why would so. Wanda let them have the ability to, that... get, to get shot? Is so, yeah, I was gonna say, yeah. from an audience perspective and from the kids, like, why would we... Why would bullets do anything to them? Why are the stakes high for us in that point? And then simultaneously, if he doesn't know that those children are, like, a, a, a assembly people, that just makes everything he's doing worse. What the fuck is he up to? With with the whole killing children, which you guys mentioned, that isn't his end game to like be known as a hero. If he's known yep. as killing the kids, that's gonna like ruin everything, right? Um, they will call him child killer. Another the strong they're not, one. They're not real kids, so it's fine. Another significant Fake one. Child kind of, killer. Yeah, the strong. He still doesn't know that. He still he still yeah. doesn't know. That. Uh, Haywood empties the mag. Um, that means he shot every single bullet, even after the first one went that through Rambo. Why did he continue? A bunch that that Glock yeah, he has probably holds yeah, yeah. sixteen why, rounds. Why did he continue shooting when Rambo was in the way? That's one of his soldiers. Why wouldn't speaking. he just move the why gun to the left or the right? Why and wouldn't shoot he the kids? Why the fuck does he want to kill her? This is like Doomsday's annoying. lasers again. She's annoying. <laughs> she's annoying. <laughs> she's annoying. Because she's been stole annoying lots of she came out of the, and, um, But like, oh, because she assaulted his men. Well, uh, funnily and, enough, and he wouldn't. He wouldn't know about that, that because they got converted nope. into clowns. So, oh well. But um, everyone in the show got converted to clowns. Yeah, he was the only one. He escaped yeah. before even finding out that any of that happened. Clown I guess. world. But yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> but I was just gonna say, like, imagine. So fires that first one. It's like. Poof, in a slow motion, it slips through like the jelly. He has to go. Bo -bo 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 he has to continue firing while seeing her, and then get upset because he ran out of bullets. Like, why was he so hell bent on killing her? What the fuck? Most of the bullets don't even hit the the children. They're all heading to her. Yeah, they're hitting. Uh, I'm looking at the scene right now. They they would have gone right between the kids. Yep. It's almost yeah, like you wanted to kill her. He between like, them, why so he happening? could hit Monica 16 times without just moving the gun and putting one in each kid just to make sure. You still got 14 for Monica oh, he's got if one. you really wanted to. And then, well, that, that takes a uh, yeah. <laughs> one kid stops the bullet. 
And you got like, whoopie doopie. And the, the, la the last <laughs> one I've got bias? is... Um... Are we going to go with unconscious bias here? Is that what we're going to go Yes, with? that's uh, yeah, systematic hmm. racism. I think that's... The last one I've got is... No, he's nitpick, a villain. But... He has conscious bias. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ah, good point. Um, the yeah, last one I've got go. for a, but it's a nitpick. It's just like, why did her outfit turn to jelly as well? Like, how does that? Why is it that we're in a world where it shows because the think... outfit went through the uh, barrier? Yeah, but so is that? Does that mean that in future films, when she turns into jelly, like there'll be also what I, uh, no, the outfit no way, but... gained jelly power, like that can turn on whatever she turns it on. Outfit only went through once. She didn't yep. wear the same outfit. Yeah, like, I don't she think not. It, it's just, it's stupid movie. Well, the outfit is less complex than a human being, so it only takes one pass through to give it powers. But the other one didn't so, have that happen. So the here's the thing. I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> she, she walked through a barrier. She got positively affirmed. Everybody, you know, if you listen to, if you go look at the, at the, you know, at the closed captions, it's all like, you're the best. You are the best of the best, the most stunning person ever. So there's that symbolism 17 right there. shots of her standing up. Yep. And, and so, yeah. oh, she God, is yeah. now like the number three most powerful superhero in the MCU with absolutely undefined powers. Again, just googly gawk light powers. I mean, she has explained powers in the comic books that have changed like seven times in the last 20 years. But yeah, of course. Yeah. Think about the electromagnetic the, light. The three most powerful something. characters in the MCU, MCU now, MCU. all have undefined wibbly wobbly powers. Yeah, it's, it's, um... Whereas, at least with the Avengers, the characters, the Hulk, Captain America, Iron Man, Thor even, there was a definition of their power. I guess yeah. uh, that would be the and point limits. of like, point of having a team it's like well the point yeah. of having a team is generally to have people with different skill sets i mean it's kind of like fantastic four is probably the clear example of that right each of them have like one core ability that they have and um all of them are complementary or like it's nobody is cross encroaching on everybody else whereas it's like captain marvel and monica kind of are almost like exactly they might as well be the same except for the jelly thing it feels like they're just both indestructible yeah. and flying. Generic like, superheroes. Like, yeah, generic uh, it is. Um, there's no uh, defined you... limitations or anything. There's nothing like unique even about how their powers operate. It's just oh. kind of like the same gobbledygook. Uh, yeah, they have wibbly wobbly kind of powers. Just sort of whatever they can do. They're they can do so much. On the uh, the the that scene we were just talking about. Nowadays. Uh, Blame one right. said that uh, Haywood shooting the twins is justified. They're using lethal force on his men. Standard rules of engagement will always allow that. His men are now defenseless, and the twins have control of weapons and powers. It's not about whether or not it would be uh, procedurally allowed. It's, it's it's obviously an ethical complaint about his character. He immediately gets on just a, like if a child has like a butcher's knife and is running around the room screaming or something. You'd be like, well, they could hurt someone. They could kill someone. It's like, yeah, but most humans would be like, can we? How do we do that? It's a kid. You know? hey, don't just get your gun and shoot the fucking kid. Yeah, like, it, it is bizarre <laughs> that he would do that. It, it comes across as fucking wrong. It's just like he's so, and he's like not. It he does. He doesn't have the look on his face of like this is something I have to do. It's more so. Why aren't you dying? Yeah. What the fuck. <laughs> and usually you dying. aim at the threat. Um, oh, educate the your son. Shot died. <laughs> educate your sons. Did they even use lethal force? Well, I didn't they, you can I call don't it. Think so. You can call they it violence. They just are in this weird area of they've taken the power away. Well, that's the other thing. If you're observing the situation, they make the men unable to shoot them, and so to be like, yeah, but they, um, they at any moment could turn all the guns on us and shoot us. I'd just be like, I mean, well, this but I, is think, really, I feel like they, they would have done, done that, that by now, surely. Like they, they clearly, and they, they like high five, and they're like, woohoo. You know, and this, like, these kids aren't a threat. They're just trying to prevent you from shooting their parents. They're just Which, dicks. What, yeah, and themselves, I guess, as well. They don't want to get shot. They can't turn into goop like and, Monica. Yeah, this is the thing. I think you could have had a, a hyper-villainous character decide to... Well, uh, here's an example. I think uh, Mysterio, when he decides that um, if he doesn't kill these teenagers, then the word will get out, potentially, that he's fooling the world about his position as a hero. And so he, he gets really pissed off and says, I'm going to have to kill them. He doesn't want to, but if he's going to protect the uh, the illusion, if you will, um, <laughs> that's a hell of a lot stronger than eh, these kids. These kids have just protected themselves from my army of armed soldiers. I'm going to have to kill them. 
about that Mysterio cared more about killing kids than this guy. This like agent for the government. It's like, wow, that's that's a thought. <laughs> yeah. And by the way, <laughs> <just> risen <laughs> risen his way up through, you know, became director, uh, had to know Nick Fury, probably been there for two decades. Yeah. Just flipped. And, and at least Mysterio is a villain. Like Haywood's confusing. He's a guy who is trying to do the right thing for the world by getting control over Vision and saving these people from Wanda. You're like, okay, I understand. He starts doing all these weird things, and it's like, this could only be explained if he was just a straight-up bad guy. It's like, he is. You're like, he is? What do you mean? Why? Wait a second. What? Also, Agnes We're is the villain, too. You're like, St what? Stop. Wanda's alright, though. Stop it! Stop! It was Agatha all along. <laughs> no, it wasn't. I even killed Sparky too. Yeah. Um. I Agatha, if I was to tweet the, the scene, killer. I I and you need it to be that Haywood is defeated. It's like I guess you do that to all of his men. I I don't know. I think you have to have him be defeated with an argument instead of him trying to shoot you. You block the bullets and then you ram a car into him. Like it's <laughs> good timing that she was there to ram the car into him as well. Oh, that, yeah. That's well. Very good timing. Where I suppose moving on to that. Yeah. Uh. It's all terrible, and it's so cartoony. She's like, "You're mm. going to jail, bud," and he's like, oh, "No, yeah. oh, oh, no!" And I wouldn't even try to get out away with it too if it wasn't for you, if it weren't for you kids. kids. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and because in the um, after credits, kids and your dog you too, kind of free oh. people from entrapment. In the dog. after credits, you see him getting taken away, and it's like, "Baha, you pesky boy, you're going to jail." And then you're just like, "What? Well, what was the conversation?" Like, we came in to try and save people, and then Wanda used all of her powers to mind control my men. He could even say myself. Yeah, what's There's the no challenge? This, this is the thing. If we Let's talk about Hayward, I guess. <laughs> so like, <laughs> you could say, even though he was shooting kids, at least his defense could be we were under attack from metahumans that were disguised as kids, but they were constructs, so we don't know if they were children or if they were. Um, Malevolent. So and, and, yeah, and they yeah, he could make this, this argument. entire town of people, and they're we keeping have the them hostage and torturing them. We have the benefit of seeing it all has it happened. But if you're describing this event, like they took all of our weapons and mind controlled us, I had a chance to take a shot and I did it. Like, well, like, it well, even man, be you know, that's not unreasonable. Why? 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 Why were you arrested? I don't know. Um. Oh. So yeah, Haywood from start to finish, it seems to be, he wants Vision's body, he wants to recreate the weapon to use it against potential future threats. Like, well, that's fine with me. Um, like, but Vision was a person, you have to respect that he doesn't want his body to be used that way. It's like, right, well that's just gonna get into, that's, that's a whole movie right there. <laughs> like, if you wanna go into, like, the ethics of whether or not his bodily autonomy should be respected at death when he's a three billion dollar hyper-weapon project that's, like, more powerful than anything we have on Earth, I don't know. Um, Haywood is obviously I almost chosen. I feel like that's. I almost feel like that's vision. Like it's a it's a hit on his character to say that no, you can't do anything with my body. Yeah, it could help you immensely in I ways imagine that it just comes back believe, to but... he doesn't trust they would use it. You, you, he might be like, I, I'm uncomfortable with what you might do with it. But at the same time, dude, like Earth was almost destroyed by Thanos recently. Like, what do you? What, that's the whole point of like the Avengers is that we're outgunned and everything, and we need to we need the advantages we can get. And so yeah, and and, and I guess it leads us to uh, again this this should be a discussion. We should have characters fighting on both sides. This could be a whole thing, but it's not. Instead, it's a Vision didn't want you to war, do that. Will. Yeah, and, and instead we've got Vision didn't want you to do that, and you did it. So I would say the show from the get go is like he's evil. Look at him; he's tearing Vision's body apart. It's like well, I mean, he's a machine. Like, uh, it's just a. It, it is a body. It I don't know how to vision. feel about it. I'm That's like, I, I, there are there are reasons to do this. There are reasons to study it. There are reasons to try and reassemble it, especially in trying times such as the five year gap. Avengers reassemble. Yes. Discuss uh, like how there's a lot of technology involved with him. There's like revolutionary stuff that's like worth studying. So it's like there's reasons for why he's doing it. It's not because he's just evil. Yeah, this is a big deal. It's not just we give more technology. You know, it's like that. That means a lot. You know, it's like the economy's not just a number. Like, technology allows for all kinds of different things. And to deny people the ability to advance in that kind of way, um, uh, that's, that's shaky territory. 
Uh, uh, Blame was going on to say as well, there will be combat situations in real life. It's not fun to think about where you might actually have to shoot a child before they can you know, do something to you. And this thing, uh, Ev, you, you showed with, with Southpaw, me, uh, Extraction, right? And there is a yeah. moment in that film Rambo. where he's, um, he's killing lots of enemy soldiers, but one of them, he realizes right before killing them, is like, I don't even know how old they are. They're like, uh, in their teens, I guess, younger? Eight or ten, like, they, yeah, they're yeah, pretty super, super young. <laughs> Um, and he opts to, personally, to, to disarm them, and then, like, I don't know if he knocks them out, or he doesn't kill them, is the point. Now, oh, that's yeah. strictly what I'm judging this from. It's not whether or not he'd be justified procedurally, or in a court, or whatever. I'm looking at the character in the scene, and if, if Chris Hemsworth in that scene had decided to shoot the kid, I don't think I would have actually been like, well, that's ridiculous, he would never do that. I, I would have been more like, that was tough, that was something he had to do, because the kid was about to shoot him, that sort of logic. But... With Haywood, it's so weird. He doesn't even look like he understands what's happening. And his men, like I said, have been disabled from, from being able to shoot these people. The kids are, like, joyfully celebrating their defeat of the of the evil soldiers. And then he's just like, eh, boom, 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 boom. Oh. It's hard to see what's going through his mind. Like, it doesn't seem like a, he's trying to save his men or anything like that. He just shows up with a gun and shoots and... He's got but this they have to make him evil. Because they, 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 they needed a, a for villain the for um, Monica Rambo to defeat. Well, I, I'm, I guess what I'm trying to say is, like, I would have preferred it if the scene was like he has all these men, he's talking to them on his, his thing, and gradually, one by one, they're all getting mind controlled and disabled to the point where they may even be aiming the guns at fellow soldiers. Yeah, and he's like, and you yeah. can see him stressed out, and he's like, I've got to shoot them, and 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 he does. But then Monica I mean, gets yeah, in the way. Yeah, he could have had a. There's way more interesting things that could have happened here. Way mm, more. They had the potential for a really like interesting scene where the kids, because they're just kids, and this is like a combat situation with guns and soldiers, and they think it's like cool and fun and nifty, and so they like take the guns and start pointing them at people with their powers, and then they just get lit up by him, and it's supposed to be like this. Oh my goodness gracious! Oh, these kids just got shot because you know that's what happens. Ambiguous. They don't want to. Yeah, oh I, no, Mar they're terrified of that. I, yeah, and, and this is what I think. I think the motivation behind it was we have to make Haywood super duper evil. We have evil. to make him irredeemable. And uh, yeah, the, the, this, this is the thing. I think if they'd made it a complicated situation where he was absolutely justified to have shot the children, um, the showrunners would feel they failed. You know, when we would be like, well, what an interesting oh, dramatic scenario. Oh, yeah, how cool it is that they were willing to do this and we can have a something to talk about and explore. Or so compelling terrified dilemma. Of those kinds of things. Nah, just make it nice and generic. Yeah, and and so I guess we're uh, with Hayward. So that's his initial thing. He finds out Wanda wants the body, and he even has concerns that she'll reanimate him. He like makes allusions to that, and then he's just like, "Let me show you something. Your your loved one's corpse in in pieces. <laughs> what, what, what? Why? <laughs> it's so weird." And then she see what using the, the bands are on this part. Was, ugh, I don't know if like. A lot. I don't know if he was he wanted to um to piss her off. Egg her on? Yeah. Yeah. I I kind of thought he was trying to get her to reanimate him. I, I, I kind of like showing your loved one like Dexter Morgan cutting up their corpse in order to appease them. It's literally that. <laughs> it's yeah. just, they're they're kinda, sawing yeah. him at the time. It's like what what why why? Yeah, it's so it's so weird. The writer just think I'm going to use their language here. The baseline is uh, all males are toxic, and that's just what a guy would. Well, that's just what a man would do. Well, the the show definitely doesn't provide any kind of like sense that what they're doing is reasonable. They're like it's horrifying. Look at them. It's like I, I mean, I don't know how to. <laughs> it's I'm trying to think of like a story. I feel like you're life. not prepared to have these conversations, showmaker person. If um uh -huh. if we had a future where mechanical organs, like fully functioning mechanical organs, were a thing, but they they don't depreciate over time, they're like that's the level of technology. I, I think had, men. I um I think repo men is kind of where my brain's going because well this will be relevant in a second. So if I had like two mechanical kidneys and um maybe a mechanical stomach or something. But unfortunately, I, you know, I'm in a car accident, my head goes through into something, just fucking smashed, but my body's still intact. If they were like, you know, we need those kidneys back because we can save people's lives with them, I'd be like, I mean, yeah. Oh, repo <laughs> so, men. Yeah. I thought you were now, talking about repo man. Sorry. 
Oh, it's the uh, repo. I think that is. Wait, there's a couple of them, right? There's the original, and then there's a few remakes. Repo. This the, the Repo Man. Repo oh, Man. Repo Man. Yeah. The repo Jake film from the '80s, and I guess it's Repo Men, right? Or right. The, yeah. Okay. Um. So, like, I uh, not saying that's the same situation, but there's a conversation to be had, right? And we just don't get it. Instead, no. like, and yeah, also, vision... his body is remarkably intact, considering it's been around. For five yeah. years, and only now they're taking the limbs apart and stuff. It's yeah, yeah. Well, I, I think we mentioned that. Like, I, I don't see how this only yeah, started up really. now. Should have been it's ages weird. ago. There's, there's a missing storyline there. Did someone prevent them from getting his body for five years? Was it? Was it like Tony? Did Tony? It's, that sounds interesting. It's mm. Like anything after Endgame is going to have to be preceded by hours long discussion yep. of the, the blip. Uh, I mean, uh, five the thing, you know. I love their work on Civil War, but Russo's, what the fuck? You made a five-year <laughs> gap where the most significant events of this world took place and you didn't tell anybody what they were. What the hell? <laughs> Do you think there would be a roadmap or something? Just anything they would have given to future people? The world would descend into... Ma I mean, look at us over a pandemic if half the world just went missing the next oh, yeah. day. The problem is that, um, I mean, fundamentally, the, 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 the snap... That's like, dude, society like is forever changed. A lot of countries are crumbling. Like, this that is just, chaos. They just act That's like a story in of itself. What happened when half the people disappeared? It's absolutely a story in and of itself. You probably could have made three movies. Um, have, like, have, infinity, just have Infinity War, just and then, um, yeah, and then the yeah. middle one is like the consequences of it, uh, and then Endgame. Yeah, okay. instead well, of we saw. Uh, we've already seen it. We got. We had uh, leftovers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, the... Because um, I, I always argue that uh, the Infinity War and Endgame stuff should have been a trilogy and like that, yeah, that middle chapter should have been like Avengers Aftermath or something where it's just them trying to pull everything well, back together. I think, yeah, I think, um, mm -hmm. I think you could, because Endgame sucks, um, and you could salvage Endgame. I like by, Endgame. Uh... I like Endgame. I mean, that, that, no, it's not as so good as Infinity problems. War, but I still think it's no. an enjoyable film. I can't um, understand why people enjoy it. I'm I'm more appealing to just like that. I think that there's a lot that's wrong with it, and I think um, that you yeah. can easily fix it by one. We need to see the consequences of the, the snap. We need to treat it seriously, and um, maybe spend a lot of time on that. And maybe Tony and Cap's relationship, and then like End Game can be them actually trying to solve the problem, but no time travel, please. Just something else. I don't know. Yeah. Um... It makes me wonder as well with the whole the Tony aspect. I don't think he would have given Vision up. Um, he has he has a vague level of a friendship with Vision, and uh, he also cares about him being someone who'd probably be potentially torn apart by a government. And then I could picture Tony being invested in trying to repair him. And we discover that um, good old Sword have the potential to bring Vision back online. So I imagine Tony does. And uh, yeah, why wouldn't he? have done all of that himself in the time between. Because he And they were getting up. close as well in Wakanda. They were getting close to allowing him to function autonomously without the stones, so why not just um Well you know, just here's let... the thing. Yeah. We're told that Vision doesn't because this is what I thought it was, uh Fringy, I guess you'll find this interesting. I don't think it's Vision giving him his memories of Vision over. It's him unlocking Vision he says like your visions are behind your your memories are behind a wall. In your head, and presumably Haywood put it up. Oh, meaning like using man. recovery software to get like yeah, um, like he's unlocked files. his memories when he touches his head. That does that somehow. I don't fucking know how, but like the point being, you can recreate vision without the stone. Is what they're saying. We know that, yes, because Sh well, but also didn't yeah, but we knew that, right? Didn't Shuri? Say well, that, yeah, like, Shuri was going to remove the stone but, while keeping his. I didn't do what, what I'm saying is that. Um, yeah, what I'm saying is that it was pulled out, and so the idea is like, well, it would have oh, happened, yeah, well, but you know, you've over. taught, yeah, you've you've ruined your chance. But it's like, yeah. no, you haven't actually. You just need to repair him. Yeah, which kind of takes it's away way... from his death, doesn't it? Yeah, uh, it, like that, that seemed to be final. It seemed to be like their one chance was to get the stone out, and then maybe they would like the the best parts of Vision would remain. But now it's like, no, with, without the stone, you could just uh, make him again. It's like all that's the not... deaths have been undone. All the deaths yeah. have been undone. It's, it's, well, it's wonderful. Um, Loki again, yay! You know, all the deaths in Endgame are still there, right? You know, because Cap and Iron Man contractually don't want to return. That's the only reason they're staying I dead. I like the idea that that's the only way that they're dead, is if it's like, no, I'm done. Oh, 
damn it, we can't make more money off of you. All right. Yeah, um, I don't know if it's... It's definitely been said outside of this stream, but um, the, the Loki death was significant, the Gamora death was significant, and the Vision death was significant. All three of them are back in some way. So really can fuck with your perception of Infinity War if you rewatch it, you'd be like, well, they'll they'll be fine. <laughs> Just get yeah. them. Um, <laughs> Any Black one Widow's fight. dead. Oh. She's still dead. She's got her own movie. Uh, which is going to be absolutely... I, I have no interest in watching. Why do I want to watch a movie about someone that's now dead? I get for me, it's like um, I just I'm what curious how much they're gonna damage the gonna timeline. Die? Of course, she's not gonna fucking die because we yeah. know that. So what's the stakes? Um, maybe they'll fuck with this. Is, the stakes for me are how much they're gonna damage the MCU with it. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh true, God. true. They could explore a little bit of what happened after Civil War. That might be nice, like seeing her on the run. Oh, but I, 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 this I film should have been her and Hawkeye. This should have been the film where Hawkeye is sent to kill her. Yeah. And instead of I killing know, her, story, yeah. uh, he decides not to. He decides Ooh, to take yeah. a chance on her and give her give her the uh, benefit of the doubt. This should be the story of the beginning of her redemption and somebody believing in her and her friendship, her bond uh, that she has with Hawkeye that takes them through right to Infinity War, where they literally fight each other for the honor of dying in, e in the other person's place. No, we we're not. We're gonna get. We're gonna movies. get fucking what's a jiggy in a in a suit going. Look at me. I'm kind of fat, but I still fit in my suit. Laugh, joke, <laughs> MCU joke. You call him yeah. fat Russian. Yeah, fat that's Russian that's guy. what we're gonna get. We should have had the Budapest story. That's what we should have had. Yeah, but we need new movies. We need future movies, all right? We need <sighs> to set up the new Black Widow. But mm. that would have been such a cool story. Yeah, it would have been, but we're, oh, not, yeah, you and your we're not in the business of cool stories. We're in the business <laughs> of This is Disney we're talking about. Yeah, We sure. don't do that here. We don't do cool stories. We do, man, look, I fat, I fit suit, though. I'm funny, laugh, yeah. is empty you. What are those? Audio <laughs> excellent comedy. Do bad tier. memes. Mm. Um, moving on with, with, with Haywood, because I, I do want to make a few more points about him, right? Like, uh, mm. Sword's operation outside of the dome is retarded. Like, yes. They, yes. the first we see of them is obviously her pooping the, the drone in. Just to, that's, a, that's a basic thing that I'm totally okay with. When we see the whole base is set up, this camera, it pans around, <laughs> and it shows three or four more drones going in and just never coming back. Basically uh -huh. implying... Ever since Monica disappeared with the knowledge from Wu about the drone, they've just been walking drones into the thing and losing them forever. Just consistently. It's like, okay, you might want to stop doing that, guys. It's called a pattern. You might want to try yeah. something else. Mm. For example, all of the things Monica comes up with, because she's the only person with a brain, apparently. She's like, let's figure out what the barrier has in terms of like energy and try and find things that are resistant to it. And she says, I need something that's lined with, and then mentions a bunch of materials. You would assume that you'd create some kind of maybe block of that and then push it forward on a pole and see if it like make a drone out of it whatever but they never do that um interestingly with her truck that she has specifically made for her by people who aren't loyal to haywood is how it's des is described i guess they're just around and they are a utility that can be accessed just freely and they ask nothing in return and, and loyal just, to her I, mother this is all see. under the radar i guess and this is after Monica and you know company beat up those people in a state. Oh yeah, I'm I'm getting to, <laughs> I'm trying to find you know, a way to like so specifically why I'm bringing up that truck is that um it has like a glass pane in front of it for her to see through and it's like wait isn't uh -huh. that gonna get converted? <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> and uh, they're all curious as to why it doesn't work. I presume they try to work because like there's tires on it and it's like why won't the tires go through? It's like because they're well, tires. How quickly did they? Did they just like have this like very unique design ready to go, like well, three D printed or something? I thought the implication was that they actually created it for her, which is even worse. Because how do you keep all of this yeah. off the books? Is well, it all... just great that, that they quickly. made a base for the people who got kicked out to go to and do their own thing. Yep, that thing cost as much as Vision did. <laughs> I mean, yeah, um, it's all absurd. Um, and she came up with all of it. The sword doesn't try any of this. They um, they're pathetic. Like throughout this whole thing, they don't try anything obvious. They try to send a guy, right, down into the sewer and underground to see if it doesn't get hit by the force fields. Like, why wouldn't you push something like a drone in first that way? Why would uh, yes, you push a guy your in? Your sword. 
And this gets called out. They're like, why, why are you using an agent? And uh, Hayward is, uh, I think Hayward just said something like, you know, oh, just, we just gotta get stuff done. He gives some like crappy answer. He's just like, <laughs> yeah, some stupid bad guy in charge person answer. It's terrible. Like, why, why don't you guys do all the obvious stuff, all the obvious ways to test it? And then, um, I guess to, to, to push forward further on, Hayward, he's got some really, like, just bizarre dialogue where um, she calls him a coward because he wants to kill Wanda. If you remember, he has... So he... Uh, I don't know how to organize this. So, you know, uh, Rambo <laughs> says that he doesn't trust her and that he's been looking for a reason to get her off this project the whole time. So the, the time to do that would have been when she came back through the barrier. You tell her she has to go to a hospital. Her. You're off yeah, this. You're you, compromised. You, we don't know what you what's happened to you in there. They got you didn't bloods, have authorization or something. The bloods and scans from her come back unable like unintelligible. She's basically had something happen to her that's more significant yeah, than anybody ever bio biologically. We don't know what's wrong with it. She has to go. Like you need to go to a hospital. You you could die at any moment. But no, um, she just carries on. It's like that would have been the time to dismiss her. You have plenty of reason to do it. Instead, he keeps mm -hmm. her on. He has her pilot the drone that he plans to kill Wanda with. Why would you do that? It's a drone with the guns strapped to it. Yep. Um, the 80s drone. Oh, like, okay. yeah, I guess it's worth mentioning. Uh, the only reason they're able to get the drone in and control it is because it's from the 80s. That doesn't make yep. any sense. I don't um, understand no. any of that. Like, we talked it's about the from outside. TV. Like, you need the specific TV to match the frequency. Like, why do things How from do... the time period need to fit? How does any of this... So, okay, so the, the, the way to put this, I, I've talked to Frankie about it, I guess I'll just, just have to go over strictly, quickly again. So, the force field is going to convert anything from outside to an era-appropriate thing inside. That means Wanda is, is somehow aware of what is era-appropriate, otherwise, because the spell comes from her desires, so I don't know how else it would work. Um, how is it that the drone is defined as an 80s drone when the pieces it was made from could have been made at any other time? Like, how does, how does it figure this shit out? What if the drone was broken into its component parts and moved through the wall and they were all made in the 70s? What, what does it do then? I was about to say, also, like, people. I guess it converts them into, like, appropriate, like, status. It gives them, like, clothes, but... A if mindset you, from the right pen. era. If you had a pen that was, like, made in the 80s and you had one that was like made today but it was it's the same type of pen same material would, yeah same design same material or would it Is just it be like, the same pen even though it was technically made today yeah so it, it, you can just make something, something that looks like back then, so, would the paint go away if you, you know, okay well they got i guess they keep the, yeah because if the pens de-age right if you if the pen goes back to being an 80s pen wouldn't all the adults just go back to being children I, yeah, I, I have no idea how any of it makes yeah, sense. Yeah, I was and made they all, in the 90s. They, they all treat it as so <laughs> easy to understand. They're like, well, of course, if the drone is from the 80s. Like, what do you mean it's from the 80s? It's from now. You mean you created it in the 80s? Is that what mm -hmm. you mean? And yes, I, I thought they were blinded. They took it from like a someone at, somewhere else, like it was old or something like so, that. So but if like, you put on yeah, but, a bunch of 80s clothes, okay. you could walk through the barrier? Then? So, um, like, let's say I made a hammer in the, this. I get this funny because it gets brought up, right? If I made a hammer in the 80s and then I replaced the handle in the 90s, what era is this hammer from? Oh, this is the exact same <laughs> thing. <laughs> oh, that's the vision thing again. Um, yeah. Okay. Who fucking knows? Um, and, uh, and I love that he sneaks a fucking missile launcher onto it. Like, what? How the hell did Rambo not realize that was there? And why would he have it pilot it if that was going to be a thing he would do when he knows that she doesn't want to do anything to Wanda? Why would you have it pilot it? I guess she's also an experienced drone. It's a pilot, fucking joystick. Just you don't need someone who's super experienced. How could there not be someone on the sword base that knows how to pilot something on a joystick with a screen? She's just going forward, back, left, right, and they have plenty more of these stupid '80s drones. So, like worst case scenario, they just have to do it again. The one person who shouldn't pilot that is piloting it. Her mom built sword from the ground up. She went to Home Depot. <laughs> she got her tool set, <laughs> and she built everything. To say she wanted to be an astronaut, she's a very good pilot. There was no one, no one better. Very good pilot. No but she, but she died five years best ago of cancer. Best. So how she did it, I don't know. But okay. it's uh, it fries your brain thinking about how any of this works. Um, so in response to this decision to try and kill Wanda, she calls Hayward a coward, and he and his response, right? So I have like I'm just tired of people in charge being idiots. Um, and this do, this isn't just procedurally, this is socially. Like they have, they're so inept. 
His response to her saying don't be a coward is, maybe it's a good thing you weren't here when your mother died. <laughs> oh my good god. Like, I'm Why? just like, what do, you, what do you think that accomplishes? Why would you say that? Maybe I don't Hollywood. Really know what that means. No. Mm. Uh, maybe Hollywood's whole frame of reference of people in charge is the people in Hollywood in charge. That might make a little bit of sense. I just. But it is, though, uh, isn't it? It, it maybe, really yeah. is, because they're all. I forgot what a good boss They're all a five is. mind. If you're Hayward and you know that she's a loose cannon, she believes in Wanda and she hates you, why would you say, oh, you probably shouldn't have been here when your mum died because you clearly can't handle this? It's like, motherfucker, just fire her. Yeah. <sighs> my dudes, I'm, uh, I'm going to have to take off now because uh, I've got to get back to working on my next video. No problem, sir. Thank you very much for, for joining us and sharing your thoughts on um, a wonderful TV show to improve my, my the media landscape once show again. show called WandaVision. Yes. <laughs> Uh, so good. Do you want to do you want to tell people what you're up to on your channel and why they should go subscribe? Oh, so I make uh, videos on movies and stuff as well. Just did a Mulan review, very late, uh, but it's good. Check it out. I'm currently working on a video on uh, Sears movie about autism. Have you guys heard about this? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh <laughs> uh, If you haven't heard about it, you should look into it because it's quite. Uh, it is. is it pro it's or anti autism? <laughs> well, it's meant to be pro autism, but it's unintentionally very anti-autism um because oh, i'm not pro-autism the best kind of cringe basically uh oh, i have to see this oh dear. Uh, don't 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 pay for it just just don't don't support oh, okay. it but just, just I, was watch gonna, the but I won't just watch the trailer and you'll get the idea uh long story short they cast a non-autistic actress to play an autistic character and they also wrote and performed the autistic character in quite a stereotypical way. So mm. a lot of people were very, very annoyed by it. Um, I mean, that's I've... not the only problem with the film, but it's it's bad cringe. It's not even good cringe. Yeah, I've seen I've seen some clips. Oh. It's very what like, the, what the fuck called? were they thinking? Uh, it's called Music. Music. Okay. Great name for a film. I know, right? Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm going to take off. Thank you guys for having me on. Uh, sure. Nice to meet those of you I haven't already. Um, I hope the rest of the stream goes very well and no more, you know, ear rape from rags. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, rags. No promises. Uh, I'm right next to him too, so I got a full just mm. very scared. Ooh, That's why you're looking at him that way. <laughs> yeah, All I'm right. just I'm a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Take care. Take care, guys. Bye bye. Bye bye. Um. So the next funny thing for like the sword timeline there is that they uh, they find that the drone is delivered back to them by Wanda. Um, to take a small detour, the energy attached to that drone allows them to power up the vision bot. What? I didn't understand, that, like, why the, the okay. Wanda-tisms are still around it. It, like, it just stays with it. Why does it work that way when... Yeah, yeah. because magic! I don't have a fucking clue. And if the idea... Because it needed to? If that was something that, because he says, like, analyze that immediately. Pretty funny to think about, right? Because they're trying to set up that he's going to find out everything he needs to know about how he can power up Vision and stuff. However, why wouldn't they have done that with Monica Rambo's clothes when they came back through? Anything. Couldn't they, like, send something into the dome and, like, on a string and pull it back? Like, I know it turned, like, the, the rope that was on the beekeeper into, like, jump rope, but yeah. could you not pull that back and then extract that from whatever you pulled out? Um, oh, well, like I said, we don't. We got an example. They have her clothing, and if you remember, who's the person that decides to actually even look at the consistency of the material in the clothing? It's Monica. No one else. No one else was like, should we analyze this? Hey, these, nah, this clothing has been through the barrier time. back and forth. It's changed. Like, it literally didn't exist. Oh, by the way, oh, fuck me, it's so dumb. She takes out Wu's gun and fires it on the base to prove that it's Kevlar when right next to the fucking clothing is an analysis of it that says 80% Kevlar. Like, why, why would you just point to that? <laughs> that's so ridiculous. That would cause a scene in that base. You would get people being like, what the hell? There's you, guns shooting. It's like, alarms will go shit. off. You can't yeah. just shoot a gun in a base. It's not even her gun. There's so many things. I'm pretty sure she would be fucked over. Like, like they would be like, "You can't do that. You, you, you're gonna be reprimanded. The things will happen because you've done this." You can't this. discharge firearms in the I'm office. Like, that's, you can't do that. What a waste of ammo, too. Who also, who gave you a gun? Oh, she took it from Wu. Yeah. Who gave him a gun? I was testing it. See, I thought it was Kevlar, so I shot it. 
Yeah. <laughs> this, we know it's yeah. Kevlar. We know. That's why we wrote it's Kevlar on the board right Instead next of to it. Shooting also, it why are you shooting that. these things? This it's, is not yours. It's insane. She just really um, wanted to look like it was her idea. It's also weird that, uh, I think, I think honestly, she says like it's 87% Kevlar, and it's like, how, how is her entire outfit that when only her clothing was only the vest was Kevlar, you know? How would it be yeah. like such a high amount? It's not really that important, but, um, if anybody was analyzing her clothes, the first thing you discover is like, holy fuck, this is hard. Why, why is it, wait, put it under a scanner. Oh, it's 87% Kevlar. What the fuck? These things, how, wow, we should how look into this. How did this get this. transmuted into something else? Like, this is super weird. We need to learn how this happened. And, uh, yeah, this should solve heavy? all of her problems. I know they, well, it's very heavy, I, I presume, because it's, it's supposed to, it, compared to what you'd think it would be. Um, and yeah, it's really frustrating that, I know they want their protagonist to have all of the moments of figuring things out, but it makes everyone else incredibly stupid, and it's really annoying. She, does she even ask if she can... No. Shoot? She doesn't even ask, she just she does it, does woman it. She asks walks, for permission? She's thinking about stuff, and she thinks about how things transform, and then she just walks off. Wu and, uh, and Screech, Screechy Face follow her. She pulls out Wu's gun and just shoots it, and they're all like, Whoa, what the fuck? And then she's like, yeah, the bullets bounced off, because it's Kevlar. I'm glad they didn't bounce back and hit us. Well, this is this is what I mean, man. You know, I just, it's so frustrating <laughs> to watch. You know, if I had lost all my brain cells and decided to just shoot, you know, the clothing that was drying or whatever, I would at least go, hey, do you mind? Or something like that. Not Scoot just, oh, okay. Back, uh, just a few steps yeah, here. Don't want you to get hurt. FBI also, agent. Why is it that that drone has goo on it, but nothing else has goo on it? <laughs> I, it's it's so weird. I, I maybe it's that Wanda like physically grabbed it and then brought it back, but it's like and I don't know why there's goo on it in the first place, and I don't know why it stays. It's just random. How do you convert that goo into something that can power up the vision suit? It's so oh, no. matter of fact, just like that's the way it is. You're like, oh, oh, is it then? Well, all that's right, that it's then. magic. And yeah, um, next to that scene is the legendary discussion about how you've taken a whole city a uh, town hostage, and then she's like, "You guys have guns, though." Not a conversation. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, it, it definitively makes Wanda a villain, and yeah. they don't commit to it. Like you could have committed to that and made it work. You could have like had it, her it explore like how she's going down a dark path and like tries to find redemption, but they just... Yeah, this is someone on the outside directly confronting her, telling her what she's doing and what's the co what the consequences of that are. And she's just like, mm, you've got guns. Which oh. means you're bad. And also, remember, Wanda th literally threw her out. Threw her out through the whole village, mm -hmm. through the barrier to the other side. And she's coming out going... Oh my god, if I was my sister, my <laughs> sister would have done exactly the same thing. You go, girl. Mm -hmm. You just go. You're so powerful. Well, uh, lucky Can't for... women just be powerful? Lucky yeah. for Monica. She was, yeah, she was Man of Steel. She was shot through several buildings and she was fine. She was regular ma human at that point, was she not? Yep. Well, she was. you can argue that Wanda broke them and simply moved her through them, you know? Like, um, in that they're broken by Wanda's power, not by her, Monica's back. Ah. Uh. Um, you could argue that. Uh, the interesting thing for me is like uh, Wanda's incredibly lucky that the one person who can act on her behalf uh, that was experiencing her horrible thing didn't come out horrified and annoyed at her. Instead, she came out like, you know what? I sympathize because I lost my mother. It's like, you are not the only person who has lost a loved one, you psychopath. I mean, well, yeah, that doesn't give you an like, excuse to do whatever the fuck you want. What about... Wanda drew her in. Remember, she she allowed her to come in because she knew she could help with the baby, oh, delivering right. the baby. She knew she was an ally, but she couldn't read anybody else's mind. She didn't know that yeah. uh, Monica you know, says, director Toxic Male was out to get her. Monica tells her that the reason she let her in was because she knew she could help her, which is like, yep. excuse me? What about all the other? Imagine yeah, him. you're right. What about all the other fucking people? Yep. Well, they, Fuck did, them. Did, was like, well, all of them wouldn't help, so they could just stay in their rooms. It's like, oh, <laughs> okay. You knew I was an ally. The word there. Make them suffer. Um, and yeah, so uh, Haywood has them removed when they cause too much trouble, and that's when the show like was hit. Like me and Rags were very much done at this point. Um. 
it, Wu attacks the people who've taken them away. And this is while being in front of a bunch of other people. I was on I was on the Discord and um while they're discussing their next plan of action, there are three people behind them about I'd say ten meters away, walking around. Just like, wow. If anyone had heard uh you guys doing all this bullshit, probably would have been in a little bit of trouble. Um that's not to mention the fact that why? You're being removed from the mission because they consider you compromised and like you're in its way sort of thing for other, other incompetence reasons. But then you're like, you know what? I believe in Wanda so much that I'm going to attack this team and find a way to sabotage <laughs> this mission. You're like, what? <laughs> I don't think they explained any of that at all. You have a lot of confidence in that, uh, that torturing psycho magic user in there. I mean... Yep. Do they don't do they ever even build up why she would have this level of faith in Wanda? Or she's does sad she just, because her mom died, the... and she understands why Wanda's doing all of this. That's what their reasoning is. Oh, yeah. Um, because as, her mom well, died, I, and yeah, wow, this is the, uh, these. They are. It's like they're so selfish and self indulgent. We're the only two women that can understand loss. Because my mom died, and your boyfriend died. Oh my god. We got three thousand people. Do you think their lives are just amazing? Do you think nothing's bad happens to them? Do you think you know they live forever? Anyone that has experienced loss can can relate to this. This is this is why the stuff in the dome was fun for me. I enjoyed it. It seemed to be leading somewhere, and then as soon as they got this sword business, it's just shit. It makes no sense. It's written by a buffoon. Yeah. It doesn't it make the any sense. Is it, uh, is it strange that the company who insisted that no one's ever really gone is using the loss of loved ones as the justification for villainy? <laughs> 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 it's quite something. Um, and yeah, I, I guess for this one I'll knock off my copyright cover and I'll try and play it as it, as it happens. But um, yeah, so why does Wu do this? Like, you, said Wu mean. says in the previous scene, you shouldn't be mean to people like Monica Haywood. Mm. You should be chill. Okay, that doesn't justify why you're willing to take up arms against Sword's operation. Like, I, I need to, I need more than that. And, uh, and it, it's funny because he doesn't tell Monica about it, nor Kat Dennings. He just decides, you know what? I'm gonna fucking punch these people. It's like, okay. <laughs> like, that. <laughs> Feel like this this could go wrong in many many ways, but yeah, they're lucky that all the noise they create and all the damage they do doesn't get them caught. There's a whole base of people here, but um, yeah, it just sort of worked out for them. And um, I would say that the the, uh, the show clearly doesn't know what it's doing because what would you say, knowing what we know about these people, right? What what is their next plan of action? It's like, well, they want to stop Haywood from potentially killing Wander, I guess. How are they going to do that? What can they? I do? guess they would go to the Avengers. Yeah, I, I would say they need, they need a third party is pretty much all I can think of. Um, so their first decision is to go into a tent with the, I don't know, the, the, the data stores and hack into the system. It's like, why? It's like, to get data. What, what data? To get data. I like data. And uh, what data do they get? They get that um, uh, there's a secret mission the happening on this data. base called Cataract. Which is the evil vision, and and so Cataract. like they discover this information because they wanted that information that they didn't know existed. I call him Sight. Oh, Lucky that they found it. Lucky that like there was information to be found. You know, that's what I mean. Like it's really badly done. They aren't motivated to do what they do, but it gets them onto the next step of their plot. Um. Because again, it's such an awesome action scene. The three of them, technically, in some way, work together and they defeat the evil sword. I'm just sitting there like, what? what is happening? I don't understand. <laughs> Go back to the sitcom. It was easier to understand. Yeah, watching. I, uh, Diversity is their strength. You, you, you guys are going to hate this. So I, mm -hmm. I, out of curiosity, I went to IMDb and looked Could you come close to your mic? I'm really struggling to hear you. Oh, yeah, right. hold on. Oh, I'll that's, turn that's, it up a little bit. Is that better? Or do you yes. 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 Yeah. Much. Okay. So, yeah, I pulled up WandaVision to see the rating. So, the, the show overall has an 8.2. Um, and the really depressing part is that the first episode has a 7.5. The second episode mm -hmm. has a 7.8. The third episode has an 8.2. 
Ugh. And from then on out, every single episode is 8.5 or above. Jesus The show Christ. has a better reception when it begins to crumble than it actually... What? Like, then when it's what? good. Well, you see, it I wasn't in color, that. therefore I, it I was... I think it is, yeah. I think, I think it's Poo-Jus. legit just that um, the first three episodes were really, like, unique and different, and then it became not that... Discouraging, oh, man. That's like wow. I, I, I can give you. A, it's real sad, isn't it? That's the screenshot I meant to send. That's the 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 real. This is just after they beat up all those guys. Okay. You, like lock them inside of like a shipping container, and somehow no one misses. <laughs> no <laughs> one cares. <laughs> so the weird thing is, like, like you'd day. expect confirmation. Surely he'd be like, "Hey, radio in once you've moved them off site." Hello, guys. Oh no, something's gone wrong. Yeah, they do anything else other than just security and standing around because in a place like this, you'd you'd imagine most people would be checking in and there'd be constant like people doing tasks. So if people just went missing, it'd be like, where did this guy go? I had him doing this. Do they not have like military advisors just making sure that when the military is in these shows and films that it's it's pretty accurate to how it would be? Um, Like, surely that's not a hard thing to get, right? You wouldn't need to shake up your story too much. This is the same company that instead of just shooting a gun with blanks in it, they had a guy pretend to shoot a gun so that they could CGI the slide moving back and a bullet casing coming out. That's very true. They don't give a a fuck. Yeah, no, they do not. They do not care at all. Now, it's funny that you say that because I, they have uploaded a behind the scenes like thing for this show. I've just pulled it up and like He's not even in the makeup in a lot of this stuff. Like, it's just him blue with a bunch of dots on his face, and then they do, like, all of the... I thought that... <laughs> you, you, I yeah, thought he was in makeup. Were... So did I. Oh, uh, yeah. I, guess I think it's, it's been half and half since Age of Ultron. Half and half, seemingly, yeah. There's Apparently so has much a big that isn't, like, real. There's so much that isn't real. Um, I was going to say, Haywood's timeline... I think carries on to when he discovers the they're up to no good. But uh, if you remember, it's the episode. It's the last episode again because the disaster. Um, he sort of sees Wu come in. He's been captured, and he's like, "Ah, Agent Wu," you know. Blah, blah. And I'm always confused by it. I was like, "Where was Wu before then? Wasn't he like with Monica going in through the barrier? How did he get caught? What happened to all those other people? Wouldn't he have just left?" And Wu threatens to get Quantico involved, and Haywood is like, "Whoa." Like, you're bluffing. You wouldn't do that. It's like, wait, why didn't he do that? Why didn't he call Quantico? Why didn't you start with that, the third party, like we mentioned? It's and like, that's the first you'd go. You wouldn't be independent, because you yeah, got the show, very little power. The show has access to him bringing in a third party. It then captures him and says he didn't do it, only to give him a phone that he somehow manages to sneak off a table that either belongs to him, or he guessed the password of. It wasn't password protected, so if I'm like, if that's just a random phone, it's like, that's super lucky that would, he didn't need a face or a thumbprint to get I mean, through yeah, that thing. How would army base, like, uh, just sword people's phones not be password protected, for fuck's sake? Like, what? Because you guys then know what the hero assistant couldn't call oh, it. Yeah. At least the Mandalorian face scanner required a face. <laughs> it required uh, a face. Yep. <laughs> um... <laughs> Yeah, like, and, and of course Dang. he has a, a paperclip to be able to break out as well. It's 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 some of the most like juvenile writing where you're just like, ah, he escaped yep. because he escaped. Shut up! And you're like, okay, I don't know why you didn't use what you had, which was he sees her go back into the barrier, and then he says, you guys, you know, I'm gonna need you because we're gonna try and stop Sword doing this horrible operation because that's his motivation now. And then he calls Quantico. They all arrive and he tries to stop Haywood. Instead, they have him captured, break out, and call Quantico to stop Haywood. Why? Why? Why did you do all of that? And I think it's because you have the scene where Haywood gets to explain his uh, his big plan. And that's kind of where I was going with this. So Haywood's big plan is, I'm going to cover all of this up. Um, the, the show will prove that there is another vision. I am going to kill that vision and then replace him with my one and argue that that was the same vision the whole time that Wanda resurrected and that I stopped here and saved this town. And then Wu is like, you'll never get away with this. There's security footage, there's the blah, blah, blah. And he's like, oh, people won't believe any of it. They'll believe I'm a hero. And, and like, I'm Next lost at this so point. I am 
so confused right now. What? I'm absolutely lost. It's like they just dropped a villain plot on. He's saying villain things, but like there's just no reason for him to say any of it, and none of it makes any no. sense. I'd be curious says, if you just took some random people who watched the show and said, "So Hayworth, Hayworth. you have to tell him what his name was." So Hayworth, um, <laughs> why is he the villain? And just um, see if they yeah. could well, he wants give an answer. He wants power. Mm. What is he covering up exactly when he refers to that? He's like, I'm going to cover it all up. Like, so, what exactly is that going to be? Um, Why did he uh, need cover, to be cover up villain? having reassembled Vision and used him as a weapon? Apparently he has to cover that up. How the hell did he keep that a secret? All of these people know about this. It was done over a lot of time. It was done in his building. How do you <laughs> how do you cover all that? This is not something they never answer, by the way. His whole team, <laughs> S.W.O.R.D., are they all complicit? Are they all going to jail too? Yeah, like yep. all the people who are like what we call witnesses would would well, they like give a shit? Is he gonna pay them off? Do they work for Lex Luthor? <laughs> all no, all the men are. They're all yeah. They're this. Well, funnily enough, his second in command seems to be the the girl we recognize from. Uh, she was in Hill House. She barely says anything ever. She's in the car with him when he gets out to shoot the children. She doesn't really react or say anything, but she's on board with the plan. She's the one I think who announces that they've lost control over over Cum Vision, and, and it's just like why he's overloaded. Okay. Yeah. With by the way, the <laughs> they didn't have any like fish come decision that they made. Like they didn't have anything to control it or anything to like pull the plug if something went wrong. It just goes wrong. It's like wow, great oh, job. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so, yeah. why would you curse us with this? The one thing I would say <laughs> is that um, if he was considered overloaded and hard to control once Vision had unlocked his memories, that would be something. Mm -hmm. I still question the mechanics of it. Mm -hmm. But they lose oh. control over him. Right at the beginning, when he starts battling Vision, they say he's overloaded. And it's like, wait, he's overloaded from doing the very thing you designed him for? <laughs> yeah. <Okay. laughs> if he started overloading in the scene where he's talking to Vision, then they would intervene. They would find a way to, like, control well, him and keep fighting rather than yeah. have the conversation. Yeah, that, that is a whole bunch of problems. He says that explicitly his, his orders are to destroy the Vision and also um, to, it, like, neutralize Wanda. Now, Haywood yep. has already tried to kill Wanda, so it's safe to assume <laughs> that he wants... Yeah, I mean, we'll get to this in one second, I'm almost done. Uh, the, his, his goal should be to kill Wanda, so why is it that uh, Cum Vision doesn't just immediately kill her? Uh, yeah. That would kill Vision too, she's the reason he exists, so it makes no sense. Um, why is it hard for him to crush her head? He's like, yeah, vibranium... Yeah. That sound yeah. of just skull cracking, like... <laughs> It's like yeah, yeah, yeah. not dead. I'm sure she's fine I'm... after that. Yeah, yeah, and he's got this weird vindictive streak for like one <laughs> yeah. line where he's just like, and I thought, and they said you were strong, and and then he's just a robot for the rest of it, and he's just like, okay. <laughs> um, yeah. To sort of quickly address this, it seems the uh, Agri Joe thought episode one and two were pretty weak, but um, I guess I'm assuming he's saying the 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 episodes get better as they go along. Is probably what he felt. Why Episode nine's a seven out of ten. I've, I've never seen this. I haven't seen people saying that the latter episodes were better. I, this no. is amazing. I, I, most people I thought I heard liked the first three episodes and like then said the sword stuff was weak. I don't understand anybody who enjoys uh, Episode nine. I know it's really controversial and harsh oh. to say. I don't get it. I don't know how you understood what happened. It's easily the worst episode of the lot. When, when you by, don't by think, mile, it's very easy. By an absolute mile. But like, it undoes the entire it? series. How could He's you enjoy just, it on any other yeah, level that you, you absolutely didn't take in what happened? The reality is, I yeah, think like, that a lot of it is vapid because when I watched the episode when it first came out, all I saw on Twitter was, oh, look, Scarlet Witch, look, the costume, all the headpiece, oh, oh, look, red. Like, that's kind of yes, what they call that, That's all it is. That really is. I mean, if you look back to even, you know, sorry, the Luke Skywalker return, yeah. you know, but, I mean, you know, yeah, it was um, just, Luke using his lightsaber under a hood with Angry, wasn't Joe, with Angry Joe. I'd just be like, "Can you recount to me what happened in the final episode of WandaVision? Just tell me. I'd be really curious what he thought happened." Um, well, I mean, <laughs> the episodes that because he gives this. If you go to the next picture, he gives the series nine out of ten. So the the episodes which we don't ha we haven't got the pictures for. Are they all tens out of ten? Because he's gone five, six. Yeah, we yeah. have a five, a six, and a seven in the whole series. Nine is out of a ten. nine. 
I don't well, know. Was, I mean, the season, yeah, it's it's greater than the sum of its parts. <laughs> <laughs> Even though they're all fives and sevens, that they, it averages out to a nine. <laughs> 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 uh, how? <laughs> it's, it's kind of ironic that Angry Joe has become the IGN that he hates. I know. He's just yes. Like, he's You've become, become the, the very mean. thing you swore to destroy. Oh yes. my god. This is a 5 out of 10. This is a 6 out of 10. This is a 7 out of 10. The series is a 9 out of 10. <laughs> did he add them all up with bad math? I mean, or math is racist anyway. So. I presume did, it was the, did he the rest fail of basic high school maths? No, elementary school. Sorry. Hey, look, it's the 9 out of 10 is, represents how he felt about the season as a whole. It's not representative of a collection of other numbers. Idiots. Hey, you god. can't say he didn't graduate sorry. high school just because he can't spell GED. <laughs> um... Yeah, uh, I'm surprised by this uh, because I, I just I would have thought he would have thought the last episode was shit. But well, he, he likes a lot of the like DC EU stuff, right? He, well, he yeah, likes he, a lot he, of stuff. He, he's hardcore stand Man of Steel. Good, wait, look, he's what? entitled to his own opinion. That, that that's yeah. nothing wrong with that whatsoever. You you know, five out of ten, six out of ten, seven out of yeah, ten. Just fine. Baffling. I'm 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 struggling to see where the nine comes from. That's the yes. one I'm <laughs> that, yeah, yeah. Um, he thought the Predator just, was what's good. What's the standard here? So, oh, no. oh, what? Yeah, what do you say? Are. What do you think? Was good? He thought the Predator was good. If anybody has seen the Predator and the Predator, Autism Hunters, the Spinal yep, yep. Fluid Extractors, yep. really? Did, well, Wait, I, I mean, thought we were the Autism Hunters. I love hey, you know, watching the big CGI Predator rip the head off the actual like in costume one. Yay, fun! The, the, on top of the the redo, the bulletproof Predators walking through the jungle, beating people to death with its fists. That's what Predator is. I've so got a story I related to the Predator because I casually dropped that uh, the Predators thought that uh, autism was the next step in human evolution while watching a show with my brothers, right? And they were not aware of this at that point, and I thought they <laughs> were, and they looked at me like I had shit inside them, and I then <laughs> just explained the entire plot to them, right? And... They were still not believing me. They had to actually go to Wikipedia to confirm it. And and they were still like, what the fuck? My friends told me this was really good. And I'm just like, I'm sorry, your, your friends might be retarded. And <laughs> your I friends think... might be the next step in human evolution. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, shocking. It was absolutely shocking watching The Predator. Oh, well. And yeah, point being, Joe's got weird takes on movies and TV. He... Uh, I, it would be interesting to talk to him about what it is about One Division that he thought was nine out of ten. Like, I don't know. So he gave um, he gave four, five, and six a nine, seven, and oh. Uh, hi Zap, you're gonna have to like. I'm sorry, man. Grammar's important. I don't know what you're trying. I don't know what thoughts you're trying to convey to me. Uh, <laughs> he he can get me the ratings in just a second. All right. Um. I don't remember. I think it was just talking about Haywood's insane plan. Yeah. Uh, apparently, when Wanda cancelled the show, there's no copies of it anywhere. They didn't store it on like a cloud or in any kind of other system. It just got swallowed up by when she, I guess, expanded the border. But as we know, she was recording. It. She said that, right? Well, it recorded. I guess only locally, and all of it got taken away by her border. But the thing is, when the border's disabled, it reverts things back to normal. So they'll still have that evidence. Secondly. There is quite a few witnesses, so quite a few. I might yeah. even say hundreds. So I don't know what. Oh, okay, <laughs> maybe thousands. Possibly I don't have an thousands. update. Yeah. I don't know what. The he's... Angry Joe ratings. Episodes so, four, five, and six. He gave a nine out of ten. Episode seven. He gave a seven. Yeah, he gave episode four, five, and six. All of those got a nine out of ten. What was awful? Nine. Yeah. Uh, uh, four was. Good. I like four. No, I hate four. It's what ruined I the show. <laughs> Like, falls over where they bring in all of the outside stuff, repeat everything we already knew, and then start making Sword look like absolute retards. They thought, they, I thought that was, yeah, I thought yeah, that was no, five. It, it, I thought that was five. Did, have you rewatched it as? I mean, like, because I liked it initially too, and then for my review, I re I sat down and binged the damn thing, and it, it, yeah, it all sucks now. I liked it <laughs> up of. to. I liked it up to the revelation of. Oh, it was episode three. Fuck. I, uh, I like episodes yeah. 1, 2, what? and 3, and I still kind of like them. I just hate how they're contextualized now. Uh, it, they could have been contextualized better, I guess. Um, uh, so, um, with... To, 
and uh, just to to finish uh, up uh, in uh, episode seven, he gave a seven. In episode eight, he gave a nine. There's one good scene in episode eight. <laughs> so. Okay. Yeah. Well, um, hmm. I well, guess we can that, that... we can go hmm. over that. We'll 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 get there because the, the way we've done this is essentially like everyone's timelines, different characters, sort of first, which I mean, it's fine with me. Um, with uh, so yeah, Hay Haywood's that's his goal is to kill Wanda, undo all of the damage she's done, and then tell everybody that uh, the vision that you'll see from then on is the vision that she rec uh, resurrected, but he has control over. That wouldn't be the events has happened, and everyone could prove that wrong. And if it truly is illegal to have done what he did, and he has to hide it, then he's fucked, and there's no way he's getting out of this. Um, he's really because stupid. Vision would know the truth. V Vision knows the truth. Yeah. Everyone yeah. knows the truth. Yeah, that's the thing. It. Mm. Um. And yes, yeah, so uh, one of the things Darcy does when they've escaped is send an, an email to Vision or something in the dome. Do you remember that? He finds it on his computer. Yeah, yeah. What? How? What? <laughs> and and everybody reads it in yeah, why? unison. Why does everyone read that? I don't understand. What is and happening? Then Vision can magically turn people off. I was confused by how when he was well, able to start. turn me off. So talk about <laughs> another thing. <laughs> talk about another thing that destroys the show because there's so many of them. Um, when he does that to the first person, it's I like I like enjoyed it, and then I started to think like, wait. Wouldn't he just do this to, like, loads of them? Save them? His whole goal is to destroy the system itself and free these people. But, um, he only ever releases them temporarily and puts them back in because they start panicking. And so it's like, you, you might think to yourself as a writer, like, how do I justify them panicking? How do I get them to scream, you know, and, and blah, blah, blah. Um, with the guy at work, he just, like, starts shouting at Vision over and over again instead of trying to be like, how do I, how do we figure this out? We need to, like, this needs to stop. He just, he just goes nuts, and so he puts him back in. Uh, the same thing happens for Agatha. She just starts laughing uncontrollably until he puts her back in. Um, but I, I don't know if that was her own motivation. Fuck that, whatever. The only one who doesn't is uh, Darcy. She adjusts instantly, and she's like, that was annoying. Yeah, she's perfect. She's great. She's incredible. And so... Also, my... to the people who panic, it's like, oh, you're panicking. Well, torture time. Yeah, the, the, I don't understand it from Vision's point of view. And this is the thing, I wish I could say he was unscathed, but I still think his character's got some issues in this season. For some reason he recognizes these people are in pain, as much as some people who are literally stuck trying to attach something to, like, a, a line and crying. Why don't you go unlock her? Like, and, and then if she starts screaming, like, I, God, I'm, oh, I'm going, it's just like, I mean, try. Mm -hmm. And doesn't... Doesn't uh, Vision unlock uh, Agnes in the car at well, the intersection? The, that's what I was, uh, no, uh, yeah, yeah, but that's what I was that saying. looked totally like she was playing along. She, she, yeah, yeah. We have to discount that one. I because... even called it when we, we discussed it on our show. Okay. I was like, I it check. really looked like she was, just, she was just there for whatever reasons she wanted to, uh, to be there for. But yeah, she, you could tell that she wasn't particularly like shocked or surprised or... Yeah. Because um, you mm. think... Because if she was locked away, so does that mean that Wanda didn't ever have power over her in the zone? I, well, yes. No, you no have to, I guess not. You have well. First of all, yeah, no. She she didn't until the end with the runes thing happening and and the conversion. But and we have no idea why that's the case. They never explain how she managed to get into that place without yeah, being affected by the Yeah, I think that's what's the causing the confusion. Um, however, that scene means that Agnes rode out there and waited for Vision to find her so that she could convince Vision to try and escape the dome? Yeah. Why? It's yeah. Like angry dome. All that yeah, did was make I... her expand the dome. And you might be like, oh, so she's trying to get her to cast more spells to sap her? It's like, she doesn't sap her in that scene. She doesn't do anything. Maybe she didn't know that Wanda would expand the dome? But, well, I'm trying to argue in favor of the, that's what she wanted her to do, because I can't think of anything else. What the hell was she trying to do with that? She's trying to spook I, Vision? I'm thinking, would you have said anything to... Should she have just been more explicit to Vision? No, I, well, I don't know what. What do you What do you think she was trying to do in that scene? I I guess I'm not exactly certain. I don't know what she was trying to do. I'm a bit and, confused. I, I yeah, mean, were I they were they sort of... were they trying to uh, insinuate in the story and failed completely that Agatha was trying to like get to Vision slowly, maybe? Yeah, like trying to get start him to wake... to start to yeah. question the world around him, but I don't know. To what end? What's the point? Yeah, what's the point of it, though? And if, like I said, if her whole goal is to make uh, Scarlet Witch cast spells so that she can sap them, what the fuck is she doing wasting all her time? You know what I mean? Like, 
you're spending all this time fucking around. And it's just like, why aren't you creating enemies for uh, Wanda to fight and then sapping her while she does it? That seems like the most obvious thing to do. Um, but it's to throw us off, you see, and then to go, aha, Wanda was, uh, sorry, Agatha was behind it the whole time. And you're like, I don't understand what that means. Don't Never. believe you. Yeah, she it's was just, just trying like to figure weird. out how she pulled off the magic, right? And then she, I mean, the ultimate answer was because she could. Mm -hmm. I mean, she was just powerful. She was the Scarlet Witch. And so something that bothered me greatly was when he unlocked uh, uh, Kat Dennings. He's Sorry, like, Mulder, just, just one thing before you do. Yeah. That scene was after, correct me if I'm wrong, but that scene was after when Agatha said, oh, should we retake that? Yeah, yeah. Which to it me was. was the whole giveaway that it, that uh, she was in everything. She was in on it. Yeah, that she knew what was going on. Nobody else knew what she was going on, but she's saying, "Hey, should we retake that clip from the show?" So after that, it was it was to me it was absolutely obvious that Agatha was, you know, either a um, you know an antagonist or was was one antagonist on what could be a couple. She should know and better then, than to say that, by the way. And with people knowing that Agatha Harkness is attached to Scarlet Witch, then they're like, oh, this has to be her then. Because she's called Agatha. She's, she's, she's clearly in on the TV show. This has got to be Agatha Harkness. So then, you know, when she's out in the sticks with the car and, and it doesn't look like she's phased by, um, by Vision being there, she's kind of like uh, theatric, you know, doing her theatrics. It's just like this, this woman is clearly, clearly not affected by Scarlet Witch. Well, I'm surprised that that didn't give her away to Scarlet Witch to the point where she would inspect it and re reintegrate her. Be like, oh, you're out of sync, clearly. Because you shouldn't be able to say that. And at the same time, why would Agatha do that when nobody else in the town does that? Yeah. Like, what was she, what was her hope? Like, when she was at the fence, right? And she was with the neighbor who was cutting yeah. into the fence. Yeah, she did what? She did it to him to make him do that, and so you're just like, what are all these things for? You're just trying to yeah. annoy Wanda? Is that it? No, it's it's pure mystery box. They were just yeah. trying to set up a mystery for mystery's yeah, sake that they I had no, no intention of paying off whatsoever. It's just to make it look like it's far more complex than it really and is. This is like amateur that's shit. That's what makes it I'm, so hard to like know what the hell's happening in this show and what is and isn't actually supposed to be something that matters. It's um when we were on that Friday night ties that we were on, we were all just talking about it really depends on where they go. Really depends on yep, where they go. Yep, so tired yep. of saying that shit. <laughs> it's like, right? We're just waiting for the thing to be better because right now it's not enough on its own. Then they just It was they lost. Bother. I mean it was yeah, yeah, it's lost. Um And yeah, so uh Vision decides to take Kat Dennings out and then he and specifically because he saw her on the outside. He saw all of those people on the outside. All the clown people are all people from the outside. Why not undo <laughs> them? Why not talk to them all? Be like, yeah. all of you are from out What's there. What's going you on? just got p placed yeah. in. I can make a team. I can put you all together. We can figure this out. And, and like, if Wanda fucks you all over, I'll try and get you out all over again. But no, he gets her out. And then a guy who is under Wanda's control is like, you gotta go on the stage. And he's like, oh no, I, I, I don't want us to go on the stage. And she's like, no, you have to go on the stage. And then they punch him. And it's like, what is happening? This guy is under a spell. Just knock him out yeah. of it. Why are you such an asshole? Everybody's fucking stupid. And then possibly one of the most frustrating parts personally for me, and I think Rags is going to agree with this, I'm not sure everyone else, Vision gets told his history from the MCU and how he died. And it's a uh -huh. comedy scene. Oh yeah. yeah, I I was so fucking pissed off during the show. Mahler, you were like quiet as the grave for most of that episode. <laughs> I, uh, I, 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 I I later I told Fringy totally that's, believe it. that yeah, I was really done. <laughs> like, uh, but uh, yeah, the the scene where we get Vision, who has been resurrected in some kind of form, some weird quasi existence. He is being told he is learning about his own death and the circumstances surrounding his death. Ideally, with how Wanda was involved in that and what she was willing to do and what he was willing to do. Um, and he is told that the framing that they've done this is him and Darcy, of all people, mm -hmm. who just matter-of-factly just sort of casually sort of just says you died, lol, while they're in an ice cream truck. 
and then the scene's just like over and they're waiting at an intersection and it is the it is one of the biggest wastes of a potential payoff that i've ever seen it was it was abhorrent in how it was executed it was an insult to the character and all the stuff that happened at the end of infinity war and i was just i was so upset at that lame insane imagine incompetence that, imagine if that scene was done between wanda and vision like wanda was the one who had to tell him and yeah. like had to break from the lies like there's so many more opportunities there's so many different characters and different mechanisms that you could use yeah for that wanda scene. wouldn't want to tell him and vision's like yeah. no fucking tell me yeah. what happened i have no, to know what yeah. happened and tell me damn in. it and then she's like crying and she's like trying yeah, to yeah, tell him you, everything that happened you can play him and with instead denial. it's lol darcy in an ice cream truck and they don't even like talk about it and that's the marvel way now that reminds me of the ragnarok scene when when odin you know passes and they it's like it's emotional for like a nanosecond and then it flips on a dime when that yeah, odin should have played out Odin so wasn't much handled longer. well in Ragnarok. Yeah, they get him out of the that. way, uh, which is unfortunate. But um, yeah, in this, like, what's such a missed opportunity is you have him figuring out piece by piece that he may very well be dead, and then he asks it, "Am I dead? Did I die?" And you've got not only the fact that she wants to keep that away from him, but she is trying to convince herself that he's <laughs> not dead anyway. And so you have like perfect drama right there. You, you you have him trying to tell her to admit that he's dead in a context that is separate from the subtext, which is that she can't get over the grief of his death. Like, it's, oh. it's, it's all there for you. you. You've got a scene. And they have Darcy right. go, You died! Yeah, the purple guy killed you. So funny. Ha <laughs> ha. And it's so much... That's, it's excruciating yeah, it, to watch. <laughs> I thought it was bad, but now that you've explained it, so, it was much worse. So much better. Everything is so much better. Like, it's, it's so... Why did you choose to do it this way? Of all the ways that you could have cashed that check, that was how you did it. It's like you could have anything in the store you want for free, and you're like, I'll have that gum. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, yeah, like, don't uh, you want that like Mercedes Benz over there or that big screen TV? Nah, I'm just, 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 just that gum. Just, I just, I want to experience what it's like to chew five gum. Mm hmm. Uh, yeah, and then it creates more problems for... That That itself isn't a problem for Vision as a character. That's what was done to him in terms of a conversation he had no control over, so whatever, I guess. It's just really unfortunate that they did it that and way. he kind of drops it um, really well, quickly. So I would say the problem comes in, in in one... He doesn't... Yeah, he doesn't question much more than that. He concludes that they have to get back to Wanda and that she's trying to prevent them from getting there with, with trucks and stuff. It's embarrassing to watch because he can fly. I hate that. It's just like you can you can go around. There's so like it's like kids, and then that's like oh no, now another person's come to block the road. It's like guys, just drive ahead and cut. Yeah, you can fly. Just drive around. This is important. Vision, you have things to do right now. You don't have can, time to fuck around. He can travel real fast, by the way, like real fast. Yep. Yeah. yeah, he can try. He can fly, and mass doesn't slow him down. You have no excuse. You gave him these powers, and so I would say it's critical of his character because um, the part that I love is the the main thing he gets out when he passes through the border is you have to save these people, which is really in line for Vision. He's he's yes. all about that heroism. But then that sort of gets dropped in the next episode because he's just on a comedy episode. That's like why. He's just doing comedic and silly things, and it's only at the end where he goes, "Oh yeah, my motivation." And it, this was this was what oh, was yeah, confusing for me was how much how much he was retaining because he seemed to be coming out of it when he you know went through the barrier and was trying to tell them to get away, uh, be safe, and then going back in. It's as if he forgot everything. Well, as going he, to this as well, as if he had his he, mind wiped oh, again, I just he, didn't understand what he was retaining and not retaining. He remembers what he why. has to remember for this plotline to work, which is I remember you, <laughs> person I saw. You're like, oh, you remember that? <laughs> like, what? What do you remember, Vision? Like, it's it's so frustrated. Uh, and so, I, yeah, I would say that they have to damage Vision as a character in order to play out the storyline that they want to a degree. Nowhere near Wanda. Um, and it's unfortunate because I, I quite like Vision. And I would actually say I think I'm slightly more invested in him as a result of this TV show, but almost in a meta way. I'm like, leave him alone. Why are you ruining yeah, things? Yeah, what are you going to do with him? You brought him back, but for what reason? What are, gonna... what are your plans for him, dare what, I uh, ask? What are you going to do? Please don't destroy him. Uh, 
Because, yeah, that's kind of where we're at. And weirdly, uh, to justify... So, like, what we want to see now is the big blowout between Wanda and Vision. Like, he knows the truth. He's seen the outside. He's talking to someone who's given away all the information about what happened. And he's trying to get back to it. Meanwhile, you'd be like, well, wait a minute. What's she doing? And you find out that she's doing an episode where she's like, I don't want to talk to Vision. Oh. Uh -huh, it's funny. I don't, I, I don't get it. Here. Like, what the fuck's happening? Like, you, you would either mind wipe him, you can rewind, you can do all these kinds of things to maintain your illusion, but instead you're just like, I just don't want to speak to him. Like, Wanda... I, I, don't, I don't understand these act Like, is she aware that her world's falling apart? And it's like, well, the episode has her, like, smirking or, or being confused at how parts of her house are converting into different eras randomly. Like, okay. And, it's not and a I, solution. And honestly, if I was speaking to the writers, they'd be like, you don't understand, it's her grief. She's trying to avoid addressing anything anymore. She's trying to just blah blah blah, squirrel herself away. It's just like, well no, if she was doing that, she would be repairing all of the fucking illusions. Because she can just do it. She can just almost literally snap her fingers and have that happen. And yeah, um, and then she gives the kids over to Agatha. And, like, I remember just being, I don't even know what's happening anymore. I was like, are the, are the kids real or not? They've been converting, like, every, uh, however long for ages. I don't know if they're, like, spies, like the the brother. I don't know if handing over them to, to Agatha means anything at all. And uh, her concern for them going missing again. I don't know why she doesn't rewind or disassemble them from wherever they are and reassemble them in front of her. Like, why wouldn't that be something she could do? This is, this is part of the whole, like, I, yeah, I just I can't understand, understand anything that's happening. Good, yeah. Which, uh, uh, um... And yeah, yeah, um, so, like, we... That big blowout that I want, I want to see Vision call her out for everything. I want her to admit what she's done instead of avoiding the drama and eating cereal all episode or some shit. And, uh, do you remember he finally arrives at the same time the stupid Vision arrives and Agatha's having a big boss battle? That's when he finally gets back to her. Luckily, an action sequence is going on so that they can fight and then reconcile without reconciling, basically. Yeah, That's I don't know. I don't know how it took him so long. And I don't know. Uh, he, he gets fucked with again, character wise. If you remember, his whole thing coming there is. I need to stop her from conducting this illusion, even at the cost of myself, to save all these people. He gets there, he sees this big purple witch, and this version of himself that's pale, and he says, let's fight for our home. What? <laughs> what? Right, does, yeah, like, have what? Questions. <laughs> Just, How does he not assume not. all of this is Wanda? Why wouldn't he be like, why have you created a weird purple <laughs> witch person, and a pale version of me? Like, what is this? Why is like a symbolic of your like internal conflict or something? Like what's going on here? Also, if she could, if wait, if Agnes can create a necklace that makes someone wearing it immune to mind control, Ugh. why didn't she make one for herself? Is she, are they immune to mind control? I thought that was what um, no, or it puts them under the spell of mind control. Yes. Is that what the necklace does? It does so that, it and it gives her superpowers. <laughs> Oh, man! So you can just give people superpowers by making yeah, I, necklaces. Yeah, I brought I brought this up earlier. It's one of the things that destroys the MCU. You can give someone a necklace and they'll have super speed and super strength. Oh, okay, it must. I guess I guess I was just inundated in all. Yeah, that I fucking sludge. I really feel like that is more damage than has ever been done to this world. It's insane. I can believe it. Um, I think it might be a little bit worse than that, but both of those are MCU destroying. Super super speed and super strength to anybody who gets a fucking necklace from Agatha? Like, I don't know, man. That's Yeah, that's Zemo something. did all that damage and he doesn't even have powers. <laughs> what yeah. The, what were they thinking? Uh yeah, I I don't know. That, they weren't Mahler. Um as they as the episode has rolled on, I've just spotted a visual that's now gonna trigger me into saying, yes, yeah, so <gasps> meanwhile Monica's like, I gotta get back in there. I gotta, I gotta help Wanda. And you'd be like, but Monica, you silly Bitch, you're gonna get converted mind control wise. Like, what would be the point? You'll go, in and then she's like, "That's fine. That's it's fine if that happens." But why are they now helping Monica again after she was? Well, they're her friends. They, as I said, they don't work for Haywood. They're not loyal to Haywood. They apparently work for Sword, and they're loyal to her mother. That's how she gets all this off the books, <laughs> all for friends' favors. Absolutely <laughs> crazy. Hey. Because that's how structure, that's how companies and military yeah. organizations work all the time. <laughs> I mean, hell, they might soon, but 
Yeah, and it's all for nothing, be because done. she decides to just fucking walk in anyway. Uh, okay. And somehow, uh, right... Just, she's like, stand there right. right. Breaking morally and, right. And remember, uh, you might be like, again, that whole reasoning of like, but if you just walk in, you'll get converted. And she's like, nah, it's fine, though. Chill. So, no reasoning at all to do this. On top of that, she is told she should not enter the barrier again, because her biology is being rewritten. You should be terrified by that concept, by the way. Yeah, you yeah. could come out of some weird Fallout FEV experiment. You yeah. could just, like, disintegrate, yep. like, in the blob or something. Or Who thing. knows and what will happen. This is on top of, you already know, your brain was reorganized to have a different history and memory and values. Like, I'm sorry, to me... That kind of shit would change my perception of who, like, who, who I am. Who are you? Yeah, like... It. Yeah. Existential crisis. But instead, right, she's a... Kat Dannings brings this up to her. It's like, you shouldn't go in another time. Like, look at your blood work already. And then she goes, I've seen cells uh, metastasize, and I've seen them go to, into remission. As that's, if that's, that's it. An old Basically, I could get lucky. Well, it's not even. I don't think that's anything. I almost want to punch that's the writer in the face. Like, she's seen someone go through cancer and then come out of it. What does that have to do with anything? Yeah. What are you talking right, about? But this is like super magic cancer. It's a it's a mass, mystical barrier that magically changes your cells, and you're like, I've seen people survive cancer. It's like, what the? What? Are, and like she's always right when she makes these ridiculous yeah. assumptions. Yeah, whenever hilarious. she does something incredibly stupid and boneheaded, the show rewards her for her stupidity. This show confuses stupidity for incredible virtuous bravery. Yes. It's incredible. And uh, yeah, as she's going through the barrier, I don't know if you guys caught it, but they play a line from Captain Marvel saying when they were handing out daughters, they gave you a, like the strongest one uh, in re reference to her mum, a reference to her. She's a strong woman. And she's gonna get a okay. fucking bunch of powers because of it, I guess. Yeah, boy. They they do the thing of, like, playing memories from her life as she's going through the barrier, and I have no clue what they're trying to say has happened. I don't get it. Yeah, is, are they trying to imply that she willed herself into having superpowers by going through the barrier? Almost. Yeah. Um, they have a reference yes. from Agatha at one point that the mind control thing works on the feeble-minded. And I don't know if they're implying that it, the mind control waned on Monica because she's so strong-minded, and eventually she was immune. It's stronger because than she's everyone just... else in Westview. So strong. Everybody. She's just the best, man. Yeah, Captain Marvel was right when she was like, hey kids, you're really awesome. Like, yeah, and that inspired her, you see, because they have to tell us that Captain Marvel's inspiring. Bestest <laughs> ever! Because <laughs> yeah. she isn't at oh, all. Boy. Captain they Marvel failed is utterly at showing it. Captain Marvel is the hero that had all of the power in the world and then stood up. And you're like, Fucking okay. Rocket Raccoon is inspiring. Rocket Don't give me that Captain Marvel shit. Yep. Of course he is. He's a little rocket man. All of the Guardians are like more inspiring than motherfucker. Yeah. Captain Gamora Marvel. is way more inspiring. It yeah. was Drax. Well, it was even. just a. It was just a few years ago that yeah, Rocket had more uh, a deeper storyline. You had more empathy for that little raccoon. It's way cooler. Yeah. yeah. Well, awesome. Drax learned what metaphors to, were. To That's give you a... Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You became a space comparison. autism, guys. Oh, I just had a stark comparison, but and I'm Nebula referencing... Nebula learned to love her sister. Uh, well, so I, I was going to say, a comparison no. for this sort of element would be in the training camp in Cap Captain America 1, where they throw the grenade, and he goes, Grenade! And then he just jumps onto it to save everybody. Yep. You, you yeah. see something like that happen, and you're like, oh my god. What a legend. Wow. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. What an amazing person. You're such you're such a good person. You yeah, you were actually willing to put yourself in harm's way to save other people. And it was just something you do because you're that you're just that good. Oh, it's a great I really like that scene a lot. It's just like yeah, yeah, is, yeah you're Captain America. Yeah. There's lots of things we Show, cite. Don't tell. That's the rule. Show, don't tell. It's a yeah. beautiful thing. Um, and, and yeah, so Captain Marvel's pathetic, and, and she's the reason why Monica had the balls to go through the barrier and gain powers, which is something she had no idea would happen. She even thought she might just die, and she did it anyway, because Wanda's not a villain, guys. She's upset. Like, okay. it's and it absolutely non-functional. Nothing about this show is, is, yeah. is functioning anymore. It's it's all... And we haven't even gotten to, like, the, <laughs> the bulk of the last episode. We're sort of just covering And even though pieces. she's kidnapped thousands of people, she could have kidnapped more. Uh-huh. Absolutely oh. insane. Fucking um, crazy. There are some great, you know, on, on reflection, there are some 
brilliant cringe lines in this yep, that can be it, used. Uh, some of the some really just some of the worst dialogue in, in certain pieces. Mm -hmm. uh, and nobody, nothing just nothing acts the way it should, and it's so confusing. But yeah, so she um she catches up to the. Uh, to Wanda's house, and she's just like, "Yo, Wanda, I understand." Blah blah blah. And then Wanda tries to throw her away, but she uses—I say this in quotations—uses her powers to stop Wanda from doing that. Like what? <laughs> so she's she's covered in blue goo, and she sort of just like she's like, "No, you you can't pick me up with your telekinesis because I went through the barrier." Oh yeah. And oh, you, you just kind of like I I get I guess. You're okay. Okay. So would that have killed Monica if she wasn't like super powered? Uh maybe. Does she like slam it down or drop it down? I think she slams mm -hmm. her down. I see the clip again, but she slams it down. You're right, yeah. she does slam it down. Yeah. So attempted but, murder to yeah. add to the list of her crimes. Yeah, I think you could say that. And she's shocked that she survived, I guess, or uses power. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I mean. Wanda's been ruined. Uh Unfortunate, because she's really kind of one of the few people remaining that I was invested in, but oh well. I think we, we were saying this before, but like, I don't even know what character is going to show up in Doctor Strange 2 when she does. I'll be like, is that Wanda or is that the Scarlet Witch? Whatever that means at this point. Person what who's... does it mean? That I... Oh, fuck it, I don't care. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah sure uh, she's appealing to Wanda significantly about this horrible circumstance, and Wanda even says, maybe I'm the villain. And then Agnes just goes, go away. Go and away. Wanda just leaves her to, I guess, continue to exist in her little fantasy it's world. a like... terrible, terrible moment of just, what are you doing? There's a whole conversation to be had. Why? And then she, like, sort of just like, hey, stop it. And then Monica, like, it's slowly to tries to it's keep up with them. It's the meme of pointing at the cat. Like, that's what it is. She's like, you, you, you're, you're a, I don't like you. And it is the meme, yeah, uh, but, uh. Um, and Monica just sort of gives up until she decides maybe I should go after them, and then Quicksilver gets her, or faux Quicksilver. Uh, but they do the cat meme. They do the woman yeah. shouting at the cat yeah, meme. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's just happened. <laughs> Wait, they they and that's not, honest to God, that's on purpose. That is totally on purpose. They totally set that up to look like the uh, the, the the woman shouting at the cat meme. I can believe they did that on purpose and not actually anything important on purpose. Mm -hmm. Like I could tell that was probably their priority. Instead but I do, of I do like the wild. way that Monica does fuck all afterwards. Well, she takes ages to catch up to them. I don't know why. And then yeah. um, Quicksilver kidnaps her. And uh, yeah, I guess I guess because like there's not much more now before we can uh, talk quickly about episode eight. I, she I guess beats I Quicksilver. Say. Quicksilver just like when she takes him out. He just just decides not to be using Our his powers, powers anymore. Yeah. I didn't understand that man. He he well, was using his powers that entire time, and then he just loses. It's like what the hell? Let me explain. I'm like, yeah, how they need possible? to delay her for X amount of time. That is why. <laughs> yeah, and the timer is up. Uh, how does she escape? Oh, I just, Quicksilver just doesn't use his powers. It makes sense. Like, oh, all right, well. I guess that wraps hmm. that up in a neat little and, uh, bow. Her power no, because she her... destroys. Doesn't she destroy the amulet? The no, thing around that's the how she does it. Yeah, she yeah. does it he by like use... tackling him and taking him down because yeah, she flips he him just over. doesn't use his powers. He he he's very strong. I mean, the fact is, like he he pokes her and she flies across the room. I think some people believe yeah. that that's momentum, but it only works with cartoons. Mm -hmm, that's, like it doesn't. That's yeah, not how that works. No. You can't have that work that way in real life. That's just a fuck up. Like you can't have momentum. He stops. So besides, though, he has to have some level of super strength, density, or constitution to be able to survive going super fast. Like you can't just do that. Yeah. Otherwise, um, you just uh, yeah, or, yeah. Friction would just to, burn you up. He'd be dead. Um, yeah. Yeah. Friction and, and your internal organs and all that sort of thing. And yeah. so she flips him. She gets on top of him, and he's like, "Oh no, uh, woe is me!" And then she does her eye thing, and then she spots the necklace, then rips it, and he doesn't do anything throughout that whole sequence. If he did, she wouldn't be able to be jelly in the end. <laughs> it's consequentially, it still has an effect. But um, yeah, uh, lucky her power allows her to see cast spells. I guess is what that is. Yeah, um, because... unfortunately, I love yeah. they like power determined. lines. I was that great, aren't they? Unfortunately, yeah, she didn't um, enchant his shoe 
so that if you wouldn't be able to see it, unfortunate that the mind control just doesn't... Imagine for a moment that the spell was just, you can see purple stuff on his head. Like a, 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 a you know, like a, um, a plasmary looking thing. Like, what is she going to do then? Rip it off? It's like, it's it's not even really attached, it's just, it it's around him. Much like the mind control works for everyone else. But no, this guy, he had a necklace, and it's like, the only reason I can think of that he had a necklace unlike everyone else is because he also needed to have super speed, which, again, what the fuck? Give me super if he'd speed. been around in that final fight, then he would have been able to defeat most of them. All of them, yeah. Um, probably even the kids, because he's going to be better at it than they are, I guess. I don't know. How did they get powers? Did she give them to him without oh. a necklace because she's wandered? Right. She can do anything she wants? That's a very good question. So cool. it's so weird how they just randomly then have powers. Like, oh, awesome. So, um, it's so that they can fight at the end. It's so that yeah. you can have that cool little shot where like the camera like zooms in and it's like the Incredibles where they're like, yeah, it's like, but it's, it, it sucks. They should not have fought, man. The kids, it doesn't make any sense. There was a deleted scene with Monica where she fights Agatha's bunny. It got cut. Is that real? Yeah, it turns into Are a giant serious? monster bunny. My God. Giant monster bunny. What? Giant monster bunny. Be I mean, at least that would have been something ridiculous I could have seen that might have been entertaining. Might have laughed, yeah. Yeah, I might have laughed at it, 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 it at how stupid that is. Mm, um, that bunny might actually come out to be like the most unscathed character. <laughs> <laughs> Bunny had the best arc. Bunny will be the king of the MCU by the end of this. So Bunny will return in Avengers in uh, game. It shouldn't take too long, but uh, episode eight, often cited as like a good one. I'm not a fan, except for maybe one scene. Uh, the, the, the penultimate episode where you get a lot of history for Wanda. This, this could be where um, our panel finally have more of a disagreement because everything's been so terrible up to this point. I, um, aside from, for some reason, her explaining everything to Wanda, which was really dumb, like she just shouldn't have told her anything, she just should be trying to get what she wants, which is to sap her powers and understand her, which is to look in her memories. Instead, she explains to her what magic is, after then saying, don't you know what magic is, because you're, you're a witch? Like, it's, it's all really, really poorly done, but it's to get us information to understand a few more mechanics, but then yeah, none of that makes sense. Yeah, I see what they're trying to do to set things up. Um, yeah, I, I like the scenes in isolation to an extent. My, my trouble is just the mechanism for which they do it. It's just like her leading oh. one to three. It's like, oh, okay. I haven't even yeah. gone to the, the actual memories yet. I was just talking about the setup, um, as well as she's definitely evil, you see, because she feeds a bug to a, her rabbit. That was weird. It's like... Uh, Oh. The bug went up her nose, I don't really care that much about the bug. That's I don't, yeah, the thing. I, I was just like, okay, so this is again going on the list of. Oh no, it's a, a bird, villain. wasn't it? It transforms into a bird. Oh yeah, she turns into a, a bird and then feeds the untransformed thing. She feeds it to the rabbit, whatever. Um, then <laughs> the rabbits, the rabbits like insane. The rabbits crazy. Watch out for that rabbit, man. Yeah, that rabbit will fuck up a bird. The rabbit will return in Avengers. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, we've. Maybe it's uh, the from uh, Holy Grail. Memory one, and I honestly think that this is kind of how a lot of book readers feel when they see things adapted. It's kind of a similar feeling. I was always a big fan of the origin story being told to us, as recanted as a, as a motivation in Age of Ultron, because I think it's a really good one. Seeing mm -hmm. all of it play out explicitly, covering all of the possible things you could ever be confused by, it started to come across as really lame. Um, first and foremost, kind of. Hey Dad tries to sell sitcoms and we watch them as a family and they play episode portions and then they just fill the screen with Wanda's face being really happy with her family while watching sitcoms. Do you get it? It's yeah, like, like the way oh, it's I handled. I need an very... explanation as to why someone likes sitcoms. Yeah, I don't need to know no, why really she don't. likes her family or considers family a comforting thought and that sitcoms is a world she decided to go into. Instead they're like, you see? Bewitched. Malcolm in the Middle. Dick Van Dyke show. Her father has all these. They watch them to learn English better. Also, she loves it, and that is why she did what she did in this season. I'm like, you're explaining stuff you didn't need to explain, and you're not explaining yeah. anything that needs to be explained. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you don't have to tell me why a fat kid likes a chocolate bar. Like, yeah, I get it. we got it. I yeah. get it. She, yeah, she grew up in Sokovia. Or, or uh, wherever else. Just a horrible place with, with uh, under war, and the idea that she watched sitcoms to get away from it all I didn't need you to show me that. Like I get it. Yep. Um. And then 
Well, uh, yeah, so then it plays out, the scene that we already knew about, um, but now we see it, which is the, the stock used bomb crashes in, their parents presumably were killed by the initial explosion or whatever. Even um, though they got that bit wrong. I can't remember what the, the original doesn't, story was. Doesn't Wanda say when she's explaining There's it in the Civil War? Floor and our parents uh, go in. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Age of Ultron, doesn't she say there was one word on it, Stark, and this one has actually Stark Industries oh, uh, on it? <laughs> I mean, even even the whole story, that's kind of like the thing is they said that there's a giant hole in the floor. Was there wasn't there just a bunch of rubble? I don't remember there being a hole in the floor and that the parents fell. No, it's just rubble. But the big fundamental thing is what a what an interesting story it is that you were just the family that the bomb didn't go off in just by pure chance, by pure luck. Pure luck. You're the yeah. ones who who didn't get blown up. Now, what we know is that Wanda cast a probability hex as a child to stop the bomb from going off uh, Why would i think we all it? i think we all could have guessed that <clears throat> all Why the clues you... were there like i i mean fundamentally i think that's like just so much worse as an idea but also how does she even know she just did it unwittingly she's, she's a scarlet unwittingly witch unwittingly which by the way yeah. we're entering into yeah. serious problems for the mcu because there's a couple of bits and bobs of language that i think they're going to do the thing we hate which is you can do all of this and you will do all of this because you're the scarlet witch mm -hmm. which is like what uh, what do you mean uh, that's not yeah, anything the scarlet witch seems to be uh prescriptive and not descriptive yeah, which is mm -hmm. fucking unfortunate because they're just mm. going to justify all kinds which of is bullshit. the chosen one thing essentially um you got the deus ex machina. <clears throat> You're the chosen winch. Yeah, she... Yeah. Well, this is why it's so much more interesting. A whole bunch of people would have been affected by stark weaponry. The idea that one of them was a dud is perfectly likely, and the family that were affected by it, they stared at the bomb for two days before what I thought the story was, they realized that it's that like their movements or their interaction with it won't affect it, or someone came in to help them, but they were staring at the word Stark and waiting for it to kill them for two days. That's really powerful as like a as a reason to hate uh, Tony Stark or the Stark family. Then you combo that up with what I think is a missed opportunity. You could have it before this happened that she kind of thought that like America was awesome in terms of seeing all of their media and how happy and wholesome all of it is with great lessons. And then she finds out that Stark is like the biggest billionaire in America and that this is what destroyed everything. And so the love of sitcoms gets like pitted against her and is part of like a, an ongoing grief cycle of, of trying to rationalize what she believes about the world outside of the home that she had. You know, you have all of these different possibilities, all these different storylines. And instead, they just tell us what we already knew, but then say it was a spell that did it. Uh. That's way more satisfying. Sure. <laughs> I'm glad they changed. They recontextualized her backstory to and, be about magic spells. That's and almost no. as good as the guy having his eyes scratched out by a cat. Well, yeah. Oh, um, oh, yeah. That's another great turn. Yeah. We we talked briefly about the whole Bona Quicksilver thing. Apparently, it was I, I I remember seeing the article or something. Was that inspired by Iron Man Three? Did you say meme repository? Was that was that what he said? Yeah, he said that his favorite part of Iron Man Three was the Mandarin twist, and that was heavily influential with that oh. Bona twist. Oh, but I wouldn't call that a twist. <laughs> no, uh, I, no, yeah, I call that a fucking, fucking god. Yeah. God. Yeah. yeah, in a certain sense. And just watching me in misery, like, <laughs> isn't that funny? You weren't expecting that. It's like, no, it wasn't. Yep. Um, Got you. I didn't. Um, <laughs> my I eyes were rolling to the back of my fucking head. Fuck my yeah, name's this... Bona. Well, when uh, um, I think I you, said Sean. this on Fringy Stream, but like when when I first saw that scene, I was like, I hadn't reacted yet because I was just like, wait, are we? Is that you? Just said that he's a guy in this town. He was given a spell to pretend to be a brother. His name is Ralph Bone. Like. Are we doing this? Are we saying that, that you, it was all just Lolly's name is Bona? Bona? Like, and, and Agatha Harkness can cast a spell that would give Quicksilver powers? Like, can you do that with all the superheroes? And, I mean, it, uh, why, why would you need Wanda's magic at that point? I mean, you can do whatever you want. Oh, um, this screenshot that Braggs has sent, there are now inconsistencies. Pietro says, we were 10 years old having dinner, the four of us, when the first shell hits two floors below, it makes a hole in the floor. It's big. Our parents go in and the whole building starts coming apart. I grab her, roll her under the bed, and the second shell hits. 
but it doesn't go off, sits there in the rubble, three feet from our faces, and on the side is painted one word, which you mentioned before as Stark. Um, yeah, they weren't having dinner. They were watching Malcolm in the Middle or something. Or, no, <sighs> Dick Van Dyke, that's right. <laughs> we wait two days for Tony Stark to kill us. Yeah. I remember finding oh. that so effective. It was like, oh, yeah. great. It's great, and now it's fucked. <laughs> it's been, this is what I mean. New content can retroactively screw up all the. Oh, content. absolutely! And this is so unnecessary. They didn't need to explain any of this. Just like Mueller yeah, said, um, there were so many other things we needed explanation of. This was not one of them. And you know what? It's kind of a cool line where he says, "I wondered why you were, you two are the only one that survived the experiments. Now I don't." He's referring to willpower. A good old fashioned. They have oh, such okay. a hatred oh, for Stark. <laughs> um, that they managed to push through the experiments. But yeah, but but now it's like, well, she survived because she's the Scarlet Witch. And you're like, stop saying that. Please stop saying that. <laughs> and then Pietro survived because. Like, yeah. Oh, okay. um, because. <laughs> because. I don't, I, don't, I don't think we've talked about it yet. And that Pietro, like, whose oh, um, power is magical too? Like, that's another yeah. confusing <laughs> thing. <laughs> well, I think they... Not- yeah, I think they want to do. Maybe they just came up short. Right? They like they wanted to introduce the mutants, and they're like, "No, no, no, we can't do it on Disney Plus. We need to do it in a movie or something." Because they, they so, could have just toyed with the idea. They could have set it up. They could have. It could have been one of those things where not even Wanda knows what's happening, or or we we don't get an explanation quite yet. But it's one of those little oh so. So okay, all right. I see get the all along. Yeah, Disney needs to describe everything to you. Uh, anytime you get close to being emotional, they drop back last oh. minute because they don't want you feeling any sad feelings because of the uh, audience enhanced data driven analysis. <laughs> how um how garbage, by the way, the the TV happens to fall in view of the bomb, so it's just gonna play sitcoms for the two days they're there. It's just like okay. All right. Mm-hmm. It wouldn't go because work. the DVD would run out. This, yeah. Well, yeah, it would get to the end of the episode and stop. <laughs> so yeah. It'd, stop. Like, yeah. It'd be the menu oh, at the very least. Oh, yes. And as pointed out, you have to listen earlier. to the menu music for two <laughs> Oh, <laughs> God. I've... I guess, uh, <laughs> FBI that. warning. <laughs> and as pointed out earlier, they can't even count to two, apparently, because um, uh, they put. Uh, so Pietro's line was like, "There was just one word painted on the side of it, Stark." Yeah, yeah. And in, when you actually see the scene, it's Stark Industry. So that's two words. So they fucked it up like in a very small way again. So they can't even get like the very small details right. To me, it always came across as whenever they keep track of old shit, they just go from memory. Like I'm pretty sure it was something like they were in a house and a bomb hit. I think we'll just go from there. And it's like why? Did it really just... take too much just to go pull yeah, out a copy of Major just... Voltron. And find oh, out. <laughs> Go look at the script, please. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody just pull out a Blu-ray of Age of Ultron. Let's just 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 take us two seconds to get to it. And nah, nah. And so yeah, um, I think it's like the worst of both worlds. Not only did they show me sh- shit that I didn't need to see, they've also changed it. Like, so it's just like thanks for that. I did, you've made it worse, and I didn't need to see it in the first place. Then you get the next scene, which is the Mind Stone detaches itself from the staff to walk right up to her and give her a vision of the Scarlet Witch. Okay. That was really... Was that in her head? Was that what the, the it was implying? Or was, was that real? Did it actually come out and like attach itself to her? Like, What was that all about? No idea. And it I, implies I, I like not the stones... The costume, though. Like, what the... Do the stones have a conscience and they want to like do things? Well, they were I, I don't think so. um, I don't uh, understand. <laughs> it's such a weird moment. I, I didn't know what the hell I was watching when I saw that. I was like, dude, w- what is going on? Why is the phone <laughs> um, like a tool of its own? <laughs> it was a really shitty dialogue. They have it walk in and he's like, please approach the stone. Or so, He says like forward or something like that. And then the guy next to him goes, with respect, sir, no, not one subject has survived. You, why would you tell him that? He knows that. Why'd you say that? <laughs> why, would, yeah. Yeah. why are you dumb? And it's like, they really told us that. Well, yeah, why, why, why are you gonna hold me back, bro? And they, they, told, they said it because they want us to understand this is special. It's like, why I already do dangerous. that. Fuck. Yeah, I hope one is okay. And yeah, for some reason it fucks with time to the point where the camera didn't record any of the shenanigans. It just cuts from her standing to her on the floor. And they're like, how weird. Well, I, don't know, so. I don't know why it did that. But the universe doesn't want them to see it, I guess. Because if we see it happen, it's not a mystery box. 
<laughs> yeah, and while she's waiting in her cell, they fucking it's play just sitcoms. It's a normal box that's open and there's nothing left in it. Sitcoms are following her her whole life, you see. It's, it's not cringe at all that you're just piling it on in all these flashbacks and it never turned up in any of her scenes previously. She never expressed an interest in TV or sitcoms in any way or referenced them. No nope. Dick Van Dyke. No. And you might be like, well, what do you want then? I'd just be like, I think you can do it without all this gay shit. Just have it that she's interested <laughs> in sitcoms. Like, why'd you have to he force it so words. hard? It's, Guys, it, I, I've been watching this episode, and I'm not gonna lie, this is a bunch of gay shit. <laughs> I just, it's, it's frustrating because I'm like, ah, she's someone who would have watched a lot of sitcoms, and she's probably had access to older shit because she was in a poorer country. I get it, that's fine. And then you show me all this, yeah. and I'm like, oh my god, everywhere she goes, they fucking play stupid ass sitcoms in her room. Like, really? It's It's the kind of thing that you would literally be seeing in Batwoman? Yeah. 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 Every step along the way. It's like the constant flashbacks over and over and over and over and over again. So finally, get to a scene that I like. <laughs> when she and Vision discuss but like they have what is one of their opening conversations and it's a really good one to build their relationship from. He doesn't really have much of a reason to talk to him, and he doesn't really have much of a reason to talk to her unless, what do they make clear, which is that he's curious to look after her because she's clearly in pain because her brother died at the end of Age of Ultron. And she's like, why are you talking to me? Because talking about it's not going to help, I want him back. And then he tries to explain the desire to want him back, the grief you're experiencing, I understand it, and it's, it's love persevering after a relatively... A uh, lengthy explanation from his point of view, which is that a person who lacks anyone he cares about because he was born yesterday, as he says in Age of Ultron. He's just trying to understand emotions. And I was like, you know what? I wonder if anyone else wrote this scene because it's so much better than everything in the season. I know what you mean. It's just like, more of this, please. More of this relationship and how it unfolded and how, you know, they, they became these two damaged or, you know, one naive, one really damaged individual. How do they come together? You know, it's just, ugh. And, uh, I like it. It's like it takes place before Avengers: Age of Ultron. So, like, it, it's we've seen their relationship come more to fruition in Civil War and Infinity War. So, it's like it's laying the groundwork of like what came before, and it's it's really solid stuff. And then they ruin it. Well, not not entirely, but I fucking hated it when they both like smile at each other, and the scene is very clear in what it's saying. And then Agatha goes, "So." Your mom and dad died, your brother died, and then Vision died, and so no one could stop you when you fell to the darkness. Thank you. Thanks. Uh -huh. Agnes. Thank you, <laughs> Agnes. Thank you for being here. It honestly Thank felt you. like the show was like, maybe they didn't get it. Maybe they didn't get that Wanda cared maybe, about yeah. Vision, and he helped her deal with her grief, and when he was gone, she had nobody. Maybe they didn't get it. I don't know. They have a lot of faith in their audience. They're streaming for the lowest common denominator. Disney Plus. D Plus. Yeah, and I, I you know who's I, got some D pluses? Cat mm, Denning. Cat Denning's baby. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, uh, the last flashback, I guess, is when she comes in, sees the body, is at peace that Vision is gone, goes to a house that presumably Vision <laughs> bought for them, like a lot. He sent. Because she got a letter with. But he never told her, or I don't know what no... the f the show was well, trying to say. Run with that one. Like, what, did yeah, he on the run in Infinity War. Yeah, and I thought they were in another country. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know when he bought the lot and then wrote the letter to send yeah. to her to say, "Let's live here forever." I don't know when that happened, but apparently it did. This is our forever home, wasn't it? I don't know what. When did he do that? Like, and who lived a just... I mean, like, it's a shitty lot. I mean, maybe you got a good price. <laughs> Well, it was a really <laughs> shitty lot, and I, I assume was the plan for them to build a house there? Was that the idea? Maybe. Yeah. I mean, he probably could build a house. That. Someone, hey, uh, I've just been told that uh, Mahler was wondering if anyone else wrote that scene. Apparently, Paul Bettany had them rewrite that scene. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there you, there you go. He understands the character. Yeah, somebody that actually understands what's going on. Oh, damn. Well, I mean, that man has been Paul acting Bettany in charge of his own character from now on. Absolutely, fuck him. The the ah, uh, because like honestly, it's like the only scene that I feel this show is worth seeing for. Because even the sitcom stuff that I like, it doesn't really go anywhere or do anything. It's more mm -hmm. so a charming thing you could check out. 
that scene. It felt like a natural addition to Civil War, you know? Yeah, pop it into Civil War as a, like, a, a prologue scene, even. I don't know. Like, I, I, I yeah. wouldn't want to fuck with Civil War too much, of course, because I don't want to uh, fuck up the timeline. But, like, it's a scene that is, it only helps the, the rest of the uh, MCU, oh, that oh. scene. The timeline's fucked up. It's really fucked up now. Yeah. But didn't Captain Marvel fuck it up? I, I still haven't seen that film. They still don't care if you see the film. Don't. Don't. But didn't that fuck? Uh, didn't that fuck the uh, timeline up? Um, yes, it, it fucks. It fucks yep. with stuff for sure. I can't remember how much damage it does compared to. Well, oh, I mean, we've already Nick said like Fury, the Avengers, yeah, the yeah. entire. Yeah, it, it retroactively makes his eye thing bad. Um, yeah. Originally, we're told that the Avengers were created because of Thor coming to that town and leveling it in that fight. Um, but apparently, no. Instead, it was all of these shenanigans that happened in Captain Marvel actually. Um, He's the first it Avenger. creates the issue of the... They just don't even address the fact that these massive warships exploded in Earth's atmosphere and no one just seems to give a shit or know about it or care. Um, Why would you? Why would you? Yeah, some stuff like that. So, yeah, mix around with um, it a little bit. Yeah, they screws got... up Guardian. See? Yeah, it screws up a lot of movies. They got this um, the property deed from New Jersey. It's for Wanda Maximoff and The Vision. And there you go, it's grow old in grow old, yeah. And it's just like, when did he do this? Okay, fine. And no. he goes here in and cries and then explodes. <laughs> it's like, okay, hey, you know, that's what women do they go home, they cry, and then they explode. <laughs> she shots out magic and transforms the town. But again, it, wouldn't, like, it would make whatever. so much more sense if this was a manipulation by Agatha, the whole thing was a manipulation. Yeah, you need serious rewrites, but like uh, making Agatha the architect is probably the best way to save Wanda from being incredibly villainous. I would say. Yeah, because she just they comes out bad. Yeah, you just, know what? They could have yeah, done it you better. You can have Agnes either be the villain or just a, a a parallel hero who's trying to like let her down easy. Maybe if he wanted to rewrite it, or she is she's trying to inhibit Wanda's latent energy. Um, and then they maybe, if you want to get rid of them both, then maybe Wanda is somewhat victimized by her own power because of her emotions. But this old sorceress can teach her how to harness her powers and train her. <clears throat> so they go off to do that so they could bring him back whenever they need him for another movie or show or what the fuck mm. ever. But um, yeah, they did it really badly. And yeah, ugh. And they mixed up the hero and the villain, and it's just a mess. It's all just horrible. It's all bad. All bad. Uh, it was. It wasn't actually Agatha. Oh, <laughs> I wish it was, it was Agatha all along. We hero. really do. It was kind of Wanda Maxima all along. So, uh, but she didn't kill Sparky. When Agatha finds all this out, she realizes she's the Scarlet Witch from this. And thus continues the initial plan of yes, suck, suck the power. That's all she wants to do. So suck that whole off, episode maybe. really plot wise doesn't change a thing. It's just to give us context that I honestly think we knew most of this. Um, except most of it now adding a whole bunch of questions, unfortunately. Well, I think a lot of this stuff is better left unsaid. Like this stuff was in the subtext of the previous films or like recounted through dialogue, and it's like you really don't need this to play out visually. Especially not in this context. Uh huh. Yeah. Like you could do it through quick <laughs> flashes or something, but we really don't need this extended scene of them cowering in front of the bomb. You know, it's not. It's, it's yeah, not it's necessary. better as a story. It's the way that they describe it, yeah, like well, that. Yeah. yeah. I, I pictured all of it, and now I'm watching it all. It's like, ah, oh, so much labor. <laughs> it's usually labor, yeah. Especially when you have this incompetent creative team trying to fucking pull it off. Mm hmm. Which uh, takes wait? Us... Are we pull it, are we pulling it off or sucking it off? I don't, I'm really confused. Why not both? Okay, fair enough. Let's go. Which takes it's us like to episode bit. eight, by the way. That's which uh, we've we've managed to cover us, uh, portions of eight already, so it shouldn't be too painful to get through. But it is easily sorry nine. I keep, portions fucking, of eight. I keep, I'm, I'm so used to seasons portions being of eight, eight episodes. Portions of eight. Nine <laughs> is where we're at. Nine is the disaster. So yeah, it opens I guess with with Agatha being like, right, I'm a make you Wait. cast spells so I can suck you. And you're like, alrighty. <laughs> Unfortunately, at the same time, uh, uh, Vision, evil Vision, is, is, is made his way in, and his job is to kill them both. And at the same time, Vision's discovered the truth, but he doesn't really care because he's going to get into a big old boss battle. Um, 
I guess the, uh, the, 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 there's so many things, I don't even know where to, where to begin with this shit. Um, Agatha's immortal, right? Like, she been lost yeah. for ages, because... Or yeah. at least lasts a long, long Some, time. Yeah. Somewhat, let's just assume. Is she also, like, super strong? Because she gets no. hit by a car. No, Ooh, she... I have like, killed. So that part confused me when I was watching it too. I was like, "Oh, she's dead because she just got hit by a car, <laughs> <laughs> and only her shoes are left." <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't know what they were telling me. It's like, nah, she teleported out. You're like, but she was clearly hit by it. So... But all that was was just a cheap, uh, wicked whisk witch. Of the yeah, West. yeah, yeah. Out visuals and quippy yeah. little yeah, but the Wicked Witch of the West died in that scene they're referencing, <laughs> which is like another one of those weird things. Like, oh yeah, she's dead. Because yeah, if you drop a house to... on a witch, she dies. Yeah, yeah but you they can... have to come back to water and houses. Those are the two weaknesses. You can walk up behind Wanda, Wanda, and shoot her in the head. You know, you can walk up behind <laughs> yeah. Doctor Strange and shoot him in the head. Same with Human Torch. There's a bunch of heroes where they got these amazing powers, but you can still blow them away with you know, just a nine millimeter. She so, should have been dead. Except Monica, who's bullet. Yeah, bullet she'll, well, she'll jelly them. Watch out for a jelly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's supposed to be energy, too. It's supposed to be light. I don't know why it becomes jelly at some point, but yeah. <laughs> I, just want to, uh, to be... like, I hope people can understand. Like, I think it's a valid concern because uh, look at this screenshot I've got. I think that's pretty funny. You only see it for a split second or so. Um, yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, like wow. Away with magic. oh my god. You've been telling me. And the motion below, like you can tell there's the G forces. How fast it's going? Oh, she's, <laughs> she's wrapped around the car. <laughs> <laughs> she's she's uh, eating that car. She's eating that bumper. I am yeah. all of a sudden remembering why I thought she would she crumple died. like a fucking paper mache doll. Yep. yep. But it, it Toyota. Yeah. Yeah. Long. It does fuck all because she just comes back later, but we'll have to do this piece by piece. She's um, a soul, st she's a soul stone and took a, took a health potion. She, so, <laughs> so Vision, Evil Vision shows up, and he's supposed to be a drone that's designed to kill them, and instead he's like, Wanda. Wanda. Hello. I'm evil, by the way. And then, like, he, like he knows her. And like said a... you were strong. I don't get it. <laughs> as well. like he, he takes his time. And you're just like you just use the laser on your head and Look cut her in half. She's a glass cannon. The way he yeah, comes to her, I knew we should this quirky personality into him. It's like he's confused when he first walks toward her. He's just like, "What's uh, what's happening? What's going on? I don't know. Weird. Life is strange." And then uh, he's like, "Lol, I'm actually going to kill you." And you're like, "Oh, my god." That made all of the stuff you just did really weird, but okay. Um, the interesting part to me, I think, has all been highlighted by many people, is the the head crack thing. Uh, I think I even tweeted about it. I was just like, is she dead? She's the normal sound at the very least. It's, it's, it is undeniably bone cracking sound effects. You're just like, what is that if it's not her head? Also, it should have been instant. Why would it even take, like, He's, he's he's vibranium. He's like vibranium yeah. robot, dude. This it's isn't over. Jason Voorhees where he's a little bit human, so it might take him a second to pop that head pimple. You know, yeah. this is a robot. Um but what yeah, makes it definitely. worse is he's crushing her <laughs> yep. to the point of her skull cracking. That is a strong grip he's got there. Vision Maybe. tackles him at the speed of presumably a, a high amount. Surely that took him by surprise. Surely he's taking Wanda's head with him. Well, that should just come pop at least snapping her neck. You, know? you just <laughs> see her body flailing around because it's barely attached by the skin of her throat because everything else is broken off. Like I just maybe had wobbly <laughs> cum fingers. No, it just drops <laughs> down like like safely. It's just a quick fall. It's like was he not holding on at all? It's like he has butterfingers. Yeah. Um, oh. yeah, Vision is real fucking lucky he didn't kill her by doing that. Uh, yeah, and like her skull was cracking. That. <laughs> No, it wasn't. <laughs> well, it's fine, because if it was, she'd be dead. So I'm sure it's fine, Gary. I'm sure it's fine. Yeah. Um, I also like that of all the things you could be tossed into, it's the, the gas canister on a caravan. It just explodes. It's like, this is when you know, like, we're in for the MCU sludge, everyone. Uh, now for MCU sludge. Was there a canister on the back? Yeah, yeah. It's Of all the things you could have been thrown at, it's, it's something that explodes. Good stuff. Of course, we're back to evil, like... Villain with the same powers as the hero fighting. It's like it's super exciting stuff yeah, that we um, haven't seen. 
was it Free? Were we talking about this? Like the the or was it? I can't remember if it was Rags. It was somebody saying about like how the the whole wouldn't it be making more sense to flip? Oh, them? it would. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, the logic I had was like if if uh, Agatha can suck Wanda's magic powers, then surely Vision should fight Agatha and Wanda should fight Cum Vision. That makes more sense. <laughs> We can't dungeon. have males fight females anymore. The problem, yeah, no. because like it would be way more interesting to try and see them counter each other. Because of yeah, course, why do I want to f see Vision fight Vision? That's fucking what I think. Both you know of them are lame like, as what? fuck. The uh, <laughs> like, as just said it. I mean, it's going to be stupid, but that's the future. You're going to see people. I mean, I don't know if you're going to be able to see like a uh, a white guy fight a black guy anymore. <laughs> They're going to have the black guy to get all. I mean, <laughs> you think. It sounds crazy, but that's what they're doing. Uh, this is all this Bechdel test, and uh, oh, man, you don't want to go down that route. I guess hole. I, yeah, because the problem is like when I sit here and think about vision versus cum vision, it's like, why do that? Like, I, I, don't, I don't see the well, utility in having two identical characters fight each other. My first you know? thing with that fight was just go incorporeal and stand still and be like, yeah. so what are we doing? Like, yeah, uh, <laughs> what are we doing? Because <laughs> like I, this fight doesn't end, so we have to have it, and that's to me is what Vision would do. He would just go thingy and then be like, "You can't hurt me. I can't necessarily hurt you. Let's talk." Which they eventually Let's do, talk. but not for a while. Yeah, yeah. and it, I kind of like full on yeah. man of steel with this fight as well, because that was almost a you think you could hurt my mother, mother. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you think you can hands up my mother, mother. It's not usually this confrontational. Like Vision usually will open, like trying to be the voice of reason. Like that's what he does when he arrives at the airport instead of civil war. It's like he's usually not well, like too yeah, first the Hawkeye in again. The compound. As we highlighted, he doesn't even question who evil villain and uh, evil evil Vision and and purple witch lady are. He just deals with it like, well, this has happened. Excuse yeah, me. Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't even acknowledge her till the end, right? Uh, because they're supposed to be separate. That's the way they write shit now. It's crazy. It's gonna. It's gonna be very hard to write superhero films when you put so much restriction on yourself. You can't. Yeah. If you're gonna have a super powered woman, you can't have. You know, uh, Drinker pointed this out in his villains video at the end of Thor Ragnarok. You couldn't have a fully powered Thor taking on Hela. He and had to. <laughs> oh yeah, no. the third party had to slice her apart. Yeah. Um, and yet he says in um he says in the very next film I had to kill my sister. But he didn't kill her. Well he could, he, you, yeah, he, he could see himself as to blame in terms of, and he would have been okay yeah, with yeah. her dying, right? He would have sanctioned yeah, it, if you will. <laughs> um God, you can almost hear Hans Zimmer playing when that shot starts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I, I think it's really weird that Agatha is like, uh-oh, your ex and your boyfriend at the same place. It's like, Agatha, aren't you like, what the fuck is that? What the <laughs> hell is that? <laughs> I didn't what is Cumvision doing here? What is this Cumvision? It, it's, ev nobody behaves Seed like the way they oh, should. It's, everyone's just weird. Or my plan. Exactly, that doesn't even yeah. Like, I'm fine. She'd be like, this vision's trying to kill Wanda. Like, that's bad for me, because I need to suck her powers. And I don't care, for some reason. Like, it's just like, what, what is happening? And then, she teleports away, and onto, like, closer to the town? And so it becomes clear that she wants to start enticing Wanda to cast spells. And she does, like I said, the, there's some level of, like, making sense here. Um... But then when it, when when Wanda actually does start casting spells, she doesn't do anything. You remember when she strangles everybody? Like she's got all of her red goo coming out of her because she's doing it. Uh, Agatha doesn't do yeah. anything. She doesn't do the big suck. Nope. She does. She does suck on other scenes. <laughs> she's really inconsistent with it. Um, you act like the only way that she can suck is when like she throws those like balls, and then she can suck with that. But any other thing, so she sucks, sucks balls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What when happens? Wanda's that is a, that is balls. Red balls. Hey, out of curiosity, if I had, like, a concrete cube that I put those runes inside, and so anybody in there can't cast spells, but then I put that in a really big concrete cube that also had runes in it from a different witch, and then I put that in a really, really big cube with, like, who's... How does that work? Who, who's, who's I active? ain't got a fucking <laughs> Danny LaRue, mate. <laughs> I have no idea. It's mm. fine. Big suck. So, moving on... Uh, we get all the Haywood stuff, we've been over it, so we're all good, we can move on. And, and the bonus stuff. Just excellent yeah, work. Andy. And then, um... Good job. 
Yeah, uh, uh, Agatha, like, tosses and throws Wanda quite a bit with powerful blasts. And, and again, it always feels like, and this applies to Agatha too, it's just like, do you guys forget? These aren't superhumans. These are people. But like, okay. Yeah. They've got deal with it. powers, but as individuals, they're just as mortal as us. Yeah, and then just like in my spooky book, it says that you're gonna do, you're gonna destroy humanity or something. Is that what she says? You're you're gonna be like, you're gonna um, kill everyone. Damn, I I can't remember what exactly she said. Uh, I just remember thinking like, oh god, are we doing uh, are we doing Dark Phoenix? I'm guessing uh, eventually or something. It's very similar to that. Yep, probably similar. Yeah, like no, not Dark Phoenix, not, not again. Yeah, she says. She says. Also, your I like destiny. how she can just summon the book of the damned just <laughs> casually. Yeah. She, uh, she says your destiny is to destroy the world. Can I summon an amazing? Oh, that's your destiny. That's your destiny, apparently. And then Wanda was able to do it later as well. Like, where did she learn to summon the Satan book? You know. Well, yeah, because there's no reason why she should be able to do that, right? Like, nobody. No. She she even says, "I'm not a witch. I don't cast spells, and no one taught me magic." Which? How does she even know what astral projection is? Yeah, and um, interesting. She says that, and then a few seconds later, casts the fucking runes. Yeah, yep. funny. Which funny. don't even match, so we can't even have the. Ha she has like photographic memory excuse, which is still bullshit. But also, like, bullshit, hey, yeah. come on. Harry Potter talks to snakes before he knows he's a wizard. There you That's go. true, and it was Superman's yeah. first day. You're right. But, star, but it's, wait, it's, it's, wonder. He had a piece uh, of wonder. That's so, why. But but I think the most damning is. She's like, I'm gonna use my powers, and Agatha's like, you can't, because you're standing in a room with runes that cancels out witches' spells. You are casting spells, dumbass. <laughs> like, it's just, you can't even yeah. disprove it at that point. It's terrible dialogue, but, like, Wanda should be at peace at this point with, like, yeah, I guess I'm a witch then, mechanically. Like, how else can I explain yeah. all this bullshit? But she's like, nope, not a witch, well, and then cast more spells. And then she well, so we have this fully witch. trained witch here, and we have this really lame fight where they just casting magic balls at each other <laughs> back and forth rather than doing yeah, anything it creative. Looks crap, honestly. Yeah. Like the fight actually looks dog shit. Like the visual effects, it's like, you know, it's kind of like in a really crappy TV show where they just clearly got them on wires and they're just moving the image that they captured around on a green screen. <laughs> it looks really <laughs> crap. It looks really shit. Like which is weird because like the vision fight was having like actual, you know, like effects work and stuff. That's what took up all the budget. Yeah. Well, well, I uh, I read that they only finished the finale two weeks before uh, it aired, so they were clearly Ooh. in a bit of a rush. Yeah. Ooh, that's not good. That Maybe might explain a lot. Actually. I was going to say that might explain why it's some of the worst fucking shit in the MCU ever seen. Like it's it's so terrible. Because remember, the, the the following scene is all of the people being released, and then Wanda's like, "Ah, stop talking, strangle you all." It's like the what? Yeah. <laughs> and then let us die, please. <laughs> we feel your grief. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think it's just infinitely disturbing that she keeps all the children trapped in their bedrooms. Like, what the fuck are you yeah, like? What? Why did you need to imagine, do that? Why couldn't they be out playing in the parks? Why that. couldn't they be doing children things? What yeah, like the, why? Did, why are you? You didn't have to be so evil. Yeah, does she keep them trapped in their bedrooms while also having them feel her grief? So they're like in this eternal, like yeah, yeah, depressive yeah, state. Yeah. Hence why yeah, they're, they're stuck they're in the room. They something. don't have control over themselves. They can't call out to their parents. There's no one else there for them. They're all alone. Like, that's horrific. And uh, this, why I don't want to understate it. That's 25 possibly... million dollars an episode. This cost. Yeah. <laughs> 25 million! It, it, is, it is the most expensive TV show ever made. Dude, that means three of these episodes are the same price as Joker. No! And they gave it to the these writers. Joker was 50 million! Oh, two then. Oh, wow. Well, if you add marketing, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, if you, yeah, add, marketing. If you add marketing for WandaVision, then it just cancels out, doesn't it? Oh, in <laughs> that case, probably. probably. Actually, WandaVision probably has more marketing budget, so. It might have. I know, of course, it's PG 13 or whatever, so, it's you know. As much as Wonder Woman. Yep. Well, this movie, yeah, I think WandaVision is the most expensive television show ever made. It, it beats out the Pacific. Um, which is crazy because the Pacific and like Band of Brothers have incredible production values. Mm -hmm. And this show kind of doesn't like it, it has, <laughs> it clearly has better production values than like CW shit, but like it's still not, you know what I mean? Like it's still a bit rough. Um, still... They're in a rush. 
I have to question just how, like, I can understand, you know, if she's like this magic conduit, she might be able to figure out how to do telepathy or telekinesis maybe on her own. But like all of this reality manipulating stuff, I feel like this is something you would have to learn rather than something you would have intuitive control over. Of course. Uh, I don't know. Uh, absolutely. I I don't see how you could intuitively be like, yeah, I can rewind time. It's like, oh, what's like going on in your head when you make that happen? What hand gestures are you doing to make that happen? And mm. she's doing the big, big spell. Look at all this red goo everywhere. She's not sucking. She's just watching her. From <laughs> <She's far away. laughs> There's so she's much goo to suck. <laughs> you can More. be like a mentor right there. It's so frustrating. And then she like implies like, well, what are you going to do to save him? You're going to release him? And then she does the big spell, the classic laser into the sky, which I'm very glad big we still green. have. The good it was one. red this time. It was red though. Yeah, they need to do him blue. They need to stay blue. But you know, what can you do? Have uh, we had a yellow one yet? I don't, I don't even know. I'd we like should... to see a magenta one. I'd like a purple yeah, one. Know. Have we had a purple one? I want a green one. I like green. No way. We Green Lantern did that. Have we had a, a green laser? Yeah. It's, yeah, it's Green Lantern. Strange. They all shot their green coom oh. into the sky, and that was. <laughs> yeah, cool. right, Speaking right. of, <laughs> right? Yeah. So look at all of that glorious that red yeah. coom going into the sky, and look at Agatha mm. just to the left, not doing a mm. fucking thing about it. Missing the big suck. Like, look how much she could suck. There's a whole oh, stream that, of suckable. That, that, that effect, it, man. Yeah. That effect is fucking rough. Oh my god. It is goodness. rough. Ooh, it is not that it's not casting light. It's not really I'm just imagining it's not them filming it before they added in the Why isn't beam. I get the dude doing the big suck? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, this is it, a prime it's opportunity. That looks like something I could do in like this is exactly 30 minutes what I get the once and yeah. she's doing it and she's not doing the big suck. Well, what's weird is yeah. that she only begins sucking again when uh, Wanda, uh, sorry, Vision turns back up, and they're all talking, and then she casts a purple goo spell at them, and Wanda blocks it, and then she starts sucking it. And it's like, why weren't you sucking it before? <laughs> the whole point of this fight was to, like, bait her so that she would have to use her yeah. magic. Yeah. The big yeah. There's all of this delicious red juice <laughs> flow, you know, yeah, you, the, the magic up. apple juice going in. <laughs> Suck it! And uh, suck, suck wonder, come on. Can we think really? of another metaphor? No, never mind. Um, <laughs> no. and then because this episode is non stop insanity, the borders are lifted so that the citizens can escape. And then Haywood is like, Now's our chance, let's, right, go, let's in. go in. <laughs> uh, no, go in everyone. like, how about we don't, Haywood? Uh, uh, it's funny when she lifts the borders, all of the objects in the world are shifting different eras. The implication being that. While she's like allowing people to leave, everything is in a sort of state of oscillation between different things, implying that when the borders come back down, things will go back to whatever we'll era they're supposed to, to be. Yeah. So why the fuck? This is the thing. If I was part of Haywood's team, like we got to go in there, I'd be like, nah. Why <laughs> not? Let's maybe wait and see what happens. Yeah, first there's, there's kind of a lot of in. dodgy shit going on right now. So I don't I, think it's a great I'm idea. Give but... it five. I'm gonna put. Gonna have a cup of tea. They all follow in. And uh, consequence free as well because the borders go back up, but they don't convert to anything. They're fine, as if the implication is only if you pass through the border do you convert. But we know that's not true. Things are converting in the universe all the time. Yeah, you like, can see them. They're slooping in and out. So it's just it's just bullshit. They can't keep track of anything. Why aren't the people They're turning all the fifties and that. stuff? Why are they all like still twenty first century and not turning back into fifties people and seventies people? I don't, dude. Like, <laughs> there's just no way to. It's nothing. This is a very good question. Uh, the visions fight and they do the thing. The lasers lock lasers and they push back yeah. and forth. Uh, I don't know who did it we, first. A lot of people want to reference strength. Harry Potter. Um, beam struggles. Like yeah, like, like, like Harry's Potter. Harry Potter's the one I remember being pretty early. But what else is there where they just lock beams? Ah, uh, didn't they do this in, um, oh, isn't it like Iron Man? You know, they do an, oh wait, they do it in X-Men 3, uh, between Iceman oh, yeah, and Fireman. Oh yeah, they you had yeah, Doomsday and, um... Oh yeah, Doomsday. I'm going, yeah. what's, uh, Vision. is the earliest reference, uh, in mainstream movies, X-Men The Last Stand? Is that, or was Harry Potter before? It might before be X-Men 3, cause, no, well, cause, uh, wasn't the, the fight, X-Men 3 came out before, like, the, like, oh wait, no, but it was Goblet of Fire or something, wasn't it, when they do up. the first oh, shoot lasers. Okay. Superman 2. Everyone's saying Dragon Ball Z. I'm looking for like movie or Live TV big budgets with a, the two colors, you know, like uh, it, it wouldn't surprise me. Maybe that might have been first. On TV, on TV trope, they call it Beamer War. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. <laughs>
Uh, Dragon, Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball could be the first instance. I'd be curious what like what are the the most initial uh, ones are. Film live Phantom. action. Oh, Big Trouble in Little China apparently had one. Wait, yeah. not the Phantom. Phantom. Um, hmm. Big Trouble in Little China had mm. one. The yeah, Phantom. Sure. Like, According like, to Billy Zane, it did. Well, that's what I'm confused about. Is it Phantom? Like, am I am I mixing up? Phantom is the the comic, right? The Purple Man. That yeah. Pulled. Yeah. yeah right. Where would Billy there Zane. be no laser in that? Huh. Uh, maybe, maybe. Oh, it comes out of the rings. The rings. Oh, he shoots oh, lasers oh. out of his out of the rings. Howard the Duck rings. had one apparently. Then it probably is the Phantom Man the in duck. that case. Because Phantom. Super Howard old. the Duck will return in Avengers Endgame. Hopefully, please love that guy. Please, best character. He um, was actually there for like three seconds. He was. Hey, After credits, Guardians. Guardians. he was in the end portal scene. Yeah, as he should be. What? Ending the world. Uh, um. Yeah. Anyway, vi vision. How the dot came through one of the portals? Yeah, yeah. it came with all the uh, revenger ravagers or whatever they <laughs> yeah, were yeah. called for like <laughs> three it. seconds. I, I totally missed that. He's next what to what? He's in the shot where Wasp appears. If you're curious. Oh, okay, okay. Something we didn't quite talk about yet. Um, for some reason, one of Wanda's or both of Wanda's kids can see, possibly into the future, and danger. They detect future danger. And they have flashes of it, and that's what usually motivates them to do things, for, such as ask Wanda to save Vision in episode six or five—I can't remember—and also try and save her in episode nine. This Wait, is a real diverse little village in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I just don't get it. What, what? Why is it that they have those powers? Because you might be like, "Well, they're just like just sensing her experiences or whatever." It's like, but she, they do it before they happen. I don't understand. It's a weird one. Yeah. I don't expect anybody to explain it. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, the kid? Like, why does he have the powers, or what? Or are they just undefined? Uh, well, because that's supposed to be Wiccan. Right? Let's put it this way: the writers were like, "We've got two problems," and it's like, "Oh yeah, just two. Um, we need to have a reason for the kids to be aware that Vision is in trouble, and a reason to find out that uh, their mum is in trouble." Yeah. Um, they just know because they can sense it. All right. Wiccan, Wiccan can sense it. I don't think. Well, the other one. I thought it, you might be right on that. Yeah, uh, at least they they decided to say that that not both of them can do it, just the one. That that helps it. <laughs> it makes it make more sense. Uh, He's got more his mom's powers, and the other one's got more like his uncle's powers, and that's from. It's supposed to be the young of. They're introducing kind of the young Avengers, eventually. Well, I'm, I'm sure you guys are all excited for how they're going to. Oh, yeah, gonna yeah, wait. Yeah. Um, wait. So yeah, uh, Vision and her kids start to disintegrate because, again, they're totally real. Um, and so, it, again, this, at this point in the film, I was just a uh, series. I was just like, so reassemble them later, I guess. Who cares if they disassemble? Is this their test run for Disney's live-action Pinocchio? Perhaps. Uh, I thought this was going to be the moment where she let them go, where she sees them fading away, and she has to come to terms. He's like, "Okay, they're not real," well, and then she lets it go because it's the right thing to do. Once again, because the cool. show doesn't trust its audience, you have Agatha say something like, "You have to choose, Wanda. The people oh, of yeah. Westview are your family." And it's like, "Shut the fuck up, woman." But then, then they could just do Batman Forever. I choose both. You yeah. see, I am both Wanda Maximoff and the Scarlet Witch. Bam, 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 bam. Um, could she do... not just like take down the dome, let everyone out, and then put the dome back up, back up? and have no one in the town? Or yeah. Something? Well, we said this before. Why can't she just put the dome on her house, just her house? Yeah. And she can go in and out of it. Follow them around if they want to go outside. Yeah, just put a little dome on them. A little, you're know, like a hamster wheel. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Hamster ball them. <laughs> Magic. Yeah. Hamster, hamster ball, ball. Sorry. Uh. So. Then we get, like, the episode just loses its mind in terms of understanding what the hell's happening. There's this moment where uh, come Vision turns up, all the family are together, Agatha's there, Haywood shows up, and a couple of people are there, also Monica's there. And I've talked about this before, but when you try and figure out, like, when whether something's making sense or not, you're like, you need to find out how did everyone get here, what do they all want to do? And, like, we, I think we've been over how weird it is that everyone got to where they are. Come Vision's not just lasering them for some reason. He's just not. Like, he's staring at them to look intimidating and cool. Yeah. He should be, but he's just not. Agatha sucked bit. the big suck so much that both yeah. of Wanda's hands are like black and ghouly now. I don't know what that means. Yeah, it like it, it what happened to the witches at the beginning sort of is happening to her now, and so we're thinking, oh, that kills you. 
but not in a face I guess not later, doesn't it? Out, like, what is how long you have your magic sucked out? Like, what is it? What is that? You know? No idea. You don't no. need magic to live, so I don't know why so we know how much that. stuck yeah. there was left to get sucked. And so we're supposed to assume that if she had like a power level getting sucked, that she's a 50, 60 percent sucked. So she's still got some left, even though it's just not translated <laughs> all to us. We're very confused. Um, like weakened, like she's like her hands are all like wilted and all that, but she doesn't like seem to fight worse or like lose anything. It's just, she's yeah. fine. Yeah. And when she's quote unquote fully sucked, uh, like at the end of the fight, she's still hovering. And yeah, um, well, she's Agatha faking it, dude. Think it's weird. She's faking it. Yeah, I don't know but why. Agatha she's doesn't seem it. to think it's weird that she's still flying when the suck has gone to full capacity. Now, um, Awood shows up, and I'm like, what's he going to be doing then? Is he going to just open fire? Is he is he going to try and talk to him? I have no idea. And the camera zooms in on us with our team of heroes. That I'm like, wait, no, in three of them. Three of them aren't real. Like, what? <laughs> what's happening? It's just Wanda. And it's like, remember the Incredibles? Because this shot it's is... Like, oh, <laughs> it is, it is! Yeah. Exactly like the Incredibles, and I hate it. I'm like, dude, don't, don't I mean, steal. They, they, they got the camera down and every... God. So, it's and they're also, all in red. It also makes me cringe when uh, he's like, boys, we didn't prepare you for this. And she's like, but you were born for this. It's like, what the yeah. fuck are you talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> they, were born yesterday. <laughs> they weren't born. You fucking created them. I don't even know how much they mean to you anyway. But also, what are you suggesting? Are you about to battle all three of these enemies at once? Do you even have any comprehension of who these people are, what they want anymore? What about the big suck happening? Is everyone out of the town? Everything's up in the air and just stuff happens. A human was paid to write that. <sighs> the saved their home. They were really home. proud of that, yeah. Yeah, they were really happy with that shot. And I was just like, why is it meaningful? I have no idea. And yeah, she's like, I want to take Agatha, Vision fights Vision, you guys take care of the army to the kids. The armed soldiers. <laughs> like, okay. Yeah. But of course, I'm laughing. They do. They do. Uh, for some reason, they take the weapons away and mind control everyone except Haywood and a couple of people in the trucks, I guess. It's like, why? Yeah. So that we can have Haywood be evil, I guess. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's it's uh, also, I guess, would you call it an insane convenience that he's able to get Vision to stop trying to kill them by telling about the ship of Theseus? It's I would have opened with that. To to be honest, there's, if that I think was there might have been a way for the visions to communicate with one another in some kind of way where Vision almost like knows himself in another but, form. But how they did it was beams, Wi-Fi. Mm. Yeah, I'm confused um, about is how much he's like Vision, like how much he's exactly the same if he's able to. Man of Steel shot again, goddamn. I yeah, mean, because uh, yeah, uh, like I've seen video comparisons. I'm I'm not too convinced about the whole. It's it's too similar to Bad of Steel. It's like there's there's a lot of things you can connect in a lot of superhero movies when you have two industry. Oh, I just I'm just saying it's an uh, interesting coincidence. Is uh, sure funny to me, but at the same time, like I w if anyone said like it's copied shots, I'd be like, I mean, the substance of the scenes are completely different. They're both awful, whatever. But like it's you know what I mean. Like as copying goes. Um, oh yeah, I don't think it's like intentionally copied. I just um I just find it. Funny that they're both awful and they both share some sure. some shot composition here. Um, so he t like I guess my issue is that he's not a drone. He's like an actual evil dude who was told to kill Vision, not the entity that that they send him after targeted wise Vision. And so it has to be his understanding of Vision that he's going to destroy, which is this creature. And it takes Vision saying, "I'm not Vision. I'm like a constructed Vision." And that's enough for him to be like, huh. Okay, sure. Weird. Cool. Yeah. Can you explain that? And I'm just like, wow. And of course, you might be thinking to yourselves, like, wouldn't they immediately do things on a computer to make him stop thinking? And it's like, well, they said he's overloaded. They can't do anything. Like, oh, fuck it out. <laughs> you know, I had is if that's the case and like he questions his own like existence, wouldn't come vision like kill himself if he thinks he's vision? Um, I honestly thought they were gonna do the whole thing where the robots like, wait, that's paradox. Man, man, it's <laughs> like, style. Yeah, uh, I guess I just thought it was way too easy. I was like, okay, yeah, it's cool, it's, yeah. And um, the they're other thing, was... get, I think they're trying to get male characters to resolve their fights nowadays without violence because it's too toxic. 
Mm. So men men talk it out, women do the fighting now. I mean, the thing is, their fight couldn't end. They can both go yeah. incorporeal, so it's just like, whoa. But the ship the ship analogy didn't make sense. Well, I, I kind of agree with you because... It wasn't the same ship and, and a new ship. It was a, It's a new ship. Vision... Everything that the old ship was is gone. Just Vision because it looks the that, same um, doesn't mean that it is. It, it was a concept above the writer's well, station, the, I think. Vision says that, that maybe they, what makes Vision Vision is the memories. What makes the Theseus' ship maybe the rot or the planks having been touched by Theseus himself. They only ever ask what might define it. The robot himself is just like, huh. There's no, like, answer, so you can't actually... Like, I find it difficult to criticize it, because I have no idea what he's thinking or what he's concluded. Hmm. But he says it's both. It is both the ship and it isn't the ship. Well, this is the thing. I, I I don't know why you would program him to have a concept of vision instead of just saying target that individual and, and that kill them because you're a robot now. Because we programmed you, we have total control over you. So just laser her. That yeah. Just, um, stop yeah, talking. Laser her. <laughs> <laughs> Can you just shut up? <laughs> oh. Yeah, and then of course uh, we went over this earlier, but I just think it's a fucking shame that we've got Vision's body and then Vision's like spirit, if you will, and the spirit has unlocked all the memories in the body of Vision. So now he's Vision. He's back. He can talk. He can turn up in another film now and be a little yep. weird, but get back to being Vision in the course of like one movie, probably. <laughs> and he just fucks right off. He just takes we, off. Yeah, he doesn't never help. He doesn't help his. If he has all the memories of being Vision, then he's gonna fucking care about doing the right thing. Yeah, but he just leaves. It's so crap. My planet needs men a just leave. Come world. Yeah. That's Why did you say do. that, Dave? Speaking of leaving, <laughs> I got I got a bailout right now too. Sorry, I have that's, uh, that's, that's totally stuff right. to do. Five uh, hours. But before you go, uh, weak sauce. Do you want to tell everybody what you're up right. to over on Nerotic and why they should subscribe? Uh, um. Well, I'll be talking about this in my next video. Ah, so, uh, yeah, yeah, I will be breaking down uh, a, a show that I started liking at first and now I despise, absolutely despise. Yeah. So, uh, oh, the I, I yeah, it's such a bummer, but it, it's always a pleasure uh, being on EFAP. Thanks, guys. Um, uh, have a good day. Out of curiosity, have you recorded the video already? Um, I have uh, about half of it done. I was going to say, I don't know if today's helped with any uh, <laughs> finding more things to discuss. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, I'm glad I waited and kind of drug my feet on this one. I thought it, I was kind of <laughs> thinking about not releasing it, but now I'm definitely going to release it. It's uh, oh, there's so dude, much um... to break down here, but I can't watch it again. And there's no, no way and I, and, and I absolutely wouldn't recommend the show to anybody. It's painful. No, it's terrible. No. no. I mean, it's the structure of Disney Plus itself, too. Like, these little short 20... One episode is 22 minutes. Is, mm. it, it, with 11 it minutes is, of credits. Yeah, it is hard to tell <laughs> a full episode story and then a season story when you have so little time. Um, yeah. I, I'm happy I canceled my Disney Plus. It's not worth it. It's a ripoff. So, hey, thanks again, guys. And well, thank uh, you for coming on, sir. It's been a pleasure, and, and uh, I'll catch you on the internet some other time, I suppose. Yeah, see you Tuesday, buddy. See you Tuesday. Later, guys. Bye. See you later. Bye. 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 Boy. Now we have the six man panel. I can make us all big icons again. E. Hooray. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Excellent. Yay. I um, see you've grown since last we've met. Twice the size, double the fall. <laughs> <laughs> Just twice as Twice the size, double the cum. <laughs> oh my god. My goodness, sir, you can't be saying That's that. That's what vision is. Um, alrighty, so... Where were we? Coming, coming through all these events, pain massively. Yeah, so they all do their separate fights. Visions is resolved because of the ship of Theseus. Um, Agatha's... Oh, I guess the children's one would be next. So we've kind of gone over it. Um, Heywood decides to shoot them. They stop him. He's hit by Voice Lady and... I see the, the ice cream truck out of nowhere. Like, she yep, just... <laughs> she knew. She knew. When she was driving and she knew that this would be her thing. She, what she wanted to do. It's... um. Kind of staggering, actually, but the show didn't care about that point, and I don't think people watching it had much left to care about, too. Um, 
Yeah, and so that's like resolved. The 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 sword people, the few that were there are all mind controlled, except for the people in the trucks who just don't do anything. I guess they're just like, oh well. <laughs> yeah, they're like, fuck this shit. Which uh, the only drama that's left now is defeating <laughs> Agatha because everyone else is done. So, and so how is this done? Oh wait, I guess yeah. The, the Monica's got superpowers. We kind of went over this. I don't really know what else to say. It's just <laughs> it's, it's uh. Yeah. She's, she's another superhero. She's going to be a Captain Marvel 2. Who knows what else she'll do. She'll be a main Avenger. It's going to be fantastic. She'll be Don't great. Worry. She'll be amazing. Um, Again, she was fun when she was mind-controlled, and really? then she got free will back, and she wasted it. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh yeah. So this is where it gets really weird, and I, I tweeted about this because I was, I was just lost. The last we saw, <laughs> she had sapped Wanda's powers quite significantly, and then Wanda sneaks up on her and does nightmare-tisms on her, like we saw in Age of yeah. Ultron. You're like, okay, but this one is, she takes her into presumably her nightmare world of being nearly killed by her own coven, and then Wanda's like walking around, very villainy, being like, ha ha, and then like lifts all the bodies up to try and attack her, and she's like panicking, and you're just like, wow, this is a little, um, feel, this feels a little <laughs> awkward. But and there then, again, she's not even a pinnacle of virtue throughout the whole series. So. Exactly. I, I, you just don't know what they're trying to say. It was only until we got to the end of these episodes that you could finally figure out what the show has to say about Wanda. And it's the, yeah, she did some stuff that was a little mean. Sure. But she's a good guy. You're like, <laughs> she's a meanie pants. Yeah, a bit of meanie pants. Um, but the weird thing about this know what you've lost. is flipping the stakes to keep us on the edge of our seats done horribly wrong. So Wanda was clearly losing... Now she's clearly winning, and then in this scene, uh, Agatha like is like mwa ha ha, and then the, all the all the coven people turn on Wanda. And you're like, oh, okay. Hmm. I thought she was in control hmm. of this. This is a nightmare that she caused, but now the people in the nightmare are being controlled by Agatha. I what? Guess. Like I don't it know. Work. Like how can she control? How can Agatha control the figures in the dream? If like, sh shouldn't she not be able to like control that? You think not? And in Age of Ultron, wasn't didn't the way it worked in Age of Ultron was uh, that uh, she would show like their worst nightmare, but she would not be physically she present, be going boogie yeah. boogie boogie. Yeah, but she's in this one, and then they attach her to the like stake. But and just as you think she's losing, her Scarlet Witch crowd appears, and you're like, what does that mean? Ah. Oh, what, is, what is the crown? Yeah. What is the, And like even Agatha is like, whoa. And as a viewer, I'm just like, what does this mean? What's happening? What would happen if Agatha won, quote unquote? Like, what would they burn her, and and then what would that mean? Like, I don't know. What would that mean in the real world. <laughs> and so, from what we can tell, Agatha is baby winning, but then she's like, brah, and breaks free of the nightmare world that she created for Agatha, and tackles Agatha out of it. <laughs> like, I was. This is before even more crazy shit. But it's just like I was so lost. I was like, what is happening? Who's winning? Who has power? Who, what even is the motivation? I don't know. The fuck's out. And so they fly up, do their big battle. Now, here's another flaw for Vision, unfortunately. But he tries to help her, and she puts up a barrier, and he's like, oh man, I want to help you. Flying around the barrier. He, well, um, just goes back to the ground. I don't know if she, like, wraps it around him, whatever. The point Maybe. is that she doesn't keep doing it, and he refuses to help her even <laughs> after there's no barrier. His, <laughs> his, beloved, his beloved wife is. is Goolified, head down in the sky, fighting a horrible magic monster person that he just he just watches. He's like, hmm. I don't know. Um and yeah, as the fight goes on, she's just blasting red balls of goo. Um and turns out red she's setting she's setting up some runes without Agatha realizing. And then she and they don't not realize the runes we saw like before. The big suck is doing nothing. Wouldn't she be able to feel that? Yeah, so none of this makes any sense. All of her magic is prevented, yet she doesn't seem to notice until she tries to cast spells, but how is she sucking her? It's weird that this person who's had hundreds of years of spell practice gets beaten in spells by Wanda. I would, like, when she told her about the runes, I'd be like, hey, Agatha, do you have any concerns about her doing that to you? I don't know. <laughs> what, what are you going to do if she does that? Like, well, I just hope she doesn't, really. 
Like okay. I can believe that Wanda has more like magical potential. Like say there's an there's a threshold for everyone, so Wanda has like the higher threshold. But the thing is that doesn't translate into being automatically better at at magic. That, yeah, that just like, means that you have more potential. I don't even know that I think it's reasonable that she would have more potential than a person who apparently has been sucking all of across centuries. Like her power is to take power uh, from others. Yeah. To me, it feels like Agatha should probably be next level. The <laughs> only thing that beats her out is the fact that people are going, but she's the Scarlet Witch, though. Yeah. What is that's that? That's the only thing. Well, she, luckily, she's the right person to do that. Like, okay, she is the Scarlet Witch, meaning she is more powerful. You're like, fine, I guess. I thought that Agatha would be the, if there was going to be a most powerful person, it would be the person who takes powers from people. But, um... Oh well, Agatha realizes at the last moment, I can't cast spells, and it's because she's been outwitted, and she, again, oh, I don't get this, no. she was faking being a ghoul. Why? <laughs> she's hundreds of years she... old, with, like, God knows how much experience, and she was able to get outwitted by missing. Someone didn't even, a person who didn't even know what runes or spells were five minutes ago. Mm, mm. Terrible. So um, cool, eh? <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I, I just, again, I was just like, did you troll her? Is that why you were a ghoul? <laughs> you were like, lol, you fell for it. It's just an illusion. You're like, okay. And, yeah, um, that's the main drama over. The rest is sort of aftermath, and all of it is disturbing. <laughs> like, oh, we're gonna get to the favorite line, aren't we? Aren't we? We're about to well, there, yeah, aren't we? we're almost there now. So she, like, she gets her new outfit, which, by the way, I actually prefer her, uh, Civil War... Uh, Age of Ultron type outfits. Oh, yeah. This yeah. one's weird. It's silly, kind of. Well, uh, apparently it's comic accurate, is, is what people um, is are very happy with. Like, um, yeah. I'm sure that's... I like the crown, that's about it. I don't get the crown. Why does she have a crown? Because <laughs> she's a she scholar. Is a I don't know. I don't know why. What sense it makes. I'm more just thinking. I'm more just also, going like purely aesthetic. So she creates like a suit. It, this is more... I've always expressed this pet peeve. I find it very frustrating that now, like, the Marvel movies constantly want to take them out of the costume or off, take the mask off all the time. And now it's like, you know, I don't know. It just bugs me. Just well, commit um, to one or the other. Uh, I guess a fun comparison would be, like, you know, like, when we were, like, Electro's suit just comes out of nowhere and it even has, like, an yeah. Electro the bolt, bolt yeah. icon on it. It's just funny. Meanwhile, someone like Iron Man, they took time to justify a lot of the design decisions he has and how it ends up mm -hmm. looking the way it does. It's not just, it looks that way because of the comics. It's cool, well, it stands on its own, while also just being out of nowhere. Yeah. Well, I would argue it's more satisfying as an adaptation if they go through the time of, like, really, like, getting it to that end point of looking like the comics through the story. And even if the comics didn't have an explanation, you create a satisfying, like, explanation for why they look that way. But instead, it's just like, oh, I absorbed the magic into me and I created clothes. This is not, not great. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, it's I not, like, a huge magic. issue at all. I just, I don't know, just like, okay, then. She's the Scarlet Witch. The Scarlet Witch has a crowd. You're like, okay. I say, did all the other <laughs> Scarlet Witches? Does every Scarlet Witch have that? I don't know if was there, there is. A, a, oh, there's only one, right? To destroy the world. Why would they? Yeah. Why does she? <laughs> they can't be multiple. <laughs> yeah, they can't be more than one. Well, assuming that they all destroy the world, there would only be the one, I guess. Um, it's huh. funny to me. And, and yeah, she gives she gives a counter suck to one uh, to. <laughs> you want to say Glenda? Uh, uh, fucking my brain. It's, it's uh, Agatha, and Agatha. I found it amusing. Agatha, as she's getting sucked, is like, oh no! <laughs> Stop giving me suck no. The chance to suck. So you don't like the suck. <laughs> Agatha don't the... like no suck. Nope. What is with these fight. Disney properties and their sucks? So this is Rise of Skywalker did this too, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, lots of sucking yeah. happens. Lightning. It's, it's I am all, all the witches sucking, and I am all the scarlet. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! You know I that am is? all the witches. That's iconic. That is what you just said. Thank iconic. You. Uh, so that takes us to uh, she lands them both down, and then we get the really disturbing scene where Agatha is like, "I, I beg you, don't torture me forever, you cruel person," and then she does. Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> Wanda is like yeah. smiling. She's got this like flat look on her face. Like she's not remorseful in the slightest. She doesn't think it's necessary. She does it because she wants to, because she's a horrible person. 
yeah it's it's like ugh, oh you yeah and even agatha specifically says like it's cruel and i'm like it i is can't cruel. argue with that it is cruel well yeah, i shouldn't be agreeing with the villain quote unquote do you remember um oh there's the line I, th I think we meant i meant to bring this up earlier the um when she's in nightmare world she says to agatha about the witch trial -y thing um, what you did, like, the difference between you and I is that you did this on purpose. <laughs> like, you mean she defended her life on purpose? Yeah. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> Meanwhile, Wanda is actually citing what she's done to the town. It's like, hey, at least I didn't do it on purpose. It's like, you did, though. You totally yeah, did. Yeah, and you knew it. So you're just lying. This is what I mean about them accidentally making her super villainous throughout the show. I, I don't even think the writers knew what the deal was with how aware she was with all the tism she fuck it all. That scene with the rifle. No, no, no. I don't think the writers knew. It's, just, it's a... anything. Yeah. Uh, that scene with the rifle through the dome that like throws a wrench into so much because it's just like so she's aware. She's a hundred percent aware, right? But then the re the rest of the show is like no, no. It's like no. oh, <laughs> which one is it? Uh. Mm. And so um, we, we, they try and do like a wrap-up, despite the really haunting thing of like Agatha's forced smile in terms of just like, really happy oh. to be here, Han. It's just like, oh. And, and she smiles at her. Like, yeah. he, it's like funny or something, but it's like <laughs> really unsettling and scary to think about. Imagine if that was you. Yeah, it's... <laughs> By that way, is a yeah, villain right. smile. Monica, that is a fucking villain smile. Monica Vision oh, and the kids do. see her do it, by the way. And they don't give a shit. Agatha wasn't hurting anyone. All Agatha was doing Agatha, was just Agatha had big suck. suck. She'd already been sucked, okay? So presumably yeah. she has no power anymore. But um, even if she did, that is not... Because she says, like, what are you going to do? Lock me away? And it's like, well, if you had half a brain cell, you'd be like, I guess I, I have you, you have to be potentially punished by the, the, the earthly authorities because it's not on me to decide that you should be cursed forever in a, a tomb of your own making well of my making of you being unable to move but you being conscious like what the fuck <laughs> staggering really uh could have just sent her to the raft yeah there's, there's so many things that, that could have been done not good and it's so I, funny because well, she decides what punishment should be given to someone like Agatha. Meanwhile, when the world comes for Wanda, she runs away. <laughs> <laughs> Piece of shit character. Like, it's so hard and to it, like her it, now. And it must be reiterated, how is Agatha uh, maintaining that form outside of the dome? The, the, um, no idea. You know, the, the, it's a private spell. Yeah. She put a necklace on her. Ah, I don't know. It's no, it, it maybe like, did it so it's solidified and like that's who she is, but at the same time she's trapped forever. Mm. It's like oh, Wanda suddenly has complete control of her abilities. Even the you know the whole thing was that she didn't, and that's why the spell was all poop. But she didn't actually learn how to unpoop her magic. Whatever. With great power comes no <laughs> something. I don't know. <laughs> With great power comes the desire to punish people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Even though they've done less than me. Yep. Uh, way less, significantly less. And uh, I get to go and chill out in a nice little cabin out in Alaska or something. I like that they think Thanks it's enough that she said, like, I'm sorry. It's beyond. Absolutely beyond. Uh, before jumping to that scene, though, uh, anyone else think it was weird as fuck when she says, thank you for choosing me to be your mum? Yeah. Like, oh yeah. yeah. The entire goodbye is really backwards, and I'm just like, "What the hell are you trying to?" She steer? created them. Yep. I don't. Yeah. At that point, I got very confused. I'm like, "Did she actually steal these kids from someone else?" <laughs> that was, that was, <laughs> well, I, I, I honestly, that was what I thought uh, when she said that. I'm like, "Wait a minute." I don't understand what the hell she meant by that. <laughs> I don't know what she's referring to. No. I need the writer to tell me what the fuck they were trying to say, because I didn't catch it. Well, the horrifying implication to me was that she had brainwashed two other children and yeah. um, made them her children, and now she's giving them back or something. Mm. That, but that but doesn't really no. work. Because they disappear, yeah. Yeah. And then they're trapped so in some alternate dimension, apparently. She's full of shit. Um... 
And then Vision says goodbye, and uh, they do the thing again, because it's consistent in the season that they do not trust you. He's like, uh, Wanda, what am I? And then... <laughs> See, because this is the thing, I think you could have an answer to that question that can make you think, but uh, I believe they took that away from you. <laughs> like, they, they, they did give you a chance to consider what the implications of, of why he was created and what he means and stuff. Um, and so, so like, uh, for example, just um, them talking about what they meant to each other as people, and then if he said, uh, you don't even need to have him ask, like, what am I? With, I feel like this is the discussion that we're supposed to have. Uh, but yeah. It, it, it's like an explanation you would find, like, an encyclopedia or something. Yeah, um, uh, but, you know, they make it explicit in case anyone didn't catch it so that the video essays have, like, a guideline. She says, um... <laughs> It's it's not even well written. She goes, "You're my sadness. You are my hope. But mostly, you're my love." Okay. What does that mean? <laughs> it's, it's all of her feelings. What That's does what it mean? mean? All of it good too. They're not that. None of the grief is explored. None of the like. I I created you to cope. Basically, I created yeah. you because I couldn't accept the reality that you were actually dead, and so I made you. Like that's just never addressed and. It's it's all happy and it's like this shouldn't be this way. This should be bittersweet, if not like hard to swallow. Well, she did all the sucks. She should know how to swallow. Nobody yeah. should get away with she this much suck. Made of coke. Like this kind of sucking should get you in jail, I'd say. Easily. <laughs> it was a first degree sucking. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm sucking the first degree. And yeah, um, <laughs> she undoes the barrier. And then it's time for the walk of shame that apparently, from what I've heard, was included specifically to show us that she's a bad person, right? But it's like it backfired completely. So the line that they have it was, interesting it... ways of showing things. Wait, what do you mean? They well, so cut the idea is say something stupid again. Uh, from what I remember reading, it was like we needed this scene because this scene shows you that the damage she's done is significant and that like what what she shouldn't like yeah, be able to get away with it scot free. Um, but then, then you have does. the protagonist tell her, it's okay. <laughs> it's like, I would have done, I would the, same done thing, the same yeah. thing, and you yeah, sacrificed yeah. so much. Nobody can know what you sacrificed. You are such a hero. Oh, You've got a vagina this this woman, and that makes you do everything. So, so Agatha gets her powers taken away, but apparently she was still flying? No, well, I assume that uh, she was being held by Scarlet Witch. Oh, uh, yeah. Fair. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah. She, she you can't head torture down, right? her if she's dead. <laughs> yeah, I was, honestly, true. I was waiting for them to start picking up fucking bricks and throwing them at her. I'm, no, I'll do it. I, I'm not even sure what they're doing here. I, I, to be honest with you, if I was released from this town, I would never fucking step foot in here again. I'd be like, I'd be, yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd be run running. Very I'd be far running. Away. But I'd they're all here like they the had Avengers. a fucking town meeting. Like, oh, and here comes Wanda. Remember how weird this is, right? Wanda gives up her house, her home, her dome, and her only goal is to go away. Instead, she walks into the center of town to meet up with Monica, who tells her it's all good, you're fine, and then she goes. <laughs> what? What was, I, I what was she coming here for? What gives Monica the right to say that? You are Monica, no authority yeah. well, to say that. Hey, what has? She got powers out of it. Of course she's the one that says it. <laughs> well, like, yeah. Thanks for this, by the way. I'm cool. alright, I'm alright, Jack, innit? You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Where did you try? We have had the evolution learn? of them. <laughs> Where, did you, Where did you learn how to suck? No. On a farm? <laughs> <laughs> no, in a brothel. Oh my oh, god. Trained my oh. entire life to suck. <laughs> my entire life. <laughs> my entire I have been trained how to suck for 400 years. I was born Mastering my suction. Where did you suck? suck? I was born to suck. Molded by it. Molded I by the suck. I had seen the suck until I was a man. Um, May the suck be with you, the dark side of the suck. There's a lot of... Yeah, I almost want like her to say, you know, oh, you know what, I would have brought back my mum too. I want one of the... the Town folk to step and be like, yeah, actually, uh, yeah, you know, we've all lost people. Um, we want them back. Uh, but you know, it's not really good to fucking enslave everybody. You know, just yeah, just putting that. Around. Rocket <laughs> said that in Guardians of the Galaxy is like, oh, boohoo, my wife and child are dead. He's like, everyone's got dead people. It's no excuse to get everyone else yeah. dead. It's like um, that explores yeah. this type of thing better. 
it would be probably like worked better as she was walking past one of the towns people like spat on her you know this cliche thing of like uh, i hate you do you think that would be actual game of thrones walk of shame honestly in this scene though if that happened i would be talking about how they frame that as bad like they frame the, well, the people's reaction as bad it as good, though, intolerant be, you know... townsfolk yeah like the townsfolk are being belligerent it's like chill out she let you all go yeah chill <laughs> out. you know God, you could have I captured just... more of you yeah you know, I that's actually, so true uh, I had Look, a very Hitler eventually reaction. killed himself, okay? So he yeah, was fine. He did the good right at the end there. <laughs> I'd like a, did the I suck. saw somebody saying like, oh, everybody's getting so like, you're overreacting to this. Like, th this is just, you know, this is just a dumb show. It's like, oh man, I forgot you people exist. Like, do you not understand <laughs> that this ruins the character? Do well, you understand right and wrong. Uh, I would say Wanda's destroyed, Vision's damaged, and uh, trouble, these maybe. new characters... Like, I don't give a fuck about them because they came from here. So they've got a lot of repairing to do if they want me to care. And then the world building, rather the world destruction, is catastrophic. World rebel. Like they've yeah. um, more damage been done to the world in this episode, or this series rather it's than, not, um, I think... It's not a world anymore, it's an asteroid belt. They've demolished it. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah, it is. It is the single worst piece of content in the MCU. To do uh, like Nothing a works. big sense of a rundown, I would say is um. Wanda can theoretically and possibly just absolutely create and change matter at will. Um, she can, like, like the time, the the level of power she has is beyond understanding and control. So, like, uh, just it'll depend on what she wants, I guess, is what can happen next. Um, this is just going to change everything forever if she stays in the MCU, because like, what threat could possibly put up against her? I, I don't understand, like, why like, would yeah, there be stakes? Yeah, I. Um. It, Especially it, now that she's more power, she's basically it, rewarded with in this show. She has been rewarded, yeah. Well, oh. She's read the books. So who knows what power she's going to be unlocking instead of the the latter films? Man, it's just it's on. It's amazing oh. to think about. Yeah. I don't know what we're supposed to make of Sword as an organization. Like they are pathetic and, and idiotic. Like like going forward, it's going to be really fun to see them in the like. And they're probably going to be a huge part going forward yeah. as well. Uh, what do you do this? Productive in this show, like at all. What's one thing that they do which is like a victory for them or something that is like successful? Anything the the characters who are good people do in relation to sword, I guess. You know, like they made, a, they made a made a good coffee. coffee. Hmm? They made a good cup of coffee. They did, yeah, yeah. Well, mm, um, maybe, yeah. So <laughs> I remember uh, someone asked as well, like, what's uh, what's the idea with like. Does she prevent couples from having sex, or does she force them to? Ooh. Oh, does she kept the couples together. That's Wonder Woman. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That, that was that's just what we're like. The show doesn't want to answer that question. Um, Evan well, Peters was depends nothing, what era they're in, which is like a that's less a world building issue. It's just really disappointing that they they threw that in for no reason at all, other than to build hype and stuff. Um, Doctor Strange, among many other. Earthly defenders, if you will, uh, Earthly Avengers rather, would would have to um, explain why they weren't here for any of this in forthcoming mm -hmm. stuff, and it's going to be hard to to justify that. Um, and yeah, I mean, I think that this show has really made me feel like the MCU's done with doing anything grounded. It's like everything's up in the air. You can do whatever you want. Shut up. It's, it's storytelling is about the emotional payoffs. It's not about regarding things that came before. And it's about having cool, crazy costumes and a uh, Scarlet Witch. Oh, Sorcerer Supreme, you're better than him. Power levels, yeah. It's like no, I wouldn't have told you. Was just such a great grounded espionage thriller. I guess we should have found the Winter Soldier, maybe. Well, this is the thing. It's like it's oh, not yeah. impossible. Winter Soldier is <sighs> like a masterpiece compared to this. I just think that the attitude behind something like WandaVision is going to infect more and more as time goes on. Like the more you Probably. damage, the less inclined people will be to pay attention to what came before, right? Like, why bother? Yeah, it's already broken as fuck anyway. Fuck it. Um, it's, uh, yeah, like uh, the 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 mind control slash power giving items of. Uh, accessories or clothing or whatever, just like that, just breaks everything. I don't, I don't think we need to go over that again. Uh, there's the um, th like Agatha and Wanda would be power dispensers, and the MCU just breaks all over again. And then, of course, the runes. Uh, aside from all the things we just mentioned, the runes would just destroy any magical battle in future because, like, surely every wizard of any kind of like like higher level would be aware of this. Like, mm. These these things sound incredibly yeah, OP. You think. Oh. Yep. Um 
Yeah. If Wonder and Vision have sex, does that mean the rest of the townsfolk have to feel that as well? <laughs> maybe maybe that, that's a welcome oh. release from the pain and grief cycle. I don't know. <laughs> I still don't understand how a civil war better than Winter Soldier. That would be for another time, I'm afraid. I'm sure. Maybe maybe one day. Another. Um Yeah, and you know what? Uh I guess the only other thing I guess is worth mentioning is the the adverts. They were they were kind of neat. Uh Yeah. I'll run through them quick cuz I I just got them listed with what I assume they were. Uh the toast mate being this like when when they push the toast down it makes Iron Man's like pulse charge sound. And uh, the red light being is just fully representative of the uh, the missile, um, and maybe because this is the thing, I I would prefer to look into it, but again, like I don't get encouraged to when the show is made by fucking idiots because it just like I don't think they <laughs> cared about it that much. But um, it says forget the past, this is your future. Like oh, that could play into like not only uh, Wanda trying to forget the reality and build her own future out of it. Um, it could be a literal like. The past being her family enjoying those videos being destroyed by that missile this is your future it's like that's another one then it could play into tony that his goal is to like rectify his past and create like a better and newer future in hopes of like not necessarily forgetting but it would be reviewed that way from like a third party that he's trying to ignore what came before in his past and that his future represents but and i was just like oh there's so many things that could because i was really happy with that first ad i think it was what i was watching it with rags and uh mm. And I think it was Jay I was watching. I was just like, "Oh, this is this is my jam. There's so much you can pull out of this." Yeah, we were. Yeah, it was you, mm. Jay, and I. And then you have we were um, just like excited. The Strucker watch. He'll make time for you. I think is it, or he's making time for you, something like that. And it's just yeah, Strucker was the one who organized the experiments that gave them their powers. So he would have kept an eye on them and whatever. It's like all right. Uh, the Hydra soak, like a, a woman who escapes the drama to find the goddess within. Like almost on the nose, uh, if you consider the season, the Lagos paper towers, towels for cleaning up your mess. Yeah, and it's just like yeah, spilling red. And I, I just feel like these get worse the more they go on in terms of being able to think about them. Is <laughs> the uh, yo magic the snack for survivors? The experiments for like the people uh, they were all dying from it except for Wanda and. Um, and her brother. I presume that accessing the snack is like unlocking the powers versus dying. And then um, Nexus being a unique antidepressant. Order the reality of your choice because the world doesn't revolve around you. Or does it? And it's just <sighs> like, ugh. And then you realize that each of them represent like the timeline in the season. They, they, they go from uh, her history. Rather, not just the season, but like her life. They, they are they are the significant events of her life matching, and there's lots of similar symbols and um, representatives. Like the I think the Hydra soak is shaped like um, the Tesseract, or is it? It's either that or something else. But yeah, they're, they're all, you know, a, a slight some work went into them. I, I guess I just want to appreciate that I like them a bit. <laughs> I thought they were neat. I don't know. And they are yeah, neat too because they do seem like ads from the different times, like the early two thousand. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, okay, I saw that all over the early 2000s. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was kind of funny on that level. Mm -hmm. And there, some of them were, there was a claymation one, uh, or a stop motion animated one. That was cool. It was. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. quite dark, too. Yeah, yeah it was. Yeah, it got to where it was like, food. oh, yeah, this is getting messed up now. Oh, boy. It seemed like something that would be like on a kid's, like something like on the Cartoon Network or something like that, like some one of those ads, and then it turns all dark. Yeah. It's like, damn, <laughs> that's insane. Oh, dear God. Uh, and yeah, that's, that's main, that's, that's, like, it for the, the run over, and now it's really just, sort of, whatever you guys want to say. <laughs> it's, um, yeah. it was really bad. Yeah. yeah no, no it was disastrous. Yeah. It was Ooh. worse than, I, it, especially with the context of looking at it from how I, Mando was the same way. Worst, watch the first couple episodes the first time, and I'm like, wow, I'm so like excited, and this is great. It's and then you're like, oh, it's actually really, really shit. Oh, that's all right. On to the next Disney show. And then WandaVision comes out, and the first three episodes are like, all right, Disney, we got something really interesting here. This is really cool. I'm excited to see where it goes. Turns out to be the worst Marvel stuff that's out there in a world with Captain Marvel and Black Panther Iron and all that Man. crap. Wait. This is the worst. This is disastrous. 
but really hard to top like the MCU. Like the the world building has already been largely shattered by Endgame, and like to do for this to come out and destroy so much more and basically like further salt the earth. I'm just like. I, I dread whatever comes next for the MCU. I don't see any fixing it. Um, no. Of course, they're not going to reboot it either, so it's like, no, yeah, we're they're too invested. It. No, it's made too much money, and it's going to keep making money if they're, if they're getting, like, 9.1s on Metacritic for, like... <sighs> Yeah, and those yes. those episodes were bad. And this is the thing that, that that they might take wrong lessons from that. They might be like, oh, they're going to take very bad want. lessons. Okay, yep, they're gonna, uh, yeah. more of this, you know. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. I can't, no, well, the yeah. thing is, like, if, whether or not a solution exists to fix it, all the problem is that they don't recognize that there's a problem. <laughs> so you can't yeah. fix something when you don't realize that it's broken. You know. And uh, as far as I can tell, this is like a slam dunk home run. Yeah. Yeah. Then when you get in like tweets about people being unhappy, they'll just be like, well, you know, there's always someone who doesn't enjoy it. I'm like, oh, okay. We're disappointed because yeah. they Wonder didn't get their listen to what they had to say. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, they thought it was going to be Mephesto. That was their mistake. They were stupid for thinking that things that we set up as being significant weren't significant. Yeah, they thought quick the last was Jedi good. excuses again, aren't we? That oh, you didn't live up to your fan theory, therefore. You oh, didn't there were like definitely it. people on Twitter saying like the only reason you didn't like it is because of fan theories. It's like no, it's just deficient it's massively. Just shit. Like it doesn't make it sense. sense. I wasn't one of those movies. people who's like, oh, maybe it's this weird like, like really obscure Marvel villain. Like I don't care. I just wanted something good. <sighs> well, hmm. I mean, I think that went well. <laughs> mm. <laughs> do we uh, do we plan to do any uh, other EFAPs relating to One Division responses oh, well, to people, people saying asked, it's like, great? Or you're gonna make a video? You're gonna respond to people talking about it positively? It's like the latter is possible. Uh, the former was a partial consideration. Then I was like, I need to not start another project. I gotta finish the boys. Okay, it's gotta happen. So, um, I would say that we did a pretty damn good job of dismantling the whole season here today. Like, if anybody wanted to know. What is functionally uh, praiseworthy and simultaneously absolutely criticizable about the whole season? I think we did a, a good job. So five hours, probably around at least, of um, just full coverage. Structure was a little bit hilarious. Like we didn't go in chronological order because it's like kind of hard to because it starts out like relatively it's, yeah. It, forward, and but after I, that, we're just like, okay, let's go topic by topic. I don't think we covered everything, yeah. but I think we covered all of the biggest stuff, or at least everything that I knew to be think the biggest it's stuff. Good. If you think it's good after listening to us, I I don't know what to say. I'm not sure what, <laughs> what it is you value about it. I, I would like to understand if it's just the experience of it, like the feeling of it. I should be like, all righty then. I mean, that's the finale, man. It's like, I don't know what you take away from that that's good. I mean, all I can think is you people project their own, like, like you, you see all the potential, so people just project the potential onto it, and then they just see the potential, and they don't actually see what kind of catastrophic disaster it is. And I think that's kind of the general argument that's been going around is like, it's at least it's new, you know, it feels unique. It's different from Marvel, you know? It felt it's unique right. at the start, but now it doesn't. Like the last episode yeah. doesn't feel unique to me at all. That just feels like Ant-Man and the Wasp tier, kind of mm -hmm. like this is just standard Marvel sort of indistinguishable from anything like the the whole thing now feels indistinguishable from anything when i think about the like last few episodes yeah it's just it's sludge it it's just it is it is sludge. marvel sludge yeah the 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 sword stuff was um it was so poorly written but even worse than poorly written it was so generic yep it was just generic you have this great concept and an idea going on underneath the bubble you have this time fluctuating between sitcoms you have this great relationship between vision and uh wonder and then you go outside and it's just like a procedural bollocks really yeah. poorly written procedural drama uh, and then you go back inside and they take vision away from wonder and as soon as they took vision away from wonder the whole thing fell apart because they those two were the linchpins of this, and they were the linchpins when they were together. Uh, I, I did think that um, Elizabeth Olsen and, and uh, Paul Bethany 
Uh, I did think their performances were superb throughout. I think they did the best that they could with that yeah. material, and I think Absolutely. Elizabeth Olsen is actually mm -hmm. a pretty good actress having watched but, this stuff. Yeah, that sword so stuff. It's a shame yeah. the writing oh. let her down. It killed the show. Just killed the show. Garbage. Garbage. Mm -hmm. What a shame. What an absolute yeah. shame. It's a travesty. Hmm. <laughs> And on that note, <laughs> just like woo, we did it. <laughs> um, yeah. On that positive note, I figure that uh, we'll we'll start uh, going through uh, super chats. But of course, if oh boy, uh, since since you've now been been sucked for your anti Wonder Vision <laughs> information, any of you are welcome to um, <laughs> jump out if you wish. Uh, you didn't have permission before, but now you do. Um, I was just like, <laughs> if, if, I, if I could, because I got uh, I got stuff to do tomorrow. Um, can I plug something? Is that okay? You absolutely can. As go right Thank ahead. Thank you, um, folks in the in the uh, audience. If you would be so beautifully kind, my single. Yes, I said it. My musical single is up on Spotify and iTunes to purchase. Meltdown Ocean Man, problem being versus heel versus babyface. Uh, I could get links if you if I'm allowed well, to go for it. To yeah, post, if you give me one, uh, I'll post it in to, to post a link. Where do you want me to drop the link? Uh, just put it in this chat. I can get into the um, in the Discord yeah. chat. Okay, yeah, so yeah. this is the um, that's the iTunes one, and if I grab the Spotify one, uh, this is um. Uh, a song that was mixed together from uh, my ranting at Batwoman, and uh, seventy-five percent of the profits I'm donating to uh, Zack Snyder's suicide prevention charity. Uh, oh, I'm not the nice. other twenty-five is going to the producer. I'm not making a, a, a dime off this. Uh, so uh, it's about ninety-nine cents to purchase. Please purchase it because, like I said, seventy-five percent is going to charity, and uh, really just want to make a, as much money for charity as possible. Uh, so the Spotify link and the iTunes link is uh, is with Mola, uh, and thank you uh, very much indeed. Absolutely. If you do, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, the the link it should do it in the description now. So if you if you guys want to jump on it, it's also dropped in the old live chat. I'll just spam it a little bit. And uh, yeah, yeah, check it out definitely. And uh, it's very kind of you to do. Um, uh, no, no, it's, it's it's not a problem. It's not a problem at all. It's not you know uh, doing stuff like this for a charity is it's you know I didn't mix it, I didn't produce it. I just had a rant, and somebody came to me and said, "Look, I've mixed it and produced it to this." So I, I you know, to 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 put my money and organize for the other uh, fifty percent of the proceeds anyway to go to charity was not an issue. Uh, I'd rather it go somewhere that it could do uh, more good than me shouting at Batwoman. Um, and thank you very much indeed, <laughs> Mola Rags, for for having us on. Uh, I really yeah, do. Love, that was really good. Yeah, man. I love coming on, mm. and it was, it was. I thought this was a beauty. I got to say, I thought this was an absolute humdinger. I loved it. Well, um, <laughs> and thank you to the uh, the rest of the panel for uh, putting up putting up with a a cocky, outspoken Yorkshireman. Well, thank you very much for your input. I feel we have successfully thrashed WandaVision apart in exchange for it <laughs> subjecting us to its horrors. I, I think the transaction is completed. Uh, and thank you, chat. As always, you just you are magnificent. It's so nice to see the chat just really getting involved and stuff. So thank you, thank you. Uh, links, I think uh, Mauler said he's put into the description box. Yeah, uh, the... so it should be at the top, and then obviously your channel link is in there as well. It it, it tells me it's updated. I hope it is. If you hit refresh, yeah, you might have there. to refresh your screens, folks, for it to show it. You have to refresh your own screens. Uh, but thank you very much, guys, and I will catch you hopefully uh, sometime soon. Yeah, man, absolutely. absolutely. Thanks for coming on. We'll uh, we'll see you around. We All right, will see you can. later. Yeah, <laughs> be seeing you. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. You know, in some ways, I think it's actually better to have not gone chronologically just because uh, the flow of the conversation you know, it's all it's all very yeah maintained. it all bleeds into each other because it's a lot of setups and payoffs all it is and, is just yeah. trying to keep track of what we need to cover and what was covered so i i think we did quite all right um i'm which, thinking so too 
Yeah. Um, is is everyone else hanging around, or uh, how are we doing? Yeah, I can hang. I'm good to hang if you are. Bring it. Uh, yeah, yeah. I I'm uh my brain is sort of dying, but like it's the middle of the day, so I might as well. It's the perfect time to stay up. <laughs> um. Yeah. Well, yeah. You know, uh, up to you guys. Uh, I shall. Uh, read off some super chats as we go. Ho hopefully, we can get through today's one. I'm just working um, on the thumbnail for the crash video, so mm. yeah, I can just go. Mm. Uh, this it, it's nearly done. I swear. Oh, but, like, I'm doing too. There's still so much work that's left to be done. Like I uh, last night, I went through and um, with the script open and started highlighting all of the stuff I need to re-record. And it's, I think it's probably like a good fifth of the video, if not like a, a quarter. Um, of just dialogue that just doesn't sound right or has pops and stuff. So, yeah. Coming along. I am, yeah. I am editing a specific uh, video that is uh, hopefully going to come out very soon. More videos. Um, I'm something. drawing faces. <gasps> I'll show you if I finish. I uh, getting this in order to make sure. Super Smash Brothers. Oh yeah, actually, yeah. I'm not sure what, what dolphin game I should play because I've unlocked everything in Super Mario Bros. and I did all the event things. So now I, I did I did all of Mario Kart in like one catch up, like I unlocked everything. Maybe Mario Party would that be boring? I don't know. Mm, Mario Party sure. solo. Who knows? We'll we'll try something. Uh, but yes, I shall begin uh, answering any things that may have may not have been asked as we we went through. I'm gonna get a food. Get a food? Uh, alrighty. Boop, 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 boop. I've been looking forward to this. Count Cookie. Oh. Mm. Hopefully it was everything you dreamed of. Uh, this is not how I envisioned Uganda. Uganda? I yeah, I, I don't know. Not sure where I, Maybe I'm missing a meme. Wow, huge panel. So excited for this EFAP. Hell yeah, we, uh... Yeah, we got a good one. Got opinions from all over the globe. Is usually what we do, but hey. Oh no, the, the, this game isn't running very fast. If it doesn't level out, we'll probably try something else. This is Nightfire, by the way. You guys ever play it? No. I no. Oh, love. Let me see. Nee, I don't think so. Nee, nee. I did. This is one of the first games I got on GameCube, if not the first. And I was oh like, whoa, God. this next level graphics. This incredible control. Uh, something I else I'll say. I was really that. impressed by Melee's graphics uh, yeah. when it came out. I was like, oh, it looks so real. And of course, it's <laughs> Rags, doesn't this rifle look real? Oh, if you haven't got it up, don't worry. <laughs> Dude, um, what was it aiming? Well, I can... oh, aiming? Let me take a look. There we go. Uh, I had it blocked out. I can just click the live button. Let me take a look. Nee, nee. Oh yeah, that's yeah, that's basically a realistic. This is, whenever you hear, hear about realistic graphics. This is it. Yeah. He's one night fire. That's not real. I don't know what it is. Is this Mario Party? Ye Man, kind of. This is metal. Uh, one of the prequels. Uh, yeah. Rag Beretta 92 or 1911 pistol and why? Uh, Beretta 92. The reason being I want a more manageable caliber and a much higher capacity. Uh, Beretta 92 uh, holds like double plus what the 1911 does. So that's what I'm going with. All right. Uh, Beretta is underrated in my honest word. Also true to EFAP. Um, I don't know what's true to it. All right. <laughs> uh, it's like true to Caesar. Most from, think robots are smarter than humans' thoughts. Humans? Wait, uh, what? Robots I, I, are smarter than humans? I guess they want me. To, they want a comma there. Like thoughts on robots or humans being smarter? Surely it's dependent on categories at that point depends what, on what we're yeah. using as a parameter like it's unfair because like a computer i'm pretty sure computers don't match like the way that the brain functions at the moment but obviously like a computer has can't be wrong yeah on, like, like if you things. yeah if you can program a computer to do particular mathematic or algorithmic related tasks it'll completely outshine a human yeah but mm -hmm. a human is of... extremely adaptable and yeah. it just gets things that a robot can't get. Give it time, though. Yeah. Yes, the abstract thought part that we're better at, while they, yeah. you know, they will do maths infinitely faster than us. Yeah, and it also comes down to how we judge what intelligence is, right? So. Yeah, of course. Uh, it's complicated. 
Uh, Cine Ash Animations made a mod for... I think it's Funky Friday Night Funk or something like that. The game where you should play it free fab gaming or a meme fab. It's incredible. Um, I've, I've seen, seen it in the memes, but I have not like looked at it yet. I yeah, we'll, only um, noticed it during the stream. We'll definitely show really it. Really impressive. In a, in a... He's gotten a lot of the sprites from all the guests in there. He's uh, been working very hard on it. Is it like a is it like Guitar Hero? Could you put like any song in it, or is it only like the ones they have in it? It's like DDR kind of thing. Um. Remember Frets on Fire? Did anyone play that? No. Oh. No. Oh. I played, I remember Elite Beat Agents. Frets on Fire was like Guitar Hero, but for your laptop. Kinda. Uh. Anyway, um, all that for a boner joke? Apparently. But the funny is in the fact that you should admit that you shouldn't have gotten your hopes up for something more meaningful. That's, I didn't uh, even know it was a joke at first. Yeah, like I said, I, it took me by surprise. Frankly. Yeah, and then I was like, <laughs> oh. Oh. And uh, yeah, it was really awkward because she, doesn't she say like, Ralph Boner? And then he goes, heh, Boner. Yeah, oh. Get it? Because his name is Boner? Oh. That's anyway. like, that, that is, uh, that is not bonus. even um, MCU humor. That's like even worse than MCU humor, you know? It's more ju yeah, yeah. It's, it's just juvenile and it's like a observation. YouTube video kind of humor. Honestly, like Smosh yeah. or something. Mm -hmm. Very low Not tier. Like clever boner joke, like Richard Cranium. <laughs> yeah, that could be alright. Uh, hey guys, just wanted to say thanks for everything you guys do. I didn't really put much thought into film critique and what makes a good film until I found this community. You're all very funny. Aww. Oh, sweet. Oh, very nice of you. And yeah, um, hoping to <clears throat> maybe one day push for better shit. Might get there, you know? Give it a chance. Give it a few decades. It'd be great. But until then, we'll just have to chat with each other, and that's good enough. Uh, Lord Longbone of Mubschlington Abbey. Jackson's attitude with Kong is the reverse of Ryan and TLJ. Uh, Rian wanted to redefine Star Wars, but didn't want to understand it. But uh, Kong 33 was Jackson's favorite movie. Kong 05 is best fucking fan film ever made. Um, I haven't seen it in a while. I don't know what the general take is on it from, like, Kong fans. But, um, from what I understand, it's not well-liked. Which is weird, because when it came out, I really liked it. I, like, have a lot, so I think there's I. a lot of really great stuff in there in terms of I fights just and monsters and... I just remember everyone saying it, was too, it took too long to get to Skull Island. I remember being like, I don't really mind if it's worth it. Yeah, um, well, the thing, what I love is that... They didn't just like have dinosaurs and, and stuff that they just transplanted onto the island. They actually went through the thought of uh, thought pattern of, oh, what would happen if it was actually like 65 million years later? So the T Rex is no longer a T Rex. It's, I think it's actually called a V Rex because it's got a, an evolved jaw and it's got three fingers now and it's much more um, adapted to that environment. So they really put a lot of thought into it and they actually released an entire book that I own. I'm detailing all the fauna and flora on uh, that mm. version of Skull Island. It's good shit. Hey, what? I'll never forget the scene with the bugs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's, uh, right. Nightmares. Nightmare fuel. And Yeah, and... I mean, it's like even... It's kind of like Skull Island in a way, where the movie... Eh, 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 but, man, there were some... Cre that, that island will fuck you up. They did I mean, not, I don't uh, even... They I don't did not know, do I, bad with that. I need to rewatch it, but, like, because it could be a strong movie from I just don't remember it um yeah maybe I suppose uh fringy metal don't they go Jay. ice skating sorry oh in Kong they in King Kong 2005 they go she goes ice skating with Kong at one point right, I just yeah. that's that. adorable shut up <laughs> <laughs> uh Bringing Metal and Jay are the heart of EFAP and should start their own podcast, either a pre-show called Prefaps or another show called Afterfap. Um. Um. Ah. <laughs> uh. You know what, if, if, if you guys want to go ahead and make your own show instead of just coming on this show, I mean, if, if you really want to, I don't know. Like, even when I start doing podcasts on my show, they won't be, like, they won't be, like, EFAPs. They'll yeah. just be things yeah, we either wouldn't cover totally on EFAP different. or just super cash stuff. Yeah. Uh, a very, very Kumi smoothie. Okay. 
Mm, sounds salty. Mm, fair enough. Just being honest, I guess. If the kids are imaginary, what was Vision protecting? I don't know what anybody thought of the kids. I don't get it. I don't get it. No, what I thought of the kids, I, I hate kids. They're fake. I just, not it's not real. Fake. All very confusing. <gasps> Save an exit to lose your... Whatever, just let me play the game. Goomp. Okay. Operative agent or double O agent. We'll go halfway because I'm probably going to be very bad at this. Um. Off topic question for Fringy. Did you ever play the Octo expansion for Splatoon 2? And if so, what were your thoughts? Uh, yeah, I played it. Um, but that was a long time ago because I think that came out in like 2017. I remember enjoying it, but uh, I don't remember anything about it. Oh, there you go. Uh, which is worse, not killing what we hate, saving what we love, or they'll never know what you sacrificed for them? Uh, they'll I never, they'll never sacrifice. know what you sacrificed. The sacrifice yeah. that justifies slavery. Um, yeah, because I guess you could kind of say, like, Rose was a fucking moron, while, uh, uh, Monica is incredibly immoral. Yeah, I think, I think it's like, the sentiment of Rose is like, if you, you could interpret this favorably, but you never, they'll never know what you sacrificed for them. It's like, nah, you, no, shut up. Like, he's Rose wrong. seems to like come from like a misguided notion. Like she, yeah, what she's saying seems to be in earnest, and it's like, okay, maybe I see what you're coming from, but it's it's a weird philosophy. But the other one is like morally backwards. Yeah, what a shame. Gold finger is what I want, I guess. No, that's still inverted. God damn it! Oh, I can invert it myself. Excellent. Uh, don't know when this will be read, but Meme Repository, you have a stunning voice, good sir. Oh, I thank you very much. But also very true. Oh. Yes, Fringy uh, has the correct opinion on Gallipoli. You guys need to watch that movie. Oh, yeah, I think we talked about that. A different stream. Yeah, Gallipoli is a, it's a good, it's like one of few Australian movies that I've watched and really enjoyed. Fair enough. Uh, what up, Ewoks? Oh, you know, just yo talking about a TV show five hours as you do, while also trying to figure out the controls of this game and what I can even do. My items here. Can I put a silencer on, making it so that my gun makes no sound at all? That would be. That's how they work. Ooh, I have a laser. Neat. Can that tear through people's brains? Probably shouldn't uh, try it, should I? That's a. Hmm. What's the no, water? Superman laser just lights him on fire. Alrighty, here we go. Maybe it's just like, cutting open doors or. Oh no. Is it working? <laughs> I don't no. Know. Oh, Human. Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> hey, what if I stun him? I'm gonna stun you, buddy. D oh, that worked. Electric car keys? Gotcha. Yeah, I'm a good person. I wouldn't just execute a person. He's, he's down for the count now, I guess. Also, I have picked up his gun. <coughs> Winter COVID Sniper. I'm good at this game. How do I... I really love silly spy gadgets. Oh my god, I got Predator Vision. How do I... Is there a way to silence my... Oh, he's getting back up! No, stop! Go sit down. Taser <laughs> him again! Oh, now he's like, he's not fully down. Is it hard to assume that this game was heavily inspired by Goldeneye? I don't know. It looks it looks very similar to Golden. Stand up with the taser to make me. Yeah. How do I use my camera? This is a micro camera apparently. Is it oh. a micro camera? There we go. Oh, this game was ahead of its time. I can take pictures. Pokemon <laughs> Snap. <laughs> All right, that was worth it. It's been a really bad day. <laughs> I'm still like I know there's a silent. There we go. It's L R one. Okay. Can I do that with a sniper. All right. I'm sorry, dude. It's time for you to die. Oh, I get his pistol now too. E. Ready. Um. Can I get a hell yeah for the infantry? Sure. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell. Damn. Locked. An interesting video to watch for Suicide Squad is what cultures how they should have made Suicide Squad. Um, I haven't seen that one. I think we're planning on covering mm. at least one of Suicide, like for, for an EFAP, 
Not sure what it is yet. But isn't what culture they just do like very generic sort of commentary on on like, I like the watch stuff. mojo type yeah. stuff. Yeah. yeah. They're the people we hate. I'm pretty sure they made a video where they said Monster Hunter World is like Dark Souls. <laughs> um, in fact, that reminds me because I'm pretty sure I need to grab that for my crash video, that specific clip. Dark Souls. Are they retarded? Many people are. Cool. Um, thanks for all the- uh oh. Yeah. Oh, it autos for me onto people. That's- that makes it easier. Thank you, game, I guess. Okay. Uh, thank you all for the entertainment, my dudes. Uh, working on my car and listening. Never seen WandaVision, but excited to hear you guys talk about it, lol. Keep it up. Um, I don't know how that stream would have gone for someone who has no idea what WandaVision is. Because we would jump in between a lot of things. I don't know oh, if yeah. you're able to follow probably, it. Uh, hard, hard to follow. I would say it's probably worthwhile seeing the show before this stream. Uh, well, but it's not worthwhile to see the show, so... If if you want to know what we're talking about and understand the criticisms of it for the interest of writing or something, then go for it. But and yeah, Not good, though. And to be honest with you, if you're invested in the MCU, you, you're going to probably have to see it, I guess. Uh, yeah, definitely. Kind of why I saw it, it was, I was just like, you know, it's part of the MCU, why not? I'll just do it. Yeah. Unfortunate. Uh, what's up, all my tiggers? Oh, that's not Winnie the Pooh. Yay! Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Um, don't play DDLC. Uh, all it has is shock value. It's the novel, the visual novel for normies who watch game theory. There are winged cloud BNs that have better plots, but I won't spoil it just in case you decide to read it, though. That's going to upset the, the DDLC guy. Yeah. Um, this just has a load of W's and then high ranks. Hi. Yeah. From well, I am a load of W's basically. Yes. How do I get health back? What health? Gimme. Uh, rags. Do you remember the last time you engaged in that practice named after Sodom from the Bible? Do you remember the first, also high mootle? I feel like this has been asked before. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I do. You you definitely don't forget that. What a very specific question. Yeah. Mm, Want to know those answers, you know? Um, have you heard of the video from Pafe teasing a future podcast episode going after Southpaw entitled Southpaw vs. the EFAP community? Oh, that's uh... Oh, I watched that with Southpaw. That that video is ridiculous. Apparently it's just like a teaser, but yeah, there's he gets so many things oh, wrong. Oh, the full one went up basically as this stream started, I think. Oh, seriously? Wait, is is it like up? a video or is it like a stream? It's like two hours long. Oh, okay. oh, that's gonna be a gold mine. Wait, wait so it, it's a it's a stream of them talking about Southpaw. Yeah, it, it, was, a, it was a compilation of a, a couple of streams, like things he said on EFAP and things that like he put on Twitter, I think. And it was basically making arguments against him and like how he engages with the EFAP fan base. So, uh, but they got uh, wrong. Like, that does They don't sound upset. upset. Well, I guess <laughs> the, what's what are we mainly? Is it like his takes on like Spider Man or was I mean, else it's it takes like relations yeah more personal more like with how he engages with his audience because there are, you probably know this but there's a ton of people who just hate him and it's like yeah <laughs> those people have manifested and made themselves into a video so we will get They've to see congealed what into the internet very well um you well, I, that your... sorry what's that a link for that video where let, let me I, I need i need to look that up oh yeah I'll, let me just grab it it was I'm putting one of the discords i'm in I've collected discords like two minutes. Wait. Let's see, where is it? Yeah, here it is. That ought to be I a fun watch. I, I, I just implied that I collect a lot of tumors or something. That's an interesting thing. Where are you? Oh, no. That's the one where you have the uh, silly thumbnail of uh here's my here's my doodle i drew South bloodhound from apex years. legends let's see that's my doodle oh it's nifty Ooh, nice that's yeah. pretty good no, i didn't I even I, I did that with my mouse didn't even bust with that i didn't mouth. even pull out the devil like, yeah i did that with my mouse oh, uh, i wish fine. i could draw <laughs> drawing's gay why do you want to do that uh. 
I hope you like just especially if you're doing digital art just like drawing the same line 15 times before it actually comes out the way you want and also <laughs> yeah, I have a little bit of, you're terrible <laughs> a little bit of experience with that because I've had people draw things for me and then I colored it in myself I'm I'm so I've kind of had to do that and it is right frustrating yeah. as fucking hell. it's really painful there's a lot of things about doing art that's just misery like mm. hey how long is it going to take to get to the school level you want to be at? Oh, probably like 10 to 15 years. Awesome. Here we go. <laughs> uh, they followed up with asking, are we going to cover it? Sounds like a EFAP, uh, the South Pole thing. I mean, like a... Uh, I, I don't think we're going to cover it. Like, it's just something... They, they got a small channel. I, I don't want to poke the bear. And it's just... I, I bet all the arguments are not going to hold up. But we'll have to see. Uh, yeah, like we, uh, I don't know what's going on between the the PAFE and the the South Pole, but uh, I'm sure, you guys will settle it just fine. Um, uh, also, high rags. Hey. Uh, reminder that Zack Snyder is so edgy; he writes all of his scripts using macro hard. Oh, is macro hard? Is macro hard? Like well, a it says, program? Or? It says macro hard colon n word. I don't. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Okay, read that. I like what? I don't um, think about that. Macro I have hard. No idea. Oh, uh, it's the opposite of Microsoft. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? I appreciate that. Oh, why do the enemies want to kill me? Ah, here we go. Ridiculous. Hello to all present fappers, totally unrelated, but more. Have you seen The Wailing? Korean film, a fine horror film, uh, if these tism eyes do see. I have not heard of it or seen it. So, I've heard of that, I haven't seen it. I, I'd have to look into it, though. I've heard that's good from what I've seen. Well. Um, oh, so you've watched Lord of the Rings? We'll do it again, those films heckin' earn it. I could honestly see down the line, me and Rags doing... You fat movies, Lord of the Rings again. <laughs> Just hopefully we have other <laughs> things Jay. to say. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, Jay. Yeah, draw. Has he still not seen them? No. Well, he's seen Fellowship. It, which is even worse. And it was a while back, right? It is worse to have I seen only Fellowship than not seeing any of them. Thumbnail. <laughs> uh, her faces in that movie are gold. Hey, it says mission failed, kill civilians. Um, I should just be reprimanded morally. Don't make me restart. That's rude. They have those <laughs> civilians have no idea what you sacrificed. Yeah. I'm Her doing a just bond. Don't move as she acts. Um. This is a popcorn. Uh, don't worry about Doctor Strange two, guys. Sam Raimi is directing it. He makes excellent superhero movies, right? Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's Paul ones. that said that. You gremlin. How could you say that? Bad man. Um, just like the DCEU Superman, they're going to make an unintentional sociopath the main character with Wanda? Yes. <laughs> they've, they've committed to that now. Uh, that is the reality that we're in. Enjoy it, I suppose. Can I kill both of these guys with one shot? Get his arms, their arms even. Oh, I got one of them. Boo. Uh, Rags had his mainframe hacked. Um, oh, oh that's probably related to when you start yeah, making horrible yeah. noises. When I listen back to this, I'll get to hear what it sounds like from everyone else's perspective. I hope it doesn't oh kill anyone. Oh my god, I, yeah, how right it was. Of the ear is the <laughs> way to describe it. <laughs> it was pain. Greetings, Longman. Uh, a new Ninja Turtle game was announced, which made me want to ask on the TMNT movies. Were the ones from the 90s good films? And how bad were the Michael Bay ones? Also, high rags. Um, hey, hey! I think I watched one of the Michael Bay ones, and I don't remember thinking it was good, so... Those actually aren't Michael Bay. Like, Michael Bay didn't direct those, actually. It's the funniest thing. So, so many people do think he did, but... He produced it's just a production them. company. Produced them, yeah. I watched the first one, it was pretty bad, from what I remember, at least. They look like gremlin, like weird. They, they tried to make them look too human, so yeah. it's like... The photorealism really did not work in their favor. Like, they were trying to make them somewhat realistic, but it was just uncanny. 
Yeah, it needs to be realistic texture, not realistic design. You know, it needs to be that Detective Pikachu thing where it's like got the cartoony-ish proportions, but it's um, you know, the the texture and the lighting and everything make it blend into the live action stuff. Um, yeah, I don't really have any opinions on on all of it, so I just didn't pay much attention to TMNT. Not a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fan, I'm afraid. Um, but I know Jared was. Well, it'd be interesting to see his reviews of them, maybe. I'm predicting that Wanda goes insane from the Tism magic and is the antagonist for Doctor Strange 2. Possible? I, I don't know. I'm not getting that impression from the, the show, but, you know. If they did that, I think it would help that film, actually, if they made her the full-on villain, but I don't think they're going to do that. I think they're going to withdraw and be like, no, you were yeah. in the right. Let's put it this way. Exactly. I want them here, to. I just don't think they're ever going to. I want them to. I don't think they will. I would say. Well, maybe like someone high up, maybe like one producer wants them to, but then the rest of them do not go with it. And it's just going to be a big cluttered mess, kind of like WandaVision. Yay. Just what we want, everyone. we will complain. Hmm. Uh, I missed 128 live, but if you hadn't haven't played Titanfall 2, you should give it a try. It's a blast and still has a decent player base. Also high regs. Hey! Yeah, I've only heard good things about Titanfall 2. Never a, never a bad word. Titanfall 2 is a masterpiece. See, that's a pretty good word that I just heard. Ooh. Is this what I need my laser watch for? Oh, I get it. Eh. Oh. <laughs> oh, was I supposed to sever the green, not the red? That's probably what that was. My bad. I uh, thought it was just wires. Spy. I didn't realize like the green and red mattered. I just yeah. Come get me, motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm I'm hell. I'm holed up in a in a room. These AI won't be able to stop me. You can hear voices. I don't see where they're coming from though. Hello. Oh. All right. Well, you know, I'll just wait here. Does the alarm go forever? Oh, I don't know. Uh, talk about that Disnoid article that attempts to link you, geeks and gamers, EVS, etc., to the alt right and Trump's insurrection. I don't know what to say about it other than it's fucking crazy. <laughs> um, the clip they showed from me was when I said Trek didn't have the decency to die, which. Is a joke. Uh, I guess it, it's getting, getting linked to, like, you see, they encourage hatred for Kelly Marie Tran. I don't have any problem with Kelly Marie Tran. It's Rose that sucks it is a mm. part of what ruined TLJ, so. But yeah, I don't know. Whatever makes it work for you guys to make us look like the worst humans ever. They, they send yeah, when people we said down Saruman the... was an evil villain, they never said that we were encouraging Christopher Lee to kill himself or whatever. No. Yeah. Or, oh, um, that wouldn't fit the agenda, Rams. No, What would be the point? God, what's that guy doing? Eh. Uh, this show sucked. If I knew... Um, if I knew how to make YouTube videos, you can bet my hat would be in the long man ring with a review. Love y'all, screw WandaVision. I, uh, this is the thing. I wouldn't be surprised that a lot of people were made very angry by WandaVision. Like, got that good old-fashioned problem of it's not just badly written, it's disrespectfully written, too. And, uh, infuriatingly on a moral level, I guess. But, um, the writers feel she was punished if effectively, or, or at least held That's accountable, the problem. so... Yeah, I suppose it's just that level of incompetence. Like, can we please have something good again? Thank you. Uh, invite the almighty lolly for muscle moms and tomboys. I have no idea who that is. I think we've Ooh, someone's asked for that before. I, I the name's he's vague. the guy who made the uh, video comparing uh, the Last of Us Part Two to Spec Ops: The Line. Actually, that's the oh. one video I've seen from him. He's made a couple of videos. I haven't seen much from his channel though. Uh, was that one good? Yeah, it's, it's okay. Like I, I wasn't a fan of like his structure, and he didn't have like the best arguments, but like his, his points are pretty solid and he, he did have good evidence. Hmm. Um, hello all and rags. Hello. Hi. <laughs> uh, 
Can't wait for EFAP movies Justice League and Snyder's Justice League. Also, you guys watched the extended version of Suicide Squad? I think we did. Um, yep. So, I've it watched an it. Idea. Though, I don't know what the difference between the theatrical and the extended is, to be honest with you, on Suicide Squad. It could uh, be. The Joker flashback scene was not in the, the, the Lamborghini one that was not in it. So there oh. you go. And there's more dialogue and a couple more Joker scenes, basically. That's There's nothing too significant change, just a couple scenes added. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, all of them are to come. Be excited. I super chatted about trackball right? mice yesterday. The ball is on top. You just roll it with your fingers instead of moving oh, the whole mouse. Also, high rag. I gotcha. Okay, I dokey. thought you were talking about, you know, the old. Same, yeah. Back in the olden days, you'd have the ball at the bottom and you'd mm -hmm. have to take it out and clean it, get all the oh. grime and stuff off of it so you could. Oh, I remember him. A lot of people in our audience will not know what the. Yeah, so for those of you who don't know, back in the, the first mice had an actual sphere and it would use the sphere that's connected to the bottom of the mouse part of it was exposed on the bottom and that's what you'd use it would a physical sphere would roll around and that's how your mouse would um know where to go yeah back in the good old days it was fucking nightmarish yep yeah, wait I had till a I mouse tell them about why we say hanging up the phone and rolling up the window oh they'll be their minds mm. will be blown you know, I had a mouse that had lost the little compartment thing that kept the ball in place, so I had to have it perfectly on the the desk at all times, because if I even picked it up once, the ball would go rolling across the room. It was night oh, a nightmare, yeah. Mine would get all dusty, it'd like stick, it wouldn't like roll consistently. That was the problem with them, is it just it didn't last. We landed. But then we evolved into the digital air. Uh, what do you think about Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and where it falls in the MCU timeline? I've not watched it and don't care about it. I have it. not seen it. Yeah, I don't have any interest in it. Maybe I saw season one. I've got no idea how it holds up. Uh, you said you saw season one? Oh yeah, I, I saw season one a while ago. It's it was it's been so many years though. I I wasn't the biggest fan, but I don't know how well it holds up like on a writing level. Yeah, um, it, season one was pretty weak mostly, and then it started getting better. I think Hydra really helped it because they were forced to go in new directions, and then it kind of started a trend where they would consistently shake up the status quo throughout. So that was. That's the funny thing about it is I've heard it actually does get better as it goes along. It's just it's it may have, like people say it's like those first few seasons are weak and then it gets good. I'm like, oh okay, maybe it's worth another shot. But yeah, well even season two is a significant upgrade because they're you know shield is collapsed, so they're kind of an underground thing on the run kind of thing. Um, pretty cool. Someone said rags talk about dial up. Oh y'all ain't ready for dial up. <laughs> oh, no, y'all ain't no. fucking ready for dial-up internet when you couldn't use the phone in your house because the phone line was being used to connect to the internet at a snail's pace, but it was what there was. Dial-up was, Ooh, boy. That was I got a little slow. taste of that earlier with the static right in my <laughs> ear. I mean, dial-up wasn't that bad. Kick rags came true. I mean, temporarily, just so we could deal with whoever was hacking him. Yeah, I had to zap the hackers. <laughs> bad dog my rags. Counter -hack. Bad dog. Also, hi rags, smug ross. Hello. <laughs> Remember, smug ross means fine. They should have said that in Wonder Vision. That joke was true. <laughs> <laughs> what a save, dude. Uh, when I saw Darkhold in One Division episode nine, I was confused because didn't Ghost Rider take it away in Agents of Shield season four? Oh, I Clumsy fucking. Song. Oh, you! I don't know. I don't. At this point, then, I wonder if Agents of Shield is canon or not. I don't know. I think so, it's canon, moment, but it's, I'll be right back. I think it's canon, but it's not like supposed to directly tie in too well. Like I, at least from what I know, like none of the films rely on Agents of Shield. Where it's like, wait a minute, this doesn't make sense. Like, oh, you got to watch Agents of Shield. It's like. The ultimate test will be is when they want to make a Ghost Rider for the MCU. 
and if they decide fuck it, we're going to ignore Agents of Shield. Uh, that'd be interesting. I I've heard he's genuinely good. They might cast like the same actor, but not address anything that happens in the show. But yeah, who knows? Yeah, like, and the thing is, the visual effects were actually quite good, and because it was on the ABC, that meant he was like on screen in his full Ghost Rider mode for like one minute every two episodes. Oh. Um, but it looked good when he was there, I guess. <laughs> so you you checked that out, did you? Because you said you didn't watch the show, but you looked into that, did you? Or? Oh, well, I've, I've watched all of Agents of Shield. I just um, oh. I don't know how it holds up. If that makes sense, because uh, it's okay. like I've watched it over time, so um, I need to like actually go back and see if it all lines up. But I enjoyed all the characters and all the storylines, and they went in kooky directions and filled in plot holes from the movies occasionally. It was it was a fun. One. <laughs> that was a mistake. I flashed myself. But the <laughs> guy died, that's what matters. Alright. Yeah, that's true. Very good at this, like I said. I have a grapple? Also, am I supposed to do the green one? Oh, I did. Search lights deactivated. Hey, and I unlocked something. I'm so good. This is a um, walkthrough, by the way. James Bond Nightfire. Any of you guys uh, wondering how to do it? Here is, hear it, how is bit B dude has done it. So, yeah. Got some uh, out of context Wonder Woman in the uh, old Discord. That super chat ends with them saying, I have more to add that can't fit in a super chat. If it relates to um, it, how much they've fucked with like the timeline that is Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., I'm, I'm sure there's lots. I just, I don't know. Um, I boot any of it myself. Because I didn't mm. watch it. Um... I propose a new show, EFAB After Dark, where instead of normal movies, you watch porn parodies and judge their writing. It'll be hilarious. So, I don't think there's gonna be enough time for that with what other uh, stuff we're covering. Every time we cover one of those, it'll be like, why aren't we covering an actual movie? Um, instead of a, a porn. Secondly, I feel <laughs> that it would be strange. It'll probably be a strange experience. I don't know how it would go, you know. Complicated one. Uh, I wonder if there are, like channels on YouTube where the idea is that they review porn parodies but like seriously like breaking them down logically plot wise I feel that would be a funny niche to fill how could you even review that though you couldn't like show any of the content so it'd have to just all be discussion I suppose yeah you can I show screenshots Cinema Snob has cover work around, so. yeah, oh yeah Cinema Snob would definitely one sensor yeah does Cinema Snob still do that or is he uh I think he uploads uncensored versions on the Pornhub, um, as well as uploading to YouTube. Because um, he used to review stuff naked, right? Uh, I think he did it once or twice. I haven't watched him recently, but I assume he's still going. Um, I don't have any reason to believe he has. he's not. Mm. Um, I'll, I'll go and check. I'm curious now. Yes. Yeah, that's why I avoided yeah. this show and Mando. Not counting EFAP reactions, let's make a show starring familiar characters and show has no clear goal. Um, yeah, he's still going. Oh, well, yeah, good, good for him, I suppose. Um, as for making a show with no clear goal, I feel like we wouldn't be able to know that until we actually watch it, though. Like, because it, it can go in so many directions. And I, you know, WandaVision as a show, it could have worked. Plenty, oh, yeah. Plenty they had to work with, they just fucked it all up. It's why it cuts deep for me, because um, I could have been a really interesting, you know, show about uh, mental health, grief, um, you know, um, why, how, like, PTSD and stuff, and yeah. uh, you know, these things can drive good people to do terrible things and have these nuanced perspectives. But no, it's just like you were allowed to enslave people because you were sad. That's and expand more on Wanda too, man. Like uh, uh, yeah. following what happened after Endgame, like there's so much to work with in terms of like how she was feeling, what she's been doing, but just none of that is explored well. So such a shame. <clears throat> Why does everyone have to poo-poo the bed, Molly? Why? Help us, please. Oh, and hi, Rags. Love from Slovakia. Someone spent money on that. <laughs> yeah, sorry about the poo-poo, people. I... I do try to you know, stop them, but only so much power I have. So um, yeah. Hopefully, you, you guys manage to make it through. I guess. 
Uh, the ending was so strange. Monica just lets Wanda go. Like, what the fuck? A lot of people lost relatives and didn't enslave others for months. Hashtag lock her up. Uh, yeah. No, nobody knows how to answer this. It's just like, it's just something that happens. The writers think that they did a good enough job, and I guess it'll be up to Doctor Strange 2 for us to see, I guess, events moving forward? I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna check who's writing that. I'm curious, because we know Sam Raimi's directing. I assume he's gonna have a lot of control over the story, but yeah. Uh, in the Justice League animated episode Legends, Green Lantern, Flash, and Hawk Girl are put into a similar situation where a psychic was using their powers to recreate the world as what it used to be. Fair enough. I assume it was less horrifying to watch in terms of seeing people do crazy shit. Yeah, and I think that was a parallel universe as well, so it was like, um, it wasn't the Justice League causing it, it was very much just, um, this traumatized kid who, um, hmm. was trying to just keep things the way they'd always been. Mr. Freeze made a, he made a, like, an alliance of, like, cold themed supervillains. Wait. Ooh, like Captain Yeah, it was Cold called the Justice and... League. Oh. Um, it's an RLM joke, isn't it? Keep them hidden what? To maintain a low Justice League? Compliance. Mr. Freeze? No, that's from Justice? Batman and Robin. No, oh, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I know that <laughs> I... the only I've vision I appreciate. I, the whole Justice and Just Ice is... I don't know. It, maybe they used it. I, I can't remember. Yeah, it's the episode where they have the big block of ice. So that could also be a ice. drug. It's uh, the Justice League episode. It's uh, like I don't know if it's oh, the really? fucking character. Oh really? I haven't is seen the... their Justice. Is it a half in the bag? Oh yeah, yeah. It's um. Oh, I haven't seen their Justice League. I I, I haven't seen that half in the bag. He's uh, Rich Evans delivering I can... ice to to carve into something. That's the narrative to get him to talk about it. Oh, okay. They rely I can on see how you, you, you we both come up with it because Justice, Just Ice. Mm -hmm. Like I could. I probably came like as a like a kid driving by or being driven by one of those ice stands where you can just buy bagged ice and, or something like that. Or, yeah, I could see how a lot of people would come up with just ice instead of justice. So as for Doctor Strange, um, it's got two screenwriters. One of them did these nice segue. these these ones. Um, yeah. And the other one is someone called Jade Barlett, who doesn't even have a Wikipedia page, so I'm gonna... That's... Uh... Uh -huh. And she has written... Fuck all. Um... So, <laughs> that guy has got community so what you're saying is perfectly qualified. Yeah. yeah, she's been an actress in two things. Ooh. And has... This is her first movie. This is her first writing credit. I... Yeah, we're gonna have to see how that goes. I... I... Do not know what to expect in terms of um, writing quality. We just have to hope. That's where we're at with the MCU. Um, this is why you don't write reality benders into television slash film. They can't fully explain the limits of your power without it coming across as Mary Sue. I wouldn't go that far. Um, the pro you stop at reality bending. You're like, okay, how much can they do? And does it exhaust them? Do they like? If they can change the whole universe at will without much, um, you know, struggle, then I guess the only interesting thing left would be uh, their motivations, um, like a like a, a villainous character, but they don't want to kill people; they want to change something, and so you know, the drama can still come out of it. I think that would be worthwhile. But yeah, if you this is what we were highlighting with Wanda, you can't have it be this powerful and also be like an Avenger, because there isn't any fight she can lose. You have to give before. her some sort of incredible negative, like a, a randomization of her powers or something that kind of keeps her unpredictable. Give yourself some tool that you can, uh, you can, that that will help you write her out of you know situations where she just dominates. Something got to do something. Try to balance things out, like you're making a video game. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I don't have a problem with powerful characters inherently. It's just a lot of retarded writers forget that you've got to, like, balance the scales in order to um, probably establish the stakes and 
all that shiza, um, and they just don't know how to do it most of the time. Mm -hmm. I hate the way the soul director turned into a bad guy. Really lame. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in the Justice League animated episode, oh wait, I read that one. Uh, you never know how much Stalin sacrificed for defeating Hitler. <laughs> yeah. True. I mean, Monica would probably say that. Sorry to interrupt your debriefing. Mm. You think the show would have been better if it was in Wanda's head or if she didn't know what she was doing? Just curious in you guys' thoughts. Um, I think if the spell was cast in such a way, or rather whatever the fuck it is, um, that it, it affected her too. And that when she finally realized what she'd done, she undoes it, and then she has to live with the fact that this is something she did because of her grief sort of thing. Um, and would feel responsible. I don't know how I would deal with that narratively. I almost want her to submit herself to, like, proper, like, human punishment in, uh, and, like, the justice system, rather than, um, I'm gonna leave now because I want to do my own shit. There's something about that that really bothers me. I would have had that done either way, like if she'd been unaware or in the show that we got, like I think that that would have been a much more satisfying ending for her character is that she turns herself in willingly and like has to try to make up for what she's done. Yeah, and then you have it so that they need her and they bring her out yeah. of prison because they're like, we need your help. And she's like, okay. To make up for what she's done. That that could work really well, but, but no. Imagine a season two in like a psychiatric ward for superhumans. That could be nifty, but we're never gonna get that. What do you mean? We got it in the New Mutants. All right. Yeah, that was a great movie. I heard everyone loved it. <laughs> I, I loved the hell out of it. Watched it in theaters, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Must have been fun. Uh, character in my book, Boys of Silo. Uh, loses his family and almost kills himself since he's not a monster. He doesn't put his pain on everyone else, though. Again, I, f I feel like that's a, a standard, bare minimum thing that we don't typically celebrate stuff for because it's just like, oh, you didn't do this horrible thing? Good job. But if you do, you have to have the appropriate consequences. We're all on board with that. One Division didn't want to do that, though. Uh, did Darcy watch Infinity War to find out the exact details of Vision's death, especially since Wanda, the witness, got snapped? So, what is said is that apparently they're all Vision's memories being unblocked because they were put behind some kind of wall, presumably by Haywood. That That is what I, I think we're supposed to think. I don't know why Vision has the power to remove that firewall, or whatever's going on in that head of his. Especially because the Vision that was created by Wanda like, does she know how to make him that capable, or is that just part, it's well, part of the magic? I don't know that we're... I don't think... I think he's literally, like, one-to-one. -one, the exact same power level as the vision we always knew. And so when she disabled the, the dome, he died with it. But when he was in the dome, he was just as powerful and capable as that vision. And it's just like, wow. You can give that power to things you create? Wow. This comparison I can think is like, uh, so the Green Lantern ring, right, can technically create anything, but you've actually got to have like a very intimate knowledge of what you're creating in order to actually recreate it. And you actually, it, a lot of it is knowledge based and mm -hmm. that's on top of actually being able to use the ring in the first place, which is apparently it hurts every single time you use it because you've really got to force your willpower through it. So there's a lot of concrete limitations there, which Wanda does not have. So someone said, like, turning herself in wouldn't work because when she gets bored, she'll just escape. It's like, the whole point is that she will keep herself there because she knows what she did was fucked up. Yeah, she's there willingly. Like, it's yeah. like they wouldn't, like, force her to stay inside of it. She would she would be there on her own choice. And if she can, like, dissolve and reapparate that book, I don't mind have, her pulling out that book and reading it in prison. It actually gives you a reason for how she would be better at controlling her powers by the time she gets out. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, there's just lots of ways you can improve it. They did an awful job. But what are you gonna do? Uh, WandaVision is an allegory for the successor ideologist. A person leverages their trauma into taking other people's minds captive and never faces any consequences or much in the way of self-reflection. 
mean, that's pretty much what happens. If that's a description of um, success or ideologist, then sure. <clears throat> I'm gonna let these people live. Don't kill me. Neat. <laughs> Wait, oh that, why did they award me for that with a thing while they're shooting at me? That's not fun. All right. <laughs> Anyway. I guess you're just to kill them, they just expected you to kill them rather than to I sneak thought, over. I thought I was gonna go past them or get like across without them realizing, but it's just like no, you have to kill them first. It's like, right, okay, I probably should have fine, fine. It looked like it looked like you were gonna connect to the other building, but then you just dropped. It's like wow. That's, and it's like that's, you did it. It's like thanks, now you die. You're like, oh mm. Thanks for refat, make work much better. Also high rags. Hello. Read Mason Dremure 2 on Amazon. It features a mage with a more complex psyche than Wanda, guaranteed, and a magic system with actual rules. Starfight. Holy fuck, what a concept. Oh, that's crazy. Oh my goodness gracious. Proud. Uh, the Wicker Man, 2006 refat movies. Island number one. I mean, yeah, maybe one day. Did Darcy... Oh wait, why would why would it mean that Darcy watched in? Oh right, so how does Darcy know about the events of Infinity War? I think you could probably answer that with everybody would have pieced together what happened, who was still alive, and then spread that story to the public. That's probably how she knew. Sorry, I thought you meant the other. One. Um, though, would anyone know that Wanda killed him, and then the time rewound, and then Thanos killed him? I don't think anyone witnessed that, right? No, and Wanda got snapped away, so yeah, she wouldn't be able to tell people. I suppose uh, the logic is Wanda would have told people in the small amount of time between her coming back and Darcy telling Vision that. Potentially the other uh, Avengers could have seen that also, right? I mean, they were trying I to guess keep that. they could away. have seen it, yeah. Hmm. Bad guys. Uh, if Wanda is the big phase four big bad, at least for Doctor Strange, and Monica is the bad guy in Captain Marvel, things a bit make a bit more sense. I don't think that's gonna happen. Captain Marvel being the villain of the overarching series could meld things, man, with oh, how God. they developed. Captain Marvel leading her, her two right hand men, if you will, uh, Wanda and Monica to like. Take people's minds and make them better, quote unquote, or some shit. It's just like, there you go, Doctor Strange, defeat them all. Be satisfying, dude, to have them be the powerful villains and the heroes to outsmart them somehow. It's like they they fight with their brains rather than their brawn, but instead we've got them on the hero side now. So it's like, what the hell is going to make this balanced? Ugh. Nothing. That's what. I got the multiverse joke, but I want to give it back. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I just, uh, it's funny because they've played with it. Uh, it's technically a fake out here, and then it was something that was mentioned, but it wasn't actually the case in uh, Far From Home, but they're totally doing it, right? They're just almost toying with the idea of not doing it, but then they're actually going to do it. I feel like they're kind of dancing around the issue before they're finally going to commit to it. I I don't know how Spider-Man 3 isn't going to do that with all the actors who are going to be inside of it. Like, this this has to be a multiverse movie, right? Yeah, and I would think Doctor Strange 2 is probably going to be where it introduces, right? The yeah. multiverse of madness, I mean. Well, Sam Remy's directing, so maybe Tobey Maguire will appear there first. Whoa. How exciting. I hope we don't get a moment where he just turns up and says hello and everyone's like, that part was so amazing. The film's kind of amazing. Oh, my goodness. oh like, you mean like a, a certain deep fake Let's just put it this way. Table. Hopefully, <laughs> Tobey Maguire will have his green web slinging lasers. <laughs> <laughs> It'll make it all the oh, better. I kind of want to make that edit. Um, who sacrificed more, Wanda or Norman Osborn? <laughs> Do you know how much I sacrificed? It was clearly Norman. Wasn't even close. 
That man had a vision. I kind of want to deep fake um, Elizabeth Olsen's face onto Green Goblin now. Because I'm a monster. Well, people like you should be stopped. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be having that. Got too uh, much power. This show could have been the MCU's Legion. I have not it seen Legion. Been. Nor have I yet. I've heard it is very interesting and very good. Hmm. I've watched the first season, still need to watch the rest of it. It's it's, it's got all that mind bendy stuff, but uh, very psychological. Um it was it was my kind of thing, uh, definitely. Um went way further with it than WandaVision did. And as far as I recall, it doesn't fuck with reality too much because it's mostly like, oh, these are visions within your head rather than actual manipulation of reality. Yo, I gotta go find a guy with a key for this thing. Ugh. Ridiculous. Uh, hello, all my massives. Great cast. Thanks for watching. So I don't have to. Totally uninterested in Marvel post Endgame. Oh, and high rags. Hey. Yes. I can understand that. Yeah. Friendly reminder that Captain Marvel promised Monica's mum she would return, but Maria died before that. One division made Captain Marvel more unlikable. We don't know. No, she would have seen it. She did come back to Earth. Uh, oh, yeah, she did. She? When did she come back, though? I guess that's the question. Uh, oh, shortly been... after Infinity War? Like, wasn't it like two weeks after the events of Infinity War? Which means like Monica would be alive, though. So. Yeah. Yeah, they so probably spoke to each other have... and were like, man, this situation sucks, huh? Could have been there on her deathbed, I guess. Well, very least. Oh, dude, the remote control rockets. That's top tier James Bond. You probably turn them from being guided. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I gotta do some hacking. I'm in. I am Bond. Accessing the mainframe. Have I got a laser? Oh, I did. Ah! Oh, no! <laughs> this is a satisfying game, alright? Got him. Uh, got to episode 6 and couldn't be bothered to go further. Shame about the waste of potential. Hi, meme. Great work on MOS and BVS vids. Hi, rags. Hello. Oh, thank you. Shame indeed. Yeah, I'm not sure which. If, if I wasn't invested in seeing it for the overall story, like as a show, I probably would have dropped out with um, probably the clown episode. That's where I was really like, nah. You fucked up. But I did want to see that's how it ended. The... Yeah, well, that's just the thing. If it was an MCU, I probably would have just found something else to watch. But, uh, you know, keep up with the old dialogue. Mm hmm. A Halloween episode Agatha gets rid of Vision but doesn't do anything. Ralph should have talked or ran Wanda into basement. She gets Wanda, Vision dies, big W. She gets Wanda, Vision dies. So. Agatha gets rid of Vision, but doesn't do anything that's in, like, doesn't do anything to do him. Again, I can't figure out what she was doing in the Halloween episode. I don't know if she was, like, distracting Vision. Then I don't know for what purpose. So, yeah, I, I really, I don't know what to say about her being there at that time, other than she was just messing around, lol. Which kind of sucks, but I don't do. How the fuck did you survive that? Good for you, but still. Somebody made you a Goomba. Is that just the face on a Goomba? Apparently, I just saw it in the Discord. Very well. I am now a Goomba. Uh, there it is. Mola referenced Buffy again. Okay, you got me. Sometimes I'm subtle with them, though. You don't even know their references. That's what I've been doing lately. I'll, like, talk about a potential storyline that's good. Um, mm. And then people can be like, wait a minute, was that something he just made up, or was that something he's actually referencing? I already did it in the past 10 minutes relating to something else, but I'm not going to say what it was. And it was Buffy again. Mm. <laughs> I'm so naughty. One day I'm going to watch Buffy and I'm going to get all those references. You're going to make a video saying it's bad, and I'm going to be like, you know what? Not friends. <laughs> <laughs> Just do, I'll do that and I'll just like post it in between like the hours of March 31st and April 1st just to really blur the line. Yes. 
Friendship ended with meme repository. That's the meme, mm. right? I can't remember how the rest of it goes. Something like that. <laughs> um, it's nothing. Pretty good way to sum up WandaVision. It's nothing? I don't know about it's nothing. I... Good elements, it's, it's just... worse than nothing. Well, I was gonna say, like, there's lots of things I hate in it <laughs> that have been added that I don't want to be added, it, so... Yeah, it doesn't make the MCU better. Yeah, no. So That's a better way to put it. Like, it with Captain Marvel... Good. Yeah, like, with, with Captain Marvel, it was almost like, um... There was not, like, how that story was presented, there wasn't really much there that was, like, wasted. It was just really bad. While with WandaVision, there was a lot that could have been done really fucking well. And it just wasn't. Mm hmm Where is Helicopter? Oh. Hey, this is cool. This is a cool mission. Oh, they're doing the rash and clank thing where you can shoot the missile oh. and drive it. I didn't. That didn't look like I. That looked like I went through the. Maybe I hit the glass pane. Yeah. Oh. I guess the thing has no windows. Or well, glass? no, I shot through them already, so I'm confused now. Huh. Bam, bam, bam. Uh, it mimicked TV throughout history. Once it got to modern times, it went to absolute crap. Some galaxy brain would say, the slow transition to modern day just shows how much better we have gotten at shows because expectations were subverted. Um, I mean, if you're gonna make the claim that shows from the 50s and 60s are better than, like, the best content we have right now, that's ridiculous, but... I think they're being sarcastic. Gonna... Yeah, maybe. Well, they end the comment <laughs> with saying sexists, so... Ah, alright, yeah, maybe. I don't, yeah, I'm not entirely sure what point's but, being made. Legitimately though, like, yeah, the best of TV now is better than the best of TV back then, for sure. Like Breaking Bad, come on, <laughs> you know? Oh, oh yeah. Uh, Romanian TV casually mentioned Mola just now. Okay. <laughs> oh. Alrighty then. Yeah, you doing a big suck there, Fringy? <laughs> I'm just drinking something. Yeah, it is a big suck. I'm sucking the the <laughs> the juices out of this little cup. The delicious juice. Uh, fans is the, of the juice show going like... to put its runes on you and stop oh, no. you from being able to drink? Oh, I guess we'll never know. Fans of the that show. That sounds like something Willems would say. Well, just but yeah, but the problem is like. <laughs> Just because he says it doesn't mean that it's... Doesn't mean it's wrong. Also, I don't know if that's... Yeah, he could still... Be, and of course, he could say the same thing and be for the wrong reasons. All I'm trying to say is I think, um... I think that TV shows from, like, the 90s onwards, probably even starting with, like, The Simpsons, were starting to be a little more, like... You know, like, it's not everything is awesome. Because that's kind of what TV almost was, was, like, everything's happy and nice. And the drama is like, there's there, but then it gets resolved really nicely. And starting with the senses, it's like, no, maybe maybe everything's not awesome. Um, and then, you know, by the turn of the century, we started having shows like Buffy, Sopranos, The Wire. Big wow. old stories that really take advantage of the format to, to tell big, long uh, stories with multiple characters growing. Yeah. You just want your depressing shit. Watch mm, Bojack yeah. Horseman. You got me pegged. <laughs> <coughs> I think the... Ah, oh, jeez. You can't properly hate aiming with twin sticks on GameCube. <laughs> it's like the worst for an FPS. Oh. You just scan left, right, left, right, left, right, going mm. just too far. It's just like, oh, oh. No aim assist? Uh, sometimes. It, I, guess, I think you got to be within a certain amount. Ah, okay. Uh, fans of the show are lame. An FB Facebook friend called me sexist for saying Thanos was a better villain than Agatha. Four days oh, after it revealed. <laughs> Seriously? But I mean, damn. Agatha's not even a villain, though. She's, not even a villain. <laughs> She's like the troll under the bridge. She's just kind of like throwing rocks. <laughs> I like her. that. A troll under the bridge. We don't. I genuinely don't. Except the know. troll. She's like maintaining the bridge and keeping it. You know. She has an investment yeah. in the bridge Safe economics. Safe and so. up to code. Yeah, the economy of the people who live under the bridge was important to her. She wanted to make sure, sure it was okay. 
Uh, portal opened. EFAP, listen to me now. It's Wanda. She's the key. Am I too soon? You were right about him. <laughs> You've always been right about him. <laughs> Fear him and find us. EFAP. Well, don't know. That might have been too early. Yeah. I can't wait I'm for really Miss. Curious how they're going to twist that flash dialogue in Snyder Cut. That makes sense. Well, with that extra reshot footage that wasn't part of his original vision, yeah, it'll be interesting <laughs> yeah. to see how that changes it. Well, like, was was shooting completed when, as far um, as he was concerned, or no? Well, I think he stepped out of the project in like March or April, and I'm pretty sure that film was shot in 2016. So let me actually, you know what? Let's take a look, see, and see what. I think, uh... was, I think it was like a case of um, he was. Like, he got the original portion of shooting done, but the necessary reshoots he was not able to come back for, so Warner Brothers took that to mean, oh, we can reshoot the entire movie. Hmm. Okay, so this is this is the Wikipedia. Wikipedia fringy. Um, principal photography began in April 11th, 2016. So, um, and then it was revealed that Jeff Johns and John Berg would produce the Justice League films and be in charge of the DC Extended Universe after the largely negative critical reception of Batman v Superman. The same month, Iron stated that Justice League would be more linear and simple. Oh, so like a, a month into filming, they were like, oh, we're gonna have to change it up. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, then it says Justice League had a troubled production during filming. It was reported that rewrites by Jeff Johns caused issues with Chris Terrio and Warner Brothers executives. Um, Warner Brothers was unsatisfied with how the film was shaping up under Snyder because of the negative feedback the theatrical version of Batman v Superman um, uh, was received. It was reported that Warner Brothers held a footage summit for writers that included jo Joss Whedon, Wonder Woman writer Alan Heinberg, Seth Graham Smith, and Andrea Berloff. This caused numerous rewrites as Justice League was filming. Whedon was eventually hired by Warner Brothers. He then took over uh, as a director of the film after Snyder stepped down during post-production. So filming wrapped in 2016. And, and uh, Snyder stepped down in 2017, in May 2017. So that was, the reshoots came. Oh my God. The reshoots, the reshoots started in July and the movie came out in November. No, God. That explains like Rise so of much. Skywalker. Yeah, it explains why the CGI looks so unfinished. It's like, hey, you, you got like a three month turnaround. On, oh yeah, on do, this do you know the reason they didn't delay the film? Um, I don't know. Um, no, I don't. Oh, it was because the Warner Brothers executives would not have gotten their bonuses that year if they didn't release the ah. film. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Damn. Uh, oof. Say that one more time? I don't think I caught that. So, Warner Brothers executives, um, they wouldn't have gotten their bonuses uh, that year if Justice League did not release by November. It's an odd stipulation. It is. <laughs> I'm glad they got their bonuses. You know? Yeah, you think yeah. it would be about the quality and the reception? <laughs> not, like, is it out on time? Yeah, um, kind of tells um, you. Uh, yeah. I think it's kind of fascinating to just think about like, I, uh, there's so many things that conspired to make that film a disaster. The fact that it was a film written and directed by Zack Snyder for starters, but then also the fact that you had another director come in and um, he didn't have any time to do any reshoots and it, the script had been rewritten by like five people and it had to come out by November and it had to be less than two hours. <laughs> like, that film was destined to be awful. Yeah. Like, I don't even blame Jeff Johns necessarily as far as the writing is concerned, because he was basically brought in and went, hey, you know this film that's already in production? We want you to do rewrites for it as we're filming it. So it's basically like mm. laying down track to a train that is already, like, off yeah. the rails by certain a certain degree. So you're just trying your best to get it to the station, but it's, like, tumbling and well, moving out of control. It's just like, you I could be the best conductor in the world, and it still wouldn't and matter. No way. I think what's yeah. interesting is that everybody wants to blame different people. Like, I've seen a lot of people saying, Wonder Woman 1984, that's Jeff Johns. He sucks. That's Jeff Johns' fault. It's like, I thought Patty Jenkins was given, like, all the freedom she wanted to make that film. And either way, they're all accountable because they're all involved in it. Um, yeah. Like, Joss Whedon is accountable for Justice League. It's just Absolutely. like, I'm not sure how accountable he is considering how much, how little time he had. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, if he got to make a Justice League movie from the start, it probably would have been pretty good. Yeah. But, well, I defend Jeff Johns a little bit because I just like his writing. Like, he he's the one who made Green Lantern my favorite hero. So it's like, ooh, I, I got to at least, you know, take into account the surrounding context because I don't this did not read like uh, a Jeff Johns thing this well, I mean I, I know he thing. wrote uh Flashpoint which I'm pretty sure Flashpoint's really stupid like I I read it but I don't remember much about it uh there's a lot of there's yeah there's a lot of stupid there's time travel and yeah there's a lot universes. of stupid in it though um I I think I think that one was like another mandate like it, I think that was just meant to be a flash story that was like rejiggered into a universe reboot into a like new 52 reboot yeah yeah you good I um I it's just I don't know like I saw somebody in chat saying um like maybe no director can do a good DC film and it's like nah I feel like it's good <laughs> like nah what any, Joker? any film I hate that. could be great what Joker? anything could be great well, Joker isn't part of the DC. Oh, Who sorry, cares? that's a DC -E EU film. Yeah. Oh well, that's arbitrary. Like, if you know, what if the DCU began with Joker? We would now have a good DC EU movie. I guess it's yeah. the idea of uh, if you need to make a story that fits into this universe, it's going to be a lot harder just because of how broken it is. Um, yeah. There's a lot of stuff um, you have to account for, which I would never want. Like Atlanteans and Amazons are getting some serious rewrites. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, I remember I someone once unironically said to me, uh, "Well, because Marvel, the Marvel heroes, have done so well, and DC has never managed to do much successfully outside of Batman, that must mean that all the DC heroes are inherently too bad." Yeah, stupid. To stupid. Yeah, and I'm and I'm just like, no, it's it's just because it's fucking it's just. <laughs> It's just because I've been given to incompetent people with ridiculous mandates for how it needs to be done. It's, it's and also, let's stupid. not forget that like a lot of Marvel movies suck too. Um, yeah. In mm -hmm. terms of in terms of why, I I got to imagine like we talked about this very very recently, but like Green Lantern is an awesome idea for a superhero. Um, hmm. You would have to be able to make some great movies with uh with Green Lantern for sure. And of course, Batman. I feel like Wonder Woman could work because anything could work. And you can make good Superman stories. The more... I think the craziest thing about the DCEU arc is it's made me appreciate Superman more. Like a good Superman. By seeing how bad it could be. Boring. Yeah, with how awful it gets. It's like, man, I would really like an optimistic, hopeful Superman film. I feel like that oh. would be subversive nowadays. Yeah. I actually wrote my like an outline for how I would do like a Superman origin after Man of Steel because it was mm. just like I need to to at least yeah. like, have a vision of, yeah. of something it. good. And yeah, I, just, I think these my movies are just dour and depressing, and you just don't want to live yeah. in this world. Whereas you see like, Guardians of the Galaxy or something like that, and you want to go there and do it, and it looks fun and interesting and crazy it's and cool. It's really weird, though, considering that a lot of DC's main heroes have an inherently optimistic tone, like Superman. I mean, Green Lantern, yeah. the power is from hope and willpower. Like, yeah. it's so optimistic as a concept, and Superman... Like, Batman's a bit more, like, you know, iffy, but that that's fine, because Batman but can he still exist fights for space. justice, and he's still a good he guy, and he he's brings still the good a no-kill rule, that's pretty... Yeah. He's like, yeah. yeah, he's a little edgier, but, like, yeah. he's he's he a principled edgy, he's guy, still... and he's yeah. he's a good person. Yeah, um, like, yeah. It's like With Batman, it's like the imagery is dark, but the person underneath is, like, really, like, um, he's, like, one of the most empathetic individuals you would ever meet. Yeah. And um, you have and Bruce I Wayne really has the aspect of that, who could be like, yeah, hey, I'm Bruce Wayne, yo, I'm cool. And I gotta tell you, Suave. one of my biggest things that frustrates me about the way that people, I've seen people say like, oh, you know, Marvel is about like heroes who are normal and have normal problems. DC's about gods. It's like, no, you invented that in your head. No, you're, I'm sorry. It can be anything that any of them want to be. This Batman is an arbitrary is a bat -god. thing. Well, yeah, I mean, that it doesn't apply to Batman, really, does it? And, like, Superman isn't meant to be God. That's not, like, that's never, that's a new thing. That's, like, a very modern thing that people have decided. Superman's God, when the whole point is he's a normal person. He's more human than Kryptonian. Um, yeah. I guess Wonder Woman, well, Wonder Woman isn't really, she, you know. And, like, like, the Lance demigod is thing is a very How recent thing. thing. <laughs> like, yeah. Aquaman's king, he's not God. Cyborg yeah, and even then he starts off regular. Flash isn't God. Barry Allen's like a normal dude. 
He's like a normal, you know, he's the classic speedster. Ah, oh, you know, I can never catch a break. I'm always too late for somebody who's running so fast. If you're faster um, than light, it means you're always living in the darkness. Apparently he is intentionally late to a lot of things in his personal life to maintain his secret identity. And I, there, was a funny, yeah. there was a funny line related to that where he was just like, you know, it, it works, but I haven't seen the beginning of a movie in like five years. Um, yeah, like in my, like the one version I wrote, I made it so he doesn't, uh, Superman doesn't actually get his powers until he's like 18 or something so that we could actually focus on how does he become moral without his powers and then the powers become an extension of those abilities. Um, and you can kind of play with, you know, what is, uh, you know, how do different people use like their power for good and evil and is it? A lot of things you can do, but... You yeah, can do a lot, on depending that. on when he gets his powers, for sure. You could push it earlier, or you could push it back, and then be different things to explore. Like, Superman mm. can... That's that's what I mean, man. DCEU are teaching me new things, mainly that Superman is not actually that crappy at all. Like, you can do stuff that's really good. It's just, um... We have... Nobody is. I don't know. <laughs> nobody is. Happiness is dead. Is miserable. Yeah, I think a lot of people overthink him. Like, they just look at the powers and they go, oh, well, he must be, like, a god. And they don't think, you know, they don't bother to think, well, you know, he's just a humble guy who happens to be really, really strong. And they also, like, I think it pisses me off with Justice League, right? Is they make him just, they just get him to kick the shit out of Steppenwolf, right? And they mm -hmm. did not have to make him that powerful. He could have, like, Steppenwolf could have been, a, like, maybe a little bit stronger than Superman and... Actually, I'm pretty sure in like a lot of comic iterations, like most of the Justice League can at least like they might not be able to beat him one on one, but they can at least stand a chance to to spar with him for a little bit. Like Aquaman can still give him a few like good hits. Wonder Woman can still do him while in that fight. It's just like everyone is just getting dominated. And it's just like, you know, the reason they don't usually make him like at least decent writers don't make him that fucking strong is because you need to balance him in a larger setting like he can be a jack of all trades but master of none kind of i'm hero. absolutely weakening him if i were writing superman i'm making him weaker than he is um yeah, I, yeah. I, think, I, w I, I would give me... him like spider-man level endurance in terms of being able to take hits he can fly and stuff and he can punch hard but like he can blunt force is gonna hurt him he can be cut like that's what i'd be doing i'd be making him a decent amount weaker I remember um, the Superman animated series, something interesting is that they made it a really big point to show that bullets, like really big bullets were bouncing off of him, but they were still hurting him. And you could shoot a missile at him and he would actually go flying and you would see he actually starts getting injured after a while. Um, I thought that was um, quite, um, that, that showed that they really understood that you need to be able to have a big enough force um, you need to have like a relatively small force still be able to hurt him rather than uh yeah uh, just you know just tanking everything all right then yeah hmm, that was a <laughs> tangent yeah, um, i can't wait for miss marvel to kidnap random kids and put them into illegal prison camps and only later realize she might be in the wrong Miss Marvel will probably be a lot more chill, I would imagine, as a thing. Maybe, who knows? Like all bets are off. <laughs> yeah. This is right. God, I'd never bet on what happens next in the MCU. Mm. My favorite bit about Agatha is in the finale, she wants to Wanda to hit her, but in the rune scene, she's dodging Wanda's attacks. Agatha, big brain. Well, why is she even allowing the blobs to go anywhere instead of sucking them? Suck on them blobs. I think it should be the mission, you know? Honestly, why would she even tell Wanda that if she, like, throws the blobs, then she's gonna suck them? Like, you could just be like, you well, could just not when, tell her and she when doesn't she's know. like, aha, Agatha, the runes aren't out here, and then Agatha's like, I'm counting on it, hon. It's like, why would you say that? Why does Agatha keep telling her what she wants? <laughs> it's like one of the classic things people make fun of now. Um, yeah monologuing villain like we made fun of this instead of the Incredibles it's the, the whole idea of just like the the villain saying stuff to the hero and the hero wins because of it it's it's cheap it's old hey, Fringy, you're a, you you've written some stuff uh, right oh, I've tried to yeah 
Yeah, tell me, when you when uh, something really bad comes out, do you go back to your writing? Because I do this um, with my stuff. But do you go back to your writing and just make sure that you haven't accidentally oh, done... While the writers are talking, the re- I guess we'll just listen. As, they, <laughs> as our authors discuss their craft. <laughs> <laughs> I am a feeble video gamer. I simply listen. I am a mere... I'm, I'm a, um, a mongoloid button masher. I, I do not under- understand these so concepts. The question was basically just like, if you see something really bad in a film, do you like reconsider what you've been working on yeah like just go over to make sure you haven't like done something horrendous out of like just force of habit or something um i tend to see the thing is is um i feel like i'm more likely to avoid the weird morality thing because it's usually like a lot of the time i'm thinking what can you pull from this like if i if i've got a plot thread i'm like i don't want people to be able to pull from this something that i find like really bad so like if you think about a potential confrontation or something, then you you know you sit there and be like, what kind of you know is this meant to be like an anti-hero? Is this meant to be like a hero or a villain? Uh, and in general, plot holes and stuff like that is just something you're trying to be vigilant for all the time, but like almost mm. to an autistic degree. Like I'm, I, like I tend to be thinking about certain things that are probably not even that important, but it's just like, well, it might be important. Like um, I think it's I think it's. Yeah, I think if you see something, because, you know, just because you can identify plot holes doesn't mean that you are not susceptible to writing them, because I think there is a big difference between, and it's not that I think one is easier than the other, but I think there's a big difference between seeing something that's flawed uh, and then making tweaks and modifications to make it better and starting from scratch. Um, I think that there is a bit of a difference. Yeah, definitely. Um... Yeah, and I think also, you, you know, you're on autopilot for that first draft for a lot of it anyway, yeah. so you might be able to catch catch a lot of it, but then <clears> you <throat> kind of have to get distance from it in order to have that perspective where you can become the critic to your own work. Yeah, I think that's what the dr- the drafting process is for. There will be things that you'll miss and things where you'll be like, wow, that's like a huge problem. I need to tighten that up. Um and I think I think when it's like writing a book, a lot of the smaller stuff creeps in just by the process of you might add something in without thinking and be like, oh, that's cool, and then it might cause a problem. Like in terms of bigger, broader issues, I think uh, getting those sorted out early, like in a plot outline or something, is just helpful. Um, yeah, I would I would like to think that if you were by like the third or fourth or fifth draft or something that you should only be making minor tweaks at this point. Like, if you have to make significant changes, that'd be like, uh, mm, I don't know. Yeah. Um. It's hard. It is. Um. I'm just drinking, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Big suck. Yep. Well, the big suck is over, all right? It's it's done. It's dead. The drink <laughs> is dead. Bring I just finished Daredevil. Tell them how much better it is in detail, please. Like, Daredevil Season 3 is top-tier MCU. Um, so, like, the problem is, like, it's kind of funny because, like, I imagine if I rewatch Daredevil now, there's probably going to be a lot of things that, um, that I find problems with, but I just think that fundamentally Daredevil's got a really strong foundation. A lot of great scenes. There was that scene where uh, Matt's speaking to the um, the pastor of his church and they're talking about the nature of evil. And I think the pastor is talking about, you know, um, in that man, like, I saw the devil. And uh, and Matt's like, you know, if you could kill him, um, if you could stop him, uh, would you do it at what cost? And it's like, yeah, that's kind of one of them fundamental things in Daredevil. And it's kind of throughout the whole show. It's... um. I, I think Dada was really strong as a character, in case that wasn't obvious, just in general. I think it's a fundamentally great idea for a superhero. Uh, but yeah, Daredevil uh, is better than better than One Division by a, a country mile. Easily. Mo- a lot of things are, though. Uh, yeah. A Wanda, our hero. Hell, DCEU Superman is more of a hero. Absolutely, he, he's head and shoulders above her because DC yeah, he, Superman. Yeah, he's trying to save people. Yeah, he's, he's that's his big fuck up is that he does it really incompetently. Wanda was just straight up like, "Well, you guys will be happy, trust me." Like, uh. uh. MI6 has been contacted by Alexander Mayhew. Agatha Harkness did nothing wrong except killing Sparky. That was messed up and weird. Don't even know if Sparky was real. Uh, real or not? Yeah.
even if that's true, man, like uh, if we're talk, if we're comparing the sins of people, like killing a dog versus enslaving a village, I'm like, I, yeah, I, I don't think that the dog is too bad in the grand scheme of things. Though I am anti-killing dog, I will say. Oh yes, yes. Don't kill dogs. That's mean. Kind of love it I when. Agree. Don't do it. No. Yeah. Kind of love it when Wanda put up the runes. Agatha could still fly. <laughs> oh yeah. Maybe maybe Wanda. Uh, whatever. <laughs> Wanda was holding her up. <laughs> she's, oh god, it's so How could bad. she not? Know? That's the thing that's so ridiculous about that. She's doing the big suck, and then she's like, "I'm gonna kill you." It's like what? It's like. How could you be magicking and not know that you were being faked? It's really fucking stupid. You know, it's funny when you don't pay attention to a game. I was like, I was driving a car on like ice somewhere, and now I'm like in in this place doing this. I'm just like, sure, James Bond, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what's happening? I certainly don't. Oh, this is an escort mission. You. Does Wanda keep couples together or make a random make them? If so, do people do it in Westview? Is Wanda pulling a Wonder Woman? Hi, all. Also, hi, Raggledaggle. Hey there. Uh, the thing is, the more you find out in terms of details of what she did there, the worse she'll look. Because right now, we all kind of assume some stuff. Um, but, like, who knows how haunting it is in terms of, like, she's forcing people to eat food to make sure they don't perish, you know? But they're, they're, and they're desperately trying to kill themselves because they don't see any escape. Like, we don't know how dark this goes. Unfortunate. Mm. Uh, hey, Mola, this whole series rips off a better written episode of Justice League animated series called Legends Done Way Better. Look it up. I, Ooh, that's the second mention of that yeah. episode. Must have done something. I do really enjoy that one. Uh, v talking about news article right now. Mola Right Wing Plus. I mean, obviously, uh -huh. people watch my content, and they have obviously the people. They don't come away thinking, "Wow, this is a really over-the-top way to look at movies." Instead, they go, "Hmm, Hitler." <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Yeah. <laughs> That's one way to look at it. What can you do? Oh yeah. Imagine uh, someone like in advance. Just imagine someone having finished one of your videos and just like sitting there pondering, like the Lenny pondering face for like ages, and then one word comes out of their mouth. Hitler. <laughs> All along, I knew it. I want the spaz. Give me. Take people's guns in this. Oh, here we go. Gosh, I'm just I'm killing so many people. Like, just no, no remorse, you know? I, I kind of feel like this is on theme. Then again, these people are trying to kill me, so I'm clearly better than certain people from certain shows. Oh, Not Agatha, though. That, yeah, have we mentioned that Cinematic Venom has had a redemption arc of sorts? Yes! On this stream? Um, this, uh, I didn't manage to speak to him at all. I obviously was... Uh, but I mean, yeah, I mean, if, if, he's, if he's nice and chill, and he's talking about stuff and things, I hope it went well. Yeah, it, it did. Super chill. Uh, Perhaps he shall make it onto EFAP someday. Who knows? Hmm. He tentatively agreed to uh, watch The Lord of the Rings with uh, myself, Sapa, and Buzzak, so that could be very interesting. We, we want to see what his reaction is. He said he hasn't he hadn't rewatched them in a long time, so it's like, you know what? <laughs> that might be an interesting redemption arc. And he said Man of Steel was bad, so he couldn't might look. Well, um, from what I understand, he watched the entire EFAP coverage of his video, right? I don't think he mentioned it on stream. I think he said the initial like tweet that he sent out was because he like only watched a little bit of it. And oh, well, just I'm referring to um his second, his newest one, because I've actually seen it. The uh where he reviews his own video and he references like loads of what Efap said about the video as well. So I was like, oh, did he watch the whole thing? And if he did, oh. I wonder if um that would be helpful in terms of because we we argued a lot for like a lot of character arcs and uh, how details matched up properly and, and different things. Uh, don't know if it would have helped give any appreciation to the film, but I would hope so. Lord of the Rings, pretty neat. I'm gonna say it. Pretty good. Yeah, I agree. Very neat indeed. I know it's a hot take, and I know I'm gonna get so many fucking comments about how insane I am, but 
You know, you gotta stand up for your principles. Um, arrived very late to this EFAB, but I'm looking forward to Darcy catching me up on what I missed. Ew. Imagine there was like a Darcy between every single, uh, every single EFAB and she tells you everything that happened with her voice. It'd be horrible. Like a tragic origin for her vocal cords. <laughs> uh, at this point, just make Wanda a villain and make good guys team up with an alternate reality nerfed Wanda that has morals to take her down. <laughs> Imagine you were making, like, I don't know, the next movie, like, let's just say it's Doctor Strange, and you had full creative control, and you actually argue that Wanda, like, the real Wanda is trapped in Westview, and that this is a fake Wanda that's taken over. Imagine we would naturally fucking... make Wanda a horrific villain. Yeah, imagine no. the face <laughs> on the writer who wrote that season. They'd be like, "Excuse me," and you're like, "You gave me no choice." Fuck you. <laughs> I, like, I, I got to undo your damage somehow. Also, it's like a construct and not a real person because no person could actually <laughs> wield that much ridiculous power. And everything that was said about all the units, they just have a character be like, well, "So, was any of that real in Westview? Did any of it happen?" He's like, "No." <laughs> and then Vision woke up. It was all a horrible dream. <laughs> and then he realized he was dead. There you go, we fixed all of it. There. Um Jello woman. Oh she she became Jello. She evolved into Jello. Pretty neat. It'll be a very useful superpower to have in future installments. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know how they're going to make use of her jello but we'll see. I'm sure she'll get in situations where it's really useful I that she's made of jelly. Every time she gets punched, she'll just turn into Jello. <laughs> jello woman. Gonna be so Wiggle good. around when she gets punched like rubber, like... <laughs> you'll just get scared. They punch her, she just wobbles, and they're like, ew. <laughs> she like... When she goes undercover, she go. She tries. She sneaks into like a, a party as the punch bowl. Ah, imagine like she gets shot so much she starts leaking, and she says, "My precious goo." <laughs> <laughs> My goo. That's a reference, right there. My precious right goo. <laughs> so apparently, cinematic venom uh, loves Buffy and Angel, so that is points in his favor. As I said on, I, th I don't know if it was free stream or somewhere else. Being a Buffy fan is step one, okay? Because mm. it could mean that you have terrible takes about everything. You could, yeah. you can, and lots of Buffy fans do. I'm sorry, Buffy fans out there. You're all cringe, okay? I'm not, though. <laughs> I'm the good one, as is Fringy, as is yeah. Theo. They're, they're such things as good fans and bad fans, all right? So, uh, I'd be curious to hear some of his takes, but I, I already anticipate, like... The one, the, the one that's so common is the character... Begins with an R yeah. is not a character and a bad person. And just like, uh, uh stop it. Put it down. Re yes, bring and I shall re. Riviere. Um, oh my god, a secret tunnel. The best superheroes are those with awesome superpowers yet have flaws that makes them relatable. These new MCU ones sound flawless, therefore boring. Well, it's worse because she's incredibly flawed but doesn't know. <laughs> it's just like, why are, oh, they're acting like she's morally righteous in this season. It's just like, what are you doing, guys? Come on. Yeah, I would never know the, what you sacrificed. Ugh. I would have done the same thing to bring back my mum. I'd be like, Monica, no, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. Okay? No, you Fucking wouldn't. wouldn't. No, I, I fucked up royally. I did something really bad. Don't encourage me. Don't try and justify oh, yeah. my horrific behavior, you evil devil woman. Depart from me. Spirit of malice, be gone. <laughs> oh, we could do that. We read contextualize her. She's Mephesto, trying to get Wanda to do it more. And then we actually bring Mephesto in to make fans happy. And then we can play with that, because Mephesto's probably then pretty the cool. Mephistos can fight, and Wanda Well, he's basically Satan, involved, so yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, so it... Oh, it's even worse than that because she doesn't even say I would do what you do. She just says, oh, you know, if I had your power, I would bring back my mum. And that's supposed to justify the slavery of 3,000 people that she would bring back one person. I think it's Monica trying to say that was what Wanda's goal was. Unfortunately, some other stuff happened, some weird stuff. And you know what? 
I still would have done what you did, but that weird stuff, that kind of sucks. It's like, can you stop doing that? Stop reducing it. You're You've got to wrong. break a few children before you can make a family. <laughs> it, it makes sense, okay? And if you don't understand, it might be bigoted. Just saying. Why can't I get down here? Eh. Oh, oh, oh. This is great. Like, I have to go forward, but when I connect onto the ladder, it needs to go. I need to hit back to go down it. So, oh. Controls. Maybe I'm just not allowed to go down because it's all smoky. Or not? Oh no, I am allowed to go down. Oh, this is water. That does not look like water. Okay. Anyway, um, I think the only power Captain Marvel had that made any sense at all was moving faster than light. The Tesseract is the space stone, right? Um, but the problem is Wouldn't moving faster than light. Portals. That's not something that I think the writers are aware they've given her as a power. Because, for oh, example... The writers she... are not aware of a lot of implications of the things that they've said. Yeah, like, she could kill Thanos I mean, that much easily. A light speed punch to his heart, he's dead. Like, he ain't making it through that one. Um, in fact, I'd be concerned for the surrounding area if she did that. But all she needs to do is enough to take him out, not enough to fucking explode a crater into Earth or anything. But, uh, yeah, I... That being one of the power... Like, if someone said someone gained power from the Tesseract because a, a device was created from it that, when blown up, spreads goo all over them, what power should they get? Be like, I don't, I don't know, maybe... maybe goo opening, power! Opening portals? You can turn into goo! Hey, remember... Was her name Blink from, um... Days of Future Past? She was cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, the portal person? Portal person, yeah. Why the fuck didn't we have more movies with her? Because, because um, the X-Men writers really loved Wolverine a lot. <laughs> she was like he's super cool, cool and he has claws and he heals and he smells good. Smells good. Mm -hmm. and um, he's Canadian. She's kind of like Scarlet that Witch must. in that her power is really awesome and really useful, but also she can be killed by like a stab to the chest. So, yeah. Why did we not see more of her? They had a lot of. Do you remember Days of Future Past? That sounds like, like a challenge for writing. That sounds mm. like a writing challenge. God oh, forbid. Man. I just remembered she was in one of the. She had, there was a live action X Men show that wasn't Legion um, that actually had her as a character. Um, so they did do some stuff. I forget if they did anything good with her, but I thought I should point that out. Mm -hmm. um, I would be invested in her doing more things, in her use her portals in very clever ways, like she did with. Colossus. It was cool. But, uh, oh well. Objective complete. I don't know what I was doing. I win. I think. Well, like, subjective complete. Uh -huh. I think. I feel, like, yeah, of... I feel like the subjective is complete. Hmm. A lot of the X-Men are like that, where, um, you know, they all... They all got a lot of cool stuff going on, but uh, the movies never really allowed it to go to the cool places you would think. Um. I can't control it properly. I want my moose. I don't like the sticks. Uh, he shot the children because one of them had overtaken the minds of all the soldiers. I don't know if I agree. Watch American Sniper. Soldiers had to kill kids all the time in bad snow. I, we went over it. It's less, yeah, less to do with because this is the thing. I can imagine plenty of scenarios where you have to shoot a kid, and like I said, the example of extraction handled it really well. It's less to do with whether or not he was allowed, and more to do with looking at him in that scene and what he's doing. It is very odd. He yeah, seems... and it's not exactly played off like American Sniper. <laughs> no, it's either. not. These these references we have are way superior. Like, I think people are responding to it in isolation rather than the, the scene. I don't know. Like, the concept of yeah. uh, having to shoot a child in a high-risk combat scenario, I'm like, yeah, I can think of plenty of things to do it with that. But him doing it came out of fucking... It, it just came across as absolutely insane. It, it didn't feel justified whatsoever. And, um, like I said, I, I think it happened just because they want you to believe he needs to be punished and put away, you know? Yeah. yeah. I think that's definitely what they're going for. Um, do you think Marvel has the balls to make Wanda a villain? She's a freaking reading no. a demonic book at the end. I... 
I think oh, that they're no, gonna she's do gonna use it for good or justice. Like she'll be presented as antagonistic maybe for the first half of Doctor Strange. And I think someone, I think it might have been you, Rags, who said, like, and then beats Doctor Strange and then is like, mm. oh, and I'm good now, and then saves Basically. the day. I'm guessing that's Because they are it. not going to show Strange beating a woman. And it's not going to be like in, uh, in, in Spider-Man 2, where, like, the consequence of being um, the villain is that you die to stop the threat that you've unleashed. Um, no. It's funny, I mean, I was thinking about uh, Fellowship of the Ring, Boromir, like, his story, and how awesome it is. <laughs> and just the whole idea that, like, because he attacks Frodo to try and get the ring, it's like that almost condemns him to the fate of, like, dying to, to sort of make up for it, if you know what I mean? Kind of. I'm, I'm sure. No, I, I feel that's just his principles being let out to a complete... He's willing to die to save innocent lives. That's his whole thing. The, yeah, it fits yeah. in with the rest. I mean, even before then, he was willing to oh, put he was himself below. in danger to get the little ones out first, and things he were was, done for uh, the sake of the hobbits. Mm -hmm. He was a complicated but ultimately good and well. Yes, obviously, what good. happened was the ring amplified his um, his fears of yes, him, we're gonna of, get like tramped the destruction by of Gondor and all that. And, yeah, yeah. That the ring will save us. Oh, I need to take it. I, and let, he said something like, "You like I want the power to save my people or something like that." Yeah, yeah. I just asked for the yeah. strength to defend my people. Yeah, he is a he is a uh, quite a big fan of Gondor. What's the thing? It's the it's the it's the the virgin take that Boromir was kind of a bad guy in Fellowship. It's like what yeah, the that fuck? is that is the lame take. Yeah, you fail That's... film analysis if you think that. <laughs> yeah, honestly, yeah, you you, you yeah do. you have failed film analysis if you come away from Lord of the Rings and just think Boromir sucks. He's awesome. Like he's such well, remember, a great character. Remember, I had character. to. Uh... We, when we had Arbor Skeptic on, he was like, Boromir's the lame character. Like, anybody who... What did he say? Anybody who chooses him is lame or something for their favorite? And I was like, wow. <laughs> he is a really good pick for favorite. I mean, he's, he's been mine since uh, before I'd even met. Yeah. I think when I told Wolf he was my favorite, Wolf was like, wow, okay. I was like, what? <laughs> What's I'm not sure. Yeah, like, I don't know. I don't know how anybody would be... His, his journey is tragic, but great. You know? Ugh. <sighs> Like, I would high five Boromir. You there you go. Yeah. Come out and say. And there's a lot of and having I think having maybe it's really partly that um, after the first film as well. Like, maybe it's because there were certain scenes from uh that weren't in the theatrical cut of Fellowship, which are really helpful uh for showing what kind of character mm -hmm. Boromir, Boromir is yeah. and how big of a dick Denethor is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, I mean, it's even there was a scene when he's talking to um. Aragorn. Aragorn. I'm pretty sure it's in, yeah. um... It I'm pretty in sure it's... Yeah, it's in the... Yeah, yeah. It wasn't. Yeah. We were talking about, like, there's goodness in, you know, in, uh, in humans, right? Like, you know, you're not even thinking about your own kind. Um, yeah, um... Good. He's, he's got a lot of hang-ups about a lot of things. And this is the thing, I think when you come to understand that he's very pro, like, Gondor, and he feels like he's with a yeah. group of people who don't give a shit about Gondor, yeah. It makes him like Gondor is the the border in a way of between Mordor and Middle Earth. And like yeah, yeah. he obviously is like, you guys like we do a job for this place. And, uh, and he's not course, he's not taken very seriously. In fact he's not trusted. Like a lot of them think he's kind of like, oh that guy, he just wants like the fucking nuke, doesn't he? He just wants the codes. Yeah. Um I mean he is prideful, certainly. Um well, but he I came mean, it's, from a place ultimately... where he's, like, worshipped, almost, because of the deeds he's done, and then he comes to a place with a bunch of people who he thinks are making the wrong decisions and don't trust him. He's like, what the fuck? Yeah. I'm and to... just fundamentally, the ring is corrupting him. Yep. It's the ring. Like, do, uh, do people not, you know what I mean? Like, do people not realize that? Like, it's just, the ring is evil. Or, or like, at least the ring is, you know, makes you do things that aren't quite right. Takes a lot of Lord of the Rings is so good. Like, it's such a good series. It almost feels like it shouldn't even exist. Like, to have something so cohesive. I like Lord of the Rings. Um, I'll take it. And just the fact that it's like, it's a it's a crowd pleaser while also being, like, excellent. <laughs> like, it's just legitimately yeah. excellent. Um, I find it funny that the Battle of Winterfell was meant to be better than Helm's Deep. <laughs> so, yeah, I'd heard that. 
I'm like, dude, it is not even a competition in the slot. It's not even fucking close. Battle like, Winterfell was the incredible. first round of destroying the fan base. Like, it's <laughs> That's what got me involved because Mahler said, Rags, look at this shit. Tell me it's bad. <laughs> Yeah, the, I think Shad doesn't even watch Game of Thrones where all of his fans are like, you've got to analyze this episode, please. It's so bad. Mm -hmm. um, and then, because I remember, obviously, that some, like, half of Game of Thrones fans were like, no, the episode was fantastic. It was a fantastic <laughs> ending, and blah, blah, blah. But the, the next episode pushed a few people off, and then episode five ruined everything. Episode five was Well, like, yeah, I think when she, when the bells were rung, and then she's like, lol, I'm going to burn you all. <laughs> I don't know, flame yeah. shoot the whoop. It didn't go over well. <laughs> Weird. Well, and, and, now, and uh, oh, damn, I remember like one of the things was that uh, people named their kid Daenerys. <laughs> like, whoops. Wait till the season. <laughs> wait till it's all over, everybody. Wait till it's done. And even then, maybe just avoid it. They can In case they make ruined. another episode randomly and she's just yeah. a horrible Imagine person. if you named your kid Wanda or like, <laughs> you know, whoops. Rescue Geisha Guilds. Did I not do that? There was two of them. My goodness. See, this is the second one. What do I do with her? She rescued? I don't know. Because the other one is in the in the shower room, right? She's rescued. What do you want me to do, game? Rescue do the girls in the shower room, Mom. Oh, fuck. I accidentally changed my controls. Horrifying. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, still invaded. Oh, terrible. Oh, um, hope you guys have fun. Not sure if we'll be able to listen to this. Nothing against you guys, but it has been... It has ever been difficult to listen to super negative criticism when you're really invested in an IP? Um... Not really. <laughs> I'm, I'm mostly fine with it. If I'm I listening to people like... Fun shit all over something I think is really good and their criticisms are bad, I'm probably just going to stop listening. If their uh, criticisms are really good, I'm going to get interested, probably. I think I'm past letting it wound my ego as well, like getting being wrong. <laughs> now it's like, oh, whatever. Yeah, it's yeah, I mean, it's an arc everyone goes through, I think, of just, what? But I love this thing. Do I not love this thing anymore? It's like, maybe. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of up to you if you just want to disregard the criticism. Just be like, you know what? I'd not. I prefer not to listen to it. I'm like, well, yeah, yeah. you do. That's the thing. Blissful not, ignorance for me. Yeah, I wasn't trying to say that I don't understand it. It's like, yeah, go for you. Whatever you want. Um, this one though, like, I wonder if you're invested in the IP of WandaVision or the MCU, because like I'm invested in the MCU, but at the same time, I'll shit all over it if I think it's, uh, you know, making a mess. I'm gonna shoot the Geisha girl. Did it. Uh, he shot at the children. Oh, wait. No, we read that one already. If we legally look at Vision as property, he was bought and paid for by the Avengers. Legally, a fellow Avenger, especially a loved one, would be allowed to claim Vision's body. Um, potentially. This is, this is the thing. All I'm waiting for is for them to dictate what should happen based on their rules. I don't know what their world says about this. Should belong to Stark Industries, shouldn't it? I would have thought. <clears throat> it was created in Stark Tower. With Stark, Stark materials. materials, yeah. Um, confused, to say the least. He's Jarvis. Javos. Oh my god. Before I go to work, I wish you all a massive Zen chat the best. Why, thank you. I wish you the best, too. Uh, it's a show about wizard wizards intended for the lesbonies. Probably not for the first one to make this joke, but anyways, hi guys, ragioli, stay toxic. Ooh, always. Yes. Oh, this is hi ragioli, there you go. Oh, buongiorno. Uh. It ended in oli, so I assume it's Italian. Um, what black or power metal bands does Mola like? I don't think I listen to any black metal, um, because I'm racist. Though, uh, the, for realsies, I don't think I, I'm not even sure. Um, as for power metal, I forget which of the bands I listen to are categorized as power metal, so I'd have to look into it, I'm afraid. <clears throat> what a shit answer, I'm so sorry. I just can't be any more detailed. 
the grim reality we face. This one just runs out here. I hope it counts as saving here when I kill all of these people this time. I don't kill these people for nothing, woman. I demand points. Uh, real quick, I assume Doctor Strange is going to get involved at some point, but why was there no allusion to Strange in this season? Don't know. Because they... I don't fucking know. I don't know. They couldn't get the know. actor, maybe? Or yeah. Maybe they, just, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> well, no, no. It. Illusions. Like, so why wasn't there a character saying, it. like, damn, if only we had Doctor Strange here. It's like, yeah, we can't. He's, you know, he's doing things. They don't even do that. Oh. All we got was, you're more powerful than the Sorcerer Supreme, and that's all yeah. we got. It's like, that helps. <laughs> Understand nothing. <laughs> no. Watch out, Mola, don't look behind you. No. I'm not gonna do it. Unless you mean in-game, in which case I might just do it. Now, shout out to the Unlisted gang, I'm here with you, bros. Wow. Looking at stuff before it's out on Moolah's channel. That's fucking messed up, yo. Getting close to people with shotguns. A good idea. Um, wait, did we skip the terrorist conversation from 3? Terrorist the conversation? Ter As in what Wand is doing, or...? What happened in episode 3 relating to a terrorist conversation? Oh! When they- oh, you're right! Well, you know, hopefully you stayed for this part, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, when uh, they describe her as a terrorist, uh, she says that she hasn't done anything- like, she's not got a political motivation, I think is what she says. And then um, he says she's kidnapped thousands of people, and then her response is uh, she could have kidnapped more. We definitely talked about that. We definitely that did, line. yeah. yeah. Fucking terrible line, and whoever wrote it needs to rethink their career. Um, and it's so unfortunate that, like, because of how bad the writing is, she can say that and get away with it. You know what I mean? Like, no character yeah. is like, what a fucking crazy thing you just said. Why would you say that? But oh well. Um, I've been waiting for this. Slice and dice, brothers. Yes. Uh, Doug Walker actually has an unironically good video on Man on the Moon. No skits or other tisms, just an Andy Kaufman fan ripping into a bad biopic. I mean, yeah, I I don't think it should be impossible that he could make a good video, you know? Well, sure there's one out there but from Nostalgia Critic. I mean, there's a reason he's so popular, right? Goes better when he avoids comedy. Yeah, that's always been the thing that's drawn me away from him, is I just, I'm not a fan of his skits or jokes. Mm -hmm. Did you guys find you it find weird? Him funny, and then I found funnier people. <laughs> I found him funny, and then I changed my ideas on what funny is. <laughs> uh, what's worse, Mando or WandaVision? Also high rags. Hi. Mm -hmm. uh, WandaVision, I think. I think so, yeah. I think so. WandaVision yeah. works with reality. I mean, the last episode yeah, of WandaVision is worse than anything in Mando, but... Hmm. I'm trying to think uh, of what WandaVision were, wins in. I it's guess like... WandaVision has better... Well, WandaVision has characters. I guess that helps. Yeah. And uh, those three episodes have Well, some does it help if it destroys the characters? No, I don't. No. Well, that's... Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> that's the problem. Is the characters who were characters were either destroyed or, or in jeopardy? I don't have to compare them because they're they're bad for different reasons. Like Mando's yeah. got a really like flawed plot. Like the world building and magic system is worse instead of WandaVision, though. Um, not sure. I think yeah, WandaVision breaks the world more than um than I think uh, Mando breaks Star Wars' world. Uh, yeah. yeah, definitely. Yeah. Mando's disadvantage is that uh, Star Wars came pre-broken by uh, the sequel trilogy. <laughs> that's what you could argue yeah, about. But the... WandaVision with Endgame having pre-broken it. But, no, has, but what is the influence of Endgame's fuckery on WandaVision, you know? Like, what is it that... Yeah, Plus, it didn't... The, sequels, the sequels take place after Mando, so... 
Yeah, well, well, we could argue, that, argue that that's Mando why Mando's fucked over, them. but at the same time, Mando doesn't, doesn't really do Mando, anything though. to lead into them yet. Yeah, Mando's a lot more self-contained. Uh, but yeah. Wanda's yeah. more self-contained requires you to ignore Mando. a whole shit ton of stuff. Mando is not any self-contained. Mando is great. You must be new here. <laughs> you must be new. Mando is shit, my dude. Mando hey, was lucky. Say it was good. Actually horrific. Lucky viewer who yeah. clearly is here for the first day ever. We've got a full episode guide of Mandalorian. You can find it. One every episode you see us watching it, reacting to it, and then breaking it down with visual yeah. references, jokes, and like, extensive we commentary. Got jokes. Episode four has a really funny thing that still gets me. That's, Fuck, that's, that's that four? thing of them driving down the hill. I remember, like, I kept laughing at that for weeks. Yes. That is like one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my entire life. I will warn you, you're not going to enjoy our coverage for the first few episodes if you like the season, but by the end, we'll probably convince you. What I reckon. Yeah. Um. If if you walk away from our coverage thinking that Mando is good, then. I don't know what to say. I, I guess I would question <laughs> what you think good even means. Well, I'm sure this person's uh, on board because they thought WandaVision wasn't very good, right? That's why they're here. Yeah, it's know. like WandaVision. It's really, it's got bad characters and a really horrible what do you mean? plot. And, there aren't any characters. Uh, well, they're, they're, they're not as bad as WandaVision, but they're contradictory not necessarily as much in character as they are in actions. Yeah, they're mostly just stupid, right? Yeah, they're mostly incompetent, idiotic morons all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, yeah. They don't give us too much meaty to really say is a technically a contradiction. Yes, enjoy, new guy. Flash girl. Hooray. Hope you have fun yep. with... I mean, seriously, though, if, if you enjoy our coverage and you have, like, a 50-50 perspective on whether or not Mando might be well-written, those videos are probably going to be fun, so... <laughs> I also have a video coming out about the Mandalorian, specifically tackling the Stormtrooper issue. Namely, they're not meant to be retarded. What do you mean? Uh, Taika Waititi <laughs> made fun of them for exactly that. That's correct. He did put that. He did shoot that and put that in an episode. That is something he did. I almost want to hold it against all the. This is something I've talked to Fring about before, right? You know, content creators—they can't have a perspective mm. and then change it too quickly, because people will be like, "Wow, what are you worth? You fucking jump from one thing to the other." But that extends even to as far as like, like years. And I'm not saying that this is something I regularly experience. I, 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 I don't know how many things I've flip flopped on in like weeks' time. But you could argue Wandavision, something that my view went really. Uh, positive to negative on. I think as long as you explain your positions and maintain stuff, it's like it's all good. However, I think that process could be given criticism as well as just an explanation of, well, that's how it works. But viewers don't have to go through this shit at all. Mm -hmm. Viewers could be 100% pro, pro WandaVision and then the following day be like, wow, anybody who thinks WandaVision is good is an idiot. Yeah, and just pretend um, like you didn't have the other perspective. I'm not accusing anybody in chat, all right? I'm just saying that you guys can can do that without any repercussions. And what's frustrating to some degree is I remember when Mandalorian Season 1 finished, people were like, oh my god, that Sto Stormtrooper scene we're all missing is fucking phenomenal. It's one of my favorite Star Wars scenes ever. It's so funny. It's so well and done. I, in the three of us, we, we were saw very that unhappy. And we said, Fuck me, I can't believe it. I think if you look yeah. at the season one coverage, even Shad is like, I thought the scene was pretty funny, and we were like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. Perfect example of how a joke can ruin something. They put that in there because like, ah, see, it's funny because stormtroopers suck. It's like, no, you, you can't do that, dude. You're the be... universe. Yeah, <laughs> you're making a canon with their bad aims. It's like, do, do you have any idea what that causes for the series it's like oh what the fuck have you done yep. you know <laughs> yeah and, and i've gone through the original trilogy now gone through all the stormtrooper scenes and uh, a funny discovery um they only became really retarded in return of the jedi um first two they were actually mostly okay with the occasional exception like oh. otherwise they were either it was either excusable that they missed due to the like geography of the scene or otherwise they were hitting their targets immaculately. Um, Our rating was <laughs> A New Hope, they're pretty damn competent. Empire, there's a mixed bag, and Return of the Jedi mm. is unfortunate. <laughs> like it's Very unfortunate. Uh, Could... That seems to be the, the case. But yeah, for some reason people ran with it in future content, and it's a combination of people running with it and the fact that um, you need fodder. 
And that has led yeah. to some serious downgrades for Stormtroopers. Thought about this, like... Conversation of... Oh, sorry. Are you... Oh, um, it's kind of an interesting conversation, isn't it? Like, how do you make fodder that isn't, like, um, lobotomized? Um, <laughs> it's... Hmm. And so you have to I... design something else. Like, robots. You have to fight zombies. gremlins or robots or drones. Yeah, yeah or just, uh, or just animals and a hordes of, uh, hordes of critters. Or ways spiders. to do it. But yeah, it should of course, be special it... when the stormtroopers show up rather yes. than being the norm. Well, the thing, they want to have... They want to have him rooty tooty cowboy shooty in every episode, and so we need people for him to kill, but the storyline regards the Empire, so it's probably going to be Stormtroopers then, isn't it? And it's like, uh Everyone's bad, though. Everyone. Yep. All of the bounty hunters are bad. All of the Stormtroopers are bad. Everyone is just bad. Unfortunately. Hmm. And, and yeah, so to, to close, what I was saying is like... Um, a content creator would could go from thinking all of Mando was amazing, and then over the next few months say like, you know what, actually I, I've changed my mind, and people would be like, oh, he flip flops so hard on that. When audience members get to live in a blissful world where they their positions could be forgotten if they changed completely in one day. And, uh, this I is, guess... um... I think it's like a, a common thing with just, in general, like, especially it becomes really pronounced in, like, politics, right? Like, if you're a... If you talk about a topic publicly you're just more likely to say something that you might not even mean or just commit to a position that you later flip-flop on and you're held to scrutiny for that whereas everybody else gets to silently be wrong yeah. and then publicly well, pretend like they've been right all along sometimes it's not just silently like they could leave loads of comments saying all this stuff and then they'll just be like well no one's reading them <laughs> so yeah <I> exactly <laughs> They won't know that I've completely flipped. And honestly, like, and this isn't, this could happen to me as well. You might not even be aware. You just get convinced. Then you're just like, yeah, I was kind of, and you just remember it different. Like, I was always, I always hated that scene in Mando season one. It's like, did you though? Did you? Or did you, uh, did you change your mind? Because you realized that, I think what changed people's minds was seeing the, the season two. Like, the stormtroopers were all consistently still god awful. And it's like, oh no. And that scene, doesn't come across as a fun joke. Now it comes across as a, a thesis statement about stormtroopers that they disagree with. <laughs> but it always was that. What do you think is happening in that scene? And it sucks, because anybody who makes new content, like, obviously if I was making it, I want my stormtroopers consistent in terms of how they're portrayed, but I also want them competent, and I have to choose between those two now. I was about to say, like, would it be inconsistent with stormtroopers now if you were to make them fully competent? Um, or, like, oh, they're, they're my position incompetent. on this is that it wasn't that they suddenly became consistently garbage, it's that they were always inconsistently garbage. It doesn't matter how, how many times you portray them as garbage, it doesn't make sense. They are trained for this. It'll never make sense yeah. no matter how long you portray them this way. I have a thousand shows, and they all just gun down them because they're all looking at their own weapon barrel facing their face, and they're just like, I don't know, and it's like, see, they're stupid, and it's like, no, they're not, though. It's like, I don't know what to tell you. You just kind of fucking remember, even in Mando, when they're not shooting main characters, suddenly every fucking shot miraculously hits its target to yep. kill. Hmm. It's, um, it's a real shame, and... Like, I know a lot of people are like, well, maybe Mando Season 3 can pull it back together. It's like, I'm pretty sure it'll nope. be worse, guys. Like, It will probably, yeah, it'll probably be worse. Maybe they have no reason gone. to change. Why would, they, why would they put in the effort to make good stories and good characters? People eat this shit up. They love it. People love this crap. I'm pretty sure the, the replaying of the Luke scene in Season 2, like, broke records or some shit on uh, Disney+. Plus. Uh... Like, you know you can, like on analytics on YouTube, it can tell you sometimes, like in videos, what parts of videos are viewed or something. It has like rising bars. I imagine they have a similar system. And that speaks to them, guys. <laughs> like, it, it tells them things. We're like, hmm. Like, because the whole, didn't the Luke show get announced like soon after that happened? Yeah, I think like a couple of days, actually. Ugh. Luke's getting a show. Well, yes. as far as I'm aware, yeah. Oh. I was not informed. I'm gonna look that up. It's gonna be great. Yeah, book sure. of Boba Fett. Yay. Book of Luke Skywalker. Mm -hmm. Book of... Ev book of Jabba Fett. It's gonna be Bo great. Bo-Katan. Yeah. Mando Season 3.
probably... I could picture it being that Mando peters out because no one actually cares about him. He's not anything. Yeah, I can see how that might happen. Because uh, all what no. he's riding on is all the references, and you don't have any if they all get their own shows. Yeah, like, first season it was all like, oh, he's like a Boba Fett kind of character, so that's what he was riding on for season one, and then season two you got all the guest stars. It's just like, oh, <laughs> Including okay, so Boba Fett, scary. so it's like, I'd rather yeah. just watch yeah. Boba Fett now. Yeah. <laughs> that was something I was laughing at when I watched season two. I'm like, I, why didn't you just make it about Boba Fett if you're going to have him be inside of this series? Like, what? what's the point of even having a new character? Like, Yeah, uh, well... Honestly, it might have just been a change of focus. They were like, we can't just bring back Boba Fett. And then they were like, what if we do, though? Oh my god, we can. We can literally <laughs> we just can bring back Boba that. Fett. And then we could just we just bring back all the old shit. Except we're going to do it quote-unquote better. I was going to say good, but I was going to oh, not like uh, the sequels, though. Yeah, I think oh Mando was an experiment, and then it turned into their flagship. <laughs> like, you know, yeah, fuck they it. wanted to yeah. test the waters. When they saw all the online discussions and stuff about what people really, really wanted to see, and people just want to see Boba Fett mindlessly shooting at stormtroopers, they're like, oh, Ugh. all right, we'll do that. We've That's got easy. it. We're true auteurs, as they would say. So, yeah. We're the next think, step in human evolution. I think if, like, in a, you know, a, a fantasy world where Star Wars is well still well written, um, you could do, like, um something where the mandalorian like assuming he was a good character he could be like the more traditional mandalorian out out outlook and then you could do a show with boba fett that uh, is much more do like morally ambiguous like you could have them they would have a similar aesthetic but their stories would be completely different so that's if in an ideal world you could do that but now because mando is not a character like what is even the point of keeping him around with boba coming well, there's nothing to him, so they're gonna have to make him a character in season three. They'll have mm. to, yeah. They'll be forced to write. Like, <laughs> I think some people like don't even. Be they're like, oh yeah, okay, he's not a character. It's like he's not though. He doesn't have traits. He just does things. He doesn't believe. And he doesn't have anything. Yoda anymore. So like, it fucks you over because you're like, right, what's he gonna do in season three? It's like I have no idea. What is he gonna do? Could be anything, because I don't know what he wants. I don't know what he cares about. So if someone was like, well, he might go back to bounty hunting, it's like, yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Soft reboot, I don't know. Wanting non all objectives complete. Oh. Retrieve dragon safe contents. Ooh. Mola, no, if you ruin vision, you destroy the MCU, Feige. The MCU had its chance. Mula, look, we could have made good stories in this squalor. Um, <laughs> I just... Like, the MCU's still got potential left, but holy shit. We are in uh, dangerous waters. There's much to repair at this point that it's just like... it's There's barely any point in trying to keep going forward because everything's just destroyed. And like, I'm worrying it's only gonna get worse. I think you could repair it, but you got to fucking actually recognize that there's an issue, and they don't, because yeah. they made the mistakes in the first place. Why can't we, like, um, just just retcon it? Fuck it. I feel this way about everything that's new that comes out. <laughs> just get rid of it. It was awful. <laughs> Let's try again. Pretend it didn't happen. Make WandaVision again. Yep. Give me all the money and all the resources, and I'll just all I'll do is not break the whole universe, and I feel like that's an improvement. <laughs> You know, the, the uh, multi-million dollar project was just the first draft, and now we're going yeah. to do it properly. And, it and as you just said, it's like, but they, they were looking like I'm crazy. It's like, why would we do that? Look how much money it made. People loved it. It's like, and look uh... at all the people on IMDb who are writing their good episodes poorly and the bad episodes highly. Mm. And the fucking... Was it was it the the like main creators saying like don't worry guys it'll get more interesting soon with lasers and explosions? Okay. It'll be more like the Marvel you know, and I'm just like, do you mean like good Marvel or do you mean like <laughs> all the Marvel. other crap? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna dumb it down. You guys are gonna love it, and they did. But the thing is, it, like, it sounds pretty pretentious, but like, I don't think it'll be remembered. No, no, no it won't. No. It won't. People are going around now saying it's memorable, but they're not going to remember it. 
Like, what was well, the deep, meaningful Rewatch message about grief? One of Mando for it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Just get over it, except don't open up multiverse portals to steal your fake kids from another reality. Like, I, I, honestly, the best faith you could possibly do is, like, when you're dealing with your grief, try not to, I don't know, put it on other people Take too much. Take an entire town hostage. <sighs> but the show doesn't oh, discourage wait a that. Minute. I'm not the one with the guns. That's okay. So, I mean, the, the show well, fights... the one with the 3,000 slaves, though. Any concept you can come up with, the show fights it. And it's funny you said, Don't. like, who remembers Mando Season 1? It's like, how do you know kids be? The, the whole, like, what's your favorite episode from Mando Season 2? Guarantee you they, they name a character uh, guest star. Or maybe star. just Ahsoka, you know? Maybe they'll just be like, oh, the Ahsoka one, that was good. It's like, that's, what happened in it? That's what I said. Like, they'll name a character guest star. Yeah. They won't name, like, a plot line <laughs> or a meaningful thing. <laughs> I guess I was trying to be more charitable, like... Oh, you know, it is the Ahsoka episode. It's like, it's not really, though, is it? It's Ahsoka. You just like that character. Hmm. Uh, do you guys find it weird that the director of S.W.O.R.D. is at the dome site in person? When Thor's hammer landed that on Earth, weird. Fury sent Coulson. Doesn't Hayward have an entire agency to run? Yeah, but he's evil. He wants to take vision for himself and kill Wanda. He needs Wanda. to be there so that he can shoot the fake kids. Yeah. Evan Peters, all set off, well, all set up, no payoff. Marvel Studios presents American Horror Story, Witch, Witchy Woman. They seem to be okay with it. They don't give a fuck that you don't like that it wasn't paid off at all. <laughs> this is the most awkward boss fight I've ever fucking played. What is this? <sighs> what Did is I win? That? Yeah. Wow. That was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You um, five shots and that's it. That's over. What a boss fight. It was so clunky too. Uh, the Justice League cartoon had Green Lantern give himself up when he accidentally destroyed a planet. It was later revealed he was framed, but he was still honorable. Uh, is Wanda going to have that integrity for Twilight Zoning a town? Nope. Fuck no. Nope. Because no. John's Twilight Zoning a town, I like that. This is part of what we were advocating for. And it's like some people in chat were pushing back, like she wouldn't be able to be held in a prison. It's like, you're missing the point Dude, completely, but okay. Injustice <laughs> was like, Injustice, the video game even did it better than that. Barry was part of the regime. He turns against it and he helps the good guys win, but he still turns himself in. Yep. He still oh, goes to Hal jail. Turned himself like, in as well, actually. To. Hal turned himself in too. And then in Injustice too, he had to go through the trials again to become a Green Lantern, and the whole time he's trying to repent for all the bad things he did. Same with yeah. Barry. And, like, those games have problems from a writing perspective. There's a lot of tism in them. But, like, even oh, yeah. those ones recognize if you're complicit in the regime, just because you help overturn it doesn't mean that you've got a clean slate. You've still got work Definitely. to do. Yes. Anyone Agreed. wants to know about the problems of Injustice, I recommend Fourth Snake's uh, Injustice Critique. He quite thorough. Uh, Kat Dennings, you're so quirky, lol, so all is fine. I, I don't even... I just... Uh. Yeah. She was so important to that season. Uh. I'm so glad they had that. <sighs> uh, Rewatch the scene when Wu shouts Monica's name near the end of episode 9. The C in her name really sounds like a G, the way that he says it. Monica. Monica? Monica? Interesting. Hmm. There is a great courses course spun to the tune of my themes. Sci-fi, sci-fiction as philosophy with David Kyle Johnson. Please destroy it. <laughs> what? What? But, I mean, <laughs> remember, a video or a we do not book? hate my themes entirely, all right? Yeah, I'm fine with themes. Themes are great if they're executed like well themes. and they're supported yeah. by the material. We just hate it when they use as an excuse for shitty writing. Yeah, it's not yeah. a backdoor to escape criticism. Yep. In fact, one of my criticisms of WandaVision is a waste of good themes or good potential themes. Um, yes. Could have, could have been done. Yeah. Uh, will Rucka Rucka Ali get onto EFAP before he dies? I have I no idea know. who that is. <laughs> the guy who makes songs and stuff on uh, YouTube. Okay. Well, uh, you know, maybe. maybe. Maybe he'll die. Maybe he won't. Who knows? Who could possibly know these things? Uh, this is an awesome stream to come home to work after work. I swear, this show was the embodiment of a down downward hill. Hope everyone is well. Also, high rags. Hello. Yeah, I mean, uh, 
for chill stream. Had a lot of good, good old-fashioned discussion about about writingism. Uh, Rambo manages to attain powers merely by walking through a wall. Super Mary Sue Black Savior Jesus. Uh, uh, well, <laughs> it's just uh, the whole thing just sad. I like mm. it. I don't know. Do you know what a power origin is in the comics? Is it the same shit or? Uh, not entirely sure. I know that her powers are like to do with she can kind of do control things with the like lights the electromagnetic spectrum but she can only like control one at a time and there's like limitations to it and but i'm not i'm not too too familiar i just did a quick google and wikipedia explained more than the actual show did i presume it has more meaning than she went through a wall she was no the second reason. captain marvel it's even uh, marvel i was about to say it's even worse than captain marvel i guess it's on par they both do actions that wouldn't in any way make us think that they're going to get superpowers. And they both do it for reasons that aren't quite solid at all. And Monica's like, yeah. I don't care if I die, even if I become mind-controlled. I really want to get in there. Like, okay. It feels um, like you could do more good from the outside, but okay. Due to bombardment by extra-dimensional energies, Monica can transform herself into any form of energy within the electromagnetic spectrum among many energy forms. So it seems like... I don't know what the context is in the comics, though. Um, so it could have been, like, more reasonable, or it could be just as retarded. I just don't have enough information. Yeah, I don't know either. Mm -hmm. uh, Captain Marvel, I think you mean cheeseburger. Okay. <laughs> so ridiculous. Great stream. I, I don't understand the cheeseburger thing. Is anyone understand that one? Um, Captain Marvel more like, like cheeseburgers, cheeseburgers. But I don't know. Hmm. No, I, I hope he did like cheeseburgers. Want an American cheeseburger? Now, I don't want to call a press conference. Mm -mm. The scrolls will fuck up the MCU timeline. Probably. Absolutely. Well, with the current writers, yeah. Kind of funny because well, like they've always been here. It's like oh, have they? Like EFAP may turn mm. out to be like an MCU destruction podcast with how much they're gonna put <laughs> out imagine. and how bad it might be. Yeah. You thought the DCEU arc was bad? <laughs> it is. You're right. You're well. Correct. I mean, DCEU is <laughs> like a disaster, but yeah. Yeah, it was dead on arrival. While the MCU is more heartbreaking because it ha it has a lot of really good Eyes, points in it. Yeah. Yeah, it has a lot of good highs. The DCEU is just less deep trenches. <laughs> what a shame. You guys ever play Hunt Showdown or Deep Rock Galactic? Not perfect by any means, but criminally underrated in my estimation. I've heard of I've only dabbled in both of them very lightly. I like them both, what I did play. Hmm. Tell that to Wanda's cracked skull. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Nice. That scene is shot by shot copy of the fight in Man of Steel. Check out the film gob video on it. Oh, no, not film gob. I don't... Gob this, this is the thing. I don't consider, like... You know, like, a super fly person grabs someone and throws them through a building? You could probably find that in so many high-budget clashes of super strong people. And then, I, I know that people have compared the laser clashing to Doomsday and Superman, I'm like, what are you talking about? That's in, like, shit tons that, of things. That's, that's, that's not even remotely similar, because Doomsday had his big face laser, and <laughs> Superman had heat vision, which was much tinier, um, and, and it was also covered in smoke. Does Doomsday win that, as well? I can't remember, actually, and I edited yeah, that video. Because, so that... remember, he beats him because he's stronger, Vision loses because he gets, like, old tismed by the lack of, you know, the different th Why do I even bother? <laughs> like, it's, it's funny, I'm like, look, they didn't copy it because it's different in how shit it is. But it's like, uh, why, why even? Look, you can have two lasers clash, okay? I'm not gonna stop you from doing that. Yeah, it's a, it's a tradition at this point. Um, but anyone, is everyone getting like these really awful video recommendations from a channel called Tex? Oh, wait a minute. Tex, is Tex the DC the guy the guy we covered on we haven't released it yet, it's an offline e we did. It's possible you've covered him because he's like just he keeps pumping out DC EU um 
fucking um, pro DCEU videos like oh, around God. the clock. I just like the idea Fuck. that he's stuffing up your recommended. You're like, no. <laughs> he, he, he really was. It's just every day there's a new one. And I'm just like, I don't like the DCEU. I just had to Google a bunch of it because it's kind of my job. Um, this is the channel, if you're wondering. Cycle will complete in uh, no, I have not seen those. Uh, <laughs> man, the first Marvel video. Oh, Dark Side Hypocrisy. Good. Thanos, bad. Dark Side. Yes, because Thanos looks better than Dark Side. Thanos is way, At way least better. Some visual effects. He looks like a real convincing thing that exists. Dark yeah. Side doesn't. He looks like a CGI man. I mean, the the he latest like I a... saw of a released image of Dark Side looks better than the um the other one I saw. But yeah, Thanos. I don't know if you guys remember, he looks like a real ass person. <laughs> He's pretty creepy yes, in a way. They, they went yeah. through so much effort to make sure that he was like blending into every scene and that every like nuance of Josh Brolin's face was like being picked up. Yeah. He, was, uh, he was a great cast for Thanos, by the way. Yes, he was. Oh yeah, that's and, and I guess he'll be back as uh whenever the, when they reintroduce um uh cable. Yeah, because he was awesome as cable as well. He's just a good actor, yeah. I think. Yeah. <laughs> that could be it. Oh, definitely. We will forgive uh, him he for was really good as Sicario. Well, he's good in... Uh, this is kind of where I was going with this as a joke. It's like, yeah. he's actually good in everything I've seen him in. He's been in a shit ton of movies. Yeah. Um, I just... I found him very powerful as Thanos. He, he, it felt he suited him. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the guy we covered for um, the offline fab. He, he had a video about, like... Oh, fuck, what was it even called? I think, was it just BVS as a masterpiece or something? No, it's not the same channel. Nah, it's, I don't think it is. This you guy's sure? just what? retarded. One of his videos was recommended in one of those videos. It's Batman v Superman deserves more respect, but the masterpiece one was a different channel. Well, we that covered two, right? Uh, was the second, well, the second one was, um, oh, damn. Maybe you're right. I don't, I don't I know. I, I, well, you guys will find out. Honestly, that was... That's like eight hours of video coverage. Waiting. You might be right, actually, now that I think about it, yeah. Oh, yeah, we did. We did. Cosmonaut Variety, yeah, doesn't understand Batman v Superman. Oh, right. it was, yeah, right, okay. Yeah, so he, um, it's just funny, because any video that's on Marvel is, ah, no, it's crap, oh, it looks lame. Um, uh, and then all the ones about Justice League are like, oh, it's amazing, it's incredible. Well, see, guys, you should watch EFAP because we hate all of it, okay? Or most of all of it. He has, he has a video debunking people saying that Jared Leto's hair is too long in the new Joker footage. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this guy really I'm has sure an investment in defending these people things. And and another video called Kong is Tall. Okay. Not as tall as Godzilla. Yeah. He's not as tall as Godzilla, you're right. Not close. That's like your opinion, mm. bro. Correct. <laughs> yeah. Problem. Can I not shoot these guys? Is that against the law in this game? Oh, it's a civilian. Okay. Fine. Uh, you guys have a play? Oh, wait, yeah. If the two kids are uh, one division and visions, why is one magic and the other a speedster? Surely one must be a mini vision. One must be maybe some brotherly love. She created them, right? That's how I always justified in my head of how anything happens for them. She created them. They yeah, can do whatever. I think that's how that works. Does Vision have sperm, even? No idea. <clears throat> Little nanobots. Ooh. Yeah. Um... Doesn't the MCU and the DCU copy off each other all the time since the beginning? I mean... No, that's fake. All those pictures no. on Twitter and whatever that people say that all the time, it's like, no. It's not. The parallels people draw are so thin. I've always felt that a lot of it is going to be coincidence, um, but... It's funny to draw lines and connections, and everybody seems to be on the same page that the DCU wanted to catch up to Marvel. There would be no sense of wanting to catch up to Marvel if there wasn't a sense of wanting to be Marvel. Um, or have their success, right? So they could have chilled out, but they just like rushed everything, and uh, in doing so, there's some stuff that I think you can connect. But in the same vein, like, that's not why it's bad or anything. No. Uh... I think, because isn't it, isn't it like a saying, um, it's not one I necessarily agree with, but, uh, is, is, is something like copying 
Well, being inspired the, by is like a good thing, and then stealing is a genius thing, or some shit like that. Imitation uh, is the, fair, the purest form of flattery, or something like that, right? Oh, that's There's a different a book one. Called the Artist Steals. Um, that's like a guide to yeah. how to take different ideas and repurpose them. Yeah, and obviously not going as far as saying you literally take someone's work and sell it as your own. Just, oh, yeah. <laughs> um, you take things that are really strong and from them build new things and good things as well. Everything is iterative, that whole shebang. Um, yeah. And so this is what I would pose to the people who think that one division sucks because it copied Snyder. I should be like, do you, think, <laughs> do you think Snyder's that awful that when you copy him you end up with that? I don't know. Ooh, like, we're at that obviously, point. I think he's that awful, but <laughs> a lot of people don't. So. Yeah. Um, the funny thing is, like, if DC wanted to do their shared universe, and you know, I'm a fan of their shared universe and all the things you can do with it, but if, uh, you know, and if so, if they wanted to do it, and of course, you know, Marvel showing it could work. If they had just taken their time, we could have been in a world where DC, while DC is doing like their solo movies, Marvel could be doing their team up movies. And then while DC is doing their team up movies, Marvel could be doing their solo. So you would always have like at them alternating. So they would always be hitting different markets at different times. So they actually fucked themselves in a completely different way by trying to rush to catch up to Marvel in that sense. Because people would have been craving smaller stories while the Avengers were going on fighting Thanos and stuff. Yeah, they just wanted to, they just ended up being a second-rate version of something else mm. which is bad there just wasn't a reason to go see it yeah laser trip which is test cycle completed office floor laser system now um, <clears throat> silly efab don't you know that one division is a show about red wizards meant for fake children i did know that doesn't make it any more enjoyable Not a fan of the show, but EFAP, you get to look at Vision. Yeah. Was, uh... Nice to see him at first. I was just hoping that they would, um... Do what has to be done, and... Remind me that he is absolutely gone and dead, but appreciate the, uh... The insight into his character hey, that we would have gotten. Where do you think you're going? But they didn't really do that. I'm looking at Film Gob's channel, and it just looks like... This is like, um... A church for Zack Snyder. <laughs> like, it's just worshipping everything that he's ever done and every breath he's ever taken. It's like... Well... It's bizarre. Film gob. Some say that his at these video titles is a masterpiece. Uh... Oh, is he like a, he's a huge DC person? Uh, Snyder specifically, it seems. Oh. oh no. Which is different. That is an important difference. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm a DC person, but I think all of the like DCEU EU is fucking garbage. It's uh. horrifically bad. It's, oh, fuck. What am I supposed to do if I run out of dots? I can't kill these guys. Can I hit them with gas? <laughs> Do I have gas? Uh, remember in Buffy when they uh, did that thing in season one? Yeah, it's uh, it's horrifying, and um, they don't know about it is why that's something that can be um, it, it leaves the characters unaware of of uh, of the of the guilt they would face for not having acknowledged it in um, season one. Do you know what I'm I'm referencing, uh, Fringy? The uh, the statue. Could you say that one again? Something that happens in Buffy Season 1. Uh, a certain oh. statue. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um, it's yeah. horrifying, but nobody knows that that's what's happened. Which helps them out. And also, it probably ends at some point. Uh, oh, yeah. Kind of, yeah. I guess. Well, who knows, right? But yeah, <clears throat> it, it is horrifying, but none of them know. Cycle will complete in... And it's Season 1, so... You know, it's a sucky content. Well, like, I don't really take issue with it. Um, it's, uh, it's one of those things where the, the villain has been fucked over by their spells and no one can figure out yeah. what happened to help them, so. Some really horrible justice right there. Well, I guess it wouldn't be justice at that point, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Comic-tism's words. That's what I was trying to say. 
But yeah, relevant. Uh, congratulations to the meme repository for being on EFAB from Spooderman. Oh, thanks, Griff. Rag's Aussie accent is the same as Rucker's, and he's dying. <laughs> what? What do you mean? I, like, I, I, actually dying of something? I don't I don't know. I, I don't know who this person is. I, it I sucks know, if I, they're dying, by assume, the way. Yeah, that's terrible. I thought that was like a, an expression for, will you ever get him on? Yeah. That sort of thing. Yeah, I thought the, the meme was like, it's going to take so long that yeah. he dies, but I guess he's actually dying. Yeah, it's just unfortunate. Yeah, I... I mean, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. Mm, um, definitely hope he hopes he get. You know, I definitely hope he gets better. Mm. Yeah. Glad to see the meme repository appearing on EFAP. Your editing works on EFAP movies have been top notch. Oh, cheers. Lol, don't have much to say, but I appreciate the insight. I subjectively enjoyed One Division, but I objectively dislike it. Um. <laughs> mm. Um. <laughs> I don't, I don't know about that one. <laughs> you enjoy it, but you dislike it, and those are separate. Okay. You know, usually we say, like, subjectively like and objectively bad. But Consider is, it uh, poorly, yeah. But, you know, maybe that's what yeah. they meant. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. You laser trip switches test cycle completed. Office floor laser system. I used to watch Cosmo, no bullshit, and others. Thankfully, EFAP saved me, and I've started to look at media more critically. Thank you, also, <laughs> Hyrax. Hey! Um, I think a lot of people would have watched them and just not really listened to what they were saying. That's just how it goes. And that's fine, by the way. Cosmo... Yeah. I think Cosmo was, like, one of the first um, SA people that I, like was dubious of like um i watched some of his content and i i noticed that i only liked him when i agreed with him and the rest of the time i couldn't stand him so that's kind of a sign that maybe his argumentation just was um a little bit shit yeah <clears throat> uh, i just didn't get it every time i was watching any of his yeah. videos in the recommended i was just like why they're so crap how, how are people liking <laughs> this his arguments can be infuriating um but he'll obviously rely on the whole like just share my opinion. I know, but sometimes you straight up lie. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Oh no. Use all my ammo. Why? Why can't I shoot these guys? Lemmy. I know it's evil, but I, I let me play evil mode. Oh, you guys should do an EFAP movie of Kong 05. We have, uh... We've considered such things. I don't. Mm. I don't see why we won't. Maybe one day. Um, are you all fucking. Are you uh, are you all fucking me? Frets on fire was the shit, and hearing that you played it on laptop is mind blown. The game was meant for keyboard. Custom on. Well, so I associated a lot for people bringing it into high school to play it but on their laptops, right? It wouldn't be PCs, but uh, of course you could play it on PC if you want. I certainly won't stop you. Reminds me of shit. high school when everyone would just, um, when they were supposed to be doing, like, independent study, they would just go into, like, the common room and just play Age of Empires, and one person actually punched their laptop so hard they smashed the screen and it flung across the table. It was the most amazing thing I'd ever seen. <laughs> and then he took it to the repair office and says it had a virus. Not all objectives complete. Can't, I, can't they just kind of pretend? God, this game is so mean. Uh, any possible EFAP movie marathon on Harry Potter in the future? Rags ripping into them is worth the ticket admission alone. Also, hi, Rags. Hey there. Um, <laughs> if if uh, we could gather a certain crowd that would be on board with such things, I don't know how Rags feels about a potential. I'm not country. against it. Well, yeah, maybe, maybe. But yeah, I'm not against the idea. One day, we could perchance enter into the realm of Harold Potter. Harold Potter. Like an I example of dead. like, Moo. like an example of like character work is you know the characters can typically be pretty likable, but the world building is infuriating. <laughs> Harry Potter. Shut up. Muggles don't know about wizards somehow. <laughs> like, I don't know.
Rub people that haven't played down the list of 2000 to 2015 freeware titles disgust me. Um, Alright, Filthy Casuals haven't even heard of Endgame, Singularity, etc. I played a lot of, um, like, Flash games back in the day, if that's what's being referred to there, but freeware? I don't know if they come under that. They do. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I needed to complete this level without firing as many of my darts as I did. But I can't play stealthy right now, are you kidding? Embarrassing. <laughs> you um, do it. Oh, have I not done the things I need to... Don't worry, we're making progress. Uh, Hongo 5 and Skonkly Island are only alike in the most shallow ways. They both use the same story as Kong 33, but Skonkly strips it of all the drama and gravity. Kong 5 stretches all the drama out and takes its time. Alright. Kongo really 5, greater story. than Skonkle Island. I mean, I'm pretty sure Kongo 5 is better, but I, like I said, I haven't seen it in ages. For that matter... I'd say you're correct. For that matter, 1989, 2000, Abandonware, DOS, or DOS games, and Freeware in general was pretty dope. Why have you not started playing down that list too, scrubs? Um, because yeah. I'm on the GameCube, and the GameCube is for cool people. It's so, true. Yeah, I didn't make the rules, okay? You carry it around like a lunchbox. Great. A lot of good stuff on GameCube. Oh, yeah. Mm. My favorite GameCube game was GameCube. <laughs> like, GameCube what does that mean? 2004. Like, yeah, to play all of them with that logic. I not download I something. Game. I thought I. Eh. Striker will complete in ten seconds. Uh, playing Dark Souls, more of the gun sound effect in your game sounds kind of like dart traps and sends fortress, so it keeps freaking me out. Hi, Rax. Hmm. Hello. Fuck it. Really lost. Keep fucking with him. Well, they just, they just alert the alarmy things. It's it's horrible. They shouldn't be allowed. Uh, find and download Little Fighter Two Version One Point One Nine and Tony. Tony. Um. I shall not give in to your demands. A great episode, guys. I was looking forward to ripping the show apart at more. If you were the world leader, you would be my number one advisor. Oh, sorry. If I were the world leader, you'd be my number one advisor. I, I would recommend someone else. Not too, um, not too great at world affairs, I would say. Uh, I'm pretty decent when it comes to looking at movies. So if you need that, you know, let me know. Advisor to the president on movies. Pass uh, legislation to stop shitty movies. <laughs> I would consider that carefully. I'd be like, please. <laughs> Just put it into the law. We'll be okay. They have to redraft once, at least once. Two minutes. Nah, they they'd all give up at that point. Like this is ridiculous. What are these limitations? I think my creativity. Raise the alarm. Ugh, go away. All these goody two shoes security dudes. Hell on you, because you're breaking the law. Hey, video games are just so limited. Why can't I break the law, hmm? I never fully explain it. Plot hole. There's a dude in here as well. Okay. Um... People that haven't spent at least 20 years pirating, downloading, purchasing, or playing literally every video game that runs under the Windows, under Windows, are w a wasted life. God, that's never a true statement been said. Mm. If you haven't played I, all I, games, I, you're in trouble. Yeah, you're not a real gamer. No. If you think you're a real gamer, name all games. Exactly how I think. <laughs> That was just several noises. I don't agree with it. No, I just said it really fast. You know, All you right. couldn't comprehend it because of my fast talk, my flash talk. Stop that flashy talk, sir. <laughs> Insum. Bad man over there. I can avoid this one. 
Molus, gate 3 run on RPCS3 for Super Chats when? I do not necessarily know what games are eventually going to be played, but all the James Bond Nightfire fans out there were very happy about today's choice. Let me say that. No, 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 don't need you. Oof. Laser trip switches test cycle completed. Those were some sounds. I don't want to get killed. Can you blame me? Uh, yeah, I guess. Fair point. <clears throat> Can I fucking save? I don't want to have to do all that again. I did it right this time. Yeah. Where'd you come from? Fuck. Stay down. Eight. Four, one. Nobody telling me. Oh, give me a checkpoint game. I've earned it. Objective complete. Um, I've done something good. I know that much. That? Supposed to... Oh, this is where... I did it! Uh, Safe shouldn't be 10 minutes long. Sorry, should be 10 minutes long and be unaware parody. Very well. That's your preference. That would be an ideal world. Why did Vision try to take X Vision Stone? Yeah, uh, don't know. <laughs> you got me. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he thought that was his weak spot. I like that um, a real Vision who is turned into cum Vision um, is like stone hole is like the perfect shape for Hex Vision's finger. Maybe they built him that way. Maybe. It's just like a little little fingerprint reader on the forehead, you know? You gotta get all the use out of uh, those little orifices. Uh, it's Orify, idiot. Uh. Orify. Why, uh, EFAP movies, Kongo 5 and 007 movies? I don't know if we'll ever do 007 movies, that, but like... What's yeah. with all these people asking for Kong? I, I don't know. <laughs> like, that's that's all of a sudden, everyone wants Kong us to see this... 2005 on people's minds today. Yeah, what's going on? Did someone Kong spread something in the chat? Did we, <laughs> did we discuss hey, it at some Kong point? Is it Godzilla vs. Kong, maybe? Like, that's coming well, out maybe right? Maybe that's why people are thinking about yeah, it. Yeah, maybe that's it. I think it would have been more than that, but... Alright. Because this is yeah, specifically would, like, Peter Jackson... King yeah, Kong they're referring to that rather than the 33 yeah. one. Or Godzilla. Like, no one's mentioned Godzilla yet. No. Uh, yeah, well, we've done. Everyone's got Big Monkey on the brain. I guess yeah. it's because everybody knows that Godzilla is a popular one, so everybody's feeling really bad for Kong. They're like, hey, Kong needs some right. love. Well, I mean, yeah. I like King Kong in the movie King Kong, but, like, that isn't the Kong that we're getting in these movies. Like, he's, he's misunderstood monster tragic in a. Uh, Peter Jackson's, whereas here he is just a big monster thing. Whereas Godzilla's just a big fucking radioactive lizard. But he's a hero, yeah. He's I, I the just, hero yeah, Godzilla's quite cooler than Kong. Um, I would have a beer Godzilla. with Godzilla. King Kong, I don't know, he might start fucking up the bar. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> You'd like me some Godzilla. He pretty cool, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's a, he's a good boy. I didn't know. I'd have a beer with him. I would watch some movies with Godzilla. I don't know if we can get him a, a like a big chair. Seems like a bro, that Godzilla. Yeah. He does seem like a bro. Like if, if there was a girl in the bar, like a big Mothra, he'd he'd help <laughs> well no, not Mothra, Mothra's his bitch. Um yeah. he'd help out though. You know, if it was like if there was, I don't know, a giant lizard or like a what what would what would I don't know what did who's Godzilla's friends? Oh, uh, Angerus, Angerus maybe. Okay. Um. <laughs> yeah. Like if they're if they're at the bar, they'll be you know he'll be like, ah, oh, come on, just talk to her. And he's like, oh, I don't know, you know, I'm just I haven't been doing so well since my wife left me. Um. And then Godzilla's like, I got you, bro. And then, <laughs> and then walks up to all the chicks in the bar helping. You know, introduce his friend, whatever I can his name believe is, it. I've already forgotten. I, I think, and that's the movie we need, I would say. Enough of this Godzilla hatred. Warning, not all objectives can... I gotta go steal something. Such an evil little man. Uh, how about a smile? The Don, now I sexually harass you. Why would he? Why would he <laughs> I mean, 
again, I wonder how many Context. people we will be seeing argue that uh, the Dawn is still... I wonder if Brown Table thinks the Dawn is worse than Wanda. Mm. Like, come on. The Dawn might table. be the least molested character in the MCU by the end of this. Yeah. I can't wait to what? see all of it defend in Wanda. I guarantee a ton of people are going to be saying she was completely in the right what she did. I've got absurd. my aspirin on standby. Well, yeah, it would be absurd, which is why I expect it from some of these fucking morally <laughs> defunct, yep. degenerate YouTubers. <laughs> well, yeah, it's one of those things we've talked about a lot, right? Bad, bad movies bring out the uh, the weird morality of a lot of video essays. <laughs> the weird morality people. Well, yeah, because I've seen a few people like, oh, in Wonder Woman, Barbara should have killed that guy. It's like, are you... You guys, like... You, you gotta recon... We need to start from the baseline of, like, morality and work our way up from there. You know, killing people is not cool. I think so, too. Um, I know that you guys are supposed to be tempted towards the alt-right by this podcast and Nazis and stuff, <laughs> but I'm not cool with killing. Yeah. I, I mean, Batman's they can just pretend no I lied. Role, for, um... I'm not cool with killing, wink. <laughs> It is legitimately funny that people can argue uh, from that position, considering how much we've talked, that morality has been talked about on this podcast recently. Well, nobody watches it who hates it. <laughs> I guess. <That's> true. <laughs> I presume they talk about Hitler semi-regularly. <laughs> Why, what else would they talk about? You know, FAP stands for concentration camp, right? Yes. An internet concentration camp. Is there anything scarier? Hmm. Virtual reality concentration camp, maybe. Uh, Muller, have you played PN03 for GameCube? No. Did I say I don't know what that is? At this point, I'm gonna just fucking raise the alarm. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't have the code to get through here. I don't want to put a wrong code in. It might just kill me. You can go back on the elevator, I don't know. Oh, I came out of a vent, didn't I? Uh, greetings, hate mongers. Glad to see you playing Nightfire. This game was my childhood, and Brosnan is my bond because of it. Don bless, my dude. Yeah, I played this game a whole bunch, but I've forgotten a shit ton of it at this point. Some of this stuff is vaguely memorable. That's why I'm so good at it, I would say. Probably tell. Oh, I can't get back up there. Okay. I have to look for Nightfire clues. Guess the code, 1234, Google the code. Uh, the code changes every load, so... Code changes every load. I think they knew that I was going to cheat. Bastard. I have to hack something? This is impossible. No, there are two of them. Uh... Can we get back <laughs> to prequel bad, where at least there's interesting things in there that <laughs> I can like? That would be nice. Let's go back to the I was playing. Times. I was playing Mordhau yesterday, and there were a bunch of... And this was like early, in, early like 3 a.m. I just happened to be up, and I was like not tired. Mm. And people were quoting the prequels in the text chat. Boss Nass and all that stuff. And like, man, these things got staying power, these prequels. People oh, just... sounds like heaven. Yeah, the meme power. Just quoting lines. I did watch, like, Revenge of the Sith on loop when I was 10 years old, so a lot of those are just burned into my just brain, yeah. just all those quotes. They, uh, they made their mark, those movies, and not in the same way that the sequels did. Put it that way. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you guns, just kill me. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Uh... Also, nice seeing you on EFAP, Repo, and High Rags. Pets for the good boy. Hey there. Oh, nice to see you, viewer person. Hello. Before WandaVision, the MCU was canon to the TV shows, but the shows weren't canon to the MCU. What is your biggest worry for Spider-Man No Way Home? Thank you, too. Um, uh, I'm worried that it's going to be too big for its own good. I think it's just gonna be written like shit. That's the worry. Yeah, um, all your standard I, I kind worries. Of feel really. like, 
Like, yeah, it's, um, I kind of feel like if they're going to do all those like crossovers, which if they do well, could be really nifty. But I feel like to do this well, you kind of have to start the story in another movie with like Tobey Maguire showing up as like a supporting character and the mm. multiverse of madness or something just to ease the load a little bit. But I don't know what's going to happen. I, I hope it's not shit. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I feel we're in in for some potential trouble. Like the amount they're juggling, I don't know. Yeah. Don't know what to expect. We'll be giving it a chance, of course. Uh, um. If you're invested in the MCU, then you have to see it. But if you see it, then your investment will be destroyed. That's a problem. <laughs> Yeah. Um, <laughs> I suppose the only solution to that is you have a friend summarize it for you in the most generous way possible. She was in a town and had a family. <laughs> yes, a family of some She was very sad. Between every sentence, yeah. you have to say she was very sad. <laughs> Sadness. It now, was look, mind intense. you, she was very sad. Um, anyway, like the, to the woman said, if you won't let us leave, just let us die. Um, Remember, she was she's very, very sad, sad, by the way. Yes. Uh, what person justified slavery sadness? Give me to retrieve the Nightfire files. <laughs> Actually, I like that. Justified empathy. She justified slavery because she had empathy. Look. I think we're forgetting the key con congredient. She was sad. That is true. She was sad. I too enslave and torture people when I am in the blues. This is why, this I'm is also why a cases fucking of monster. depression are on the rise, because we outlawed slavery. Hmm, that's true. Am I supposed to get this thing in there? Like, I'm gonna murder myself. Maybe there's that other room I'm supposed to... All right, I have new ideas of how to beat this level. It's all good. Now, you guys mentioned the Spartacus show on a previous EFAB. I watched that as a kid. From what I remember, it's like Game of Thrones on crack on a much smaller scale. Also, probably nowhere as good. I... Who don't... knows? Yeah, I, I, I never don't... heard anything about it. I couldn't even begin to formulate an opinion. Yeah. Though I could. It's shit. Wow. See, there you go. Yeah. Opinions mm. have been formulated. It, it, it was actually easier than I thought. I thought it'd be harder to just form an opinion on something I know nothing about, but it was actually pretty easy. I wonder if this is a common thing people do. Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? Well, well, maybe they, you know, look for flaws um, intentionally because they want um, a hot take of some variety. But Reg, you don't know anything about Avatar. You keep telling yourselves that if it helps you feel good. At <laughs> <laughs> and now I go to the comments to see them lose their mind. I'm just going to cut the head off that snake real quick. Oh no, <laughs> snake, it's head. Oh uh, no. I'm oh, waiting. No. Here we go. If I keep telling myself he doesn't know anything about it, I can just like that. So, moving on. Let, we'll let that fester. Moving on. This is a, <laughs> can I inject my card in this? Let me win, game. <laughs> inject that card. I just want to win. Like, inject your card, like, pay to win. Let me, can, why can't I beat this by just swiping my credit card? Arorstead. Was the spooky computer this? I'm just going to run in and let them kill me while I install the Q-Wim. Do it, Q. No? Nothing. Maybe I missed my chance to install the QM. I'm not sure. I miss uh, what bad used to be. There used to be like things to latch onto. Now it's just. Well, <laughs> I'm sure this game is fine in terms of telling me what I had to do. I've just missed the information. I'm, yeah. I'm confused. Plant the QM in a computer room with a red screen. I don't think I saw any. Decrypta, the so in chat, now. I looked over to chat and there's someone said therapy animals on a plane and I don't know the context of that I I'm gonna assume in my head that this is like a toned down version of snakes on a plane. Oh, <sighs> well, I would watch dinosaurs on a plane. That'd be cool. Dinosaurs on, like physically on top of the plane holding and on. It's that yeah. I don't well, well, that it's actually not what you think. It's it's a movie about dinosaurs taking a cross country trip for like business trips, and it's all mm -hmm. their stories taking place over the course of this plane trip. That could be a really cool bottle episode of a movie. 
Yeah. Wanda the fact goes that to Site dinosaurs... B and turns all the dinosaurs into happy-go-lucky, carefree residents of a of of Bedrock, the town Alan. of Bedrock. I watched a uh, zombie movie on a plane. It was called Plane Dead. All right. Plane oh, Dead. Boy. Yeah. That sounds good. Let me let me look it up. Plane Dude. Dead. I think it has Flight of the Living untitled. Dead outbreak on a plane. Possibly because I think the I think it has a different title depending on the region you're in. Um, it's uh, in Australia. It's called Plane Dead, or in, possibly in Europe, but uh, it, I think it has a different title in America. I'm not. I'm is this sure. it? Um, Flight oh, of the Living That's Dead awful. outbreak on a plane at thirty thousand feet. There's nowhere to run. Oh it's god, possible. that's like a mid two thousands DVD cover. <laughs> Correct, Amundo. This took well, place. I watched it this in came the out in two thousand seven. Yeah, I think. That's yeah, I think right. this is. I think this is probably it. Um, yeah, I I watched it when I was like eleven or something. Uh, it was it was not great from what I remember. Oh yep yep. Here's the uh the the Wikipedia actually has the plane. Okay, Wikipedia, you, you're sending mixed messages right now because you have like the American title for your wiki article title, but the poster says plain dead. Oh, oh, I see it. Yeah, I see it. Undead at 30,000 feet. Plain dead. A flight you wish you had missed. No. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh, uh, it's coming back to me now. There's like terrorists that sneak the virus on board and it leaks. Knew it. That's Never trust a terrorist. Good advice. Oh, and apparently it is a variation of the malaria virus. The M virus. <laughs> it was created by the evil uh, pharmaceutical company, Parasol. I get it. Thank I you. get it. Yeah. Thanks. That's all. That's not. So I, I, uh. I, what, for the, the thumbnail for this video, I wanted to do um, a Wile E. Coyote reference. So just for for sort of visual reference, I've just been playing Wile E. Coyote compilations. <laughs> Fucking Looney Tunes, man. Classic. Classic. Chuck Jones. Mwah. Beautiful. Wile E. Coyote is Chuck, that means you're gay. The while, yeah, while I, I think um, I, I read Chuck Jones' uh, book, and um, he was talking about the rules that he set for um, Wiley Coyote and Roadrunner, and I think those rules are the reason why I always liked it more than Tom and Jerry. Like, Tom, Jerry's a cunt. Um, yeah. Like, Tom is yeah. the protagonist mm -hmm. of that series, really. Um, and so that it's, like, guy. really annoying to watch because Tom's constantly getting punished when... Usually Jerry's the instigator, whereas like one of the rules for Roadrunner is that uh, Roadrunner never instigates. Like he doesn't even it's really. It's always fight. Coyote. It's mm. always the it's always the stupidity or the it's always a, a mistake that the Coyote makes that costs him. Not like it's not even that it's not even that um he'll he like Roadrunner will be provoked and then he'll screw with Coyote. He just he doesn't screw with him ever. Like, he's just, he just he's always honks just before he runs away. Yeah, um, I mean, and then Coyote will screw something up. Um, and I mean, yeah, the... I think that extends to a lot of Looney Tunes stuff, right? Like, Bugs Bunny doesn't pick a fight, um, yeah, so that's... you're always on his side. Daffy Duck always picks a fight, so it's really easy to laugh at him. Um, and it, yeah. Chuck, Chuck Jones and Tex Avery were absolute legends. Uh, yeah, indeed, <laughs> those two guys. Man. Whenever Bugs Bunny did pick a fight, he would normally get comeuppance. Like uh, he remember the the skit where he picked a fight with a turtle because he read the story of the turtle in the hair and wanted to prove that he would win. Oh, and yep. the turtle had oh, a rocket yeah. pack. There's there's two episodes of those, I think. Yeah. Oh my god, they have a cutscene for if I jump off the the, the tower. <laughs> Good job, game. Also, I think it would have been worth putting a checkpoint between the, 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 the helicopter sequence and all this bit, but, you know, that's just my opinion. What do I know? Not a gamer, just a moobly. You're not a game developer. Uh, I really like the fights and sex in Spartacus. That is all. <laughs> all right. I like that. <laughs> I, uh, High that, praise. Yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, I, I'm already interested. Mm-hmm. Uh, thoughts on There's how most... There's a lot of nudity in it. Oh, good. <laughs> Excellent, even. 
Thoughts on how most reviews don't mention how awful the things that Wanda does are, or how they say WandaVision is the same as all of the MCU? It concerns me. It should. It tells you the standards are all it, over the fucking yeah. place. I feel like they. Me. I feel like if even if their words don't communicate it, they must well, feel like a lesserness to it. This is going to come across as condescending, but when High Top says you're only interpreting one, uh, Wonder Woman 84 it dishonestly to make it seem worse than the intentions of the author, which weren't the whole rape thing. I'm like, you're a bit naive, and you're going to get there one day. Because that shit is unacceptable. It doesn't matter if the fucking creator was like, oh, I don't think it's that. Even though they didn't say that. That's all I was trying to parody um, big. Yeah, the, these things... <laughs> Just nah. This is the thing, if it was to be some sort of a serious thing, it would be like, uh, this was incredibly reckless and you, your story doesn't even, like, condemn it for it. In fact, she seems to argue that, like, that was the thing to do. I remember, I can't believe they included it. It's so fucked where he's like, um, you know, what, what about this guy? What about, what about, like, pointing to himself and then she's like, I don't care about him. It's just like, oh. Yeah, like, dude. Our hero, dude. everyone. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, so um, the whole moral thing, body, like choosing to ignore it because you liked the film, it's like, oh, you got some grown up to do. <laughs> You'll get there one or way. Or at least acknowledge it. Yeah, just, uh, it would be better if you were like, you talk about the things that you thought were really good in it while saying like, yeah, that was fucked. They really needed to fix that. But oh well. Um... So guys, with YouTube's becoming ever more stringent, have you guys considered starting channels on other platforms, aka Bitch Shoot Mines Parlor? Um, no. It would only be if I was booted off. I've got everything backed up, so I can move, but well, I don't want to. There's <laughs> not much of an audience on those platforms, um, oh, mm, and there's that's... a lot of baggage attached to those platforms too. I would prefer to be on those platforms than no platform at all. Um, oh, if, if I had no choice, sure, but as long as YouTube's still around. I'll yeah, until I am in that position, I'm just gonna carry on. Um, but don't worry, EFAP and my videos are all safe. They're all backed up. I'll never lose them. Every last modicum of complaining about things will be in intact. Uh, honestly, I thought the finale wasn't that bad, but it was really distracting when Agent Wu called Monica the N-word near the day at the end. Yeah. yeah <laughs> that was the, the it, it seemed unusual for his character, but, um... I mean, you know, there. sometimes, if you, sometimes in a heated moment, you say the gamer word, mm. and you know, there you go. Mm. Wu would take just, his gun, all fairness, and shoot the Kevlar. Wu was in an intense game of Call of Duty. Can he be blamed? I do not know. Oh, Fringy, you're going to love this. <clears throat> they recently confirmed there are no playable elites in Halo Infinite, so that's just Yeah, another... that really yeah. bugs me. Um, oh, okay. It's, I don't know, why, that not just, been interesting. why not just have it be an option, you know? Halo and 2 no, for machinima and people. Three. Yeah, for machinima people, for sure. And also, no jewel wielding, which means it, it's been really? like 13 years. It's been 13 years since we've had jewel wielding in Halo. 3 was the last one. They've removed why would the they... wielding of jewels. Yeah, yeah, Reach, Reach didn't and have it, 4, four didn't and have it, and five. 5. 5 definitely didn't have it. Five ODST was going... as well. 5, yeah, but ODST I can kind of understand because, like, the whole idea of being a normal person is going to be hard to dual wield, like, these massive Yeah, that's guns. true. Yeah. Um, I gotta tell you, like, it's Halo 5 is such a weird game for me because I really enjoyed the multiplayer, but I also... The multiplayer is so... It's so geared towards competitive play that it's not a game that you can play casually for fun. Yeah. Um, like that game is uh that game is uh fast. And there are certain weapons and and it's funny, I was gonna say that game is well balanced, but it's not. Uh pistols are incredibly powerful in that game. Um what was wrong with dual wielding? Well nothing was wrong with it. That's why I don't know I I, I don't know why it's not I don't know why it's not a part of the new games. Yeah, I um, never was like, oh no, I can dual wield. Oh no, options. Uh, especially when it comes to single player. If they were, if they said, if they came out and said, all right, guys, we've got a fairly good variety of weaponry. I don't think that we can balance multiplayer 
well enough around being able to mix and match all different kinds of weapons, we mm. feel it would be overpowered in multiplayer. So it will be in single player and in firefight and other cooperative modes. However, in you know PvP multiplayer, it will be single guns only, and the game will be balanced around those single guns. But in it, but in campaign, fucking go for it, go nuts and go nuts in yeah, the firefight too. I think too. that's a big thing. Why not have it in campaign? Like it. Yeah, yeah, it's like I, oh I no, know. it's too strong in campaign. Well, I'll buff the difficulty up. Yeah. Like with Halo Reach, it was in the code, and you could actually enable dual wielding in the code. So I just, I don't know why, why not just have that be like, say you're in Forge or custom games or something, and you can just enable it as an option if you want it. You know? Yeah. Like surely it's not. Uh, it's actually. It, I I don't want to say like surely it's not that hard because I'm sure that there is stuff that goes into all of these decisions. It's complicated, but I don't know. They did it a lot. They did it before. I don't see why they can't do it now. Yeah, only excuse I've really heard um, that might be valid is just um, balancing like uh, the weapon damage and everything because it, um, you've got a uh, so some weapons in Halo yeah, Two got nerfed yeah, because of dual wielding. But then again, when they came back in Halo Three, they said, "Okay, the needler was kind of shit in Halo Two, so let's just not make it dual wieldable, even though it should be logically dual wielded. Like you can make mechanical choices like that while still keeping dual wielding in there. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah the, of course." Um, yeah, you know, if a gun is good enough, like if I can have two guns, do they? Does that mean that in order to balance them, do they have to be only viable when they're dual wielded? Which means if I just have a single weapon, is it just not going to really do anything? I think um, it's gonna, I'm it not be sure who said it. I'm not sure who said it. No, it was in a Halo Three Vidoc where they said um, the problem with starting people with uh, yeah, actually that's a good. So they said that the problem with SMG starts was because it was a dual wielding weapon, people would generally just default to dual wielding and not melee anymore. Uh, so then Halo Especially 3 had you, it. Yeah, because if you spawn with it and you die with it, there's going to be a lot of them. There's going to be a lot of them around and people will just dual wield. So it's like, okay, if so, and then in Halo 3, it's like, we'll start them with the battle rifle and the, uh, or the, it's either the battle rifle or the assault rifle, depending on which game mode you play. It's like, that seems like a healthy compromise. If you want to dual wield, you need to drop one of those weapons, um, pick up one that can be dual wielded, and then pick up the next one that can also dual wield. Um, and unfortunately, one of the big, I think one of the big problems with Halo Reach was that DMR starts are insanely prevalent. Yeah. Which means that almost all yeah. of the weapons on the map are just like, don't pick them up. Why would you? You spawn with the DMR, which is almost a, really a power level powerful. power weapon. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, DMR was a little too powerful compared to, like, the battle rifle is powerful, but uh, the DMR was incredibly powerful. Yeah, it was a five shot, and it was long range, and it was, I mean, it was too good always. I think, um, I think what helped the, the battle rifle is the fact that it was possible to miss one of your three shots, and it's really important to land all of your shots on the head. Whereas with the DMR, it's just like, yeah, bang, 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 dead. Whereas with the it's, DMR... It's, yeah, uh, it's five shots yeah. to kill the DMR, and only the last shot has to be a headshot. That's right, whereas, yeah, with the, uh, with the if you want to kill somebody with the battle rifle, all three of the last shots, like, from the one round have to... Uh, have to hit them in the head. But, but, I mean, Halo Three is incredibly well balanced. Um, mm. I don't, I don't know that any game comes close. Halo One is not really balanced at all. Um, Halo Two is better, but uh, that game has some problems with balancing. Um, but again, it's pretty good. Three is uh, probably like peak balance. Reach kind of throws it off a bit with armor abilities, but it's still decent. Um, and then Four just loses the goddamn plot. <laughs> like, <laughs> Or it's just off the rails. Yeah, I, I remember when uh, I played for, I was still on uh, playing Xbox at the time. Mm. And that game was just, oof. Um, yeah. I had yeah. some fun in it, but there was a lot of stuff where I was just like, oh, this just, this don't feel right. Bad maps, bad design fundamentally, I think. I think that game yeah. is... Uh, I know we've had talks about this plenty, Rags. I think we probably disagree on it. I just don't think that... Um, I don't think that you should let people choose their starting weapons in, uh, in Halo. Well, as long as you go into the game with that as your design philosophy and you prepare for it and you design around it, 
then I uh, think it'll oh, work. I guess what I'm saying is I don't think that it's fundamentally a bad thing in any game because I mean Call of Duty does it like that. Uh, uh, it, it's kind of it calls for a different philosophy for sure when it comes to the way that the game is designed. I think the problem with Halo is that the sandbox is built around very distinct weapons. Weapons that are yeah, functionally if... unique, whereas in Call of Duty, like, there is a difference between the battle, like, the assault rifles, but ultimately the only difference is... Yeah, is when you die, and, yeah, or, uh, yeah. Yeah, when time to kills are low, and there, there generally isn't too much of a difference, um, it, you just kind of go into the game thinking, what do we want to actually have? Do we want to have a game where everybody spawns at equal, same power, same abilities, they spawn with the same weapons... And so the, the the balance comes in with the map design and weapon placement on the map. Or do we want to give players the option of choosing between a couple different loadouts and keep that in mind with how and where we populate the map with weapons and spaces and lines of sight? I think so. layouts. I think the layouts from Reach was probably the way to do it because uh, that way the developers can like they can pick the combo um, and they can pick how they pair that combo with um, an armor ability. And so it, it, I think, I think in a game like Halo, giving the developers a little bit of control over the parameters is um is important. Whereas in Call of Duty, I don't think it matters or, or Battlefield. Uh, in fact, I think those games kind of emphasize the idea of build your loadout, build um yeah absolutely. Out what There's a lot of different want. viable loadouts and a lot of it. They they are sim generally loadouts will be similar enough to one another that it it's fine and you don't have to worry about it. In a game like Halo, though, you just got to be careful. You just have to decide at the beginning, what do we want to do? All right, this is how we're going to design the whole game around. Mm -hmm. Like, and you I could think, choose I your think, loadouts yeah. in Doom 2016 multiplayer, and that worked really, really, really well. You're a big fan so of that just, one, weren't you? Oh, yeah, I love the yeah. Doom Doom multiplayer. It was great. I, I um, uh, after, they, they did a bunch of updates to it and all sorts of stuff, and I played the shit out of it, and I'm max ranked, and... Played it a bunch. It, that was one of my biggest problems with um, Doom Eternal, is that they just removed the multiplayer from 2016. It was a really good, fun arena shooter. I think uh, people, it was not well received. I know Total Biscuit wasn't a fan of the Doom multiplayer. It's a shame. I know they've so added good. Deathmatch back in with, um, with like the DLC and stuff. I just don't know if it's um, comparable. Oh, I had no idea. Yeah, I don't remember the arguments yeah. as well for a Pro or against the the Doom the multiplayer stuff. all the modes were they were interesting modes everything from capture the flags to just elimination modes to demon hunting modes um a lot of different you know viable weapons that you could use the maps were really cool really well designed um there's interesting you know little abilities and powers it was very very uh, reliant on good shot placement and movement uh it was really, i really really liked it Liked it a whole bunch. Freeze, that, yeah, freeze tag. That's right, chat. Yeah. Told this issue mechanical, or was it like? Um, I don't know. I, think I remember. Uh, when, I, think I think when it came out, really... it wasn't nearly as good. And then they did a lot of work with multiplayer rebalancing or things that like that. Might I'm not sure. It. I, yeah, I, I heard that beta that, um, was garbage, so that might have been a, a factor. Let me. Let me. I. I forget that his channel is still up. Of course. Let me. Yeah. Uh, let me see what he talked about. Why can't I shoot this open? <laughs> I know there were Call of Duty comparisons, but I don't know what the substance of any of those arguments yeah, are, if there are any. I think that was, um... I mean, he made a video talking about Doom's campaign and how much he loved it. Let's see if I can find a... Oh, yeah, now I'm just, like, like, nostalgic for, um... Seeing the oh, yeah. thumbnail for WTF is... Ah! Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, he only covered the beta, I think. Ah, oh, hearing his voice again. He was yeah. such a huge inspiration as a content creator. He was uh, <clears throat> foundational for a lot of what, like, reviews look like, probably, at least for a lot mm. of people. Yeah. Uh, yeah um, bedrock for um, a really good review uh, reviewers on uh, platform, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fuck James Bond, the original Longman. What? Because <laughs> there's <laughs> loads of James Bond movies? Is that why? Yeah. Leave him alone. He didn't do nothing. I guess he did lots of things. What is the point of this thing running around? Can I jump on it? Eh. 
useful. Any particular idea as to when you guys will be able to work out an EFAP with Razor Fist? And what movie, game, media, etc. do you think, uh, do you guys think you do? Well, I've tried to contact him on, like, <clears throat> at least once on, like, every platform. Um, and I've gotten nothing yet, so... I don't know. Uh, if he wants to come on, he's welcome to. And, you know, I'm sure it will be hard to find someone to talk about. I wasn't supposed to grapple there. Oh, wait, I have a grapple, don't I? <gasps> cool. You know, this doesn't look like a very good grappling hook. Oh, this is my, um... Like a mobile. Feels like it's going to be difficult to... Oh, I could have gone up there, too? Oh, well. Your right. grappling hook is a phone? Yeah, I haven't used it yet. I don't know what it's going to look like. I'm assuming it comes out of the little, like, antenna. Fucking you it! Do it! Don't Maybe. don't leave me on the edge of my seat here! Oh, rags, I'm totally yeah, go I'm gonna down. do it. As soon as this little dude gets me over there, I'm, I'm gonna use it. You guys won't be ready for how much I'm gonna use it. That's an odd way to hold a phone. Well, is it an odd way to hold a grappling <laughs> hook? Because, like, your fingers aren't anywhere near the buttons on the phone, you know? How do I use and it? And your thumb's just up there. Oh, oh my god. You just reminded oh. me of Suicide Squad. Now she holds the phone oh God, so by the screen. Mm. <laughs> I'm so excited well, I mean, to see that, this. That's a killer app. Right. I did it. I'm so excited. Oh. That Proud was interesting. I grappled. So, like, the, the antenna is actually a grapple that you can... Yeah. I'm James Bond, baby. This is the kind of shit you can only Whoa. do if you're him. Much like awkwardly not spamming that. jump. Gadgets, 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 Slipknot gadgets. wishes he was as cool as James Bond, come on. Gadgets. He is the man who can, in fact, climb anything. Oh, can right. he, though? Now that's a killer rap. He climbed into my heart. Aww. <laughs> he grappled into my heart. And, you know, I'm sure his head is going to climb back onto his body. A Suicide Squad 2. <laughs> um... Honestly, I thought that... Oh, wait, I read that. So, guys, with the YouTubers becoming... Oh, no, I read that one, too. Wonder Woman 1984 is what happens when you let someone hijack your production to make the most heavy-handed anti-Trump movie ever? Uh, what do you mean hijack? That was, like, her vision. That was the director. Like, and that was her vision. If her goal was to make it anti-Trump, I didn't fucking detect it. She could have done better than that. Yeah, I mean, could have done way better. Considering Max Lord is, like, the only unironically he's... good part in parts. <laughs> yeah, if you're like, see, I, I I showed how bad Trump is by showing Max Lord. But Max Lord was, like, the best person in the film. <laughs> the rest yeah, of your protagonist was, like, borderline a rapist. So, might want to rethink that one, Patty. Uh, though I'm not a filmmaker, yeah, what would I know? Yeah. Uh... Hey, Meme Repo, you and the rest of the EFAP gang need to watch Justice League Apocalypse War for EFAP movies, just for the hell of it, and the funnies. I had a really big rant on Apocalypse War in my channel. Basically, to summarize, the Justice League fly to Apocalypse, 90% of them die, the rest get mutilated horribly, then you got a, a like a 90 minute plot that doesn't make sense. Then uh, Flash reboots the universe and erases all the past 19 uh, films. Alright, that sounds shit. So they just... It is really shit. They wanted to be edgy, but without any consequence. And then they didn't make a story. Like, it is the edgiest film I've ever seen in my life. It is disgustingly edgy. It is edgier than Man of Steel. It is edgier than Zack Snyder. It is the edgiest edge I've ever edged. Dude, there were people shooting at me and then there's just this guy chilling. Look at him. He doesn't care. They actually right. make Dark Side's Omega Beams weaker so that he can do more bloody deaths with them. It's really retarded. His Omega Beams, how does he make them go the way that he wants them to, you know? I think it's just, um... Um, I believe it's just like, a, um, more f like, um, he just controls them with his mind or something. All right. Um, all right. I'm I feel not like sure if there's like a larger mechanical... As well, you know, but... They're just kind of cool. It's like, look, they're lasers, but they, like, bend partway through the thing. I think it's, like, part of a larger, like, there's the Omega Force. Like, so it's, like, a, that's the source of his power, and that's, like, an extension of the source of his power or something. Like, right. the command. I don't know. Um, I was doing some... I was thinking about how to make Darkseid a little bit more interesting, and I realized he actually has three sons, and his wife was, like, killed, and he had to kill his brother in order to take his power. So I'm just like... You could do some Game of Thrones stuff with that. That's an and, angle. That's certainly yeah. an angle, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and his 
motivation isn't actually to eliminate free will it is to make sure he is the only will which means you could have like a backstory where he's like someone who hasn't had control maybe he and was whenever a slave or something you know yeah and whenever he and was he... ignored like things went wrong and oh, then let's make him would... sympathetic yeah like let's have him be like i want to have the will you know so that i can will all things to be awesome not realizing that maybe like the whole point of life in general is that um is that there is good and bad and it's up to individuals to have the free will for themselves to like you know decide their fate and he just can't yeah. accept it and so you have to kill him. oh <laughs> no yeah this, and this guy was the thing is dark side isn't even his real name he was born usax um and dark side was like a title and i'm thinking how do you make that not like edgy. just an edgy title he took on it was just like well what if he became like known as the dark side to like because he was a conqueror or something and that's something he embraced. Yeah. Have to work hard to make it not cringy. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I, I like cringe. to think about stuff like that. Just um, how yeah, do you yeah, take these yeah. things? Fun. Oh, and here's how. And here's Max Lord and Wonder Woman's interaction in the comics. Because oh yeah, that oh, came God. up on um, on our stream. We we showed that. Yeah. God. She breaks his neck. Yeah, the Apocalypse War thing, that's uh, some of the stuff that Patrick Williams is referencing, right? And his whole stop being R-rated superhero stuff. That's yeah, mean. I just hear people don't like it. I've heard it's just, like, torture porn. It is, it is. Well, he showed a clip um, of like, Wonder Woman's getting her arm ripped off, and I was like, um, okay. That's the <laughs> opening of the film. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> yeah, that just sounds like, hey, we're edgy. We're, like, we're for adults, too. Yeah, and there's like the first time you see, you know, uh, you, um, you, you people have a vague awareness of the Teen Titans, correct? Like, you know, fun. Yeah, and, yeah I know. Sure. So we open. So the first time we see Titans Tower, not, most of them are dead, and we actually get a very graphic shot of Starfire cut in half with her guts spilling out oh, really yeah. graphically She's on the like ground. She's like the happy go lucky character. Yep. And then she gets not brought anymore, back later baby. as a horrific mutilated cyborg thing. Um,. And Nightwing gets stabbed through the chest uh, to protect Damien. And then Damien puts him in the oh Lazarus pit, so he goes insane. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. All right, then. This just sounds like edgy. This sounds like something a teenager would write. Yep. Yeah. Oh, and here's the best part. So they capture Superman, right? And they give him a liquid kryptonite tattoo on his chest in the shape of the House of L shape and it goes all through his veins and even has green eyes and this is to take away his powers so he can walk the earth inspiring despair and i'm just like motherfucker that is green kryptonite you should be dead you you should not be alive right now because it is in you right now (laughs) fuck that's a weird run kiddo oh and they brainwashed batman into killing three billion people oh (laughs) naturally this sounds like the worst thing ever it is (laughs) I watched it out of curiosity. I wasn't ready. <laughs> you weren't ready for the cringe. I mean, we can. Yeah, yeah and they tied into the Flashpoint movie enough. as well. They tied into the Flashpoint movie as well, which people generally like. It's got Tizmy plot, but it's kind of fun. But this one is just Flashpoint like it Paradox undoes or? everything. Is that Flashpoint Paradox? Oh <sighs> uh, yeah, Flashpoint Paradox. Yeah. I've seen that one. I remember liking it. Yeah. So they tie it into that and undo everything that happened at the end of that film. Oh. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Sorry, lads. And in fact, the ending of that film might lead directly into Apocalypse War. Timeline wise. <laughs> I feel like I just killed everyone with that sentence. I swear, my guns just don't work sometimes. Maybe they don't follow the crosshair. I don't know. I know I shouldn't opt for a sniper, but if it can reliably work in that scenario. It's going to be useful. Wonder Woman once happily worked at a Taco Bell and has done a lot of humanitarian work in the past. Working at a Taco Bell is the opposite of humanitarian work. Hey, leave Taco Bell alone. I'm sure they have tasty things. We don't have Taco Bell here, so we don't... I can't relate to the struggle. 
Oh yeah, I actually put a clip from Apocalypse War in the Home Alone video, which is Trigon taking over Superman's body and then becoming Super Trigon and then fighting Darkseid. <laughs> but then, um, but then Lois Lane explodes herself as a, in a suicide bombing. So what? then Trigon gets expelled from Superman's body and he grows back his costume and his powers and fights Darkseid. Oh. And that's when Cyborg, who has become a wall, uh, decides to get everyone out of there as Trigon, who is manifested into a corporeal form, fights Darkseid. And then Cyborg opens a big old boom tube to bring Apocalypse into another universe or something. And then he, he, has, he, he literally says, I have the final word. But instead of saying his catchphrase, Booyah, which he already said at the beginning of the film, indicating that they're going to begin and end with his most signature phrase, he instead says, suck it, bitches, and explodes the planet. <laughs> Oh. <coughs> okay, that is Start to wonder if, is it are they doing this on purpose? Like mm. are they trying oh, to Oh, and I forgot. Yeah, oh, and there's another thing. So John Constantine's in the movie and he's basically just a Gary Stu whose magic does anything and everything, including something called techno magic, which allows him to interface with Cyborg and free him from mind control. And then he gets like neck snapped by Super Trigon, but then he goes to the afterlife and meets Zatanna, who he's dating at the time. And he says, no, 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 you're not going to die because Destiny not is not done with you yet. So John Constantine comes back to life because Destiny didn't want him to die. Oh, okay. Okay, that, 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 I mean, that follows, you know, that makes a lot of sense when you think about it. Can't argue with Destiny. Really bad. <laughs> Sounds like awful. It is. It really is. Um, but yes, it's funny you, you mentioned the Home Alone thing. That was the, the first defunct movies you've edited. You won't be seeing that till Christmas, yeah. everyone. <laughs> so get <Yeah>. excited. <laughs> Christmas movie, it's against the rules to release it early, okay? Yeah. Who's shooting me and why? I'm James Bond. Stop it. They're over there. Oh, definitely up there. Will I survive? No, I'm dead. Um, Meme Repository, your voice make me so horny. Why the fuck you make us read text in EFAP movies? You should just narrate it. It would be a lot less immersion breaking. I, I don't know about that. Uh, well, funny thing, the notes in the Justice League one are going to be narrated because um, I only made them text because I didn't know if it would be too intrusive for this strange voice to come out of the ether and start explaining what Superman is. So I wanted to ease people into that and see if they liked it or not. Um, yeah, because I, I, I thought the whole point was that you can nail doing commentary while showing context and clips and stuff. But yeah, that's, yeah. that's one of those things where um, I think immersion could be broken on either side with that one. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a tough one. I, I, I've gotten like, it's, it's hard to tell what overall people want, but I've kind of just listening to the feedback I've seen. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. People like their, um, the DC factoids. Yeah. While we just sit there and go, um, that didn't make sense right there. That, that was yeah. dumb, and that's stupid. dumb. This is Jolly Rancher. <laughs> Um, like, here's this essential bit of context that they cut that made everything stupid. <laughs> ECEU Luther movie idea. Waller contracts Lex to develop a weapon to fight Superman. Lex spends billions of dollars and months of time developing weapons. Superman just breaks. Lex <coughs> grows to hate Superman because he had to work for everything and gave up his morality to get where he was, while Superman never had to work for his power. I thought the, um, what I heard was, like, Lex hates Superman because Lex can never be, like, like, Superman outdoes humanity at its maximum potential, and that's what Lex has an issue takes issue with him, at least in some iterations. Uh, yeah, that sometimes is um, his motivation, and that in fact, um, often there will be the interpretation that Lex considers himself the peak of what humans can be, and Superman has exceeded that. So there's a part of him that is really jealous of that, but he would yeah. never admit to himself that he's jealous. So he's um, mm -hmm. got that subconscious motivation. Some good stuff in the All-Star Superman about that. There's there's some interesting things you could do with him, but I really do think we should try and just make him... He was beaten by his dad and thus hates powerful people. Um, yeah, and then fuck that up somehow, God. too. God, yeah. You know, God sucks. Edgy internet atheist. Also, Darkseid, come and fuck the Earth, please. Yep, let's... You can't escape that one. Nobody's ever gonna fucking justify who likes this movie. He, he, you know, he intended for it to... He, he's, he, it, shut up. It makes sense if you don't think about it. It's like, ah. 
What I like about the Twin Perfect video is it actually made it dumber to me because I always interpreted it as, oh, Lex pressed the wrong button and accidentally contacted Apocalypse to come to Earth or something like that. While he said, no, he intentionally contacted Apocalypse Dude. to wow, fuck him. That's way worse. I think you should throw that yeah. out because even he said, like, he might just want to destroy the world. It's like, excuse me? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why would you say this? It, uh, yeah. What a stupid thing. Makes it so much worse. Please don't kill me. Oh, so good. Dark Knight trilogy, EFAP movies when? Um, I don't, I don't know if that one would work. Uh, but you know, <laughs> potential for anything in this world, I'd say. Like, we did Lord of the Rings. That worked out, and I said we could even end up doing it again. We've never even done a TLJ on EFAP movie. Someone mentioned they wouldn't mind seeing that someday. Yeah, commentary, right? With uh, yeah. Smiler Out. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I did a commentary, but never did any fat movies. Which, by the way, you know, EFAP movies has replaced that. Essentially, it's um, funnily enough, it's easier to edit EFAP movies than it is those fucking audio commentaries. Getting all of like the the screenshots, changing the pacing to match the entire film with limited gaps, and then getting interesting uh, copyright free music to fill in for gaps that. And then making sure there's like conversation points, like all of that shit you don't have to do, and somehow we found movies are more entertaining. So what what can you do, you know? Hmm. And it, it fills the slot because there's some movies I'd like to watch and talk about that don't fit into normal context. Like we we got lucky with Underwater. That just I don't think we even planned to talk about it. It's just that someone linked the Filmento video, and I was like, what the fuck? Like <laughs> what? we must defend its honor. Like, it's just, it should have been like Alien, but it's a really bad knockoff of Alien. You're like, okay. Also, fuck Aliens. Uh, Mando Season 3 will be hard reboot uh, that looks like of reboot. Looks like soft reboot? I think they didn't use any spaces. Really? Um, reboot of what? Like, the whole universe, or just re-establishing re what the fuck their show is even about, because the first two seasons aren't anything, really. They can go in pretty much any direction that they want to, like they've got a clean slate. Baby well, Yoda's gone, so it's like they can essentially invent whatever premise they want now. Yeah. As they've said, um, it might be about Mandalore, right? And it's like, yeah, maybe. I'm guessing that's what it probably is going to be about. But the funny thing is, it's like, oh yeah, what else could it be about? It's like, well, that's the only thing we got to go on. Like, that's it. So, don't know. I guess we hope it's that, because what the fuck else is there? Um, about my precious chat enjoyed WandaVision because Fridays became a date night with my soon-to-be wife, but I think the show is really bad. Hi, Rex. Hey. Um, yeah. Can happen. Uh, I, I guess they were trying to, that, that might be the person who said the whole objective-subjective thing. They like it because it reminds them of good times, but uh, itself, the thing, is pretty bad. And it's like, yeah. Uh, wasn't it a comparison to Battle of the Bastards? No, I'm pretty sure, if we're talking about Game of Thrones, the um, they said that it's going to beat out Helm's Deep as, like, the longest battle yeah. or something. And there was this implication that, like, ah, oh, get ready to be, you know, like, you're gonna, Amazing. Helm's Deep will be replaced in your mind, that sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, it, like, took place in the night, and it had, like, an invading force, so it's uh, like, yeah, that's what people were propagating, and they were completely wrong. Man, Helm's Deep is probably, I don't know if anything's ever gonna be quite as good as Helm's Deep. It is such an incredible battle with the way it's structured and put together yeah. and filmed, and the lighting is oh, perfect. The music. Oh, yeah. So it begins. I hope Spider Man Homeless is good. I, I do too. Homeless, Spider Man Homeless. <laughs> oh, yeah, I put some visuals from Apocalypse War in the thing if you're curious. Well, you know what? I'm not against watching that free fat movie sometimes. It sounds like it'd be really funny. Laughing at all of it this. It is fucking bullshit. hilarious, kind of. Hilarious and sad for a DC fan, I imagine. Yeah, it was yeah. just, it was so ridiculous. I was both laughing and furious at the same time. I could use the grab- uh oh. Oh, I knew that would happen.
Oh, by the way, they have new parademons that are crossed with Doomsday called Paradooms. Oh! <laughs> Paradooms. That's just, <laughs> I just think that's really cool, and you guys are just nitpicking. That's what I think. Paradooms. See, I like goofy superhero names, and even I thought that's bad. Paradooms? Like, what the hell is this? Um... Molly, you seriously need to play 007 Everything or Nothing? It's a game where Willem Dafoe is the bad guy apprentice of the villain played by Christopher Walken. Super unrated game. Um, those things alone make me think it would be great. But uh, I, I'm i pretty sure I have played that. I'm pretty sure I played all the Bond games on GameCube. It's, um, I forget the names of them. Agent Underfire is another one, I think. You but, said that like, was his name, like his name, Agent Underfire. Well, it's the name of the game. It's a, yeah, I know. But the way you said it. Yeah, it could be his name. Instead of saying Agent Under Fire, you said Agent Under Fire. Mm -hmm. Like his name was Under I Fire, see. the agent. I, yeah. I, I mean, I wouldn't want to misrepresent the game, you know, it could very well he was be constantly this about getting shot at. Agent with Under Fire, yeah. Hey, look at that. It, it feels like I'm playing Modern Warfare 2 or something. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I know, it is. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever watched a TV show called Heroes? Yes, I watched all four seasons. One was pretty awesome, and I'd like to revisit it sometime to see if it holds it up. Utterly deteriorates. Right? Yeah, two, three, four falls apart completely, and nobody has anything good to say about them. They were rough to watch as a fan, um, and major lost potential. That show was really cool. A whole bunch of normal people getting powers all at the same time, all with different characters and motivations. Um, the main hero was someone with the power to essentially duplicate powers he was near, and the drama would come into him duplicating powers without necessarily wanting them and not understanding them, and obviously oh that gives you a lot to work with. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> um, uh, and then... Steppenwolf looks better than the dark side. Uh, it looks better he looks than silly. Damage. He looks silly. Shut up. Steppenwolf looks hilarious. Looks... I, don't, I don't know. He, he is literally so edgy. He does look ridiculous. He's, literally He's edgy and yeah. on it. That knife stand just, it looks so unnecessary. It, looks, it honestly looked pretty crap from some of like the clips you see. He yeah. looks pretty awful. Um, it's, it's funnier almost than the original one. Yeah, because the original one, it's like the CGI was bad and the design, not fantastic, but at least it was like plate armor. You could mm. see the, the through line for certain. Of, like, break, it didn't take me out of the yeah. movie. I was yeah, like, okay, the, he's um, a bad guy. I'd say he looked uh, generic yeah. in, in Justice League. He was just like... Whereas oh. now he, like, actually doesn't look like a real thing. Like, I yeah. don't... He doesn't look like a thing I that can't exists, believe him, which yeah. I think is worse. How does he take a piss? <laughs> I don't know. How well, does he do a remember, lot of things? Remember, it's all nanobody. Like it all, it's like the Iron Man suit. It all just appears on Why and off him at will. For a head, though. What's, what's that's his species, that? you speciesist. So they all. So ha when they're given birth, like they got to push that out. What is the function? Because it looked like tumors on his head and not horns. Maybe they are tumors. When, what's, when what's, the thing? Why do you hate? Why are you hating? Why are you I hating feel like the that, honestly, the fact that they point backwards is almost like an evolutionary disadvantage. If they were pointing forward, I could get it right. But if they're from the back, someone can just grab you from the back, right? So are those horns morality? Yes. I, I guess what I'm, you know what I mean? Like a bull has the horns at the front. So like if they charge you, they yeah. can punk you. Whereas he'd have to turn his head really far down and run towards you. And he'd probably look like a retard <laughs> as he's sprinting towards you. <laughs> I feel like if he breathed in, he would just impale himself. Yeah. Or like he, uh, yeah. Or if he tilted his head I'm back, like, you're saying, or? Yeah. Imagine if somebody well, snuck up behind him and he accidentally was startled and stabbed him in the heart with his horn. I don't even know how the heroes can fight him, because I feel like they just cut themselves if they even tried to touch him, if that makes sense. Or, That's why yeah. he has the armor, man. It's so that no one can fight him. It's invincible. Yeah. He See, also has like go. muscle car nipples because his front plates look like he took like two, like the bumper of two muscle cars and stuck them on its pecs. It's strange. Yeah, you guys it's just, just hate it's design. Just a really shitty design. You guys hate design. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I hate Got bad designs, yeah. Wow. 
which is like most of the DCE. Oh. I like how Cyborg in Justice League like had a decent design for like three seconds in his last shot where he was. Yeah, trans he looked he great in his last. Well, he looked fine in his last shot. Um, before that, he just yeah. looks. He looks incomplete, which I, I guess might be sort of the point, but it just. Uh. Yeah, like the human eye does not like busy designs with so with a bunch of different lines everywhere. We like mm. we like smoother designs with distinct shapes and everything. It's why Michael Bay's Transformers designs look really, really awful because they're just you so can't remember them parts. beyond stuff. This this yeah. stuff. And um, also the and because both the Decepticons and the Autobots had. Um, like spiky designs and our brains see spiky as aggressive our brains process both sides as being villainous because that's just how our brains work while a decent designer would have like very s smoother Soft, like more uh, rounded design yeah. for the, yeah heroes and yeah how the hedgehog <sighs> needed more spikes is all i've learned from what you said yeah I think that's actually quite restrained about, compared like, to some of the, the stuff uh, I've seen. Disney character design, right? It's like um, the heroes always have really soft features and the villains tend to have very angular faces. Hmm. Yorp. Thoughts? Oh, yeah. Uh, the other thing I want to say about heroes was that I think that's a pretty cool setup for like a hero protagonist that in a world filled with people developing powers all one by one, he absorbs them and has to deal with them whether or not he's um, willing. And it can yeah. create lots of yeah. different scenarios where that's going to be a problem. The one, the big drama is that there's a guy who is like uncontrollably energetic to the point of um, if he doesn't control it, he can like nuke himself, uh, which would be bad for the surrounding area, of course. And um, I think at one point in the season, like he ends up uh, coming across him and the drama is like, will he be able to control um, himself without nuking? And then the villain is, uh, I think he was called Sila, and his thing is that he could only get, he could only steal people's powers if he, like, he had to, like, pry open their brains and look at oh. the, the the way it was. He's, like, obsessed with clocks and stuff, and his, his, his thing was understanding mechanics, but he has to, like, view them, and so he desire he just wants more power, so he has to kill people to take their powers, essentially. I think that's how they try to justify it. And, uh, yeah, there you go. You got your hero, your villain, and a bunch of other people who will fall on either side depending on what they want. And season one, I remember being pretty good, but the rest of it is hmm. garbage. He's on the what a shame. Also, I don't want to go up here Ooh, if I can't I never watched it. The vibe coming back. I mean, this is the thing. I recommend season one, but for all I know, season one is actually bad. I just don't know. It could be What's enjoyable at least, or at least yeah. have redeeming elements while the others don't. Funny, I've just never seen it because everyone says exactly that. They're like, season one is great, and then the rest of the show is bad. So it's like, wow, like, mm, is yeah, it worth no getting way. invested in that first season if it just crashes and burns? It's like, oh. Um, oh. Mm. I don't know. This is the thing. I need to re. I don't know if it's worth because you know, like, WandaVision in, in the sense of like, oh, look at this poor guy. Doesn't know what to do. Uh, I wouldn't recommend WandaVision even if I think there's good stuff in it. And it's like, so there's a sense of it can outweigh. Like, is Lost worth seeing? I think the first two seasons of Lost are actually worth seeing. Um, it's unfortunate, though, because you'll want to continue, probably, and it gets shit. Um, but, you know, Heroes, I don't know if it's worth seeing Season 1, despite how bad it gets. But I'd like to believe that there's enough in Season 1 that not only is it worth seeing for enjoyment, but to sort of see more examples of how to do stories like that. Um, I think what killed Heroes was the, the writer's strike as well. Oh yeah, yeah that like killed a lot of stuff around that time. Unfortunately, a lot of TV shows were suffering because of that. So, when do we get out of our current writer strike? Um, that's the thing we don't need a writer. Twenty three forty four, I think. We don't even need a writer strike these days. It's just yep, terrible. Just and shit. That's yeah. what I'm going for. Oh yeah. oh yeah. The mad lad Jack Thompson is going to going to do the Taken speech to you at the end of Dankula's video. Are you afraid? Well, you should be, because you're on. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't know what that means. Hmm. Um, I'll have to agree with the Act Man and say that free movement ruined Halo, especially in Halo 5. It's about the sandbox. Also, too much hit scan in 5. Does that mean anything to you guys? No. Uh, too much hit oh, scan hit scan, five. Hit scan so like sprint and, and grapple five, yeah. and wall running and whatever. Oh, I meant the free movement yeah. part. I was Q 
curious what that re is referring uh, to. I don't know. Oh, it's like so. It's kind of like a strong word, you know. I, I don't know if that was the problem that I have with Halo Five. I think he's uh, referring to like sprint and like you could have rocket yeah. packs and ground slams and stuff. Um, I don't know if it, it could probably be done well. I just think you know three four three, even when they're trying, are still very incompetent. Is on. Yeah, yeah. Reality. I don't think they're malicious. I just think they're really in incompetent. <laughs> they seem to try and listen to feedback, but then they keep fucking it up. They are an interesting developer. They are. Uh, Doom 2016 snap map is still crazy and epic variety. Don't snap map is like the I think the map creation tools and stuff they have for it. Oh, cool. I like it when any game has map creation. It's neat. Objective is coming. Photograph the laser prototype. Hmm. Done and done. Can I use it on people? Oh my god, I can. Oh, I can laser. Pe oh, they don't explode. Ooh, they just die. That's lame. What's the point of using a laser if it doesn't tear their flesh in twain? See, no one can answer because there is no answer. Anyway, you've probably been over this before, but how do you guys go about criticizing a film that was based on true events, like whether it's accurate or not? Um, I think we engage with the same logic as historical accuracy. Storytelling rules aren't applicable when you've adapted. Oh, sorry, are applicable when you've adapted regardless. If, um... If you want to appeal to... Like, I guess you'd have to remain consistent. Also, where the fuck is that coming from? Hello. Um... I, th uh, I think we've talked about this before, right? There's no contrivances in real life. It was always going to be a reason for things to have happened the way that they did. You're simply going to lack the information to have known why that was going to happen and instead comes across as luck. It's a story's job to explain why it's not luck. Um, and that it's just events following a circumstances, I would imagine. I don't know if anyone else has input on this. You, you, I don't know. You, uh, I got, uh, what what was the question again? So, like, the idea is if something um, seemingly plot hole -ish or really convenient happens, but it's how it happened in real life, uh, what's your response to that in terms of criticizing it story-wise? I'd say the, if, it's, if it's a biopic or something, you've got to kind of take a wild guess at what happened to fill it in even if you're trying for historical accuracy just because you have to create a coherent narrative um yeah um i'm i'm honestly not really certain i don't think i have a hard stance really either way um i guess i would default to kind of just saying wow i you know, that sure was lucky for our protagonist. Rolls the eyes, carries on. And then if I'm like, but Rags, that happened to John Smith in real life. Well, John Smith is a cunt. All right, gee. Fuck John Smith. He's I don't like Gary Stu. I kind of like John Smith, but I understand your attitude. I do. He's got his. He's got his moments. He's got his moments. His parents could have been a bit more inventive with his name, though. How do I? Destroy door with C5 with mounted laser on catwalk. Oh, there's mounted C4 on a door? Why? Because. That's where, that, isn't that, that's where you keep your C4. Oh, I guess so. Oh my god, I did it. I feel like this laser is dangerous. That's probably what this campaign's about. What Simpsons moment Laser? Des what Simpsons moment deserves steamed hams level meme status, also high regs? Hi. I enjoy many steamed hams memes. I, um, I don't know if I don't know if I've ever felt like this deserves meme status, you know, about anything Simpsons that already hasn't had that happen. I have to go through yeah, like, like so many memes. Hmm. Because a chair is memed, and that's hilarious. Uh, it gives him sexual powers. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I'm not sure. I'd have to go through it again to discover what I think. It's like, hey, how come I don't hear more about this particular thing? 
think season one probably has some gems just because of the, uh, you know, they're still figuring everything out in the animation. Still a bit like, ooh, ooh you know. Um, yeah. I don't know. Uh, thoughts on Die Hard and High Rag and Fringy. Hello. Um, thoughts on... Oh, I love Die Hard. Yeah. <laughs> I love Die Hard, yeah. yeah. I, I rewatch yeah. watch Christmas and I think it holds up pretty well. Like, there's there's some problems, but I, I think as a whole it's a pretty good movie. I'm in favor of That's Die Hard. dumb free fap movie. Yeah, we could do a new Die Hard fap. If arc, you know? Yeah. Die fap? Die fap. It, insane. Those, those would be more in the funny realm, like, especially yeah. too. There's a lot of silly moments in that one. You could have like Die Hard as the Christmas one, and then you do the sequels like after that. It was me, Barry. I chubbed you off at super speed. Um. Oh, I know what he's talking. About. It was know. me, Barry. What's that a reference to? Out of the loop. Okay, so so the, so the, have you seen the uh, video of like Reverse Flash going? Remember when you were kissing your first girlfriend, and you came right as she touched your leg? It was me, Barry. I jerked you off at superhuman speed so it would look like you nutted at just a woman's touch. So it's the, oh. that. Um, I know that meme. I don't know yeah, that meme. But, I feel bad. I've seen that. Yeah, the, the joke is that Eobard Thorne is a villain, is just so petty. And because he can't kill the Flash because he would erase himself from the timeline, he just goes around the Flash's timeline fucking with him in every way possible. So it's like... Remember that time you stubbed your toe and you were limping the rest of the day? It was me, Barry. I moved the cabinet at superhuman speed just enough to be imperceptible to the eye, but just close enough to your toe so you would jab it, slowing you down so I could kill Iris in three years or something like that. Or, you know, I am every cum you've ever had, Barry. Or the latest one was, um... Okay. It was me, Barry. I forced them to draw Lola with less sexual features so you wouldn't be horny, slowing down your blood flow and slowing you down just enough so that you would be slow enough so I could kill Iris or something like that. Um, butchered that last one, but it, yeah, it's that kind of meme. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I get it now. Uh, you think anyone will die in Snyder Cut? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I don't really I'm predicting, though. like, yeah, my prediction is that if they're going Nightmare Future and it's not just the dream this time and it's actually the future, we might get like a mind-controlled Superman killing the Justice League or something and then well, Barry has to go back right? in time. Like, What's that? I think it's all certain. I'm pretty sure there have been like leaks and stuff that have already suggested that that's what uh, the plan is. Ooh. <laughs> but like it, it almost is a cop-out, right? Because it's not real. Like it's a, yeah. you know what I mean? Like it's a fake. Yeah, I just think it's funny and that just sounds so Snyder, you know, just have Superman murder everyone yeah, under Darkseid's mind like control and conquer do. the Earth. More like Superman. Oh, I think it's worse Man. than that. I think he's sad that Lois is dead and so that's that's just Superman. He loses the plot hey, every time. judge Lois... it once it's out, Wow, right? spoiler. God. You guys, just, you guys are mean. Spoilers. Snyder didn't do anything to you. Yeah, see, that's silence. That's guilt. Well, I mean, I like, you know, early. I'm sure he is a cool dude, but I just don't, I don't think he makes good movies. Wow. But I'm, tell me I'm sure that. he's nice in person. Just yeah, I'm sure he not is nice. nice. Not a good director. I'm not sure, well. but I'll give him I'll the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> he seems to have less accusations than other people, yeah. so I assume he's doing something right. Must be on, on, on yeah, top in some way. Yeah. yeah. He didn't rape anyone. Yeah, that's. Good I can job. say that probably, maybe. Yeah. No you one. Know, I, I don't know no for one sure. I know, so. mm -hmm. Yeah. Nobody um, that we know. Lex is most of the comics hates Superman because he hates that Earth relies on him instead of achieving its true potential, and Lex leading Earth. All right. Sometimes. Um, oh my God. Sometimes. I presume it's you get lots of them over over the course of all of it, right? Like, what's the difference? Well, that's, that's, Lexes. That's, yeah, well, that's the fun part about comics because even like the mainstream version, like you go from writer to writer to writer, and everyone has a slightly different idea of what the characters should be. And sometimes you get like really cool and interesting interpretations that like um, forever become classic beloved stories. And then other times, uh, there's red and blue electric Superman, um, which is really fucking stupid 
Sounds good to me. You just electric. Uh, Game of Thrones. Well, uh, go ahead. What do you want to say? Oh, uh, oh! I was just going to mention there was also a time where uh, Superman could shoot a little rainbow beam that would create a miniature oh. version of himself. Oh, that sounds useful. I think anybody that hates that hates fun. That's what I think. Yeah, that just sounds fun. Why is it a rainbow beam? Is it because his miniature version is gay? Yeah. I, I, th I. Th well, pink kryptonite makes you gay, but um, I'm pretty sure it was like alien technology. He found he had the powerful one issue and then they forgot about it for the rest of time because oh. um, it was the silver age and they were doing ridiculous shit all the time and that was like the I time where they were the least to make a little tiny version of himself that shouts that would be funny and he has a high-pitched voice where did you train on a farm oh. that would be yeah top basically tier. gosh so many bad guys uh, Game of Thrones Battle of the Bastards replacing Helm's Deep is wishful thinking. This goes beyond a bit of that, I'd say. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's, it's delusions. Hmm. Let him dream, that's what I say. Let him dream. Wishful thinking was our hope that WandaVision would be good. That was wishful thinking. Yeah. Those were good times. But I now we times. are doomed. Um... Oi, Morley. I just talked to someone interested on Twitter and promised him to tell you that Rob, aka Cinematic Venom, is interested in becoming a guest on here. Well, wonderful. Um, not good. sure uh, timeline where we'll fit it in, but I am I am on board. Me too. Find Ooh. something that he's got an interest in and we can have, him have on, an EFAP. Have a chat. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Can I destroy the camera? Boo! Can I use my watch laser to de deactivate it? Mew. Laser oh. watch. Laser watch. What good is a laser watch that doesn't deactivate Does it cameras? tell time? Yeah. 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 Oh, that's something. I'd say, like, if it doesn't, you know, tell time, then it's it's just a laser. It's not a laser watch. Mm-hmm. Just kind of looks like a watch. Oh my goodness. They've got one of those things. I remember them in multiplayer. They were a, they were a butt. Lose or watch. Oh, watch or lose. Can I hack? Grapple, laser. Where did my hacking gear go? That would be useful right now, video game. Gosh. Uh, I'm way behind right now, but the constant making fun of diversity and heroes is getting annoying. That's not why the show is bad. Stop inventing enemies. Um... I mean, it's it's. Yeah, big, I, I I wouldn't go as far as saying that there's never a case to be made in terms of um, pushing um, for certain sort of ideologies. We've always been in favor of that being a thing. It's because like you get explicit uh, comments of that from makers. But what I think is bad about it could be a result of that kind of thinking. So I'm not too concerned because I'd rather just point out what the bad thing is. But uh. I don't think there's no argument to be made. I mean, Ring and I have talked about this, the whole, like, what if in, like, a few years we end up with that all-female Avengers because they decided now is yeah. going to be the time where they just arbitrarily like, invent a whole bunch of hyper-powerful female superheroes? Just like, what the hell happened here? It could be good. It could be good. anything could be good, but the motives are kind of screwed. And I would go as far as be skeptical. saying if they were all fantastic, like if we did this stream today talking about how WandaVision is one of, if not the best content in the MCU and Scarlet Witch is going to lead the MCU into like a really good future, and we end up getting an Avengers with only girls that's all incredibly well written that's and supported, really awesome. I would be, yeah. if someone said like, don't you think there's an agenda behind this though? I might actually like, say yeah. like, well, yeah, but it's good though. <laughs> so, yeah. Like I'm more than satisfied. The only thing would ever be derived from a question of what the if if that's a priority, then um, it's almost like were you interested in telling a story or did you just, you know what I mean? Like, or did you just want to say something? Yeah, um, a no, like being able to point out like, oh, this likely happened because they were forced. They're trying to do blah 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 blah. It's like that's fine with me. I just. I wouldn't want to end up saying something like it's bad because there's a black person in it. That would be awkward. Well, you could like have a really good show that like is um, happens to have diversity, um, but because it happens to have, say, quite a few black people and maybe a gay romance in it, um, people may may call it woke, and uh, they may be very stupid. You know, what, dude, um, I'm gonna pretend this is you in the game right now. 
you silence. Okay. <laughs> you, you, you put a silencer in his mouth? No, I said silence and I shot him in the back of the head because oh, that will prevent fuck. him from continuing to speak. It's uh wow. it fucked him up. I see. I see. I failed the mission though, problem. so maybe that's the game's way of saying what you were saying was very valid. I I don't know. <laughs> hmm, maybe. Can't tell these days. The subtext, you know, it's all very complex. Hmm. Uh, also, thoughts on South Poo being compared to you, Wolf, and Rags. Apparently, he's a discount version of you all, which doesn't make any sense, lol. I, I, I don't know about that. I, how do it's you... hilarious. People pick and choose, like, they go either one. They'll say, like, it's a ripoff of Mahler, he's a failed Rags, he's Wolf 2.0, and it's just like, which one is it, dude? I mean, I, I wouldn't take him that seriously at that point. I mean, I was a rip-off R RLM for ages, but now I'm different enough, I think, that they're just like, no, you're just horribly bad. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> I've evolved, I guess. Do I throw a grenade at this thing? Phoenix running grapple laser. Frag grenade. I had one of them, right? Where are you? Oh, fragmentation grenade, it's called. Hey. Very, again, very official. Did I win? God, we We've been going for 10 hours. Yeah, it's a short <laughs> one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, On three hours of sleep. Ugh. The main reason they took out dual wielding is because Paul Bertone, Bertone, I don't know, uh, never liked it. He didn't want it in Halo 2 or 3. He finally got his way in Reach. Oh, okay. Oh. So he's used to I didn't know that. Oh, there you go. <laughs> See me where you are. I'm gonna fucking punch you to death, piece of shit. Alright. Uh, I like South Pole, but he is Walmart brand wolf. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Poor South Pole. What quality Walmart product? You know what? Maybe, maybe, I think many would appreciate that. You know what? Compare me to, to Wolf, fine. Depends how they feel about it. But what is this voice acting? It sounds like low audio quality compared to the rest. I don't know. Uh, how bad was that scene if Paul had them rewrite it? Well, I guess we don't know the full context of what happened there. You know, it could be a tweak, it could be he was like, nah, let's... Imagine the scene didn't exist and he suggested it or something. <gasps> Oof. I could believe Paul's responsible for it when looking at the rest of the season, just saying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We did this level already earlier, and they're making me replay it, but in a different context. This is saving them battery power, alright? And that's unacceptable. Halo did that a lot. First one. Go back through it this time, okay? It's different. I won't be tricked by you, game. Um, Deal with Dragon Tattoo Awesome Sword on Netflix. Uh, I love thing. it. It's very good. We talking both versions here, or...? Uh... Uh, I haven't seen the Swedish one. I've only seen the uh, the David Fincher film, but that one was pretty solid. I've heard I've heard the uh, the, the the trilogy made from in Sweden wasn't as well directed. Like it's kind of it's it's a lower budget film, so it's like it it just there's there's some elements which are lacking as compared to David Fincher's. But I've I've heard they're still pretty good stories. Fair enough. Uh, uh, I love Wolf, but at least Walmart's still open. Oh, is the idea there that they would take an open Walmart knockoff, then nothing at all, I guess. There you go. That's a partial oh, defense it. from the Super Chats themselves. Steppenwolf in the comics is a dude in badass flaming armor. The horns are a helmet. What was Snyder thinking? And where's his flaming sword? Do not know. He has an electric sword, right? That's a, a oh, does he? electric, uh, an electric axe. axe. Yeah, whatever that means. What does it do? Is it electrocute you? Out of, axe made out I don't of know. Electricity. It just shoots electricity because that Whoa. looks cooler. I don't know what the utility would be, but Wonder Woman. She shoots electrical death beams at Ares. Electrical love beams of death, or death beams of love. It's so hard to keep the DCEU straight. It's so complex. You say that like it's not fucking genius. What's wrong with you? You just don't understand I mean, Snyder's... I could come up with that. I'll say, I'll, I'll be clear there. Mm. I'm what disgusted you with your attitude, Rags. Enough of this. Be honest, you love it. Why can't, 
why can't you choose to give love a chance? Yeah. Bet you can't answer that one. Shite. Love is shite? Wow. Love is shite. That really tells us a lot about you, buddy. Love stinks. True. <laughs> Uh, thoughts on Thought Theater thinking that popcorn with no butter or seasoning is greater than Wonder Woman 84? I feel like it's a pretty hot take, based even. What? Has this person ever had good popcorn by itself before? Plain popcorn? Like, pretty much anything's better than Wonder Woman 1984, but yeah, plain popcorn's nice. I like plain popcorn. Generally, when I buy popcorn, it's it's also healthier to not have it in, you know, a lot of butter and Wrenched everything. In it's, butter. Just, it's just like... It's just like corn that's popped. It's just a decent snack. I could have a little bit here and there. You could leave it out and kind of just go at it. And my folks, they buy um, they buy kernels. That's like this this Amish brand of popcorn that you can just buy, and it's 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 like eating air. It's so light, um, and it's got a very subtle taste to it. But I love popcorn. It's one of my favorite uh, favorite snacks. And and when I go to the movie theater, I do not get it with butter. I don't want that stuff on my fingers. And it's it's just it's a little bit drier because it doesn't have the butter, so it's easier for you to sort of get in your mouth, and it's better for you. So like when back when I used to go to the movie theater years ago before that shit got closed, I believe Dad you. would always be like, "All right, never don't that happened. get butter, never get butter." I, he doesn't even have to say it anymore because you know I know. But yeah, just um, yeah, I I enjoy. Oh, and what about um, what about the uh, can or popcorn that's got like caramel on it? Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that shit's great. And you can get different little cheesiness on it sometimes too if you want to go wild. But or, or um, I'll have it with some uh, some sea salt and black uh, some peppercorns in there as well. Give it a little bit of a kick. Sea salt and black. Oh my god, what does that even mean? Go on. Yeah. Well, no, I I think I've said enough. I'm, <laughs> I'm getting really tired, so I don't want to go too long. Uh, yeah, I guess it's considered. I don't know, horrifying to uh, have popcorn on its own, I guess. Uh, T-I-L. I had no idea. I mean, the worst it would be is mediocre, which is still better than Wonder Woman 84. Mediocre. Yeah, y you would be hard-pressed to make bad popcorn that was plain, because generally what would make popcorn plain is just having it be stale, or mm. it's just seasoned poorly. But having it by itself seems like it's, it's like a mushroom. It's really hard to fuck up a mushroom. Challenge accepted. <laughs> I'll find a way. I challenge yeah. you to overcook a mushroom. I will over something it. I don't know what. Um, it's possible you could just burn it. Yeah, but that takes a long ass time, and you have to really, absolutely incinerate a mushroom to the point where it's not good anymore. <laughs> I find a car engine. It has to turn it my into power. just carbon <laughs> dust. Actually, yeah, I can see how that works, because there's a lot of water in mushrooms, isn't there? Yeah, there is. Damn them. All right, kettle corn? Kettle corn is delicious as well. Love me some kettle corn. I remember correctly. Do you all have the that recent... in the Great Britain? Do you have kettle corn? Oh, uh, probably. I'm not sure if we call it the same thing. Um... If I remember correctly, all the recent DC AM had a shared universe from Flashpoint to Apocalypse War. A lot of it was good, but <laughs> fell off at the end. How unfortunate. I love your meme, you're wonderful. Aww. Oh, you. you. Uh, you guys see Tonal's The Last of Us 2 vid? You should watch it next EFAP. He praises the gameplay mechanics and themes and that the game isn't just about revenge. <laughs> well, no, I, I've, I've been I, hearing I've been hearing about Tonal having a really bad The Last of Us Two video. First ten minutes of it, and it is very like in the realm of his older videos, where he uses a lot of flowery language and talks about the emotional depth and like how it affects his ego as a player, a challenging story. I'm like, eh, eh. Uh, it's, uh, it's not very reference based, unfortunately. Look, even At least God can miss. Talking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just, yeah, that's, uh, you know, uh, Lost of Us 2 is garbage poopy, so, uh, well. Hey, everyone's entitled to their opinion chat. We've never challenged anybody here in terms of media preferences. That doesn't happen. To suggest otherwise would be rude. Can I just shoot these to death? If grenades work, then guns do, right? That's, that's good enough logic. 
Oh, can I disable? Oh, I can disable them. <laughs> feel pretty evil right now. Why with the laughing? Um, activate elevator override control and security center. Uh, I'm crying now. Great editor, more please. You're crying. Okay. Did you did you make him oh, cry? No. He hated it so much you made him cry. Why did you do that? <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> Can't have you making is that loud to cry or, See, or sad have, cry? Can, I need I need we context. Can have people feel emotions. No. Terror, <laughs> fear, sadness, hatred, regret, shame. Mm. Lots of that. Not All like things happiness or joy or satisfaction. TV. Fuck that. Bring on the shame. People who haven't taken the time to play an entire ROM set collection for every console able to be emulated are disgusting. They need to rethink life. So true. That's like, that's just what I said the other day. I think Rags was there, right? Remember when I said that, Rags? Oh god, yes. that's, that's explosive. Oh, <laughs> I died. People defending WandaVision by saying their theories are wrong is like the last Jedi defense. They said the theories affected their view on the show. Yeah, I, I don't mind you not doing the thing I wanted you to do. Rarely do I watch a film or TV show or whatever else, and it does the thing I wanted it to do. As long as it makes sense, though, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm mostly chill. I, I really have never seen that. Someone's like, I liked this movie because everything that I thought was going to happen, happened. It's like, I don't see that I very like, often, no. No, I feel like most people want to be surprised. They want to be like, this, this, I, I was engaged the entire way through. It was really good. It had fantastic characters. It's not like I got exactly what I wanted. It's just, I've never seen that. Someone in chat mentioned, what about uh, what about candy corn? Candy corn is nasty garbage. I'm not the biggest fan of candy corn. Do not like Don't candy it. corn. It's just too sugary and weird. Sugary and weird. Like you it. hit it here first, bro. Don't like it. Not a fan. Don't enjoy it. Anyway, that's not like popcorn. It? Yeah, I know. Someone just mentioned it. Because it has corn in the name, so I guess they're like, well, what about candy Robotting. corn? Robotting. Oh my goodness. That's our, not good. Our god has fallen. Me not likey likey. Oh no. So sorry. Um, <laughs> why is everyone surprised by Tonal's take? He said he thought Joel made the wrong choice in The Last of Us 1. I mean, yeah. That's because he's. That's because Tonal's wrong. I mean, he's, I think he even said that he was like enjoying Last of Us 2 well, briefly while he was on here last time. So. Yeah. I think so. Not a huge surprise. Someone said rags. What about popcorn yeah. chicken? Delicious. Love it. Oh, yeah. Love me some good popcorn chicken. I mean, chicken's oh, yeah. pretty He's legendary, I'm gonna be honest. I'm a big fan of chicken. It's pretty cool. Tastes mm. pretty good. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna give chicken go the wrong. award of I like you. I'd hang out with you in real life. Watch movies with you. Wouldn't want to go much further than that. I appreciate it, but not ready for a relationship, that sort of thing. Also, Southpaw is cool. People be babies about it and just lash out because they miss Wolf. Um, I mean, it, people lashing out at hosts on EFAP, I don't know what you mean. Never. Incredibly crazy nonsense, that's what I'm hearing. Fun fact, yeah, Steppenwolf is Darkseid's uncle. <laughs> really? Yeah, that's true. I would love to see the family tree. Yeah. I want to see him hanging out. This isn't true. Um, yeah, Cosmon, sorry, not Cosmon, or okay. the CV, it threw me off. Cinematic Venom, oh my god, that looked odd, but okay. Uh, he's a pretty chill guy and has a pretty neat redemption arc. Anyways, rewatching all EFAPs for the third time now, on 43. Uh, Evan, Meme, and Fringy, Bathwater question, no. Mm -hmm. uh, so, <laughs> well, the, mm -hmm. the, so the three of you can answer. The if, if someone drinks the bathwater for another person, do they deserve to get herpes? Didn't we, like, uh, it, wasn't it, like, concluded that you shouldn't get herpes if you have, like, someone else's bathwater? Like, that's not even yeah, how that works, right? Oh, fuck that. Just address yeah. the question. <laughs> this doesn't matter. You deserve to get it if you drink it. I'd say no. It, it kind of comes down to the definition of deserve, though, and what exactly you mean by that. I, mean, like, I think I, you need some parameters. Did you ask them and they said, no, I'm herpes free, yo, and then you drink no, it. No, the, the like, parameters ah, are ah, you, you drank the water yeah. without concern for whether it was herpes ridden. Oh, um, don't drink bath water then. 
like an unwise server. decision, but just to, like, just I don't to know. clarify, do they deserve to get it? Yes or no? I don't know if it's whether or not you deserve it. It's just more than like, I don't think it's, it, you know what I mean? It's kind of like, you don't deserve to have bad things happen to you, but it's like, what did you expect potentially? Like, why would you do this? A bad, a bad making a bad decision that results in consequences i wouldn't need exactly say like you deserve it I, i'd be more like well you kind of you kind of brought this on yourself type thing right which is different to deserving i think yeah. we got two no's there uh, meme repository um it's a complicated qu question because i know a little statistic <laughs> about herpes which is that about it's apparently very common but only like a very small amount of carriers actually have symptoms so I guess if the stipulation is that you become symptomatic, um, uh, I don't, I, I think it is a natural consequence, but I don't think you necessarily deserve it because I don't know the person. I just, that's just one dumb decision that they've made. So maybe they are an otherwise intelligent person. I don't know. So inherently, I don't think they deserve it. Mm. I don't even think a person who is aware of the risk and does it anyway because they enjoy drinking bathwater deserves herpes. Yeah, it's just like well, all these uh, like I don't know if I can handle all of all of these correct takes. Yeah, I know. It's, <laughs> it's funny because we've had plenty of people. I believe wasn't it? They started with Wolf, right? He was like, "You absolutely deserve it if you do that." Yeah, we had so yeah we had people <laughs> who were wrong, uh, but yeah the uh, yeah there were there were people saying yeah you deserve to get herpes, and I'm like Jesus fucking Christ. I think yeah it's it's uh I think it's tangled in the idea of consequence like. But what did you expect would happen? It's like that's got nothing to do with deserve, or I guess it Deserve's could in some context. But you know what I mean. To do with it. Yeah. Um, stop being a filthy little centrist. Pick a side. No, they did. They did. They they simply wanted to add detail, yeah. and that is okay. Add I'm all right with that. Quick question, meme. You seem to be the sort of impressionist from what I've heard so far. What can you do? Some examples for a treat? Ooh. ooh. Oh, um, right on the spot. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, what can I do? <laughs> Sorry, I gotta fucking clear my throat for that one. <clears throat> was that, was that something? <laughs> oh, I think Donald Duck a little bit. He sounds a little bit like he's dying, but this is him. <laughs> That's, um, I gotta have a clearer throat for that one normally. That was who, meant who to be that? Donald Duck. That oh. was meant to be Donald Duck, but that was... Oh, I wouldn't have even guessed that was Donald Duck. I yeah, have that's the thing. My throat Donald is not Duck. in a position to for do that impression like right now. For some reason, I went to Gremlins. I was like, is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can see the Gremlins, yeah. Yeah, I've got to actually warm up for that one, so I shouldn't uh, launch right into it. Um, oh, let me moisturize my throat. I was going to say, maybe I can you're up to 10 hours. Don't don't feel the, you know, you don't have to do what chat <laughs> says. You can, you can totally. It's okay if you can't perform, all right? <laughs> or if you that's don't want true, to. That's it's, true, that's totally um, true. I will, I will, uh... I will delay this request until um, I'm actually in a position to do an impression, which normally requires a little bit of prep work. All righty then. Uh, tell Mima's husband to stop subjecting her to EFAP. I, I did spot someone in chat said that my husband left this on his PC or something. So that's pretty funny. Like a stream of someone playing James Bond Night Firewalls. Oh, a horrible gremlin voice. <laughs> You know, just, I just, I think it's <laughs> a wonderful day in that household. Uh, maybe Tone only likes it because he loves women. It could be. Could be. There could be anything to explain. Maybe he's been replaced by a fake Tonal. By a robotic And character. we have to save him on an epic journey. Um, Dark Sides. Uncle, can we watch Tone's vid? Please, long man. I am so fucking done with The Last of Us 2 until I have to go back to it in any way, shape, or form. Like... I don't want to have to go through a long video going through all of its pros and cons. We, I don't even know that we have time. We've got so many different EFAPs to do. The idea that we like restarted Last of Us 2 one in, in the blue. Oh, don't um, crash Vegas. Please don't crash. Don't <gasps> crash. See, and Vegas oh, is no. crashing too. Like, everything's coming, coming oh, down. Oh god, I, I'm worried. I'm so worried. Oh, no. There we go. Alright, cool. It didn't so, crash. Fuck, control right. us, control us, control us. Wow. It's I'm that's my wrong idea. Yeah. Um... Uh, I keep autosave set to like every 20 minutes or so, it, even though it like creates an independent save file as opposed to fucking 
saving to the same one, but whatever. Uh, Fringy, Australia wishes it could exist. That is all. Uh, fr <sighs> all right. What? What? Sorry. Australia sorry wishes it could exist. Do you, we do exist. We're uh, a real country, all right? Oh, God. Are we? <laughs> yes. Even the residents aren't sure, Fringy. That's that's their problem. I've been gaslighted into not existing, okay? Damn. <laughs> that's how you know it must be true. Um Thoughts on the Arkham games. I I am pro Arkham games, but I haven't played them in a very long time. I can't I speak on them. I too like much. them. I like them as well. Hey. Haven't played them. Uh, radical centrism is on the rise. We must stamp it out. Here on the alt-right podcast, we can't stand centrism. Fuck them. On the alt-right leftist podcast. They don't, they don't know what they're talking about. Those centrisms. Uh, um, wait, I think that's it. We're actually... Ooh, oh my oh god. Boy. We did it! Wow. I was gonna say, it's, it's probably a good time to actually sort of be like, okay, so that's I'm it. dying. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of in 10 hours. I'm, I'm ready to just sort of crash. Oh, good God. Um, uh, I'm, I think I'm, yeah, I'm ready to One die. just popped in. If you could erase one country and all of its people, what would your choice be? I'm leading towards France. What the fuck? China. <laughs> Easy. France? Why what France? Do what does the French do to you? Um... Also, I I don't want to say. Mine's probably. I I don't want to get into a political debate. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't know if it, if I had to actually make one, then I would probably want to do the minimal amount of damage possible. Maybe mm -hmm. like Nazi Germany. For me, it's one of those things where I'd be oh, like, oh, it does that to be a modern a modern. Oh, I thought, yeah, I thought the qualifier would be um, no. no. Fuck. But also, yeah, so, I would no, I would I be worried. It's too controversial. I would be worried about the potential Malazia. damage I do by removing anyone. Country in terms of like a ripple effect. Yeah, yeah. Interestingly, um, I don't know if you, anyone here knows about this, but like one of the most famous Doctor Who's, played by Tom Baker, he uh, in a mm. particular story, he has an opportunity to go back to when the Daleks were uh, originally created, and if he connects two wires, he will permanently destroy them. Um, but he struggles to commit to it, and he starts to talk about how. A lot of good came from their existence, not in a boogie holocaust way, in a way of it united people against them. <laughs> and so he wonders if he kills them, what worse thing could happen as a result. And the, that's, that's like the whole thing about killing baby Hitler. People don't know for sure that that makes everything better. It's super... You just, you wonder. And then, if you did it, and everything somehow got worse, you'd be like, oh no! How I guess so. Um, does Antarctica count? It's a it's a qualifier though. Like I don't want to delete the populace of a lot of countries. You know what I mean? Like if I wanted if I wanted to delete the country, it would mainly be like the the leadership or what it represents. I don't want to delete all the people who are part of it. You know what I mean? I'm thinking like, like if I had to choose a like maybe Vatican City. Well, no, there's too much. Well, because that would have this, the least amount of people. Well, I think. I guess, yeah, because if it means people getting deleted, then I'm gonna get rid of some tiny little country. Um, yeah. But if it means just destroying the institutions and, like, some of the leaders, then there are different uh, picks. But again, I, I'm not, I don't want to get to it. Yeah, because you have, the, you have the, the balance that you have to weigh up in your head of, like, sure, maybe I get rid of less individual people, but what about the impact of that country in terms of history, culture, economics, mm. things of that nature? Yeah. So, you know, so even though, so I mean, if you were to say, if I wanted to blow up Vatican City, which is the small, least populated, but in terms of, you know, the culture and the history and its importance internationally. Uh, yeah, because the problem is like, i.e., if somebody's like, I want to delete China, it's like a lot of like world history is very China centric. Like, if you mm. delete China, you probably de delete every country in the Americas. And Mulan. Um, at least as it exists today, because a lot of the well, yeah, reason why changes. those expeditions happened was because they were trying to find a faster route well, to that's, China. Well, that's, that already happened, though. It's in the past. Oh, yeah, but that's what I'm saying, is if if the question means all of history, like, that, that it's just like, oh, then. gone, then, then you would be deleting oh, a lot I of other countries, just... too. 
I think it's just today if you were to get rid of one. Right. Yeah. And then so just continue from here, right? So like if you delete the country and then it's like everything just continues. Yeah, I'm still not saying. <laughs> I'm keeping that uh, one to me. It's Britain, apparently isn't there's it? a Fuck principality you, of Sealand, which has a it's a micro nation with twenty seven people on it, I think. Um uh, let's see. It is a... The Principality of Sealand is a micronation that claims HM Fort Ruffs, also known as Ruffs Tower, an offshore platform in the North Sea, approximately 12 kilometers off the co coast of Suffolk, as its territory. Mm. <laughs> Suffolk. Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, th 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 uh, I feel like this question is designed to allow more super chats to file in <laughs> it's not recognized it's not a, it's not recognized by any sovereign state but it does uh it does claim uh i, I guess it's it's sovereignty short answer so, just the smallest one or the one that would wait least... so sorry are we all assuming you have to choose one it's if right if you could just to could delete a country I, I wouldn't personally. Yeah, because that's why I was confused. Like when people are saying I'd just go for the smallest one, I was like, wait, but why would you just go for none at all if you were trying to do the least amount of damage? That was the only thing you were concerned about. If that's an option, but if they're like gun to your head, delete a country. Yeah, I would go for something <laughs> or, obscure. But honestly, something for me is just that I'd be worried about deleting something like China, for example. I'd be like, oh shit, what happens if I delete that them? That is so huge. Yeah, yeah like I feel like, like it, the world stage is gonna. The second most important country in the world. And if someone was like, well, it'll alter for the better, I'd be like, I feel like I can't make that decision. I don't know. But, uh, maybe if uh, uh, what I got about the idea more information deleting, about it. What if you could, like, delete a, uh, a country's grip over a place that probably ought to be its own country? That could be interesting. Free Hong like, Kong. Um... <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess Hong Kong would probably be an example of that, or, like, um, the other part of Papua New Guinea. So I saw somebody say Papua New Guinea, and it made me think about that, like, the other half. I mean, they probably ought to be together, right? So of having the island split down the middle. Or what if you could, like, delete North Korea and then just have it all become unified as South Korea, you know, like, Republic of Korea? Like, if you delete it and then it just gets absorbed into another country as opposed to, I guess, proofing nothing there. <sighs> like, if you delete the country and there's just nothing there anymore. <laughs> Your tears are my ecstasy, Fringold. I love your non-existent self. Hey, alright? That's mean. I, I, You know what? I think you exist. I'll say that. Yay! Yeah, I, I think I exist as well. There you go. Maybe. Two. Two non-existent existers. Um, but wait, there's more. Fringy is like 5D chess with multiverse time travel. You cannot change the past. You just make a new timeline. Much love, EFAP and chat, you big lesb... Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, there are people saying, like, there's an obvious answer. There isn't. You need to think about it a bit more. <laughs> like, if you actually well, want to think about it. I'd just be problem. curious. Yeah. What do they think the obvious answer is? I'd just be curious to I know. think people saying the obvious answer is China. And I think uh, I think it's worth thinking about it a little bit more than just know. saying that. I still feel like that would weigh on my conscience quite a bit. There's a lot of good people yeah. in China. <laughs> God damn, like, it's an <laughs> easy choice. Chunk of the population of the globe are in China, it's dude. like 20% would... of people. <laughs> that would have a huge ripple effect. That would affect the entire also, world. also, like, what happens to all the resources? Because China's got, like, 99% of rare earth elements, which are, like, critical to a lot of our digital infrastructure. Hmm. Is it a case of, like, the country as an entity stops existing, but the land stays, and it just gets absorbed into other surrounding Maybe. nations? <laughs> well, so, like, like Mongolia. Yeah. Mongolia well, suddenly becomes the most powerful country in the world. <laughs> I think the interesting aspect of the question is, if everything in it just disappeared, and it was just the land itself, like, like it was almost anything man-made was just erased suddenly, and it was reverted to its completely natural state, Man. And there wasn't a country anymore. Like, what would happen to the land? Oh, what God. would happen to people going there? How would that be, you know, divvied up? How, who would claim it? Who would have the right to claim it? I feel it? like there'd be a massive war over that land because that is some good land. Like, China's yeah, got there some could, good yeah, land. Yeah, there definitely could be. Um, because it's not like yeah. If I think it's much more likely that if it happens over there, like I think if a if a, a Central European country or, like, some states in America that happened to 
I can believe how there'd be treatises and political mm. divvying up of things, but I think if China disappeared over there, I think there'd be a lot of, yeah, fighting. And I think there would be, well, it's a massive power vacuum in that region, um, massive power vacuum in the world in general. Um, so if that, if that's like a repercussion you have to consider. Like, this is what I mean. If somebody was like, d delete one of the most important countries in the world, it's like a, oh, you think, I don't know. I feel like it's really hard to think about which one it would actually be. But, um, it's just interesting seeing people be like, it's obvious it's this one. And then somebody's like, it's obvious it's this one. And it's a different one. Look, let's Everybody's just get rid of America. Good. They had their chance. America had its chance. Bloop, and then it just disappears. The ocean fills in. Um, I will allow rags to pop over to Britain before we engage, though. And then the Canadian we'll Empire say. is born. Oh yeah. Canadian Empire. Mexico yeah. and Canada would like immediately be like, I guess America exists. I want to, I'm going to move to the, what is it in Cyberpunk? The, like the Republic of Texas or something like that. I'm going to go over the, there and live the like a The free state channel. of Northern California or whatever. There was one, I think there was one them. specifically for Texas. Ah, right. Uh. Oh, let me go. double check. Uh. The Republic of Texas. Fuck right. yeah. So it's basically just back to what it was before it got annexed by America. At America. Always Texas fucking was annexed by America, right? It was like its own independent thing for a little bit, and then America took it. Yeah. I think that's, that's one of the biggest, like, bullshit lies ever, is that America was uh, an isolationist state before World War One. It's like, nah, they were doing a lot of foreign policy, like, in the 19th century. Um, I'm not sure why anybody would say that, uh, but you hear it sometimes. Molly, you're gay. Oh, <laughs> <all right. laughs> uh... Since I said that I'm watching EFAPs all over again, I'm gonna say it. Oof Oof is still a massive orphan cost denier, and Evan, you making vids? Orphan cost? Yes, got a couple that I'm planning soon. Sweet. We'll be uh, right, hopefully. I'm Joe Biden. I forgot this message. Aw. <laughs> I don't know why that's in the Super Chats, but okay. <laughs> mm. Good for you. Uh... You got it, meme. Good job, Super Chatter. LTRT. Uh, I'm, Yay. I'm not sure what that re regarded. I'm trying to pull up the, the latest ones, but freaking the enemies keep pouring into this room. I keep clicking back Wait, just to Wait, sorry. Somebody, somebody said isolationist from the Eastern Hem. How long was the Philippines part of the United States? I'm really Hold tired. On. <laughs> that was. Hold on. I need to know. I need to know because this is. Um, <laughs> Rags my spirit animal right there. Yeah. I'm I was like, as much as I'd like to investigate <laughs> the history about. of the United States. Of the um, Philippines. <laughs> yeah. The Philippines. Bring you so really invested. Good, uh... Well, I'm just, I, uh, yeah, hold on, hold on. So, Spanish just, just secession to the United States, 1898. Eastern Hemisphere, man. Not a factor in U.S. foreign policy in the 19th century, huh? Well, yeah, let them. Know your history. God damn. Oh, oh, my God. Bringing calling out chat. <laughs> Bring Fringe fall from grace, guys. 1898 to 1950. Yeah, that's the 19th century. Like the first two years of the 19th century. Anyway, that was before World War One, and that was my point. So you are wrong, no matter how oh you cut it. Oh my god, calling chat wrong. What? How could you? Chat's never been wrong. What are you talking about? It's time to wonder if the enemies are infinite. And I'm supposed to just run away. That's probably it. Don't kill me, please. Oh, mission complete. There you go. It probably was. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, so Britain. Canada doesn't exist, Freddy. Lol. I only jest with you. How much closer is it until next video drops? Soon. Very soon. Britain accidentally recognized Sealand's sovereignty when they tried to get France to help them take it down after the Cold War. It's really funny. Hee hee hee. Alright. If you had the Infinity Gauntlet, what would you do with it? I would make it so that Australia exists. Fringy, forgive me. <laughs> Fucking, I don't know. I like how no one mentions me in these in these super chats. <laughs> well, not Australia, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. I will say, Fringy's been on a couple more episodes. 
few more. Maybe. Yeah, you know, it could maybe, be why. Maybe that is Give it. it time, maybe they man. don't recognize my alien accent. Mm-hmm. Uh, and yeah, as for just if you have the gauntlet, then you're gonna want to try and just improve everything as much as you can, right? That's just the standard. Uh, really careful. You can create resources. Go for it. Thanos, you could have looked into this. Uh, make California its own country so we can erase it. Oh my god. I feel, wouldn't like that erase like one fifth of your GDP as a nation? Yeah, I feel like we, you, know, you might want to hang on to it in terms <laughs> like, of. There's some elements you to might it. You might as well keep might, California. Yeah. Make it to the beach. Right. Uh, China doesn't have the rare earth elements. They are everywhere. They are only rare, as in there are no veins. China makes most rare earth stuff because they are willing to destroy their wildlife. Um... Why does China have all the rare earth... Uh, hold on. Apparently, according to Wikipedia, they have 95% of them. Oh, it says major reserves... Okay, right, so major reserves exist all over the world. Major reserves in the world exist in China, California, India, Brazil, Australia, South Africa, Malaysia. Uh, however, China accounts for over 95% of the world's production of... Okay, yeah, fair enough. Meme, give us so a I zoom think... impression to actually end. A zoom impression? Okay, uh, oh, so that's just another name for Reverse Flash, Professor Zoom. Um, oh. Uh, uh, let's see... Um... It was me, Barry. I went back in time and nutted just as your father was about to finish, so I in fact became your own father. It was me, Flash. I am every bad day you've ever had. There, I did it. Nice. I've never heard him, so I assume that's how he sounds. You know, I'm just roughly. Uh... China doesn't... Oh, wait, I read that. I got hairy legs that turned blonde in the sun. The kids used to come up and reach into the pool and rub my legs down so it was straight. What? Yeah, that is <laughs> really a weird quote. Uh, we're all very aware of it, I think. It's, uh, it's one of those ones where it's like, okay. Uh, you are also free to say that Canada doesn't exist, Fringy lol. I only jest with you. How much closer is it until your next video drops? Let's uh... see. Yeah, I did read that one. That one, it's it's soon. It's very close. Like it's um, I can see the light at the end of the tunnel on this one. It's very close to being done. It's the tragedy of man's reality. Living at the shopping mall with plans to expand to the galaxy, drifting apart, but we're all leaving together. Okay. <laughs> I I agree. Uh, Bringy's still wrong about Halo Four. Uh, no, I'm not. The, the ever-growing war over Halo 4. Don't worry, one day I'll play that, Halo 4. Is that going to be my next video? Is that going to do shit on Apparently. Halo 4? Do it. Find out, <laughs> find out all of the strong arguments against you, Fringy. You biased. Oh, but I have to read, like, 20 books on Halo as well, because there will always be someone pulling from the books, too. So that's probably Why a massive Why can't you just say, fuck project. the books? I'm talking about the games. Do uh, it. I could, I could, but like the books are like considered hardcore canon, at least like the ones that come later on. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, actually, you know what? You can't ignore the books because you shouldn't expect people to read the books to understand the games. Fringy, I don't want to get into politics. Also, Fringy, let me tell you about the US and Philippine foreign policy. <laughs> yeah, but remember, I'm not expressing I'm my tired. opinion on those. <laughs> I'm just explaining what happened. That's not politics, that's facts. Rags, don't and worry. My facts if, are the superior facts. If any address you, I can save them. You are welcome to go to sleep. There's, there are only three left. But if any of them ask for something political, we could be here for a while. I won't, I won't talk about anything, alright? It's okay. If we uh, just got three left, let's just fucking nail these suckers. Oh my, let us, let us go. <laughs> Halo 4 was dog oo doo doo and Fringy was right. Yes. Wow. I mean, to be fair, meme... Validation! <laughs> I mean, to be fair, meme, I'm sure Australia doesn't have blue people there, accent notwithstanding. I'm also human, mate. Forgive me, oo oo, happy. We only have green people. Oh, well, memes purple. And purple people, yeah. Well, Occasionally, if we, only we had a purple people, people eater. Yeah. That's how it would solve all of the problems. F is <clears throat> blue. Uh, Zach, Halo 4 is trash. This will always be your worst take. Your critiques are poor. Also, Rags, you're a guest, right? You can leave any time, lol. 
What well, anyone can leave uh, any time. <laughs> I've got a lot of I've got a lot of stipulations in my contract, and I don't want to breach that. And it it would be, it just I'll just suffer now. Mm -hmm. Uh, night rags. Hello and goodbye. I hope you have a good nap. Good night, and I will. I will crash like a coma patient. <laughs> Bring you thoughts on one child policy. Oh I, what gracious. are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing forever? <laughs> I have no thoughts, okay? Alright, no thoughts. No thoughts on that. Chinese All right. water so, torture and super Sorry, he has no thoughts on that. I'm colorblind and Canadian. Oh, you couldn't see that he's a purple man. Well, he is a purple man. Um, well, this I'm is just... I can see that I'm purple. Oh, I guess there's lots of kinds of colorblind, right? Yeah. Different. All colors of the rainbow. Uh, thoughts on President Franklin Roosevelt? <laughs> um, he's a dude. Wait, oh, dude. Uh, oh, that's controversial. Nah, I I have no thoughts on FDR. No thoughts at all. All right. Uh, Rags, how many nails do you pull out of owl trees? <laughs> <laughs> um, one more time. How many nails do you pull out of owl trees? I don't. I figure they're in there for a reason. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. Why would you want to pull out nails when they clearly serve yeah. a function? Um, not today, raggy man. All right. Oh, that's fair enough. My critiques are not poor, you orphan. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> EFAP's guests should unionize. Yeah, 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 they could. Oh. Muller, thoughts on Meghan Markle? Please discuss. <laughs> like, what? Who's Meghan what Markle? She's, uh, the, the you know, uh, her royal family. Oh, of course. Fuck, I don't care. <laughs> there, there you go. There's my hot take. I don't give a fuck. Watch all the other people commentate on it. Uh, it's very entertaining, yeah, Everybody's got thoughts on it, alright? Not um, us. Well, just kidding, you don't have to. Well, you know, you got my thoughts. They are my thoughts. Halo 4 sucks, Zach. You're allowed to like bad game. <laughs> okay. Um, adoption, thy name is Zach Gilbert. Damn, everyone's oh, going after Zach for his Halo 4 takes. <laughs> uh, Fringy2988. <laughs> what? Coming at you live once again through the... <laughs> Of the game. internet, I, you know what? I've been thing. I've been walking today, and I and I did it without. Uh, oh, <laughs> so I want to be. I've been walking me. today. I walked all the way to the fridge, and then I walked back I, here. Wow. To my computer. I'm, too, I'm too tired to make witty jabs at Boogie. Just look at his Twitter. It's just depressing. Uh, it's uh, so much uh, humble Nazi bragging. Bear. Um, and lastly, hey, just wondering how's Wolf? As far as I know, he is doing just fine. Yeah. And then another two came oh, in. Man. Springoid, tell me about the ban on anime import in Aussie land. Oh, I have an opinion on that. That's stupid. <laughs> Banning anime. Stupid. I think it's the right move. I support it entirely. I think <laughs> anime, anime should be banned. Degenerate artwork. Society should have standards. Yes. Erase them from the history. Friggy, at of least, society. Friggy, at least the emus believed in something. <laughs> 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 um, fuck me. Uh, I have parents and they love me. Zach is fighting back against the orphan claims. Bring I remember you saying how much you liked John Curtin as Prime Minister of Australia. His support for the white Australia policy is <laughs> the only belief of his I agree with. Bad. <laughs> Bring your thoughts on Adolf. <laughs> Commit high to laugh and seppuku. Bring your thoughts on Adolf. Commit high to laugh and Oh, God. And they just keep coming. Stop it. <laughs> I can't fall asleep when I'm laughing at me. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely 30% of my supers got missed. Have more dollar. <laughs> I have tried to catch every single one, I swear. Uh, hey, Rags, from Texas. I am also tired. Hello to Australians. They don't get enough love. Oh, that's Thank nice. Thank you. That's very oh. nice of you. Thank you. Um, hmm. uh, Cinematic Venom doesn't deserve a redemption arc. Terrible writing and bad arguments on Twitter. Uh, thanks. 
Fuck, what does that say? Think something are all the same. Death <laughs> threat is also the same. Oh. Uh, I don't know if he expressed that on Twitter, but he seemed pretty cordial in the discussion that we had. I, I don't know. I might be something to talk about with him with. Um, psych, I made you look. Nice. Zach, that's your subjective opinion. Oof. Uh, Mola, gas, 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 super chat real fast, end for R. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna keep going. Fringy, thoughts on Emu's vomiting 9-11? <laughs> I don't know that that can even count Maybe as a question. Maybe it's 24-7, it's 9-11. Hmm. Oh, fuck it, here we go. Friggy, you think Biden... Nah! You think Biden stole the election? <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> just move on. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> uh, Rags... Dude, I just keep popping up. I keep seeing things popping up on the screen. Rags anime does have standards. <laughs> we call it head tie and it is art. <laughs> uh, I, I, I suppose we could put a few provisions in the bill. All right, we'll allow it. Only nudity is allowed if there if there ain't if there's no nudity in it, it's not allowed to be imported. Uh, thoughts on the holocaust? Hollow coast? <laughs> hollow coast? I wouldn't want a coast to be hollow. Fucking yeah, that dangerous. seems like it would be. Or maybe it's like a like a foil, like a holographic <laughs> Pokemon card. So you go out there and all the sand is shiny and obnoxious. Yeah, it could be. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Rucka Rucka Ali, I mean, to Jew, is that Fringy song? I don't know what that is. Some of these aren't even English anymore. Like, come on, guys. Yeah. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> I love how everyone's grabber is getting worse because they want to pump these out quit. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't normally stay for Super Chats, but this great. It, it's great. It, I'm actually losing the, the speed <laughs> battle. Like, they're coming in... Fringy, is it Burma or from... Myanmar? I don't know. What does that <laughs> even mean? Burma or Myanmar? Burma, do, Myanmar do you consider it Myanmar or country. Burma? Oh. Yeah. Oh, Myanmar. Wow, I, I, uh, my brain is not working right now. Uh, getting there though. Myanmar. What are your thoughts on the Linux operating system? I have. I don't know. I know. I have no knowledge. All I know is that it operates. It's I just know of it. The most customizable and efficient. That's all I'm aware of, and I can't even support that claim. That's just what I've been told. But it's harder to learn, of course. Thoughts on Israel? <laughs> I like a, I like these simple ones. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> is there quick the quick it, simple it is a ones? Country. You can knock out the answers. Israel's all right. If I was going to go to the Middle, if I had to live in the Middle East, it'd be in Israel. I'm thinking. Yeah, uh, bring your thoughts on the be, stolen. Be careful with this next one, because you might get clipped oh, out. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't know if I don't know if you'd yeah. say that. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's an actual slur. No, that's no, a big old pejorative here. Oh, I would have just read that out. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> careful. Uh, well, I guess you read that one already, and it was directed to you. So there you go. Done and done. I guess you don't have much to say on that one. Uh, it's just edgy take. Uh, that's just like your opinion, man. Fair enough. Thoughts on corn in poop? I mean, just nature's uh, way. It would of... be really weird if you had corn in your poop, but you never ate corn. Yeah. And yeah. It's just like there somehow. It like grew inside of you and left. You um, could put you could you could put corn in other people's poo as like a way to frame them for eating corn that was not theirs to eat. I want to go to sleep. Also, here's my thoughts on poo and corn. All right, <laughs> you put no, poo I'm and corn. That's oh, so you can talk about whatever you're <laughs> interested in. But when Rags <laughs> takes one topic, he wants to share his thoughts. Hey, on. look. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> look, next one's for you. Fringy thoughts on that boring show, Bly Manor. Shut up. <laughs> well, that's a that's a take, you know. Uh, Fringy thoughts on President Nixon's crookedness or crookness. Sorry. Cr Nixon, Nixon is a funny guy. Then people gotta know if their president's not a <laughs> is a crook. Well, I'm not a crook. I've earned everything I've got. He's an interesting character, Nixon. Yeah, do you know he was based on um, a character from Futurama? From Futurama, yeah, I know. So I've never and seen as we that. learned in The Simpsons, he made a deal with Ned Flanders. <laughs> I did a favor for you, yes, master. <laughs> <laughs> 
made a deal with Satan. <laughs> I like the idea that someone is born and they're like, I like this character from a TV show, I'm going to be them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you yeah. fucking people. Uh, Fringy, do you condemn the white Australia policy? I'm assuming... Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously. <laughs> obviously, that was a stupid, retarded policy. Yep. Uh, next. Joe Biden stole my birthday? Yeah, it happens. <laughs> he likes taking birthdays. He does. And I they think keep going. Rags has an idiotic take on anime, but as he said, I don't give a fuck about what James says. So who fucking cares what I think? Back to drinking with vodka and wasting away. Aw. Dude, dude, there were still like th 25 super chats like after that one. Uh, no, we've just... got some good ones here. Um, no, I don't. Let's see. I just... <laughs> we've got. Uh, I gotta scroll up now. I support the Rags anime bill. There you yeah. go. That's sensible. Yeah. I think um, so. We have thoughts on Burger King's women in the kitchen policy. I agree. I totally agree. <laughs> if women more... want to be in the kitchen, they should have every right to be in yeah, the kitchen more women and stay in there as long as they desire. I don't like women being kept out of the kitchen. That's wrong. Existence yeah, is formless, that? flowing like water. I, I believe in freedom <laughs> and choice. I don't like the idea that women can't go in the kitchen. Hmm. Uh, let's see. We have hen ties are art. News to me. But... <laughs> For those listening, he's he's spelled it hen h e n space t i e s. So oh, I think he's playing off the words there. So if you you weren't paying attention, you might you know think that differently. Um, uh, <laughs> Fringy thoughts on Memphis Bass Pro Shop pyramid? I don't know what that is. Is that so in Memphis? Some... There's a big ass fuck off pyramid. <laughs> okay, I'm not making this up. I've driven Let me past that it up. a Memphis decent amount of pyramid. times. Yeah, it's actually close to where I live. It's like three and a half hours from me. And if you're going to Memphis, you you always see the the Memphis Pyramid, and it's a big wow Bass Pro the Shop. Bass Pro Stops and Ducks Unlimited. Wow. All right. I think it's a nifty bill. I just don't see enough pyramids, so when I do see one, I'm all for it. Yeah, I'm on that. It's team. a great shape. I'm it's on a that long team shape. too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see. We have Dance, you long bastards. Dance. He spelled bastards wrong, though. Maybe he couldn't because of the super chats. Uh. <laughs> uh, meme repository. Do you enjoy certain art? Fringy. Yes. Comments on the geoeconomic complexity of the Sentinelese. The North Sentinelese is their name, That's right? It's true. They're North the North Sorry. Sentinelese yeah. of North I, I Sentinel don't know. Island. I don't know. They are, yeah, they seem like an interesting bunch. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to make sure we get that quick answer. Do you enjoy art? Any forms of them? You know, I think I do enjoy certain forms of art. Yeah. All right. I just wanted to make sure we got that. Uh, hmm. Did Rags catch a second wind? I actually kind of did with all of these super chats. <laughs> uh, but remember, we've been going for 10 and a half hours. Yeah. So, like, you gotta, we've been going a long ass time. I've been sitting here a long time. I only got up a couple times to do stuff. Um, uh, let's see, Fringy, thoughts on the state of Palestine? <laughs> I like how it's a question of, like, perhaps the most complex political issue, like, that there, that there is presently. Just, you don't need to make it complex, Fringy, you know, just give a just blurb. Like, you God. know, Fringy, thoughts. Uh, we have, well, maybe this will be a little less controversial. Fringy, thoughts on the Jews in Halo? <sighs> um, the well, next suddenly question that's is, a hard question. is the dog that sneaks corn into your poos. I'm a dastardly doggo. Yeah, the highest quality of, of Super Chats at the at So, the uh, that was hypothetical. I will not, I promise, if you ever come to my birthday party, I will not sneak corn into your poo. Thank and you. And say that you stole all my corn. Uh, let's see, what are y'all's quick takes on the Big Lebowski? Awesome. That's a quick take. I don't think I've seen <laughs> yeah. it. I don't think I've seen it. I've heard it's good, yeah, though. Yeah. Um, uh, I started watching it, but I was too young to finish it, so I need to uh, finish it. It's very unconventional, and uh, it's, it's, it breaks a lot of what people would call writing rules. Um, but it's, it's really awesome, and it's a cult classic. A lot of people, it gained its popularity significantly more so after when it was released, I think. I'd have to check. Let's see, right. we have 811, Apoff, Spurt, Nuke, Ewok, Orphanages. Thoughts? Uh, I agree. I I wouldn't want to commit to Whatever that sentence any was. position there. I don't think there will. I don't think there are any Ewok orphanages because when the Death Star fell back down and landed on Yavin Four, I assume it just nuked the entire civilization, right? 
But then again, yeah. they were partying on it, and it was vaporized. So I guess we don't have to worry about that. Oh, Maybe that's why they vaporized it, so they didn't have to worry about the, <laughs> you know, the. Why yeah. were there Ewoks um, on Yavin Four X? What the fuck? Endor. Ah, sorry. now it all Sorry, I was. I, I've been up for a long time. Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I read the booklet thing, and it said that in the explosion, the pieces of debris traveled at hyperspeed, and that's why they ended up on weird fucking planets. So, what? Yeah. It went through a hyperspace portal. Wait, are portal. you serious? Oh, are yeah. I think it makes even less sense. They went through a portal. <laughs> Something. Fuck because it. Because it makes more sense to just not think about it. All of them went through a portal every piece. Let's see, we have. Okay, gang jokes aside. That was my last super terrible. chat. Thank you, Zagreus. Um, Dr. Mihai Cheek sent Mihai. Ah. Rags, oh. photons are massless particles. Google it. I see you also Googled it, and you stopped reading when you said that photons were massless particles, and you don't understand what Einstein established is the relationship between mass and energy. So how about you Google that, oh. and you stick that in your bathroom oh. and smoke oh. it? Yeah. Rags has got uh, Einstein on up. his team, so yeah. <laughs> don't fuck with Fringy, that. Fringy, you... Uh, Fringy, do you think tax money should go to transition surgeries in the military? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've enjoyed it, even when I've been wrong. Must love to all of <laughs> you. Insert gender <laughs> pronoun here. Worth every penny. Good night. Yeah, thanks. Good night. Can we have a meme from Fringy running from reporter? Fringy, thoughts on Edward Snowden? Uh, I have no thoughts. <laughs> Carrot chunks says vomit and actually stomach lining. Cool. Fringy, thoughts on centipedes versus spiders? I feel like spiders win that fight I all the time. I think centipedes win. That's what, yeah, I thought nah. centipedes, centipedes are, dude, centipedes are fucking nuts. Yeah, but like, what if we're talking about like a giant spider, like the size we're of we're talking about a giant centipede? centipede. Yeah. Well, this could be the next big question, bigger... the centipede question. Dude, centipedes can be insane. Like oh, in well, Albuquerque okay, and sure. stuff. I can oh. see. Have you I ever heard of the Tyrannosaurus centipede? Right. That's fine. I think, yeah, I think centipedes are gnarly. All right. I can see to centipedes. centipedes from like. You know, I think spiders have a chance cool. though. Maybe, but I think that the I think centipedes have more like armor and true, stuff. True. Like the with spider their has to be careful. You know, I'd watch this battle though. I would. I would pay money. And it's not like a, and a centipede with the way it could curl around and shit. So, like, it, you don't want to get anywhere near a centipede. Centipedes probably eat people. Probably. Um, in their off time. Let's see. Uh, existence existence is, formless. is formless, flowing like water. Oh my hmm, God. Interesting That's thought. A... Rags has to sleep so he can ruin grandma tomorrow. <laughs> I'm actually going to see my grandma and Yay. family tomorrow for a dinner. So, I will be seeing oh, my boy. grandma. Um,. That's that's no no sleep fap. Yeah, I see what you did there. I vote to Mac R uh, me uh meme R uh, a mods on Mola and Moolah. I don't know what I um I think uh, he's asking me to be a mod on the channels or something. I don't know. Um the way it works is if someone's being really annoying and no one can stop them in chat, I just mod you at the time if you're a trusted person. The thing is, Rags mostly can grab him if anyone's doing super naughty things. Or James. He's often here to Boop the snoops. Um, but yeah, uh, maybe one yeah, day. I think you know. it was James that sent that super chat, actually. I see. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. All right, all right, I'll continue. Trump closed the children cages, Biden put them back in, just saying the next one. Oi, did you just look me in the eye? We fight now. Um, would you rather be stung by an executioner wasp or a bullet ant? I don't know which one hurts more. Whichever one hurts you know what? more. I Just based on names, less. I'm gonna go with bullet ant. Yeah, I, I, feel, see, I feel like I executioner logic, wasp yeah. is like a mean <laughs> name that you give to a creature. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's like it, an mean executioner name. wasp. It sounds like an enemy with stats in Dungeons and Dragons. You, you, like yeah, Dark Souls it's, it's like naming it like the super horrible death wasp <laughs> oh, like, yeah okay. yeah um hi rags first ever super chat are you still a oh. lesbian <laughs> uh thank you um definitely definitely i'm the most lesbian ish i was i i actually auditioned for batwoman um but they weren't ready for uh they weren't ready to cast a dog they're not quite ready for the the trans species the diversity uh, batwoman so I'm thinking season three or four, maybe I'll give it another another try, and I'll if they don't hire me, I'll cry bigotry. 
Um, thoughts on the bush war? I don't know what that is. Do you guys know? The, the bushes and the trees. The bushes. I don't know. It's an Australian something or another. Yeah, I figured. Just might well, there's still there. bushes in Australia, so I guess they won. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Unless they're slaves. Uh, oh, yeah. Knows? We'll never tell. Uh, me and the boys at 2 a.m. talking about politics. Yeah, so. Yep. Yeah. Uh, if that's PM, opinion on no. the economic situation uh, in the Republic of Chad. <laughs> That's uh, real. Uh, I don't know anything about the Republic of Chad, and neither does anyone. I hope the Chads win out and the virgins lose. What can I say? <laughs> the Chads win out. If you're from Chad, what does that make you? A, it makes you a, a Chad, Chadian? right? You're just a Chad. A Chad. Chadian or a Chad? Yeah. Chadite. A Chadi. A Chadition. A Chadit. A Chaddy. <laughs> uh, uh, Elon's getting... getting a Sheba. All right, that's really cool. That's nifty. Also, Spy Kids one or two. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know Spike the first is one has that really profound line. It does, but Spike is one was the original. It started the legendary franchise, so that's. Uh, I have thing. not seen them. I think maybe little clips, but I would like to see the Spike Kids movies one day. Those would make good EFAPs, I bet. Those would make very mm. good EFAP movies, especially three. How many? Yeah. See how many Spike Kids movies there were? Spike Kids. I thought there was a new I three. Think there were four. 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 I think there, there was. Four. This one came out later. Four, yeah, first. Spy Kids, Spy Kids 2, The Island of Lost Dreams, Spy Kids 3D, Game Over, and Spy Kids all the time in the world. Oh, wow, there was, this first three came out consecutive years, and Spy Kids 4 was in 2011. Yeah, yeah that one was, was kind of an eight-year gap. Back. And it was like, kind of like Spy Kids Next yeah. Generation kind and of thing. Didn't Sharkboy and Lava Girl get the sequel, like, last year? I think, I think this, year, actually. this year, yeah. Crazy. Crazy world we live in. Uh, it's got a maybe it's dog, the yeah. Corn Fairy rags. You never know. It could be the corn fairy. Absolutely, it could be the corn fairy. Someone else can read this one. Wait, people are saying I blocked super chats. I haven't touched them. <laughs> uh, thoughts, thoughts on, on jet, jet fuel, fuel and, and the, the meltability of steel beams. Well, you think you don't have to melt metal in order for it to bend and lose its structural integrity. So, something to consider. Um, Fringy, is it true you slept with the Ewok? See ya, King. No, nah, that's no, it's not true. I wouldn't sleep with an Ewok either. Oh, is that um, meant to be Cum Yum King? Oh, it could be Cum Yum King. They weren't, uh, yeah, you're not allowed to say yum in Super Chat, so you had to shorten it. Um, I, man, wait, I enlisted like the your... stream, but I always do that in the last like half hour or so, just because it's so I don't forget to do it later. Apparently, that stops people from sending more Super Chats, which, by the way, I oh suppose my goodness that's. Gracious. Yeah, they, you know, it's, it's okay. We'll, um, we'll be alive. Thank God. Uh, man, that's just like your opinion, man. All right. Uh, like Fifteen more. <laughs> yes, all right. Uh, Fringy, are you a part of ELM Ewok Lives Matter? You people are such a bucket of animals. I'm not. I'm not like a political activist or anything. So, uh, just never commit. Uh, I'm not though. I'm actually directly opposed to ELM. Um, okay, I think Stormtrooper <laughs> Lives Matter. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Fringy, thoughts on Jay being a woman now? I Hey, long man, at least you're making the moolah. Um, yeah, that's thought, something. Schrodinger's cat. cat. Um, I don't know, it's a fun thought experiment. That's interesting. <laughs> I mean, Schrodinger's cat. Is there any difference between that one and Schrodinger's, um, I don't know, elephant? Gerbil? Like, yeah, what happens when you change the animal? I don't know. I, don't I feel like it'd be a lot easier to tell cat. if there was an elephant around. Like, yeah, gerbil seems just... more stealthy. Well, if it was a big container, how would you know? I think there was a gag in Futurama where, like, it was about Schrodinger's cat, and the joke was, like, regardless of whether the cat's alive or not, if it's alive, it's probably really fucking angry about being locked in this box <laughs> to just jump out and then starts attacking Fry. Uh, uh, we have, um... Have what's on hyper-pop music? I have no idea what hyper-pop music is. is, but just by the name, I probably hate it. Uh, Rags Corn Hub, free anti back, no sleep <laughs> till. Yeah. <laughs> um, by the way, Rags, I lied. Oh my god. Oh. Uh, Fringy, were you and Friendly Geordies take over the government? I'd like to meet Friendly Geordies. That'd be, I think that'd be fun. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Big, big fan. Um, yeah. uh, pee or poop? Uh, pee. Well, like, yeah, pee. P. Yeah, I feel like pee. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. pee. If I have to go to the bathroom and pee, it's it's quicker, it's easier. I can um, pee anywhere. Pooping is more awkward anywhere. You know what I mean? 
Like, yeah, like obviously you can't piss on like anywhere. Like you should be outside, places, not like in front of your TV. But there are more places. Yeah, yeah, definitely more options. <laughs> Friggy thoughts on retaking the Holy Land. I'm pro retaking the which, Holy Land from the filthy yeah. Saracens. Which is a perfect one for it to have stopped on. People are very upset at me that oh. Noble came in. Look, I didn't even know that's what happened with unlisting, but I think it's for the best because we're all very exhausted and you're not even getting. Yeah. Like super hyper high quality answers, you know. You're all trolling. I see right. you in chat. I see one that wasn't a super chat that is all right. Thoughts on Tao Te Ching? That's an interesting book. It's worth reading. And that's it. Hashtag right. me take the holy chat. You can't say Tao Te Ching when you make fun of Chinese words, Fringy. That's mm -hmm, really offensive. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Retake the holy. Okay. Chat. Unless you're, are you going to say that they really talk like that and make it worse? Mm -hmm. Um. All right. Before before we go though. Uh, I think, you know, the, the Evan and, and meme repository, you guys, oh, I yeah. guess, and Fringy, if, if you wanted to you'd be your hero a lot. Just do you guys want to talk about what you do in channels before we we brought off to the sunset? Sunrise, even? I'm working What's... on a Mandalorian video, and I do EFAP podcasts sometimes as well. I also sometimes sleep, God forbid, if I ever get the chance. <laughs> what? Cool. Uh, I'm I'm making a video on The Last of Us Part Two. I'm going to work on getting my uh, gameplay footage put together. The script is done. Just need to get it redrafted, and then I plan to make a video on El Camino. Those mm -hmm. should be coming out relatively soon. Don't know exactly when. Okay. I love thinking um, about I'm obvious... little cozy doggo bed. Oh man, you got no idea. I'm obviously uh, doing the uh, DC EU EFAPs at the moment. Got Justice looking at Justice League, right? Fuck it now with my own eyeballs, so that should hopefully be out soon. Um, I'm also working on a Mandalorian video that goes over uh, the history of uh, Stormtroopers in the original trilogy and kind of really deconstructs why the Mandalorian fucked up, how the Mandalorian fucked up Stormtroopers badly. And I've also got 195 pages on the rise of Skywalker that I eventually plan to make in my lifetime. So that's a critique called um, Episode 9, An Atrocity. So that will be coming out Days. eventually within this century. Yeah. Links for all of those in the description. And, uh, and I get, Fringy, you, you, you want to throw your, your hood into the ring? Uh... Crash 4 video very soon. Keep an eye out. I'm also working on the Fringy comic and a couple other things. And I'm, that's it for now. <laughs> I'm talking about. And I'm working on the boys video and more moolery, moolery things are on the way as well as uh, obviously the EFAP movies, more Batwomans, more. I think me and Rags still need to do a couple catch ups, maybe one or two or three, who knows? And. Uh, this, there's some offline EFAPs that have been recorded that are making their way out, possibly next week. Not sure. That's about it, though. Thank you all so much for hanging out with us. It's been a blast. To all of those guests that were here and have, have since gone to, to live lives of their own, thank you all as well. And um, I appreciate the, uh, the donations, of course. And that, that, is, that is about that. Uh, good night, everybody. And yeah, thanks good for night, everyone. Us. Hope y'all have good a great goodbye. night. Goodbye. Thanks for showing up and sticking around. Yes. Toodle pip. Cheerio. Bye bye. Bye.